The old man in front of us is the last hope of humanity. He is a holy star soul master. At this moment, they are controlling mechs and alien beasts in battle. The purpose is only to protect the turtle from shrinking inside the barrier. Human beings struggling to survive. Just now. The last stronghold of humanity. Xuanwu city is invaded by fierce beasts. Little humans are simply not gluttonous enough to fill their teeth. In front of them, humans can only run for their lives crazily. At this moment, a glutton is staring at a lonely mother and son. Just as he reached out his claws to grab at the mother and son, a huge lightsaber rushed towards him. I only heard a loud bang. He was wearing a heart-piercing cold. A few gluttons nearby, also killed by numerous lightsabers in one blow. Coming person. It is the elderly Son Yunshan who drives the mobilization host A. People are cheering that they have been saved. Little did they know that old Song had always relied on elixirs to sustain himself through hardships. At this moment, the star monster in the sky suddenly launched an attack on the crowd on the ground. Everyone showed signs of despair, and the cave abyss lord promptly dodged in front of them. Immediately activate the defense array of the support ship. Powerful energy shock wave flattened the surrounding buildings to the ground. After a loud bang, although old Song protected them, but the sole power of the Dongyuan main engine he drove has been overloaded. Helpless, he could only find a new solution to the Cave Abyss Lord. Retrieve the Star Master System and copy a new mech. And the Star System. It was decades ago during the Old Song Dynasty. Accidentally obtained from a relic of an ancient civilization. He not only has the ability to replicate other mechs, but also. At the same time, it will also be in the dangerous moments of Old Song. Guide him out of the crisis. Soon, the new Mecha Chowran was instantly generated. Old Song will immediately switch Chowran to Phoenix form. Then he controlled Chowran to quickly dive down. A few new monsters were swept past like grasshoppers. But I haven't waited for Old Song to react yet. The new monster spat out countless tentacles and grabbed Chowran. Chowran couldn't dodge enough. Tied into fried dough twists by tentacles. Under urgent circumstances, Old Song immediately gave a new understanding to Chowran. This scene made the new monster feel bewildered. At this point, Old Song had already summoned a new mech, Bai Chi. But the gluttony on the ground immediately discovered him. So they all sprayed energy beams at him in unison. Old Song controls Bai Chi. Quickly dodge attacks from energy beams. Just as Bai Chi switched his weapon to the Twin Peaks sword, the tentacles of those new monsters in the air. I have firmly grasped Bai Chi. See this opportunity. Tao Tai immediately locks onto Bai Chi ejaculated energy beam. As the smoke dissipated after the explosion, Old Song's mech has switched to Ao Bing's reverse scale form. The laser cannon behind immediately locks onto the gluttony on the ground. Continuing, countless lasers launch indiscriminate attacks on gluttony. I didn't wait long for Old Song Weifeng. Ao Bing's soul power has been overloaded again. Then he smashed straight towards the ground. This old man was born with a missing soul pulse although ultimately becoming a holy star soul master. But every time we fight against extraterrestrial beasts, we all need to take a large amount of star soul pill. But even so, he can only unleash the power of 12 out of 10 mechas. After Lao San's Baichi mecha was shot down by Tao Tai, he will immediately switch the mech to Lubu combat mode. Then it rushed towards the gluttony on the ground. Lubu's combat power is not built. Tao Tai has no fighting power in front of him. And the reason why this planet was invaded by extraterrestrial beasts, it's because ancient people used to race star networks, absorbing extraterrestrial energy substances, even greedy enough to try to control time and space. As a result, it attracted extraterrestrial beasts. Under the powerful attack of extraterrestrial ferocious beasts, human beings are declining step by step. In the end, humans can only shrink into defensive barriers. Now there is only one star soul master left on this planet, Old Song. And at this moment, he has already switched to the Guan Yu mech for combat. I saw Guan Yu exerting his power, when using a single move to strike. A few star monsters were immediately cut off by Guang Mu Chang on the spot. But even if Old Song is powerful, he is also isolated and difficult to support. He was just about to replenish his soul power. He had already eaten the soul continuing pill. And the new monster's attack has already hit him. Under helplessness, Old Song can only withstand it with force. At this moment, several tentacles suddenly protruded from the space crack. Immediately freeze through his mecha's left arm. Without the support of the soul continuation pill, he is already at the end of a strong crossbow. Quickly, the mecha bulged up. I was hung up by a new monster and swung on a swing. 
but Old Song relied on his indomitable will. Construct the main armor and move the Abyss Lord to continue fighting. I saw countless Do Yuan swords rapidly piercing towards the star monster. In an instant, many star monsters were packed and taken away by Old Song. Old Song piloted the Dong Yuan Lord to quickly land on the ground. Just wanted to catch my breath. Just hear the system prompt. Detected a large number of enemies receiving calls. If we don't leave the battlefield as soon as possible, he will definitely die. At this point, numerous star monsters have already passed through the cracks in space, coming straight to the battlefield. Meanwhile, human beings are frantically fleeing. The people in the spaceship looked gloomy. I have no idea where the future lies. On the battlefield, the sky is densely packed with star monsters. The main group of Dong Yuan has been surrounded. Old Song immediately instructed the system to analyze the escape plan. In no time, the system will inform Lao Song. The way to escape is to direct the enemy towards the transport spacecraft. Leaving the battlefield while the enemy attacks the spaceship. Watching the mother and son he saved on the spaceship. Old Song decisively rejected the system's proposal. The reason why he has been fighting alone for so many years. It's just to leave a spark for the human race. Looking forward to the day when the human race will rise again. Since there is no way to escape. Then let me delay some time for you. Once entrusted the future to my surroundings. I'm really sorry, Song Yunxiang. After speaking, Old Song immediately burned his life, summoning soul power. After a loud bang, countless sparks shot out in all directions. Numerous new monsters were completely destroyed by the self-explosion of Old Song. I don't know how long it has been. In a hazy state, Old Song seemed to hear someone calling his name. If I give you a chance to live a lifetime again, what would you choose to do? Perhaps. Most people choose to live a better version of themselves. Make up for the regrets in your past heart. That's right, Song Yunxiang is the same. Looking at everything familiar and unfamiliar in the room, Song Yunxiang felt like a distant world. This lifetime, he will no longer disappoint the expectations of his elders in this life. He won't just watch helplessly anymore. A friend died or died for him. In this life, he will conquer the invincible enemy, cruelly stepping on one's own feet. He wants to break the previous life, a heart demon that has troubled oneself for decades. Suddenly, a dazzling light burst out from the tower, finally broke through. After three days of unremitting efforts, my cultivation has finally broken through to the peak of the yellow rank. In my previous life, I was disabled due to my soul pulse. The old man is trying to protect me, sent me to Nanjo Jiwu Academy, but I don't understand his good intentions. I have been living a decadent and absurd life in the martial arts academy all along. Later, the disaster broke out. Ji Wu Yuan was destroyed by dampness. The entire Tiandu country fell behind and fell behind. The Song family was also completely destroyed along with it. I was lucky enough to escape death time and time again by relying on the unity of the star system. I didn't expect him to be reborn with me too. But it was indeed as I expected. All the things stored in the space of the star system are gone. Tonight is the day when Ji Wu Academy is experiencing an outbreak of dampness. I need to hurry up and practice creating a remake order. Repair the soul pulse well. Song Yunxiang arrives at the pharmacy. I want to get the Tian Long Mean he booked, but the salesperson told him, the medicinal herbs will only be delivered to the store at noon. He thought to himself that since the medicinal herbs would have to wait for a few more hours, why don't we go to the Jiwu Academy now? Arrange the formation in advance to deal with the killer. I hope to minimize casualties. And now the Song Dynasty. Yunxiang's realm is too low. Only a deceleration array can be arranged. The slow action of fierce beasts, after setting up the formation. Song Yunxiang called up the system to scan the statue of Zuasi's mecha, but the system prompts that it is not possible to copy an unowned mecha. Unfortunately, Song Yunxiang had no choice but to give up, but in order to avoid causing disturbance, he decided to wait until the tide broke out, take the soul desire from the mech again. At this moment, he received a message from the pharmacy. Song Yunxiang hurriedly rushed to the pharmacy. A mysterious person on the road caught his attention, so he immediately ordered the system to scan the mysterious person. As expected, it didn't happen to him. This person's soul power is concentrated in the Zongdanshan of the chest cavity. This is a unique way of cultivation for the people of Milun Kingdom. Milun Kingdom borders the northern border of Tindu Kingdom. It is one of the three countries in the eastern continent, based on past life memories. It will take three years for the kingdom of Milun to launch a war against the kingdom of Tiandu. But why? Now there are people from the kingdom of Milun appearing here. 
Is there any hidden secret behind it? A man who goes to a pharmacy to buy medicine doesn't pay, but rather intending to trade in the most primitive way possible. But what he took out instantly made the beautiful woman's eyes shine, immediately presents Song Yunxiang as a guest of honor, just because of the things in the bottle, all are high quality pills. Then Song Yunxiang picked up the Tianlong meme, borrowing an alchemy room from a beautiful woman. Of course, beautiful women are most willing to do so. Looking at the alchemy furnace in front of me, Song Yunxiang had a gloomy expression on his face. Fortunately, in his past life, he learned to refine pills by hand from the Lingyuan tribe. I saw him casually wielding the formation axe, a square smelting array is instantly generated. Song Yunxiang immediately took out the medicinal herbs from the storage card, then he began to refine the pill with his bare hands. Meanwhile, Chief Shopkeeper Hong Fengzheng, with a shocked expression, he looked at the Wujian Xiandan in his hand. Hong Feng immediately stood up, asked the beautiful woman to take him to meet Song Yunxiang. At this time, Song Yunxiang had already refined the pill into, looking at the level 6 reconstruction pill in hand. He couldn't wait to swallow it. Take the upper plate and sit on the ground to repair the soul pulse. When Song Yunxiang repaired his soul pulse and came out, but he ran into the red square that had been waiting for him for a long time. Watching Song Yunxiang wearing clothes from the Jiwu Academy, he immediately guessed. Song Yunxiang is not a young master from any family. There is a master of alchemy behind him. In order to win over Song Yunxiang, he offered a very high price to purchase Song Yunxiang's elixir. This move also aligns with Song Yunxiang's intention. Immediately take out two more level 5 blood burning bullets. Give them some sweets to taste first. Actually, Song Yunxiang is trying to leverage the power of the Hong Chamber of Commerce. Build your own power. Be prepared in advance to face various future crises. Subsequently, Hong Fang gifted him a platinum level membership jade talisman. Song Yunxiang is certainly satisfied with accepting it. He met his ex-girlfriend Asa as soon as he came out. In desperation, he grabbed Asa's hand. Asa is the female assassin of the mysterious organization Taiyuan, specially intervening in the battlefields of various countries. Prevent the human race from killing each other. Two people came together due to the same philosophy. It's really you, Asen. Song Yunxiang finally saw his Asen again. But the other party had a bewildered expression on their face. At this moment, only a ding sound was heard. The system has completed the replication of Asen's Lubu Mecha. And Asen's attack also followed suit. Song Yunxiang, who is familiar with his moves, overcoming him in an instant. Unexpectedly, in the next second, Song Yunxiang was hit by his Yin move. But the pain made Song Yunxiang fall to the ground and howl in agony. At this point, several spies from the Myriad Kingdom saw that Asen had fled far away, so I quickly chased after him. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang reached out his foot and tripped the opponent. As soon as the other party got up, they spat out fragrance at Song Yunxiang's mouth, but was stopped by Song Yunxiang, and even took a bite back at them. The leader saw the situation, quickly whispering to Song Yunxiang, Tian Du Michaels is currently working on a case. Please do not hinder us from apprehending. Song Yunxiang, the drug dealer, was also busy expressing his concerns. I am from Michael's, southern state. And we are also arresting the female assassin who just escaped. The leader is trying to prevent unnecessary branching. So we invited Song Yunxiang to take action together. Why not take Song Yunxiang to the set trap as well? Working together. But where did he know? Song Yunxiang has already seen through his scheme. At the same time, I also thought of. The dampness in Jiwu Academy and the disappearance of Zuasi's Mecha Soul Desire. Will it be related to them? Have you ever seen such a ruthless Jiaoping mother before? As soon as I see my boyfriend, I'll kill him. If it weren't for his quick eyesight and quick hands, catch one to block the dead ghost. I'm afraid the flying knife has already been handed over there. Just now, Asin was driven by the enemy into the trap that had already been set up. The captain ordered his subordinates to activate the formation with a smile. Soon, Asen was surrounded by enemy groups. Facing the enemy in front of us, Asen is fearless. Instead, it's better to start first. Launch a surprise attack on the enemy. At this moment, Song Yunxiang also followed Zayatumu to the battlefield. He immediately discovered. The spatial isolation formation has been deployed here. And the mecha in the distance turned out to be Chen Weijuan's Weiyuan warrior. Explain that this group of spies from the Kingdom of Mythics. Ambush in Tiandu Kingdom for a long time. What are they trying to catch Asen for? At this point, the battle between Ashen and the enemy has reached a white heat. But he accidentally caught a glimpse of Song Yunxiang in the distance. 
Song Yunxiang naturally greeted Asen, and Ashen doesn't even know him now, their acquaintance in their past lives will take three years to come. So there was the opening scene. Mistakenly believing that Song Yunxiang is also the enemy's Asen, give him a flying knife immediately. After avoiding a disaster, he quickly and loudly explained to Asen, but Asen is curious, why is a person with yellow street cultivation, can dodge his attack? At this moment, the captain also noticed Song Yunxian behind him, and the little leader hurriedly, step forward and tell the captain about the situation, and they said they can do it together. It seems like I don't want it on them, waste more time. The captain immediately ordered the Mets to launch an attack on Asen, after evading the attack. Asen also began to construct his own mecha. Soon, a majestic mecha named Elubu, appearing in front of everyone, with just one move, sweep a thousand troops and divide the enemy in half. Next is a beautiful spin kick. The enemy behind disappeared instantly into the sky. At this moment, the little leader suddenly took action against Song Yunxiang, but Song Yunxiang, who was already prepared, easily snatched it away. Use a bamboo stick to stab him to death with the backhand. Upon seeing this, the captain immediately ordered everyone to come up together. But Song Yunxiang relied on his agile body movements, instantly kills several enemies. At the moment of escape, don't forget to instruct the system to invade the space formation. Meanwhile, LV Bu's mecha has been firmly locked by the Starlock Soul Formation. Asen wants to clean Lubu, but I found out that it couldn't be cleaned. Don't make meaningless struggles anymore. This is our specialized formation for capturing mechs. Immediately extract LV Bu's soul master data for me. Quickly, for mechas were controlling the data cabin. Appearing behind Lu Bu. Asen is still driving Lu Bu, trying to break free from his constraints. But it's all of no use. At this moment. The sound of someone constructing a mecha suddenly came from a distance. Next second, a light arc. Just cut off the four mechs that control the data cabin on the spot. When you encounter enemy encirclement and killing. On the brink of death. A person just like you suddenly appears. Did your mood rise from despair after saving you? Suddenly jump to shock. Isn't his expression as stunned as he is? Actually, Asen couldn't believe his own eyes either. Surprisingly, there will still be a Lubu mecha like him. At this moment, Song Yunxiang quickly lifted Fang Tian, the enemy who came forward several times to sneak attack. Fang Ji Party A Tianji accurately hit the enemy inside the mecha room. At this moment, Asen, who had reacted, Quickly question Song Yunxiang, who exactly is it? Why would the mecha used be the same as his? But Song Yunxiang reassured Asen. At least he won't be Asen's enemy. Now join forces to eliminate the enemy first. In the future, he will slowly tell Asen the details. Classical Chinese Asen is no longer entangled. The two immediately joined forces to brutally kill the enemy. Song Yunxiang used his impeccable marksmanship. Facing enemy mechs is like shooting one gun at a time and the guns are all precise, hit the enemy inside the mecha room. This made Asen curious as well. Song Yunxiang clearly only had Huang Jie as his cultivator. Why is his every move so precise? It's like a veteran with decades of combat experience. Not long ago, the two of them killed all the small subordinates completely, leaving only the captain standing there in terror. Song Yunxiang immediately asked him to surrender and surrender. He knows that death is everywhere. It's better to take a chance. Then he drove the mecha, waving a military knife, charging towards the two of them. Next second, the mecha's arms were instantly removed by two light blades. Song Yun wants to spin the Fong Tianji onto the head of the mecha, forcing the captain to infiltrate the heavenly capital country and ask what he really wants to do. The captain showed a crazy expression, instantly burning soul power, attempting to use self-destruction to bring two people to be buried together, but playing self-destruct in front of Song Yun Xiang. It's like playing tricks in a classroom. I saw him using the same frequency of soul power as the captain. Resonance immediately suppressed the captain's self-explosion. Then he directly smashed the captain's mech with a punch. The captain was beaten to the brink of death by his punch. After creating a hopeless situation, the captain wants to crush the team hidden in the teeth, but was stopped by Song Yunxiang in a timely manner. At the same time, he also guessed that the captain was under Yu Wang's command. The mercenary king who leads 330,000 Taiha remnants. In his past life, he had fought against Yi Wang several times, but he has always been a defeated subordinate of Yi Wang. Whenever I think of these past events, the sword mark left by Yi Wang in the right eye, it started to ache faintly. Immediately, Song Yunxiang didn't want to think too much. 
Then he handed over the captain to Asen and brought him back to Taiyuan. But Song Yunshan made Asen feel extremely dangerous. Not only did they discover that these people were spies of the kingdom of Milun, do you also know his identity and background? Who the hell are you? What are the intentions behind this? Song Yunshan grabbed his hand. A mysterious organization that prevents human power from engaging in civil war due to injustice. Don't worry, I won't be your enemy. In a sense, our goal is consistent. It's about uniting the human race. Resist alien races. Then Song Yunxiang snatched his dagger. On the contrary, he even gave Asen one. His favorite tomatoes on sticks. My name is Song Yunxiang. This kid is just because he's too popular. Just as I arrived at the college, I was chased by a group of senior sisters with sticks. The result can be imagined. He was beaten into a toad by his senior sister. Just now. Roadshow report from the military academy. This silly person is not taking the ordinary path. Jumping up and down in the college. The result showed him an indescribable scene. But the other party also discovered him. So he was treated as a pervert by people. After a good reception. And he was also caught by the dean. So let the dean handle it. But the dean asked the class monitor he yen to let him go. This is really infuriating he yen. But the dean's next words left Lu yen stunned. Then the two of them bid farewell to the dean and went to the martial arts arena. When passing by the square, Lu Yen couldn't help but admire the huge mecha statue in front of her. Full of curiosity, seeing him so curious, He Yen told him about the origin of the statue. Legend has it that thousands of years ago, a huge ferocious beast suddenly descended into the human world. The human race is powerless to resist, almost wiped out by fierce beasts, just in the midst of despair. Immortals descend from the sky. Immortal giant star tail bone transfer soul as guest. Condensed from external dharma image. Kill the ferocious beasts one by one with the supreme divine power. Afterwards, the immortal will leave the soul desire carrying the external dharma statue to the human race. Also imparting the secret method of cultivating star souls to the human race. At this point, the human race gradually became stronger and stronger. Time has come a thousand years ago. The wise in the human race imitate the divine powers and methods of immortals, a mass-produced mecha that created an external image, and the first dean was a layman selected by Zatskia. He is driving Zua Ci, the territory of Nanzhou, which was established for the Tiandu kingdom, and established this Nanzhou military academy 400 years ago. Now his mecha has turned into a soul desire, sealed in this statue, waiting for his next hero to appear. After learning about Zua Ci's heroic deeds, the roadshow was so exciting that stars appeared in the eyes. Immediately go up and kneel and lick the statue of Zua Ci. And as a result, he was beaten up by He Yen again. Then he pulled him to the instructor's report. After learning that Song Yunxian was not his enemy, Asen shared the organization's intelligence with Song Yunxian. According to intelligence, it is known that Nilun Kingdom is in a secret realm, found the technology to induce spatial cracks and they plan to apply this technology in the military. But to my surprise, I was ambushed by them. Turns out everything was just a prank by the kingdom of Milun. This way, things will make sense. At this moment, the distant sky suddenly flashed with lightning and thunder. Song Yunxiang secretly thought that something was wrong in his heart. The spy of Milun kingdom unexpectedly triggered spatial cracks in advance, intentionally leading the ferocious beast to the martial arts academy. I want to take the opportunity to steal the Zhu Ci soul desire from the statue. Song Yunxiang hurriedly bid farewell to Asen. Soon, a powerful and domineering Lubu, right in front of Asen's eyes. This scares him so much, just because of that horse. The fire dragon horse can only be unlocked by the heavenly rank. He immediately thought that Song Yunxiang was a student of Jiwu Academy. Legend has it that the Zhu Ci mecha possesses the ability to transform other mechs. Is he just a layman of Zhu Ci? So Asen reminded Song Yunxiang to be careful. The spies of Milun Kingdom came running towards Zua Ci. Song Yunxiang couldn't wait to rush to Jiwu Academy. He must not allow the conspiracy of the spies of the Kingdom of Milun to succeed. The second year junior accidentally walked into the wrong room. As a result, I saw a scene that I shouldn't have seen. When the beautiful woman gets angry, she pulls him down and goes to a one-on-one -on -one fight. I want to take the opportunity to beat him up hard. Unexpectedly, that kid was pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger. In the end, the beautiful woman lost to him instead. Just now, He Yen brought a roadshow to the martial arts arena. Instructor Oh seems to have a common understanding with He Yen. Immediately let the two of them have a competition. 
He Yen immediately showed an evil smile. He's going to give that kid a hard beating. Thank you. Soon they switched to mechs. Fight to the martial arts arena. He Yan's attack is sharp. Zhao Zhao is deadly. The roadshow had to be in a state of embarrassment and dodge all the way to escape. The instructor joked that He Yan was simply abusing his talent. After all, they differ by two small realms. But Kocho doesn't think so. Because he saw that the pace of his performance seemed chaotic and disorganized. Actually, always avoiding He Yan's attacks perfectly every time. He speculated that the roadshow was waiting for an opportunity to defeat the enemy with a single move. It is indeed as Instructor O thought. The roadshow knew that there was a huge gap in strength between him and He Yan. The only chance is to seize the opportunity and use one move to defeat the enemy. He soon discovered that He Yan is not good at manipulating soul power radiation attacks, and a dodger from the roadshow angered He Yan. He immediately delivered the strongest blow to the roadshow. Countless arcs will soon hit the roadshow. And the roadshow also seized this excellent opportunity. Just when everyone thought the roadshow was too disastrous. At that time. But the instructor announced that he had won this disdainful roadshow. It turned out that his sword had already pointed to the vital point of Hien. At this moment. Several spatial cracks suddenly appeared in the sky. So down for one second. A few gluttons fell from the sky. Soon, students will be under the beam of light emitted by gluttony. To turn into ashes. And that beam of light shot straight at everyone. Critical moments. Instructor Chang drove the mech to block the beam of light. Instructor Europe immediately orders all students to leave the battlefield. Just between He Yen and Lu Yen. After just escaping from the martial arts arena. Surprisingly, there was a glutton chasing them all the way out. And after leaving the martial arts arena. The speed of gluttony suddenly increases. Under helplessness. He Yen, let Lu Yen go first. He came to block the gluttony. Run away on the roadshow. Hating oneself on the one hand is useless. Why can't we just watch helplessly? Others sacrifice themselves to save themselves. At this point, during the roadshow, I suddenly thought of the statue of Zosai on the square. Maybe Zosai can help me. If he chooses me. So I can gain the power of Zua CI. Instructor class leader. Just hold on a little longer. I will be back soon to save you all. But when Lu Yan arrived at the foot of the statue. But I saw a person standing on the shoulder of the statue. That person is holding Zuasi's soul jade in their hand. Who are you? How dare you steal the Zuasi soul jade? That person grinned. I am Song Yunxiang. He was once shameless by the people in the college. Just because he had a congenital defect in his soul vein. So as to give up on oneself. Sitting into absurd things. Now he has been reborn and returned. Just to make up for the mistakes made in the past. Song Yunxiang is on the verge of the arrival of a fierce beast in the Jiwu Academy. He rode the fire dragon horse all the way back to the academy. The heroic act of saving people from danger caught the attention of the dean. I also know the mecha used by Song Yunxiang, El Yubu, who has unparalleled combat power. But I am still worried about the purpose of Song Yunxiang's move. Why does it happen at this time? Are you an enemy or a friend? And the sudden appearance of Song Yunxiang also caught the attention of an old man. Interesting little guy. Clearly only having the pinnacle of imperial cultivation. But he can achieve the same level of talent as the heavens. Unlocked Fire Dragon Bureau. Not bad, not bad. After Song Yunxian rushed back to the Jiwu Academy, he immediately took out Zuasi's soul jade from the statue. Just as he was about to replicate the Zuasi soul jade. Encountered during a roadshow where he was forced to cut through his power to save people. The roadshow immediately questioned who Song Yunxian was. Song Yunxiang exposes his family background. I pondered for a moment during the roadshow. Immediately remembered. Song Yunxiang is exactly the Kuaisho with a broken soul vein. But at this moment, Song Yunxiang had already appeared behind him. Song Yunxiang slapped him on the back of the head. Lu Yan immediately fell to the ground. Faint out. Based on Song Yunxiang's past life memories. Lu Yan was abducted in the Battle of Jiwu Academy. Afterwards, it became an experimental subject for the people of Milun, masked as number zero, appearing on the battlefield of invading Tiandu Kingdom. Later, he was saved by that group of people, be one of them, finally died in battle as a hero. Now that you have lost the opportunity to become a hero, but it's also exempted. The pain of being caught by the people of Milun to conduct experiments. In the future, you can be an ordinary student with peace of mind. After speaking, Song Yunxiang instructed the system to replicate the Zhuo Ci Soul Jade, but the system replied that he couldn't replicate the unknown Soul Jade. Song Yunxiang felt helpless. 
I had to include the soul jade in the system space. We can only wait until we find a suitable amateur in the future. Copy again. After receiving the soul jade, Song Yunxiang is about to go and rescue the instructor and classmates, but he controls Lu Bu himself, suddenly appearing in front of them. Defending the title with a teacher, his always humble and low-key style, so he constructed the trainee mecha. Without saying a word, he rushed towards Yan Wu Chang. Meanwhile, he Yan is in a life and death struggle with gluttony, but he is not a match for gluttony at all. The gluttonous claw shot him a dozen meters away. The powerful impact immediately made him lose his ability to move. Just as the gluttony was preparing to eat him up, the gluttonous buttocks were hit by a few bites. Sudden lightsaber strike. It turns out that the person who launched the surprise attack was Song Yunxiang who came to rescue him, being disturbed while tasting delicious food. Tao Tai doesn't agree. Immediately approaching Song Yunxiang with 258 steps, but Song Yunxiang easily dodged the attack of gluttony. Next is Song Yunxiang's moment of abusing vegetables. After a while, the gluttony was cut all over by him and injured. He seized the opportunity to fly and jump up, prepared to deliver a fatal blow to the glutton. But the next second, he'll be dumbfounded. The sword used by the student was unable to pierce through Tao Tai. Chopped so many times, just tickling him. One-handed swords are really rubbish. The Star Master System will construct a separate Fall Tianji for me. Soon, a square halberd appeared in Song Yunxiang's hand, but the scene of him holding a square halberd. But it seems a bit out of place and out of place. He is an alumnus of all the students in the college. Just because he was born with incomplete soul power. After three minutes of battle, your soul power will be depleted. Now reborn with decades of combat experience. Slay the ferocious monster. Just like cutting colors. The class monitor and senior sister both instantly became his little fangirls. Just now. Song Yunxiang cannot kill Tao Tai with a single-handed sword. So he decisively replaced Lu Bu's Fang Tianji. Facing the glutton who came to die, it was like a falling moonstrike. Before Tao Tai could react, he had already gone to another place. His formidable strength instantly suppressed He Yen. Until Song Yunxiang asked him if he had any afterwards. Just came to my senses. I'm fine. Thank you for saving my classmate. Song Yunxiang waved his hand. The class monitor doesn't need to be polite. I'll go help elsewhere first. Watching Song Yunxiang's figure disappear from afar, He Yen became obsessed with flowers, but he immediately remembered forgetting to ask the other person's name. Meanwhile, dormitory area of Jiwu Hospital, a group of people are huddled together to defend. At this moment, the killing Sheng Wanin Qin suddenly rushed out. Go ahead and kill the gluttonous glutton. Faced with the sudden attack of gluttony, he can also easily avoid it. But attacked by a group of gluttonous colleagues, he will be defeated soon. Just as the gluttony was about to send him into the mouth and bulge his belly, Song Yunxiang arrived in time. One move sweep across a thousand armies. We are about to slay the gluttonous eaters who have been diligently consumed. Next, Song Yunxiang was like chopping melons and vegetables. So soon after, Tao Tai was killed one by one by him. And Yan Qin has long been deeply fascinated by the fierce person in front of him. I wish I could marry him on the spot. At this moment, Song Yunxiang stepped forward and helped Yin Qin up, and asked him if he can continue the battle. Conscientiously blushing, he said he was okay. I also express my gratitude to Song Yunxiang. At this moment, the system suddenly reminds Song Yunxiang of insufficient soul power. The mecha will clear in 40 seconds. Song Yunxiang dare not delay any longer. We will immediately rush to the next battlefield. Where he went was when Gluttony died. Everyone saw the rescue arrive. I also hurriedly rushed out of the formation to counterattack, but they found an extra person behind them. Originally, that person is the engine that followed Song Yunxiang to rush over. Song Yunxiang still fights alone. One falling moon slash instantly kills a large group of gluttons, and they can only surround and kill a big enemy glutton. After this battle with fierce beasts, Song Yunxiang has a new idea to save soul power. That's to make some improvements to Shui Yuanji. After the end of this dampness, find an opportunity to implement it. At this moment, there are only three gluttons left on the battlefield, and Song Yunxiang's centrifugal not only has six seconds left, he solved the two problems in front of him with his hands up and down. Next dive, shoot the Fang Tianji towards the last glutton in the distance. In an instant, Fang Tianji hit him. At this moment, Song Yunxiang descended from the sky, step on the square halberd with one foot. Everyone exclaimed before their eyes, human strength is really too strong. 
But the next second they'll be dumbfounded, because this person is exactly what they call a waste, Son Yunxiang. What a romantic and warm scene it is, but they are not just lovers, and each other has their own ulterior motives in their hearts. The man only wants to copy the girl's mech into his hand, then take care of the girl on the spot. The girl is thinking about how to get the man back home, just now. After Song Yunshan easily solved the fierce beast, and his soul power was also depleted along with it, then he revealed his true face and appeared in front of everyone. Everyone couldn't help but be surprised, they never expected it. The fierce person just now was actually Song Yunshan, and the dean also showed a look of shock. He couldn't help but marvel at how deep Song Yunxiang was hiding, but he suddenly remembered. The weapon used by Song Yunxiang is Fang Tianjie. I immediately thought of it. The person driving the Lubu Mecha is also Song Yunxiang. Legend has it that Zhu Ci can transform his appearance according to his heart. Has this kid become a layman of Zhu Ci? After the dampness ends, we need to bring this kid over and interrogate him. Meanwhile, on the battlefield, everyone also understood the Mecha. I plan to prank and restore my soul power in place. At this time, Song Yunxiang had already refined the giant star formation, just as he was about to hand over the giant star formation to everyone. Yin Xing suddenly appeared in front of him with a shy expression on her face. Brother Song, thank you for saving me just now. I am Shang Wan Yin Xing from class 1 every 3 years. After learning the other party's name, Song Yunxiang's face paused. This crazy woman is a raised amateur. In the final battle between Tian Du and Milun five years later, they caused trouble at the front line of the Shangwan family, and it also put him in danger several times. If it weren't for the assistance of the star system in the past life, he died long ago at the hands of this crazy woman. Thinking of these, Song Yunxiang immediately grabbed the attentive hand, pulling him in front of him. So there was the opening. The scene of the head followed with a faint ding sound. The system prompts that copying soul desires has failed detected that the target character does not possess soul desires. At this moment, he remembered that his lust had not yet risen. Soul desire is calculated based on time. He should have obtained his soul desire ten months later. Song Yunxiang immediately released his hand. With a silly smile on his face, he apologized to him. The attention of the flower enthusiast thought that Song Yunxiang was attracted by his beauty. That's why I'm so excited about him. In order to smoothly obtain the dragon's sleep, Song Yunxiang took out a soul continuation pill and gave it to Ying Qin to take. He doesn't want to be attentive and just hang up now. After seeing Song Yunxiang have such good goods, the instructor also came up and cabled to him. Song Yunxiang quickly stated that there was not much left, although there are no extra soul renewal pills, but I have already prepared a superstar formation for everyone. As Song Yunxiang lowered the formation and ran into the air, a giant star formation is instantly generated. Everyone immediately felt it. The absorption speed of soul power has been increased by five times. Then Song Yunxiang bid them farewell, jumping up and rushing towards Yenwu Field, and the diligence also hurriedly followed like a plaster. Three days ago, I was still a scumbag in everyone's eyes. Three days later, he transformed into a powerful leader in a magnificent way. Even the instructors turned around and wanted to worship him as their teacher. The reason for such a rapid transformation, it's because he's been reborn. Based on past life memories, Song Yunxiang knew the date of the outbreak of the Jiwu Academy's acceptance of the court, so set up the martial arts arena in advance, slowly. The formation of fierce beasts, and the instructors, due to the existence of the formation. Only then can we persevere until now. But Tao Tai seems to know, the martial arts arena will weaken their speed, so they all withdrew from the martial arts arena, changed to remote attack. At this moment, a beam of light directly pierced through the gluttony standing at a high place. That's right, the person who came as Son Yunxiang. And Gluttony also immediately reacted. Facing Son in unison, Yunxiang launches an attack. Upon seeing this, Son Yunxiang immediately injected soul power into his feet, relying on agile body movements to avoid the attack of Gluttony, and flashed in front of them, giving them a fatal blow. This scene made instructors in Europe feel unbelievable. He exclaimed, this person relies on a small amount of soul power to maintain radiation under their feet slipping and moving in a suspended state with subtle body movements. This kind of operational skill is simply unparalleled, and that huge halberd-shaped weapon seems to have been born to kill ferocious beasts. But Song Yunxian's next steps surprise instructor Oh even more, because he used the body technique of not passing down the Xuanjia position. Step 7. Then he leaped into the air again, 
Taking advantage of the situation, slide out of falling moon slash towards Tao Tai. The gluttony was packed and taken away in an instant. At this point, Instructor O was no longer calm. Who exactly is this strong person? Surprisingly able to use a mere blood relationship machine. Use the unique skills of the seven treading stars and the falling moon slash. However, Song Yunxian's heart was only focused on killing the ferocious beasts. I completely don't know. I have become the king in their eyes. With the strike of Fang Tianji, it fell down. The glutton in the martial arts arena was completely killed by him. Seeing the big shot, he solved over a dozen gluttony problems in the blink of an eye. The city instructor has the idea of apprentice to this big shot. At this moment, the diligent and panting arrived at the martial arts arena. Song Yunxiang, can't you wait for them? Upon hearing this, everyone was shocked and turned pale. This incredibly strong boss. Surprisingly, it's Song Yunxiang. At this time, Song Yunxiang also gained a new understanding of Mecca. Appearing in front of them, Instructor Chang looked incredulous, the kid who disappeared for three days, unexpectedly becoming so strong suddenly, but he immediately dispelled the idea of apprenticeship. Then he questioned Song Yunxiang. Where did that kid go these days? It's not that the soul pulse is incomplete, can only barely fight for three minutes, it's better to be honest with me. Song Yunxiang spread out his hands with a silly smile on his face. Instructor, you, isn't this automatically reduced as soon as time comes? Although Son Yunxiang is explaining how to handle it, but in my heart, I was thinking. The maintenance of pile construction time has increased this time. It seems that the body is adapting to reconstruction, repair of a single pair of soul veins. But the sharp European instructor discovered that. Son Yunxiang maintained the pile construction for a full five minutes this time believing that his disguised soul power was damaged. What is the intention of hiding strength and infiltrating the college? Just as Song Yunxian was laughing and pondering on his response, suddenly, a mecha descended from the sky. What exactly did this student do? Surprisingly alarmed the dean to personally come and see him, and it also activated the sound insulation formation to prevent others from hearing their conversation. Just now, Song Yunxian was pondering how to answer instructor O's questioning. At this moment, the dean suddenly descended from the sky. The two instructors couldn't afford to continue questioning Song Yunxiang. Hurry up, star sister, the mecha salutes to the director and says hello. Although the dean expressed gratitude to Song Yunxiang for his rescue efforts. But he also wants to hear it. What is Song Yunxiang's explanation for hiding his strength? Song Yunxiang's face suddenly turned pale. I don't know if I should speak up about the star system. The dean in front of me is a friend of the enemy who has not yet agreed to speak. The dean seemed to have an unspoken secret when he saw Song Yunxiang. He immediately activated the optical brain and activated the soundproofing array. Then he confronted Song Yunxiang. This scared Song Yunxiang to death, subconsciously stepping back. You hide your strength and infiltrate the Jiwu Academy. The purpose is for Zhu Ci Soul Prison, right? Don't pretend anymore. Have you become a layman of Zhu Ci? I saw the Red Lubu statue in Xicheng District. Mech. That's what you transformed using Zua Ci. Did you hear that Zua Ci has the ability to transform? Song Yunxian was startled and dumbfounded on the spot. In his past life, he didn't know that Zua Ci needed such abilities. And according to the literature of Tian Du Kingdom, Zua Ci not only has the ability to transform, but also has the ability and moves to imitate other mechas. Even legends. Zua Ci can still hide the true strength of the new soul master. So the cultivation you are showing now, and it is also one of the evidences for the Zhu Ci Su Ren. Song Yunxiang thought to himself, since the dean mistakenly believed him to be a layman of Zhu Ci, so why don't we just make the right move? Amazing, Dean Gu. I hit it so well. Surprisingly, you saw through it. That's right, I did indeed obtain the Zhu Ci Soul Jade. After Song Yunxiang voluntarily admitted, the dean immediately showed an expression of successful scheming. I immediately talked to Song Yunxiang about the transaction. Otherwise, Song Yunxian will be punished for the crime of treason. Originally, the original Mecha was different from the mass-produced Mazawan. The sole desire inheritance of the original type Mech need to register with the Star Sky Monitor. If operated without authorization, it will be considered as a violation of the Tiandu Kingdom's Mecha management regulations. If Song Yunxian chooses to trade, I will help you apply for registration. But if we refuse, you know the consequences. Song Yunxian was forced into helplessness. I had to choose to agree. After seeing Song Yunxian agree, the dean is about to shine. 
and it indicates that the outbreak of dampness is highly likely caused by human factors. Three suspected induction devices have been discovered so far. The core position of, there is already a heavenly level expert rushing to Dongcheng district. I will personally lead the team to Nancheng district. Now I need you to go to Beicheng district to rescue the second prince, the representative of the main battle faction in the Tianzi Si royal family of the second prince. Rumors of his past life suggest that he died from this dampness. But the public cause of death was the assassination attempt by the Taiyuan assassin. As a result, Asin became known as a wanted person. However, Taiyuan will only prevent internal conflicts within the human race. How could it possibly initiate a war? Is it another conspiracy of the kingdom of Milun? Have you ever seen such a clingy little fairy? Just because the man grabbed her hand when he was excited, she just follows that man all day long. Now it's even more like a plaster. Hold on to that man tightly. Just now, the dean activated the sound insulation formation and talked to Song Yunxiang. Unexpectedly, Yen Qin's system was compromised by Dean Black Mirror, breaking the formation. So we learned that Song Yunxiang was a layman of Zhuaci. Now he needs to firmly grasp Song Yunxiang, this big fish. Meanwhile, under the coercion and inducement of the dean, Song Yunxiang, I had to promise the dean to rescue the second prince, Tian Zahai. I also wonder if Ashen will appear there. So he immediately took out the soul storage pill and axe. Next, a statue of Lubu riding a fiery dragon full, appearing in front of everyone. This scared the instructor and classmates on the spot. Just as Song Yunxiang bid farewell to everyone, Yin Qing suddenly appeared. Without saying a word, the construction mech jumped onto the fire dragon horse. Feed the crazy woman. Come on, get down here. Overloaded. But Yan Yan still held onto Song Yunxiang tightly and didn't let go. Song Yunxiang felt helpless. I had to let him follow. Fortunately, he accidentally killed himself. Watching Song Yunxiang walk away, the dean suddenly murmured to himself, I hope my words can help you deceive others. And the secrets on you will be mine to uncover. Along the way, he diligently and crazily brushes monsters, pulling hatred. Song Yunxiang had no choice but to wipe his buttocks and rush on his way. He really convinced this crazy woman. Then he asked him not to cause trouble for himself anymore. Now they are rushing to save people. At this moment, Yin Qin regained his senses from his madness, continuously apologizing to Song Yunxiang, and explain yourself as soon as you enter the battlefield. I can't resist the urge to kill. Song Yunxiang was also left speechless by his hobby, but it happens that he can be used as a tool person. By the way, Shang Wan's senior sister, wait, if we encounter a strong enemy, I'll hold down the enemy. Can you help me get something when the senior sister arrives? Yen Qin agreed to Song Yunxian without even thinking about it. Meanwhile, the recent situation of the second prince Tianzi Si. At this point, it is already in jeopardy. The commander of the guards around is seriously injured, on the brink of death. Originally, Tianzihai had already received intelligence. Milun Kingdom spies infiltrate the dome city to cause trouble, but he wants to cast a long line to catch big fish, trying to find evidence to convince father to go to war. I don't want to fall into the enemy's trap instead of myself. Instead, it puts oneself in danger, also causing the residents of Yuanding City to suffer along with themselves. At this moment, the guards screamed in terror. Another batch of ferocious beasts are attacking. They immediately set out their positions to defend against the enemy. But I didn't expect that. The fierce beast that appeared this time. Unexpectedly, he is a poor individual with heavenly combat power. And at this moment, they also discovered that. On the other side, a huge black shadow also appeared. Faced with the pincer attack of two powerful enemies, the guards dare not take off the fight. Hurriedly asked the maid to leave with the second prince. Let them delay time and block the enemy. But the keen Tianzi Si discovered. On the other side, it's not the scent of a ferocious beast. Perhaps the dark shadow is not an enemy. Maybe it's reinforcements coming to support us. At this point, Porchi also roared at the huge black figure. Do you know why gluttony only enters and cannot exit? I just found out. Turns out there's a cracked crystal growing in his stomach bag. And the cracked crystal is actually a storage space. So gluttony devours food. The reason for only entering but not exiting is due to the cracking and crystallization of voids. Now go rescue the second prince. It is unknown what high-level strong enemies Tianzi Si will encounter. In order to prevent unforeseen circumstances, Song Yunxiang asked Yin Qin to hold down the enemy while he was holding them down. Take the opportunity to search for the cracked crystal in the body of Tao Tai. He will be of great use then. Song Yunxiang has just arrived at the battlefield in Beicheng district. 
Chi Chi sensed that danger was approaching, shouting loudly at Song Yunxiang. And Song Yunxiang didn't get used to him either. The Fang Tian halberd in his hand was immediately shot out, stare in front of him the next second. He was immediately intimidated by this deadly aura. Only then did the guards realize that. Turns out the other way around was with reinforcements. Tian Zahai, however, is offending the enemy in his heart. The mecha in front of me not only hasn't been seen before, but also, and it's also a mecha with a mount. Song Yunxiang saw that Qianqi had been intimidated by Fang Tianji, immediately urged the diligent to touch the body of Tao Tai. But even poor people are not foolish. Seeing that the big weapon in front of him did not attack him, immediately reach out and touch Fang Tianji, but it was blocked by a layer of light wood. It turns out that Song Yunxiang applied a formation on Fang Tianji. The purpose is to procrastinate on hospitality. Seeing the appearance of the formation, Tianza immediately realized that the other party was delaying time, but he doesn't know why the other party is doing this, until the diligent removal from the gluttonous corpse, extracting cracked crystals, he suddenly woke up with a startle. That's right, the value of cracked crystal is priceless. It is the best material for making storage items that meet the requirements of mechanical symbols. Is this guy procrastinating just to make money? At this point, Juanchi had already realized something was wrong. Launch a fierce attack on the formation. Song Yunxiang quickly swallowed the soul continuation pill to resist and hold it strong. At this moment, Yin Qin happened to come running with the cracked crystal in his hand. Unable to wait, Song Yunxiang immediately reached out his hand. Intercepted uptake of cracked space crystals. His operation. Suppress the lust on the spot. He can actually use his soul power to separate objects from the sky. After obtaining the cracked crystal. Song Yunxian will immediately recall Fang Tianjin, one person, one beast confronting each other. The scene immediately raised the sword target and crossbow. In the next second, they will be entangled in the air, and Song Yunxian relied on a long planned blow, injecting the cracked crystal into the inexplicable tentacles, but he was also knocked out by Pokemon, far away. Song Yunxian silently recited a spell and hugged me without saying a word. Now, in the midst of poverty. The cracked crystal in my hand immediately exploded. Later on, he lost half of his body and became extremely destitute, appearing in front of everyone. Seeing this, Tianzi C showed a look of shock. Surprisingly, there is still such a scumbag. This is really eye-opening. But Song Yunxian had a cunning and successful expression on his face. Sorry. Now I cannot defeat the heavenly level masters. We can only make slight adjustments. I won't talk about martial arts anymore. The ferocious beast is poor and strange because it is too greedy to eat. Dare to eat food fed by strangers. But the result was blown up and the bones were nowhere to be found. Turns out it was not long ago. Song Yunxiang, due to his low cultivation level, knowing that one's own strength alone cannot defeat Qianqi. So he doesn't talk about martial arts. Using moves. Unfortunately, it was not possible to directly blow up Qi Qi to death. But Song Yunxiang's actions have been repeatedly praised by Tianzahai. He didn't expect that Jiwu Academy would be hiding tigers and dragons. By cultivating at the imperial level, one can rediscover the wonders of the heavenly level. It's unbelievable. According to literature records, there is no record of cracking, crystallization, or explosion. This person may have mastered the technique of inducing explosive empty crystals. If this method is used in military, that would be twice the result with half the effort. When the maid learned that this person was an imperial level cultivator, the mouth was instantly stretched into a concave shape. How could this be possible? There are three major realms of difference. Surprisingly, it can still inflict a heavy blow on Xiangqi. This person is probably a big shot, isn't he? After being injured by the explosion, poor and curious learned to be clever instead. Immediately dispatched Huado to attack Song Yunxiang. Attempting to exhaust Song Yunxiang's soul power. But he is responsible for remote attacks from a distance. This has made Song Yunxiang very anxious. Inject soul power into your feet immediately. Take seven steps to step on the stars. He flashed in front of Chi Chi like a ghost. Next is to give a head on blow to poor Chi. The Fang Tian halberd immediately fell into pieces. It is indeed a different realm. The construction strength maintained by soul power is also different. But my goal has been achieved. I saw Song Yunxiang raising his two fingers, reciting incantations silently, creating a race for progress. Clouds of darkness and dense movements. Give me a hug. The impoverished body exploded like fireworks. The thick smoke dissipated. But the rough skin and thick skin poor still hasn't died. Angry Healy. Carving towards Song Yunxiang. 
And Song Yunxiang held the crystal of the cracked space, waiting for the best opportunity. I saw him open his bloodthirsty mouth and bite towards Song Yunxiang. The next second, Song Yunxiang's arm was bitten off by him. After landing, Song Yunxiang recited the spell again. In an instant, the cracked crystal exploded in his abdomen. But this time luck seems to no longer favor him. At this moment, he has already disappeared into the world. After Song Yunxiang's cardiac examination, muttering to oneself in the direction of poverty. Unfortunately, his core crystal was also blown up. At this point, the guards have already released the Tianzi Si. He bowed his hand to Song Yunxiang as a gesture of gratitude. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly returned his bow, and he stated that he came to the rescue on behalf of the dean. Let Tianzi not be polite to him. Afterwards, Song Yunxiang revealed his family background. At this moment, the conversation between the two was interrupted by Lu Tongling's cough. Song Yunxiang saw an injured person, jumped up immediately, two pointers on Lu Tongling's chest, explored the extent of the injury. Soon, Song Yunxiang knew that he had been shattered by the earthquake. Soul pulse cannot operate, soul power self-healing. Then he poured a bottle of spring pill into his mouth. This has scared the nearby Tianzi Si to a stupidity. This man was just critically injured and on the brink of death, but soon he became lively and lively. The dark wounds accumulated over the years have also improved, and suddenly became 10 years younger. Turns out it was not long ago. Commander Lu, in order to protect the second prince Tianzi, as a result, he was attacked by fierce beasts. Seriously injured. Fortunately, we were rescued by Song Yunxiang in a timely manner. He managed to survive by chance. Watching Song Yunxiang give Lu Tongling the spring revival pill to take, Tianzi looked incredulous. He didn't expect it. The pill that Song Yunxiang casually took out is a fifth level holy item. And the refining method is also extremely unique. I thought you were just a dancer with exceptional combat power. I am considering whether to take you for my own use. But now there may be a single person behind you. The existence of Dao Danung. It seems we can only make friends with you now. Meanwhile, Dongcheng District, a poverty-stricken man is roaring at an old man, but in the eyes of the elderly, he's just struggling on the brink of death, only seeing. The old man raised the broken sword that had accompanied him in battle for many years. A beam of light instantly rises into the sky. With the old man shouting loudly, one sword breaks through the mountains and rivers. The terrifying beam of light fell in response. The powerful destructive power seems to be about to divide the enemy into two parts. And under the impact of the beam of light, Xiangqi also shattered inch by inch. The soldiers standing in the distance watching the battle couldn't help but secretly marvel. One move can instantly kill the heavenly level ferocious beast. Su Lao is not inferior to a master of half the holy rank. But when they turn around and look at Mr. Su again, but there is no trace of Mr. Su there anymore. On the other side, a small team failed due to mission execution. They are preparing to evacuate and join up with other teams. At this moment, Mr. Su suddenly appeared. Stop them. If you want to leave, first ask my slippers if they agree or not. The captain immediately recognized Mr. Su. It is precisely the expert who just killed Chi Chi. Scared, they quickly took out their mecha suits and prepared to file a complaint. But how could Mr. Su give them these scumbags? Slippers with terrifying power embedded in the event. It has already attacked them. I only heard a bang. The captain was photographed on a distant boulder. I haven't waited for them to react yet. Another person was cruelly stepped on by Mr. Su. What a bunch of idiots. The only way to achieve martial arts in the world is to be fast and unbreakable. Who would be foolishly waiting for you to take action? Soon, this group of scum was solved by Mr. Su on the spot. And he also carried the captain, leaving this place after a few jumps. Meanwhile, Blue City District Crack Core Battlefield. At this moment, Xiangqi has been beaten into a sieve by the soldiers. With a thunderous fall of poverty, the dean's hanging heart finally came to rest. This time, he gathered and comforted the Xuanjie soldiers, just barely fought against one of them. Winning is purely due to. Fortunately, it comes at a considerable cost as a result. At this moment, Su Lao suddenly appeared in front of him, holding the captain in hand. The dean hurriedly lifted the mech and saluted Mr. Su. Mr. Su directly left the captain to handle, but the dean is curious. Why did Mr. Su hand over this person to him? Originally, it was Mr. Su who suspected. Chang Wei Jun and Mizars have been infiltrated. That's why he handed the person over to the dean. Little did they know that someone had already targeted his eyebrows at this moment. If these spies can't beat him, they will carry out an assassination. Little did they know that at this moment, 
they were already facing a great crisis. Just as the captain ordered the old man to be shot, a dagger pierced through the mecha aimed at the old man. I haven't waited for the captain to react yet. He was also caught alive on the spot by the other party's possession net. Su Lujian's group of spies have been solved. He immediately praised the dean for taking control of the overall situation. There is indeed a set of strategies and strategies. Afterwards, he resigned from the dean, leaping towards the direction of the northern urban area. But the dean is skeptical. What he is really interested in is the second prince. Still the mysterious Song Yunxiang. On the other side, Yin Qin was running towards Song Yunxiang, holding the cracked crystal in his arms. Song Yunxiang didn't expect this crazy woman to be so powerful. Unexpectedly able to peel off all the cracked crystals. Seeing so many superior cracked crystals, the second prince immediately invited Song Yunxiang. Sell the cracked crystal to him. He will give Song Yunxiang a generous reward. This move aligns with Song Yunxiang's intention. He happens to need a long-term stable buyer. At this moment, Yin Qin also noticed the second prince. So he immediately released his mech and paid respects to the second prince. Song Yunxiang only found out now. The Shangwan family is the main faction that supports the second prince. Originally, the rebellion of officials in the past life. It is related to the death of the second prince. At this moment, the maid looked reluctant and took out all her belongings. He doesn't understand. Why does the master want to buy split air crystals from Song Yunxiang? Directly order to diligently go and peel it off. Isn't that enough? But Lu Tongling told him. Obtain cracked crystal. The difficulty lies not in peeling. But it's about the method of killing. They will soon complete the transaction. Song Yunxiang also gave the second prince a special postal service as a gift. Directly cast a spell to store the cracked crystals in the storage suit. Looking at the storage clothes handed over by Song Yunxiang, the second prince was as stunned as a chicken. Song Yunxiang has brought him too much shock. At this moment, the second prince thought to himself. He must make good friends with this person. Even if you can't pull yourself into your own camp, we must never be enemies with them. On the way back, Song Yunxiang looked puzzled. Why is there no scent of Ace in here? Has he already successfully left the Dome City? It seems like it's time to go home and see our past lives. Dome City was destroyed in this tidal wave. More than a month later, my hometown has also been engulfed by dampness. I luckily escaped from the dampness. Later, he was rescued by the Xuanjia captain who came to rush for help. Now there is still enough time for it. I need to focus on cultivating and becoming stronger. Remembering the regret of losing a loved one in a past life. At this moment, sensing danger, Song Yunxiang immediately lifted his leg and kicked out. But he was easily caught by the other person with one hand. Spiritual young man meets the gatekeeper with exceptional martial arts skills. It's like seeing a peerless treasure. I immediately had a bad idea in my heart. He wants to bring the old man for an experiment. But the master is still old and refined. At a glance, it was clear that he had a plan. Just now, Song Yunxiang, who rushed to the crisis, suddenly kicked out but he was easily caught by Su Lao. He sighed inwardly that the little one only had the peak cultivation of the yellow rank, but able to be so vigilant. Sure enough, it's hidden deep enough. At this moment, Song Yunxiang also saw the person coming clearly. He didn't expect it. The gatekeeper is actually a grand master of the heavenly rank, and he immediately thought of. This person should be the heavenly level master in the mouth of the dean. So he immediately clasped his fists and saluted Mr. Su. Knowing Su Lao's name taboo, Lu Tongling's face paused. He knows that Mr. Su is a legend. Companion is the first of the three swords in Nanjo, with a 10,000 mile sword. Entering the heavenly stage at the age of only 30. Famous stunt, breaking through mountains and rivers with one sword. Traverse the eastern continent. Once, one person rushed to the battlefield in Beijing and lost support. One moved to slay three empty ships in formation, turning the tide of the battle. Later I heard that. In order to break the invincibility of the rapid pursuit, resolute hermit, experience the true essence, beyond oneself, just to give to ordinary star soul masters without the qualifications of ordinary people, embark on a path to holiness, and the so-called ordinary people, the person selected by the original soul jade mecca. The immortal only left 108 soul jade meccas for the human race at the beginning, so if the selected amateur has enough cultivation, it can clear the mind. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly realized that something was wrong. Why didn't the dean arrange for Mr. Su to come and rescue him? Indeed, he did come. And Su, as a semi-holy powerhouse. How could the second prince of his past life still die here? Do you think so? 
There are even more terrifying experts here than Mr. Su, thinking of this moment. Song Yunxiang couldn't help but look at Su Lao. A sudden flash of inspiration flashed in my mind. In this era, we haven't established a regular star soul master yet. A cultivation system that breaks through the quality of the holy rank. If I could train a holy army, isn't it possible to crush the entire era? And this old Su in front of me, that's my best experimental subject. This made the sharp old Su feel. Song Yunxiang is very abnormal. Why is Song Xiaozi? Your gaze reveals the excitement of a chef seeing rare ingredients. You kid won't have any more crooked ideas, will you? Song Yunxiang awkwardly quickly denied it. In my heart, I am secretly sighing that Su Lao is indeed a mature and refined person, observing the details. Although Mr. Su knew that Song Yunxiang was pretending, but he doesn't continue to dwell on this issue. But it's about asking if Song Yunxiang is a layman of Zhu CI. Seeing that Mr. Su also believes that he is a layman of Zhu CI, Song Yunxiang admitted with a silly smile, and also asked them to protect themselves. After secretly learning about Song Yunxiang's amateur identity, the doubts in the second prince's heart dissipated as well. But Su Lao questioned Song Yunxiang. How to cross three major realms and kill Qiongqi? Is there still some undisclosed secret hidden behind it? Unable to achieve Song Yunxiang's helplessness, I have no choice but to recount the process of killing Kunki again. But there was also an explosion of empty crystals among them, has aroused the interest of Mr. Su. So Song Yunxiang had to tell everyone another story. It turns out that he carved a formation on the cracked crystal. Then, using alchemy techniques, the results of catalytic reversal of void crystallization, causing space collapse and explosion. At this moment, Son Yunxiang suddenly felt someone approaching, but Mr. Su was sweating profusely. He didn't expect Song Yunxiang's perception to be even sharper than him. By chance, a man returns to 60 years ago, playing with high-end technology in one go. The pill that is easily refined is a sacred product. It can also use the crystals of ferocious beasts to create explosions. It can even instantly trigger three level 5 defense arrays. His endless methods shocked everyone, and all of this. All to protect the second prince and complete the mission. Just after sensing someone approaching, the guards are like a formidable enemy. Quickly set up a defensive position to protect the second prince and others. Song Yunxiang relied on his keen perception. Immediately know that the enemy is divided into 8 groups, totaling 24 people. There is also a heavenly rank stronger among them. This makes him very puzzled. In order to kill a second prince in the district, Milun Kingdom. As for setting up such a big battle. And the second prince also suspects, can so many mysterious experts infiltrate the country to subdue enemies? I'm afraid his eldest prince wanted to kill him. At this moment, Song Yunxiang quickly reminded everyone, there is also a heavenly rank powerhouse hidden in the dark. Su Lao was once again shocked by Song Yunxiang. He didn't expect Song's perception to be so keen. Even he didn't notice that strong guy, the breath of the person. The enemy saw that their whereabouts had been exposed. Immediately order your subordinates to kill the second prince. However, Song Yunxiang was already prepared. I saw him throwing the town hall into the air. Three defense formations are instantly generated. Then throw a bottle directly to Mr. Su, and instructed him to protect the second prince well. At the same time, he should also be vigilant against the strong hidden in the dark. Looking at the pill in hand, Mr. Su was shocked to the point of incoherence. Under the enemy's repeated beam attacks, the defense array arranged by Song Yunxiang is not only fine, but also, instead, it also absorbed the enemy's soul power beam. At this moment, Song Yunxiang leaped up. Just go pick up those miscellaneous fish. Upon seeing this, Lu Tongling also headed straight for the enemy captain. But he was mocked by the other party. The flashy decoration of Mecca. All useless and redundant structures. This angered Lu Tongling on the spot. He decided to give this red and green crab a chubby beating. Then the two of them stood directly together. The miscellaneous fish hiding in the dark on the other side wants to launch a surprise attack, but ended up being pricked by Song Yunxiang with a deep chill. In less than a moment, he cleaned up all the miscellaneous fish nearby. And this scene was also seen by the enemy captain. He didn't expect the Lubu Mecha to appear here. Is it because of the waste of Taiha mercenaries that they have failed? Just as he was stunned, Lu Tong let a move and the Chilin swung its tail, directly knocking him off the ground. In less than a moment, the battle situation will enter a white heat stage. Song Yunxiang dealt with those miscellaneous fish one level at a time, and it can also control the force, leave a living mouth behind. However, 
When the second prince saw Song Yunxian's envoy, Luo Yu, beheading him, he no longer remained calm. The reason is that Falling Moon Slash is a famous skill of the commander of the Xuanjia Guard, Commander Dillon. As one of the eight generals of the Heavenly Capital, a holy rank stronger. Always adhering to the path of being a loyal minister. Not participating in factional disputes. Extremely low-key in handling things. The second prince thought to himself. If we can pull Song Yunxiang into our own camp. Perhaps the Xuanjia position is due to. This is no longer neutral. This old man is like the ceiling of the awesome world. Can catch a 40 meter battle with one hand. With a casual slap. The enemy mecha was dried and shattered into thin pieces, and all he did was to protect the second prince. Just as the war was raging, Song Yunxiang overlooked a small miscellaneous fish due to negligence. He swung his sword to solve the battle, but when he chopped it down, he realized something was wrong. It turned out that Mr. Su caught his fight empty-handed. It's really a matter of relying on the wind and the sun. Moral decay. A dignified successor. Surprisingly attacking unarmed elderly people. Shameless little guy. After speaking, Mr. Su's aura instantly emanated. Then jump in place, directly crush the mecha arm of the small miscellaneous fish. Then he cut off his other arm with one hand. The little miscellaneous fish instantly lost its combat ability. But it's not over yet. I saw Mr. Su clapping his palm. Get him straight down. Song Yunxiang in the distance silently watched everything. He knows that Su Lao attacks the vulnerable joints of the enemy. It is deliberately creating the effect of dismantling mecha by hand. Thus, stimulate the battle of the powerful hidden in the dark. On the other hand, Lu Tongling also gained the upper hand. I saw him swing the Qilin tail again. The captain was blasted hundreds of meters away by him like a shell. Captain, I can't figure it out. The other party was just injured in dying. Why is it becoming so fierce now? Is there an error in the intelligence? Now the target has an additional Bo Mecha by their side. There is also a semi-holy powerhouse. It seems that we can only invite that one out. Captain, don't think too much anymore. Kneel directly on one knee. Enemy experts are too strong. I earnestly request the assistance of the Holy Envoy. At this moment, the Holy Envoy hiding in the dark finally revealed his true identity. What a bunch of useless trash. In the end, I still need the Heavenly Holy Sect to clean up the mess. Everyone saw that the strong man was a member of the Demon Sect. One after another, they all showed a formidable presence as if facing a formidable enemy. Like in flat, the heavenly holy sect, also known as the demon sect, a superpower that controls half of the military and political affairs of the kingdom of Milun. Based on past knowledge, two peak divine level warriors in the eastern continent. One of them is the ancestor of Ping Tian, another king sitting in Shishue. 400 years ago, the sudden disappearance of the eastern heavenly emperor is unknown. The illegitimate son of King Milun Fudong ascends to power. I am acting as a regent behind the scenes. The eldest daughter of the emperor took the opportunity to meet with Zishuibo in the three eastern states, self-proclaimed as emperor. When illegitimate children grow up, undercover united water-absorbing nation defeats the dragon king, established the heavenly capital kingdom again. Unexpectedly, the mysterious dragon king was annexed by the ancestor Ping Tian on his deathbed helped him establish the myriad kingdom in Beijing. So far, the once unified Eastern Heavenly Empire is now divided into three parts. Although the Heavenly Capital Kingdom does not have any divine level powerhouses to sit in, but there are many saintly level powerhouses. Barely maintaining a delicate balance among the three forces, but Song Yunxiang felt something was wrong. Ping Tian Xingzong has never supported military expansion. Is it that something has happened in the kingdom of Milun? At this moment, the holy messenger of Man Luo leaped down in one fell swoop. The pile fighting mecha then disappeared in front of everyone. This woman relied on her exceptional military prowess. How dare you come out to challenge the gatekeeper? But the gatekeeper is not easy to deal with either. In the end, she was forcibly taken down by the gatekeeper. Just now, Man Luo was driving the second generation mass produced mecha. Just one strike made Lu Tongling lose his combat ability. But his goal is obviously not Commander Lu. But rather, it seems like Mr. Su has no strength to bind the chicken in his hands. I saw him slowly pulling out the plank path from behind. A jump rushed towards Mr. Su. Electric light and flint room. Mr. Su raised his broken sword to block his attack. Powerful shock wave. Directly shake off the guards standing nearby. Watching the battle between Su Lao and Man Luo. The second prince soon realized. Man Luo relies on the performance of Mets to enhance. It seems to be even stronger than Mr. Su. 
but now he can't bear to think too much. The aftermath of the battle instantly shattered the defensive array. Song Yunxiang hurriedly took them to a safe place. But how could Man Luo be so easy? Let them easily leave. While fighting against Mr. Su, he also took the opportunity to throw his sword and shoot at Song Yunxiang. Song Yunxiang, who can have super strong perception. How could one not know that danger was approaching? A stepping star. Easily dodged the attacks of two war knives in just seven steps. However, he took advantage of Su Lao's distraction. Worried about Son Yunxian's urgency, kicked Su Lao out a few hundred meters with just one kick. The attacks of two swords also followed one after another, but it was easily resolved by Su Lao. When Mr. Su regains his senses and looks at him again, there has long been no trace of him there. Turns out he's already behind Mr. Su. Suddenly caught off guard, Su Lao hit him again. The powerful force directly blasted Su Lao into the wall. Paul half step holy level stronger unexpectedly being suppressed by the peak of the heavenly rank. Angry Mr. Su instantly unleashed his momentum. An extremely domineering yellow beam of light rises into the sky. Mr. Su wants Man Luo to taste his strongest blow, but Man Luo was smiling and mocking Su Lao. This killing move is indeed incredibly powerful, but if it's empty, it will become meaningless. However, how could Mr. Su not know the truth behind it? This is because he fought against the holy rank powerhouse and the strongest blow developed through research, after discovering something wrong, Man Luo hurriedly wanted to escape and dodge, but obviously, he was already surrounded by Su Lao's attack at this time, the next second, he will be hit with the strongest blow, the heavenly divine fire pearl blasted down with a loud bang, as the smoke dissipates, a dilapidated mecha, suddenly appearing in front of everyone, Song Yunxiang suddenly showed a look of shock, Unexpectedly, the second generation mecha of the kingdom of Milun, surprisingly so strong. It seems that we need to find a way to get this mecha. However, Su Lao also surprised Man Luo boldly. He didn't expect Mr. Su to, surprisingly, with such a broken mecha, give such a powerful blow. So he also decided to show his trump card. I saw him activate the command system with a hint of Wang Wei's command, demonic disintegration mode, a mecha resembling a magical painting suddenly appearing in front of everyone. This old man was particularly fierce in the last second. Bomb the enemy's mecha into an unnatural shape. The next second, I was pricked with a chilling sensation. He even had his head chopped off by the other party. Since Mr. Su used his strongest killing move, Manro also decided to show his trump card. I saw him switch out of the system. Activate the demonic disintegration mode. A mecha with near winning power. Instantly appeared in front of Mr. Su. I haven't waited for Mr. Su to recover from his shock yet. Man Luo has disappeared in place. When he reappears, it's already behind Mr. Su. No accidents. Su Lao was kicked hard by him. Following that, he used spatial cracks to flash in front of Su Lao again. Take off one of Su's arms as soon as the knife falls from his hand, and then I'll give Mr. Su another kick to make up for it. The strength of semi-saints and quasi-saints is really far apart. Next, under his fierce attack, Mr. Su had no strength to fight back. Su Lao still wants to fight back vigorously. Just as Manlo kicked Su Lao again, he quickly grabbed Manlo's leg and was about to counterattack, but Manro was even faster than him. One knife pierced through his body. Then he grabbed his head and swung a knife to chop it off, and then suddenly collapsed towards his body that was about to fall. He hit the ground like a shell. At this moment, Manlo returned to the ground with his mech head in hand. Squeeze it out without saying a word. The powerful power is truly intoxicating. I am now. Don't say that sand petals seep into soil scale, even when facing the true holy rank powerhouse. Perhaps it also has the power of World War I. At this moment, Mr. Su was coughing blood nonstop. But he disregarded the pain. Take out a bottle directly from your pocket. Song Yunxian gave him the six-star Chaoxing bullet. Back then, Song Yunxian was also just in case. That's why I gave Mr. Su the super shot in advance. Now it's time to take a look at Mr. Su after taking the pill. How will the effect be? And Su Laogang took a loss to close the Dan Empress. Just enter the state of enlightenment. At this moment, he has already entered the depths of his heart. There is his deepest obsession. More than 30 years ago. He is already in the middle of the heavenly stage. In that battle, he suffered a crushing defeat. Only because. He offended Huang Miaoying the powerful saint of the creek and water pool. The other party is a layman of Wenzhong. In his eyes, ordinary star soul masters are nothing but ants. Not to mention trying to kidnap his innocent niece. 
If it weren't for his niece Suer pleading for mercy, he had long wanted to kill Su Lao, and this battle also brought shame to Su Lao. He shaved his hair as an oath, swearing to find the path to becoming a regular star soul master. If you do not enter the holy rank, you will no longer step into Westwater Lake. But as soon as he enters the holy rank, it's the day he came to propose marriage to the royal family of Shishue Kingdom, also to this holy rank powerhouse who dismantled them. At the challenge of Huang Niaoyin, sooner or later, I will crush this hundred foot high wall, take you out of the royal cage. Thinking of this moment, Su's eyes suddenly opened. The body is emitting violent soul power fluctuations. This girl relies on advanced mecha equipment. Complain an old man wearing an antique mecha. Unexpectedly, things quickly turned around. I saw the old man take out a sugar bean and swallow it. His momentum instantly climbed to the extreme. Just use one move to knock the girl unconscious. Just recently, Su Lao, who took the super quiet pill, instantly breaking through to the first level of the holy rank in cultivation. The pressure emanating from it made Manraton feel uncomfortable. It's the aura only found in the holy rank. What exactly did the dead old man eat just now? It seems that we need to find a way to escape. Su Lao has broken through to the holy rank, as expected by Song Yunxian, although it has broken through, but it shouldn't last long. This also indicates a problem. The saying goes that a swift person cannot enter the holy spirit. It can be broken by external forces. In the future, there will be no more distinctions between saints and mortals. It seems that we need to find a chance in the future. Teach Mr. Su the true extraordinary martial arts and give it a try. At this moment, Mr. Su finally understands. Why does Huang Niaoyin say that under the holy rank? All our ants. It turns out that the two are fundamentally different. I saw him raise his hand and grab it. The broken mecha talisman instantly returned to his hands. Sorry, old man. I hope you can still withstand the power of the holy rank. Man Luo wants to interrupt Su Lao enough to install mecha, but he couldn't break free from Su Lao's pressure. Soon a golden mech appeared in front of everyone. Now in his eyes, Manlo is like an ant. I saw him casually waving at Manlo. Manluo flew backwards like a shell. Su Lao seizes the victory to pursue. A flash appeared in front of Manlo. Without saying a word, he swung at him with one hand. The powerful force directly tied his mecha star knot. And he was also knocked unconscious by Su Lao's blow. But the medicinal power of the nearby pill was also exhausted by Su Lao. Captain Sword Saint, who was hiding in the distance, has already been captured alive. He quickly ordered his subordinates to retreat. But before they could start running, they were surrounded by groups. It turns out that the Dean has already brought his subordinates to this place. Song Yunxiang couldn't help but sigh that the Dean is really an old fox. Calculate the time to clean up the battlefield. But he doesn't care about these achievements, fame, and wealth. While everyone was complimenting each other, Song Yunxiang silently put away Manlua's mecha suit. Then go and help up Su Lao, who has consumed excessive soul power. But Mr. Su is sighing. Washed such a precious super shot, if taken in a better condition, maybe, he can sense a glimmer of opportunity to break through the bottleneck. Seeing the situation, Song Yunxian quickly bent down and whispered to Su Lao, okay, I'll give you another one later. Mr. Su found a place to seclude himself, and his insight is. After listening, Su Lao instantly became no longer calm. He didn't expect Song Yunxian to have another lesson left, but he didn't know. The copied Jingdan is not precious in Song Yunxian's eyes. He thought he owed Song Yunxian a huge favor. But Mr. Su quickly revealed that. Song Yunxian is not the fate of a simple Zua CI person. And he said he will help him deal with the battle marks left behind. Let him pretend to be a Zua CI amateur with peace of mind. Just consider it as repaying half of his favor. Since World War I in Beijing District. Song Yunxian returned to the Jiwu Academy and began practicing in seclusion. With the assistance of pills and formations, he only took three days to cultivate to the early stage of the earth level. He has used up all the pills. So he activated his brain and prepared to contact manager Hong. But his dialogue box is full of missed calls and messages. The unbearable Song Yunxian, directly blacklist Yan Qin. Then I'll dial the dean's phone number. He wants to know why the female fox is looking for him. The phone has just been connected. Just came the dean's cursing and cursing. Accuse him of constantly activating do not disturb mode. Song Yunxian, however, had an innocent expression on his face. He turned around and accused the dean of making some military achievements and receiving training, causing him no peace these past few days. I had to hide and close the door to thank the guests. After knowing the reason, the dean hurriedly opened the topic. Okay, okay, today, over there, 
I have already supplemented your amateur certification for you. I will make this public at the celebration ceremony. Actually, I'm doing this for your own good. Song Yunxian looked puzzled. He thought to himself, the female fox probably has some ulterior motives, right? But that's okay. He can openly use the star system. Copy Mecca. Seeing Song Yunxian still has a displeased expression on his face. The dean no longer paid attention to it. Just notifying Song Yunxian to come over to the attack and defense training ground quickly. The reason is that Song Yunxian taught him the design drawings a few days ago. Now that the attack and defense are ready. Tested prototype. After hanging up the phone, Song Yunxian is still puzzled. He didn't understand that the female fox was targeting him, this big fish. Still want to use him as bait. But Song Yunxian also didn't want to think too much about it. Because he is confident in breaking through to the holy realm within a year. At that time, the entire eastern continent could threaten him. Only two divine sword tigers. Although Dome City suffered heavy losses this time, but at least suppressed the dampness, and also destroyed the conspiracy of the kingdom of Milun. It can also be considered as changing the trajectory of this life's destiny. As for those guys who chased after Asen, what was found on my body, the second prince should be able to use it even if he brings it back to heaven. Mr. Su also received the steamed egg I gave him. It should be closed and broken through somewhere now. As for Yen Xin, this crazy woman, he also got the shortcut I gave him to crack the air. Damn it. Why did I blackmail him without waiting for him to transfer the money? Song Yunxian was like this without realizing it. Arriving at the memorial square. Looking at the names of those people on the Wiling Steel. His heart was somewhat touched. Although I know there have been many casualties this time. But he didn't expect so many people to still die. After a moment of melancholy and melancholy. Song Yunxian arrives at the training ground. The dean will immediately send him the prepared test board sample. Currently, based on your design drawings, only three units have been completed, the other two. There are still some technical issues that have not been resolved. By the way, this is Mr. Nangwa from Muay Thai Heavy Industry. The test version prototype is what they are responsible for making. Next, the dean also introduced Song Yunxiao to Mr. Nangwa. After learning that the person in front of me was Song Yunxiao, Mr. Nangwa suddenly showed a look of shock. Kneel down immediately in front of Song Yunxian. This scares the dean quite a bit. He doesn't know. Why did Mr. Nangwa go down to Song Yunxian, a highly respected senior? Unexpectedly kneeling and bowing to a student. This scared the dean on the side quite a bit. He doesn't understand Nangwa. Sir, why did you suddenly come to such a place? It turned out that Song Yunxian was on his way back to the Jiwu Academy, encountering workers in a refinery surrounded by ferocious beasts. Song Yunxiang intervened in a timely manner to save him. They were spared from the disaster. Save your life. Now he is representing all employees to thank Song Yunxiang. At the same time, he also has a heartless feeling. That's why he wants to know. Is the design by Song Yunxiang? And Song Yunxiang answered without hesitation. It was done by oneself. This is also an idea he came up with suddenly. I don't think there's anything special about it. After learning that it was written by Song Yunxiang, Mr. Nangwa's eyes suddenly lit up, immediately kowtow to Song Yunxiang repeatedly, requesting Song Yunxiang to accept him as his disciple. The dean quickly spoke up and advised Mr. Nangwa not to joke. Song Yunxiang is just a first-year student at a street dance house, and you are a grand fourth-level technician. He doesn't even qualify to lift your shoes. Mr. Nangwa waved his hand to interrupt the dean's words. Indicates that the dean does not understand construction engineering. But in terms of Song Yunxiang's several design drawings, his attainments have far exceeded the sixth class formula, on carrying, or is he not worthy? Mr. Song, I would like to recommend you to visit Tiandu City, representing Jigong City, Lanzhou. Attend the Mecca Design Conference three months later. Song Yunxiang pondered slightly. He knows about the second generation Mecca Design Conference in his past life. Due to various issues with the Mecca, fetal death occurred in the abdomen. So he didn't rashly agree just passing the buck and asking for it in the future. But the stubborn Mr. Nangwa still insists that Son Yunxiang accept him as his disciple. Son Yunxiang felt helpless. I had to express that I would try my best to share and communicate with him. The dean also quickly came out to smooth the situation. Signal them to test the performance of the prototype first before proceeding. But Mr. Nangwa played with and. He even identified himself as a named disciple of Son Yunxiang. His stubbornness made Song Yunxian laugh and cry uncontrollably. Soon, Song Yunxian constructed the first testing machine, as his instructions were given. 
the sharp cannon fired out in unison. The shooting range is about to explode into a huge deep pit. The power of the explosion barely met Song Yunxian's expectations. Then he switched the naval gun to a cellular gun, and the target was also sieved by the grenade. As soon as the time comes, the target was reduced to ashes in the explosion. After seeing the grenade explode, the dean was secretly shocked. He knows. This mecha will become a ferocious beast or a winning soldier in the future. Nightmare spirit young man only saved the old man's life. But the old man chased after him and wanted to worship him as his teacher. The young man noticed that the old man's talent was extremely poor, so I politely refused him. But the old man still doesn't give up, unexpectedly shamelessly pretending to be his prostitute disciple. Song Yunxiang was made to laugh and cry by the old man's move. Helplessly, he had to satisfy his mischievous behavior. Then Song Yunxiang began testing the prototype made by the old man. The firepower of the first mecha barely met his expectations. He started testing the second mecha without saying a word. The mayfly flying sword flew out smoothly under his sole power control. Surrounding the target is like crazy piercing. This scene made the dean couldn't help but sigh. If this mecha is controlled by an elite, it's easy to annihilate several small teams of enemies at the same level. It is indeed as the dean thought. The mayfly flying sword not only requires powerful divine power induction, and precise soul power control is also needed. At the same time, we also need to have a certain understanding of the structure of enemy mecha. This is how we can penetrate the defense, achieve a one-hit kill effect. Otherwise, it will only become a tool for harassing the enemy. Soon, Song Yunxiang constructed the third mecha again. When the dean saw that the weapons of the mecha were neither decent nor unique, immediately determined that his strength is only average. But Mr. Nanwa doesn't think so. He knows, there is nothing technically commendable about this mecha. But he shook the mecha's battle. At this point, the application of the technique. Song Yunxiang instructed the dean to utilize the college's defense formation, simulate some torches for him to practice. He wants to test the combat power of this mecha. Soon, a group of calamities rush towards him. Song Yunxiang, immediately activate the protective shield. Switched to melee mode, Pado disappeared completely under his crazy shooting. The dean only then realized Song Yinxiang's intention. I see, defensive counterattack against high-speed enemies in charge. If these mechas can be deployed on the front line, that's really exciting. At this moment, Song Yunxiang connected to the video of Manager Hong. Manager Hong told him that the airport route has been restored. We can depart in the afternoon. Song Yunxiang smiled and thanked Manager Hong. Then he asked him to help follow the previous list. Go and purchase various spiritual medicines for a small target. Upon hearing this, the shopkeeper Hong showed a surprised expression on his face. Another small goal. Song Gongzi's entire Nanjo medicinal herb market. You have caused everything to skyrocket. But Song Yunxiang didn't take it seriously. Just instruct him to make sure everything is done properly. At this point, the dean is already planning to test the prototype in his mind. He's thinking about how to deceive Song Yunxiang. Give him the design drawings. Unexpectedly, after Song Yunxiang handed over the testing machine to Mr. Nangua, also instructed him to learn from excellent instructors and students, select a suitable new soul master. Let them adapt to the combat effectiveness of these mechas as soon as possible. This can really mess with the dean. He doesn't understand what Song Yunxiang is for. But Song Yunxiang's next words instantly woke him up. Song Yunxiang hopes that he will fulfill his promise. One month later, leading elite forces to rush to aid the Southern Wilderness Defense Line. Southern Wilderness Defense Line is the joint defense line between Tiandu Kingdom and Shishue Kingdom. Have you learned any important information? But Song Yunxian stopped his questioning, just indicating that we will notify him when we have accurate information. Then he bid farewell. A few people left gracefully. Soon, Song Yunxian arrived at the empty island of the Dome City. At this moment, a man and the staff had a dispute. Song Yunxiang instinctively looked over there. Unexpectedly, I saw a little girl from a past life. Surprisingly, it's you. I didn't expect us to meet again. If there are ferocious beasts ravaging the human world, you narrowly escaped death. But I haven't eaten for many days. Someone is giving you half of the steamed buns at this time. At the same time, it is also agreed that you will be the hero who protects the human race. What decision will you make? Previous life, Song Yunxiang kept the agreement with the little girl. Always stick to the human race until the last moment of life. Now encountering a little girl again, he couldn't help but recall the past life events. In the previous generation, Song Yunxiang followed refugees to escape from the Dome City. 
heading south into the death desert. They naively thought that there was no civilization in the desert. There shouldn't be any ferocious beasts attacking, so as soon as people enter the desert, everyone stopped to rest one after another. And Song Yunxian quickly sat down to recover his strength. At this moment, a little girl suddenly came to his side. Just hand over the steamed buns and let him eat them directly. The innocent little girl thought that as long as Song Yunxian was full, we have the strength to protect these ordinary people. Looking at the little girl in front of me, he was stunned for a while, but he still pretended not to be hungry. Let the little girl stay and eat with her family. He knows that in this situation, food will become even more precious. But at this point, the stomach just doesn't feel good. Been moaning incessantly, Song Yunxian suddenly showed an awkward expression. The little girl saw this and split the bun in half, then distribute half to him. Then the little girl asked Song Yunxian, Are you a student from the Technical and Martial Arts Academy? Because his sister is wearing this kind of clothing, but sister, in order to make them escape. Finally, I chose to stay in the city to intercept the ferocious beasts, buy them time. When I think of my sister, the little girl couldn't help but cry, but he told himself not to cry. His father is Ji Gongchang from Muay Thai Heavy Industry. In the future, he will also be like his father, create powerful mechas, eliminate all these ferocious beasts. But he hasn't finished speaking yet, but the rabbit is growling. Song Yunxian quickly gave him the steamed buns. I didn't expect the little girl to not only refuse, I still have to watch him finish the buns. Only in this way can we have the strength to protect them well. Song Yunxian felt helpless. I have to meet his demands. After seeing Song Yunxian finish eating the buns, the little girl immediately talked to Song Yunxiang about the future. If in the future he becomes a master Ji Gong, Song Yunxiang will become his exclusive testing new soul master. This can stump Song Yunxiang. I don't know how to respond to him. And the little girl seems to be afraid that Song Yunxiang won't agree. Immediately extend your hand to hook up with Song Yunxiang. Seeing such a sincere and lovely little girl, Song Yunxiang couldn't bear to hurt his heart. So we hooked up with him, agreed to abide by commitments. Afterwards, they introduced themselves to each other. Only then did Song Yunxiang know his name was Tang Xiaolong. At this point, Xiaowen's mother also found this. The two of them bid farewell to each other here. Unfortunately, it still arrived unexpectedly. Although the desert won't attract extraterrestrial killers, but they, but it awakened the fierce beast sleeping under the desert. They once met because of half a bun. The man also made an agreement with the little girl. We need to protect the human race well. I didn't wait long for the little girl to leave. The fierce beasts in the desert suddenly emerged and launched an attack. The man used all his strength to kill the fierce beast. But the little girl and mother have long been buried in the mouth of the fierce beast. This makes men deeply saddened. Now let's live a new life. Song Yunxiang wants to completely change Xiaowen's fate. In the reception hall, Xiaowen's father, Tang Jinshue, is still arguing with the staff. But he has already been dismissed by Tai Xian's heavy attack lost the privilege of boarding the ship. The staff did not allow their family to board the ship. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly appeared, and instruct the staff to, take them to your private room. Then he took out a supreme card. The staff member's face changed instantly upon seeing this, and welcomed them aboard with a smile. But Tang Jinshui showed a skeptical expression. He didn't understand why the young man in front of him wanted to help him. But the person who can take out the supreme card is either rich or noble. At this point, my niece Ruo Wei said that Song Yunxiang is a student of the Chicken Dance Academy, and even saved his life when the tide broke out. Mr. and Mrs. Tang Jinshue will have a meeting soon. It turns out that Song Yunxiang helped them out because of his involvement in microeducation. Little did they know that their daughter was the true master. Soon, the group arrived at the Tianzi No. 1 cabin. Manager Hong will come out immediately to hold Song Yunxiang's thigh. Long day no see. Song Gongzi's demeanor remains the same. After a friendly exchange, the two of them went straight to the main topic. Manager Hong took out the spiritual medicine that Song Yunxiang needed and handed it to him, and proposed a time. Seaweed can transfer to the garden when available. Afterwards, I bid farewell to everyone. Not long after leaving, the maid came to inquire about what kind of meal Song Yunxiang needed. Song Yunxiang didn't expect the maid to be a demon tribe. This also evoked memories of his past life. In his past life, Song Yunxian was in the secret realm of the Earth Spirit, unfortunately caught up in space cracks, and the turbulence of space brought him to the Southern Continent. The Southern Continent is a mixed land of demon and spirit races. The human race has actually become a rare species among them. 
There are differences between the southern and eastern continents. There is no technology for mass production of mechas here. Space cracks and ferocious beasts are also extremely rare. According to legend, the last time I was damp was 500 years ago. The demon race and spirit race are inherently imbalanced due to the star soul two veins. Therefore, it is extremely difficult for them to become star soul masters. Those who can install mechas are even rarer. The unique inheritance of the demon tribe's refined flesh body, and after the alchemy skills of the spiritual race, accepted as a personal disciple by Dojan Patriarch. Unfortunately, the Mecca of Dojan ancestor in the Great War 500 years ago, sealed by the Five Elements formation. At that time, Song Yunxian was not yet proficient in the art of formation, so I missed the opportunity to replicate the inner Mecca. At this moment, the maid's words interrupted Song Yunxian's thoughts. Song Yunxian gently indicated on his forehead that he was fine, but in my heart, I was thinking, I don't know if there's still a chance to go to the southern desert again. He wants to make up for his past regrets. By the way, unravel those unsolved mysteries. If this yellow-haired person doesn't agree, he will fight demons. I even want to kill that demon tribe alive, because his family was killed by a rebellious demon tribe. So whenever he sees the demon race, he can't control himself. Just now. When Song Yunxiang asked everyone what they wanted to eat, Xiao Wen suddenly came out and said he wanted to eat steamed buns. Mother hurriedly covered his mouth with her hand, and repeatedly apologized to Song Yunxiang. But when Song Yunxiang learned that Xiao Wen wanted to eat steamed buns, immediately instructs Xiao Ming to find clues for the pastry master. And it was also specified to use radish as filling. Xiao Ming just left. He started to close his eyes and rest his mind. At this moment, a small hand tugged at his clothes. Song Yunxiang opened his eyes and took a look. It turns out that Xiao Wen has already arrived by his side. Then Xiao Wen asked him about it. Do you also like eating steamed buns filled with radish? Song Yunxiang replied that although he couldn't say he liked it, but since I tried it once, I feel pretty good. Upon hearing this, Xiao Wen immediately opened his small backpack. This was originally something I planned to keep for the road to eat. But to thank you, big brother, for letting us take the boat. So I'll treat you to this steamed bun. Song Yunxian looked at the bun in his hand. Memories of past lives suddenly surge into my heart, but he quickly regained consciousness from his memories, and he looked at Xiao Wen with a smile on his face, then split the buns in half. The two of them started eating steamed buns like this. In his past life, he failed to fulfill his promise to protect Xiao Wen well. In this life, he wants to change Xiao Wen's fate, let him grow happily under his clear knees. Meanwhile, Passengers in cabin number 3 want to go to the atrium for sightseeing, but he was stopped by the security guard, and have them sit back in the cabin. After the spacecraft stabilizes, the atrium will be open to them again. Naira, however, is persistent and persistent. Put on a posture where I'm just going out. Seeing this, Feig reached out and pressed his head down. At this moment, the maid Xiaoming suddenly pushed the door open and entered. The two bumped into each other while dodging and not in a hurry. Xiao Meng quickly stood up and apologized to them. At the same time, I tried to wipe Naira's skirt clean with my hands, but to my surprise, he made a taboo. As a result, he was kicked out by Feige with one kick. Then Feige gave Xiao Meng another fierce kick. The security guard wants to come forward and stop it, but it was grabbed by Nara, just a mere demon slave. If you kill us, we'll compensate you. Just as Feige was thinking of ending his little dream with a punch, Song Yunxiang suddenly appeared and grabbed his hand. Friend, this is my exclusive maid, who gave you the right to fight him hard. Then Song Yunxian's hand couldn't help but grip tightly. At this moment, Nala hurriedly stepped forward to explain her apologies. This senior, he would do this when he saw the demon slaves of the Cat Ear tribe. Please forgive me a lot, here is 50,000 jade coins. Just treat it as our impulsive compensation. What do you think, senior? Looking at Xiaoyuda, Song Yunxian fell into contemplation and Feige just regained his freedom. I was forced by Nara to apologize to Song Yunxiang. Song Yunxiang doesn't bother much either. Let them leave directly. Judging based on their skin color and luggage method, Song Yunxiang suspected that they were from Xiaoyuwa. Xiaoyu Kingdom is located in the southwest of Tiandu Kingdom, and the Longhai Doctor Market led by the Demon Race. Therefore, capturing the Demon Race and selling it has become an important task for Xiaoyuwa. Economic Industry so the demon race is seen by the people of Xiaoyuwa. It has become like goods, without dignity. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly heard the direction of the courtyard, bringing beautiful singing sounds. He couldn't help but look over there. 
Surprisingly, it would be him. One of the four major song machines in the future Tiandu Kingdom, Spiritual Mirror Flower. Rumors have it in his past life that he once worked as a resident singer at Red World Shipping. I didn't expect it to be true. On the fiercely swaying floating ship, others have already been knocked unconscious by the turbulence. And this man walks as if walking on a flat ground, not affected by it at all, because he can adjust muscle strength as a buffer, so as to counteract the vibration of the ship's hull. Just now, Song Yunxiang is fully focused on practicing courage. He needs to prepare in advance for the family, dealing with dampness. At this moment, the spacecraft suddenly experienced intense shaking. Has the ship already set sail? Fortunately, I reinforced the secret room with a formation, so it's not affected by bumps. After speaking, Song Yunxiang put away the refined pill. Now, based on his level cultivation, can refine the 8-star pill. It's indeed a bit forced. Meanwhile, the Xiaowen family is being shaken and feeling dizzy and dizzy. At this moment, Song Yunxian walked out of the secret room. Xiaowen quickly called for Song Yunxian to come and sit next to him, but Xiaowen's mother was shocked. He didn't expect Song Yunxian to be unaffected by the shaking. I couldn't help but sigh inwardly. The person in front of me is truly extraordinary. Ruawei also looked extremely shocked. Is Song using body movements, but it seems like relying solely on the power of one's own physical body. At this moment, Song Yunxiang had already sat next to Xiaowen. He immediately sent a message to his family, it's great to go home, I can't wait to see you guys anymore. After receiving a subpoena from Song Yunxiang, the butler hurriedly came to report the marquee to Song Jingzhong, just received a subpoena from Xiao, he is expected to arrive home tomorrow noon. Upon hearing this, Song Jingzhong immediately turned on his brilliance. See the news broadcast, Song Yunxiang has become a layman of Zhu CI. He clenched his fist in excitement, immediately instruct the butler, dispatch two array airships from the army to escort. But the butler feels like calling the warship without permission, will it be different? But Song Jingzhong scolded him to do it immediately. Looking at a family of three in the picture frame, Song Jingzhong fell into contemplation. Yunxian, this child not only cured his soul, but also, seems to have gained some kind of powerful power. Daughter-in-law, will all of this really go as you expected? Meanwhile, Xiao Meng brought the steamed buns he had just made to everyone. After tasting a bite, Xiao Wen immediately stewed and boiled it. Song Yunxian thought he was choking, but I didn't expect it to be just because the buns are so delicious. So Song Yunxian also took a sip. It seems to be bordering the middle reaches of the Linjiang River and the streams and lakes, the special practices in that area. This taste is really nostalgic. The last time I ate was at the headquarters of Suanjiawi, Lin Inchung. After learning that Baozi is good, Xiao Meng immediately revealed that Miss Jingfa had taught him the method, just as he remembered something to say to Song Yunxiang, but it was disrupted by the sound of instruments coming from outside. It turns out that Zhong Ting's performance has already begun. Have you ever seen Lu Bu pulling his hips like this? Even the fire dragon sniper has become an unattractive prop. This makes me unable to bear to look directly at you, but the audience actually likes it very much. Just because Lubu has become their role model. Just now, while everyone is tasting steamed buns, a beautiful song suddenly came from the atrium. Turns out the performance has already started. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang and Xiaowen came out to watch. And the location is still the best. Diamond Supreme District. Zhang Dagui from Cabin 2 cast a hostile gaze. Even the second young master of the Zhang family. They are not qualified to take Cabin 1. What exactly are these people from? But it looks quite ordinary, doesn't it? At this moment, Nara also saw Song Yunxian from the Supreme District. As far as he knows, people eligible to sit in the Supreme District must be a highly valued VIP of the Hong's Chamber of Commerce. For the benefit of Samaringa, we need to find an opportunity to befriend him. Classical Chinese Abandoned Pavilion To look towards the Supreme One. Unexpectedly, I saw little dream of the Demon Clan. He instantly became furious. This scared Xiao Meng so much that she immediately exploded. Seeing this, Song Yunxian turned his head and turned towards Narada. How could I sit in such a good position? It seems that their identity is extraordinary. After returning, we need to investigate further. See if they have any value to utilize. Then Song Yunxian let Xiao Meng not be afraid. Also gestured for him to sit next to him. At this point, the host came on stage to announce the upcoming program. That's the Battle of the Dome series, single rider slaying demons. Song Yunxiang immediately showed an awkward expression. No way, which one is causing trouble? Immediately after, the program began to perform. 
I saw a civilian running out for help, and behind him also came three gluttons, seeing the common people about to bury the mouth of gluttony, but it was stopped in time by three student computers. Soon they stood together with Tao Tai. Not for a while, they became the defeated subordinates of Tao Tai. At this moment, suddenly, an additional mecha appeared on stage. Originally, it was Satoshi who came to save the scene. I saw him silently recite two sentences and transform into LV Bu. The audience below immediately became enthusiastic and enthusiastic, because Lu Bu was their hero in their hearts. And LV Bu instantly extinguished those three gluttonous beasts. But the following plot is eye catching. Tang Tang's second prince Tianza Hai has been adapted into second princess. See here. Song Yin wanted to spray out all the tea she had drunk. What kind of ghost is second princess? If Tianza Hai finds out, I have to kill you all. For a long time, another strange and ferocious beast appeared on the stage. Liu Bu, in order to protect Princess Air, decisively leapfrog and fight against Tian Jiechiochi. Such heroic actions have provoked. The audience cheered incessantly. Even Zhang Dagui was thrilled to see it. After the second princess was rescued, she planned to commit to each other with her own life. But it was decisively rejected by Liu Bu. Just because he is a libertine who aspires to the world. Then he said goodbye and left directly. The second princess left alone is in chaos in the wind, but Ruowei was filled with tears in her eyes. The reason is this situation, this scene, just like Song Yunxiang, but this drama made Song Yunxiang unable to bear to look directly at it. This is too choreographed, isn't it? Acting haphazardly. Unfortunately, his words were overheard by Zhang Dagui on the side. Immediately speak out and angrily rebuke Song Yunxiang. Your Excellency, not only does it disrespect Miss Jinghua who wrote this play, even more disrespectful to the senior in the play. Please come out immediately and apologize to them, your excellency. If these two careless people don't agree, they will start fighting. The reason for the fight, all for their hero Lu Bu in their hearts. But they didn't know that Liu Bu was present at the scene, and they are still the ones they are not ashamed of. Just now, when Song Yunxiang is roast that the opera has been changed into a mess. Unfortunately, it was overheard by Zhang Dagui on the side. He immediately stepped forward and demanded an apology from Song Yunxiang. Seems like hitting you without apologizing. Song Yunxiang suddenly felt depressed. He couldn't help but wonder where the chubby guy came from as a lunatic. And Nara on the side. Seeing Song Yunxiang and Zhang Dagui having a dispute. I immediately realized that. This is a great opportunity to establish a good relationship. So the two decided to go and help Song Yunxiang. At this moment, Xiaowen jumped out and cursed Zhang Dagui for being so fat. Are you deliberately finding fault? Be careful if my older brother beats you up. You're looking for teeth all over the place. Classical Chinese Zhang Dagui suddenly became furious, cursing loudly at Xiaowen. He hates it the most when someone calls him a chubby guy. At this moment, Fi came up again to repair the knife. What's wrong with calling you a chubby guy? The person I saw was a barbarian ant from Xiaoyugua. Zhang Dagui doesn't want to cause more trouble, immediately advised them not to intervene in this matter. But by now, Fig had already taken out his mecha suit. I have a bad temper. Since you have disturbed the nature of my performance, so I can only vent my anger on you. Upon seeing this, Zhang Dagui's martial uncle also wore a mecha suit. Both sides are about to enter a tense situation of drawing swords and crossbows. At this moment, Lin Jinghua interrupted their argument with words. Can the two distinguished guests temporarily set aside the dispute? Let the young woman explain one or two. After seeing Lin Jinghua as the visitor, both of them instantly became little fans, and Song Yunxiang also secretly sighed. Although Lin Jinghua still appears slightly green and astringent now, but there is already a faint giant aura three years later. Seeing everyone this is no different, Lin Jinghua immediately said, Traditional Chinese opera has indeed undergone artistic processing. Not all the facts are true. But suddenly his art style changed. The young master in module may first have been involved in this great battle. That's why I have some roast about the content of the play. Can be used for commercial examination corridors. Adapting traditional Chinese opera is also inevitable. The young woman hopes that the young master can understand. Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang appeared embarrassed. Afterwards, Lin Jinghua wanted to help them resolve the dispute. Decided to personally perform and sing the next performance. Zhang Dagui saw a step down. Of course, I am willing to stop it. And this upcoming battle has been resolved accordingly. With the beautiful singing coming. Song Yunxian's memories from many years ago have been awakened. He used to be a Chinese fan of Lin Jinghua as well. 
Many songs are still vividly remembered to this day. Unconsciously, Lin Jinghua has finished playing and singing, but everyone is not satisfied. Still need him to do another song. He had no choice but to take out his unfinished production of Human Hearts. I hope to gain some inspiration during the live performance. This didn't even surprise Song Yunxiang. He actually created Heartburn so early on. Back then, he ignited his heart. Becoming one of the four great singers in one fell swoop. As the music plays, Song Yunxiang also hummed a song along with Lin Jinghua. Memories of past lives, suddenly floating in front of me. His humming is getting stronger and stronger. Until the whole room fell silent and suddenly woke up. Song Yunxiang suddenly fell into a bewildered expression. Until Xiaoming told him. The final part of the lyrics has not been written yet. He only realized that he was momentarily distracted. He even sang the last few lines. And the person who returns will be me as the finishing touch. Lin Jinghua has been troubled for a long time. He has always been looking forward to it in his heart. One day, I can return to my home in Shishue Berlin with integrity. Deeply emotional. Lin Jinghua immediately pays tribute to Song Yunxiang. He didn't expect to meet a kindred spirit here. This can make Song Yunxiang look embarrassed. It's like cheating on an exam. The lyrics sung by a man unintentionally. Surprisingly, the girl benefited a lot from it. Years of cultivation are also breaking through in an instant. But his intention to ascend the ranks has attracted a large number of murderers. Just now, after listening to Song Yunxiang humming and burning her heart, Lin Jinghua, the artistic conception of the lyrics made him feel a knot in his heart. The bottleneck stuck at the peak of the yellow scale is starting to loosen. Lin Jinghua immediately seized this rare opportunity, sitting in place and breaking through boundaries. After being imprisoned for a moment, a beam of light shot straight into the sky. This surprised Zhang Dagui greatly. He didn't expect that Lin Jinghua was also a new soul master. And at such a young age, he broke through to the realm of the mystical level. But everything was as expected by Song Yunxiang. As long as the mood is liberated, breaking through the bottleneck is naturally effortless. At this moment, the boundless sky was suddenly shrouded in dark clouds. Song Yunxiang immediately realized something was amiss. He didn't expect a spatial crack to appear. At this time, but everyone is still congratulating Lin Jinghua for breaking through her realm. Little did they know that danger was approaching. After Lin Jinghua thanked everyone, he immediately thanked Song Yunxiang for giving him a sudden enlightenment. I also hope that after the performance is over, Song Yunxiang can come to his place to give him some guidance. But suddenly disrupted by Song Yunxiang, this left Lin Jinghua at a loss. Meanwhile, space cracks were also detected in the cockpit. The captain immediately ordered the activation of the advanced defense formation. At the same time, issue a warning to the passengers on the ship for the arrival of a ferocious beast. Hope passengers can quickly return to the cabin. At this moment, countless fierce beasts appeared at the crack to avoid defense. They all launched attacks on the spaceship in unison. The powerful force shook the spaceship to the left and right. Just as Lin Jinghua was about to fall, Song Yunxiang flew out and caught him. This naturally cannot be without Lin Jinghua's gratitude once again. But Song Yunxiang had no time for him to worry about it. At this point, he is pondering how to quickly annihilate the ferocious beast. In the cockpit, the captain knows that the defensive formation won't last long. We must organize a counterattack force. First reduce the number of ferocious beasts. Then wait for an opportunity to break through the encirclement. At the same time, it also sends a distress signal to the nearest city requesting the garrison in the city to come and support. Soon, the security team launched a counterattack against the ferocious beast. The captain instructed the team members to take strict precautions and defend themselves. Cannot let ferocious beasts break through the defense array. At this point, the captain's voice can be heard from the cockpit, passengers, please seek refuge on the lower deck as soon as possible. The current situation is critical. If passengers have the ability to fight, New Soul Master hopes you can come and assist the security team. Joint defense against fierce beasts. Seeing this, Zhang Dagui also came up with a plan to contribute. He knows that we must work together at this time. If the defense array of the spacecraft is breached by fierce beasts, no one can live that way. But in the end, he was still carried away by his subordinates. And Naira also thinks that what Zhang Dagui said is right. They must come forward to help. Otherwise, I would really die here. At this point, Song Yunxiang had already taken out his mecha suit, but this scene happened to be seen by Ruowei. Isn't that my mecha suit? I thought it was lost in the last battle. I also applied for a new one. I didn't expect he found it. He has been carrying my mech with him all along. These drones are actually ferocious beasts. 
At this moment, they are crazily outputting towards the floating sword, and the location of the attack, they are all weak groups in the defense array. The captain immediately ordered his subordinates, dispatched the security team to defend the formation, but his subordinates told him, the security team is all guarding the ship and fighting fiercely, unable to step forward to protect the defense array. After learning about this matter, the captain is also extremely helpless. Now, he only entrusted his hope to the few distinguished guests in the courtyard. I hope the stronger among them can stand up and face the challenge, and the fierce beasts in this time and space suddenly change their formation. Immediately after, a huge beam of light struck down directly. In an instant, the defense array was shattered by the light pillar. Seeing that falling boulder about to smash the cutting machine to death, at this moment, a defensive talisman shot rapidly towards them. That talisman instantly transformed into a defensive formation to protect them. Turns out it was Song Yunxiang who came to the rescue. This surprised Lin Jinghua greatly. Surprisingly, it can form a formation by firing at the same time. Who the hell is he? But Song Yunxiang didn't have the heart to pay attention to Lin Jinghua. At this moment, he is staring at the sky with a serious expression on his face. And at this point, the ferocious beast has already infiltrated the defense array. Seeing this, Uncle Wu jumped up with a leap. At the same time, throw a mecha talisman to Zhang Dagui. And instructed Zhang Dagui to take good care of himself. Then immediately construct the mecha. Wielding a giant axe to chop at the ferocious beast. In an instant, he stood together with the fierce beast. At this moment, the system suddenly issued a warning to Song Yunxiang. Turns out he detected a threat approaching him. Ask Song Yunxiang to evacuate the area immediately. But Song Yunxiang was at Hui's place. What is it? He knows. It's definitely not a small character like Bai Fong. The only killers who can threaten him now are those above the holy rank. Although he wanted to leave easily. But if you want to save people on a floating ship, he also appears to have a weak heart. Currently, I have only copy to the Lubu Mecha. And there are also two Mecha symbols I found. But none of them have the ability to fly. Line ability. If only Chao Ren and Bai Qi were here. And at this moment, Uncle Wu was defeated by Bai Fong. Falling with a single blow. Bai Fong also took the opportunity to give him an atomic breath. Upon seeing this, Nara immediately instructed Feig to go and assist in the battle. Although Feig is at odds with Zhang Dagui. But now they can only choose to work together in the same boat. He quickly assembled the mecha. Just as Bai Fong was preparing to attack Uncle Wu again. Unexpectedly, he was attacked first. It turned out that the crucial moment was when Feige stepped in to help. This surprised Uncle Wu not to think that Feige would actually save him. He is also unwilling to fall into the trap of apes and monkeys. Swung a giant axe and swung it towards the place again. This marks the beginning of a 2v1 battle. Meanwhile, Xiao Meng is persuading everyone to seek refuge on the lower deck. And this move aligns with Song Yunxiang's intention. But Xiao Wen thinks that Song Yunxiang can protect him well. Staying by Song Yunxiang's side is the safest option. But in the end, he was still carried away by his mother. But Ruawei is unwilling to go with them. Because he is also a new soul master. This time, he will fight side by side with Song Yunxiang. This girl is clearly being carried by someone. But he didn't show any anger at all. Instead, she looks like a little fangirl. And he said thank you to the person holding him. Just now, Uncle Wu and Fei Gu are fighting against fierce beasts. Feige decided to take advantage of his speed advantage, to contain the killer, and Uncle Wu found an opportunity to give him a fatal blow. Soon, Feige successfully lured the fierce beast to pursue him. Uncle Wu took the opportunity to swing his giant axe and wanted to kill the fierce beast. Unexpectedly, he was knocked away by another fierce beast. At this point, several fierce beasts have already infiltrated the defense array. Everyone suddenly felt that something was not going well. As expected, the ferocious beast launched an indiscriminate attack on them. Seeing the situation, Brother Nyo will soon be able to install Mecha to block the attack of the ferocious beast. Zhang Dagui escaped a disaster as a result. And Lin Jingyuan and Ruawei also constructed it as soon as possible. The Mecha blocks in front of everyone. But Song Yinxiang's hairstyle is faster than theirs. The defense array has long protected Xiao Wen Yijia. When Ruowei turned her head to look at Song Yunxiang, Song Yunxiang's figure has long been lost there. And at this moment, he was standing inside the defensive formation holding Naira. At this moment, Naira's heart is full of shock. He didn't expect Song Yunxiang to be so strong, surprisingly able to block the attack of ferocious beasts with bare hands. But he hasn't fully recovered from the shock yet. As soon as Song Yunxiang put him down, he disappeared and disappeared. On the other side, 
Zhang Dagui is murmuring to himself in his mecha suit. Zhang Dagui, you cannot be afraid. With courage, one can overcome everything, just like the hero who turned the tide in Dome City. I saw him trembling and shouting out the Star Soul Construction Villa. In an instant, a mecha appeared behind Brother Nyo. Brother Nyo turned around and asked Zhang Dagui if he was okay. Zhang Dagui immediately raised his hand to signal that he was okay. Then he wanted to construct weapons, but at this moment, a fierce beast charged straight down towards them. Seeing this, Zhang Dagui became flustered and disorganized. Choose any weapon and hastily respond to the battle. At this moment, Brother Nyo used a block to knock out the fierce beast. Zhang Dagui took the opportunity to leap forward with all his might. Facing the head of the ferocious beast is like a heavy hammer. The result was the life of the fierce beast on the spot. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang has arrived by the side of Xiaowen and the others. He immediately instructed the Xiaowen family not to go to the lower deck. Staying by his side is safer. However, Tang Jingxue had a puzzled expression on his face. We are currently in battle here. Isn't the lower deck safer? But Song Yunxiang told Hot Pot Water. Wait a moment, there may be even more powerful ferocious beasts appearing. At that time, he had to wait and act according to the situation. If the situation is not good, I will find a way to take them to abandon the ship and leave. After learning that the situation was so serious, they suddenly lost their color in silence. There are even stronger ferocious beasts that haven't appeared yet, with them. Abandoning a ship at a height of tens of thousands of feet and escaping. Just these two are enough to shock them. But Tang Jinshui suddenly thought about it. He believes that Song Yunshan should not turn a blind eye to death. As the saying goes, the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. Thinking about the future, he immediately advised Song Yunshan, why don't we go communicate with the captain now? See if there is a better solution. But he ended up being hammered by his wife. Pack it for me, shut up. It's hard to keep oneself safe. The mother's heart is still overflowing. The lyrics sung by a man unintentionally. Surprisingly, it made the girl realize the opportunity for breakthrough from it. And the girl's intention to become a rising star attracted a group of murderers. Under the attack of fierce beasts, the defense array was quickly breached. Under helplessness, everyone had to hastily respond to the battle. At this point, Ruawei and Lin Jingoa are besieging a fierce beast. But at this point, another ferocious beast launched an attack on Lin Jingoa. Fortunately, there was a timely reminder from Ruawei. He only managed to dodge the attacks of fierce beasts, but he immediately joined the battle group to kill the ferocious beast again. Meanwhile, Shen Dai is compensating Song Yunxiang, isn't he? He, tell Song Yunxiang not to take his husband's words to heart. Their whole family is willing to follow Song Yunxiang's arrangements. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang said it's okay. After all, if I hadn't taken them on the ship myself, they will not encounter any danger as a result. No matter what, I must protect them thoroughly. On the other side, the ferocious beast is rubbing against the ground using martial arts techniques. At this point, he has become a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. However, at this moment, Feig suddenly appeared behind the fierce beast. Aiming at the back of the ferocious beast is a sudden blow. The painless beast is about to turn around and fight back. Quasi Feig is faster than him. The hand knife pierced directly through his head. After being rescued, Uncle Wu expressed his gratitude to Feige. Although he has always been unable to stand Feig's expression. But I have to admit that Feige's strength is indeed very strong. And Feig is still that arrogant appearance. Old guy's record. You owe me once. Next, they began to fight side by side against the killer. At this time, the situation of the human camp is not optimistic. Brother Nyo was kicked away by a fierce beast. Zhang Dagui was pressed on the ground and rubbed against it. Lin Jingua was indeed picked up by a fierce beast. Then throw him directly towards Ruowei. The two of them collided like this, full of emotions. Following that, the ferocious beasts will gather their strength and prepare to give them a fatal blow, just when they thought they were about to die, suddenly grabbing the tail of the ferocious beast with one hand, and then it's all about throwing it hard. The fierce beast was directly smashed into the ground by him, and the person who came was Song Yunxiang, who transformed into LV Bu. Seeing this behind the scenes, everyone couldn't help but show a look of shock. They can't believe it. The hero who turned the tide unexpectedly appeared here. At this point, Song Yunxiang had already taken the life of the fierce beast. At this moment, he suddenly felt danger and was on the brink of danger. The girl just needed someone to save her weak chicken. It won't be long before she transforms into a mecha female warrior. Turns out she was just hiding her strength before. But at this moment, my friend is in danger. 
He had to expose his cards and take action to save people. Just now, after Son Yunxiang rescued the two Jinghua from the hands of the fierce beast, suddenly heard Zhang Dagui loudly calling for help. Seeing him about to bury the mouth of the ferocious beast, Song Yunxiang immediately pulled out the square courtyard from the corpse of the fierce beast. Unexpectedly, it startled the fierce beast. Immediately flew towards him. Upon seeing this, he immediately threw it out of the square courtyard. The next second, the ferocious beast will be pierced by. He flew around like a scrapped part. This scene shocked Zhang Dagui greatly. Surprisingly, the hero who turned the tide saved himself. He can't believe it. Surprisingly, the true master in traditional Chinese opera appears here. At this moment, a group of fierce beasts entered the defense array again. Song Yunxiang realized that, with their current combat power, I'm afraid under the attack of these fierce beasts, will not persist for too long. He originally planned to retain his strength, dealing with that hidden threat. It seems that we can only expose it in advance at the moment. Star Master System. Unlock LV Boo's earthly armor, breaking the skycloud attack. After receiving instructions, the system immediately began brute force cracking. The sky-breaking cloud attack is LV Boo's strongest long-range weapon. Although its power is astonishing, but the consumption is also particularly huge. Less than a last resort. Son Yunxian really doesn't want to use him. On the other side, Fiji and Uncle Wu are fighting against fierce beasts. At this moment, another fierce beast joined the battle group. The two of them couldn't help but be shocked and pale. Another one. These damn things can't be completely killed. But they haven't finished speaking yet. Suddenly, four flywheels appeared in time. Block the attack of fierce beasts. Fig looked at Nara with a serious expression on his face. He knows that the golden moon wheel is still being tested as an armament. Naira is willing to expose her cards in front of everyone. It indicates that the war situation has reached an extremely bad point. After retracting the flywheel, Ken Ara, but pretending to be relaxed, what I did was not just right. Do you want to praise me? However, the ferocious beasts will not give them time to chat. Soon, the fierce beast set its attack posture. Upon seeing this, Fijian Uncle Wu immediately withdrew from Nara's side. Miss Naira, what should we do now? Even if it's three on three, we don't have much chance of winning. But it seems that the other side doesn't dare to act recklessly. And it just stood in a stalemate like this. Will be detrimental to us. If there's another one, that would be troublesome. Classical Della immediately revealed her plan. I will first use a flywheel to restrain two of the ferocious beasts. You two can take advantage of this opportunity and work together to kill the remaining one. Feej and Uncle Wu immediately nodded in agreement. To ensure that everything is flawless, the two of them plan to choose to work together to kill the weakest one in strength. And Feej took the opportunity to sneak around and attack behind him as they prepare to implement the plan. Suddenly, a lightsaber shot towards the fierce beast. That terrifying force pierced through the sky. Three ferocious beasts instantly turned into flying ash. Turns out it was Son Yunxiang who helped out. One sword helped them solve the crisis, but they had a bewildered expression on their faces. I have no idea what just happened. I only know that my eyes lit up. Those three ferocious beasts disappeared without a trace. These three people stood in place with a bewildered expression on their faces. I have no idea what just happened. At this moment, Uncle Wu gently rubbed his eyes. Perhaps the old man is of advanced age. Old eyes are dizzy, can't we? How could the fierce beast turn into flying ash in an instant? Feej, on the other hand, had a puzzled expression on his face. He quickly asked Naira if there was a flash of light just now. Naira immediately started dancing with excitement. Right, right, right. Just now, there was a light that quickly passed by. The fierce beast was instantly turned into scum by the bright light. At this moment, Zhang Dagui is more excited than them. The red armor is exactly the same as that in the opera. It must be him. He is the hero of the Battle of Dome. Upon hearing this, Nara and several others showed signs of shock. What? He's actually the hero who turned the tide. But at this moment, Song Yunxian was worried. Because the blow just now was too forceful. Accidentally punctured a piece of the luxury cabin. Now he just hopes not to cause any casualties. At this moment, he suddenly heard Lin Jingwa's reminder. Just as he was stunned, three fierce beasts have already pounced towards him. Seeing the situation, Song Yunxiang immediately instructed the system to unlock the sky-breaking claw. I only heard a ding sound. The system was successfully unlocked. The sky-breaking cloud giant Bao is about to change its form. In an instant, the sky-breaking claw is generated on the arm of the LV Bumeka. 
Song Yunxiang took the opportunity to wave his claws, split the attacking beast in half. The second ferocious beast quickly stopped in front of him. Song Yunxiang, grab it right away. This rare opportunity. One claw ended his life. Seeing my friends being killed one after another, the third ferocious beast quickly escaped. But Song Yunxiang caught up with him with just one leap, quickly taking action and piercing his heart cold. This scene left everyone stunned and speechless. Lin Jinghua was deeply impressed by Song Yunxiang's strength. Song Gongzi can instantly kill several murderers above the mysterious level. Maybe he can help me. Ruo Wei also had an incredulous expression on her face. Not long after the battle of Yuan Ding Cheng passed, Song's combat effectiveness has unexpectedly increased several times. At this moment, Song Yunxiang was vigilantly staring at the high altitude. Even now, I can still hold back and not take action. Is he worrying about something? And Feig now knows that. Son Yunxiang is that hero. His heart couldn't help but feel it. The inheritance is really terrible. Fortunately, I didn't fight back at the time. Otherwise, the consequences are unimaginable. In classical Chinese, Nara spoke in agreement. Yeah, tip. If we use the language of Tiandu. Today next year will be your anniversary. Just between their conversations, a large number of ferocious beasts have flooded into the defense array. In an instant, fierce beasts surrounded them in groups. At this time, the situation inside the driver's cabin is also not optimistic, subordinates told the captain. The defense array will be ineffective during this period. The captain immediately instructed him. Continue to send distress signals across all channels. But I haven't waited for the signal to be sent yet. They were attacked by fierce beasts. They can only quickly escape from the cab. At this moment, the fierce beast was suddenly pierced by a blow. It turned out that Song Yunxiang arrived in time, then the fierce beast was cut in half by him, and the captain didn't expect that. Surprisingly, there is still such strength among the passengers. At this moment, the subordinate suddenly spoke up. Red Mecca, he is the hero who turned the tide. Men are heroes who turn the tide. Save a city with one's own strength. His heroic act quickly spread throughout the country. Soon he was regarded as a national idol. Now, amidst the captain's peril, Song Yunxiang intervened in time to save him. This makes the captain extremely excited. It's really an honor. Unexpectedly, Song Gongzi turned out to be the hero of Yuan Dingcheng. Our whole family is his loyal fans. I need to find a chance to ask him for a signature later. Maybe we can take a photo together. Thinking about it makes people look forward to it. Meanwhile, the situation of the security team outside is already precarious. At this moment, only the captain and one team member are still struggling to support themselves. Captain, these damn beasts are killing more and more. Brothers, the damage is severe. We can't hold on anymore. There may still be time to retreat now. Captain Wen Yen immediately interrupted him. Can't withdraw, don't forget. We are the security personnel of Red World Shipping. Passenger safety is above all else. The team members let out a helpless sigh. If one unfortunately dies in battle, what should the whole family do? But how could the captain not know? But they are responsible for it. In addition, the Red Master's pension is sufficiently generous. Even if unfortunately killed in battle, what's the point? Seeing this team member no longer hesitates. Ma Dan, damn fierce beast. I'm fighting with you guys. Immediately after, the crossbow arrow exploded towards the fierce beast. But they are ultimately unbeatable with four punches on both hands. Soon, fierce beasts broke through the defense line and charged towards them. Upon seeing this, the captain quickly pushed away the team members, but he was knocked away by a fierce beast while dodging and not in a hurry. The next second, the ferocious beast will grab his head. Is that all for now? I'm really unwilling to accept it. But with Hong's pension, my family's debt can finally be paid off, just as the captain thought he was about to die or die. The body of the ferocious beast was suddenly pierced by a spear. Turns out it was Song Yunxian who came to rescue us. The captain stared blankly at the incoming person. At this moment, he is in a completely bewildered state. And Song Yunxiang just gave him a faint glance. Then he looked up at the fierce beast in the air. If Chao Ran or Ao Bing were here, perhaps it will be much more convenient. At this point, the captain had already come to his senses from his confusion. He immediately clasped his fists and knelt down to Song Yunxiang. Thank you very much, young master Song, for taking the initiative to save us. Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang asked them not to be polite. Then he asked them to push them to a safe area. The number of ferocious beasts is increasing. It seems like you should try that move. After speaking, he threw the fierce beast out of the square courtyard. Watching such a powerful blow empty the air. 
The captain and the two couldn't help but feel regretful about it, but they don't know the purpose of Song Yunxian. When Song Yunxian used his dragon tongue bow to shoot a stunning blow, the flying sword will immediately strike the Chinese halberd. The fragments produced by the explosion were shot at the killer with arrows. In an instant, the sky was like fireworks blooming. At this moment, the captain finally understood. I see. Surprisingly, there is still such a combat style. Kill dozens of ferocious beasts with just one strike. Song Gongzi is really amazing. However, Song Yunxiang's blow completely angered the fierce beast. I saw countless fierce beasts gathering towards them. Song Yunshan suddenly showed a skeptical expression. Those fierce beasts, I'm afraid we have already reached the combat power above the ground level. Is the threat indicated by the star system referring to them? At this moment, the ferocious beast is accumulating power. Prepare to launch an attack on them. Upon seeing this, Song Yunshan had a solemn expression on his face. Oh no, such a dense ray attack, even if I can take them away. But the rear hull is also difficult to withstand. At this moment, the fierce herd of beasts suddenly suffered countless beam attacks. They were instantly bombarded to the brink of collapse. Turns out reinforcements arrived in time. The county mayor immediately ordered his subordinates to turn on video communication. Coming from the light curtain, people are the Red Luan army of the Song family in Zhuan City. They came here to welcome Song Yinxiang back home. He is a waste material that everyone in the family despises. But by chance, he became a national hero. But the female subordinate is completely unaware of this, and even joked about him as Joan, the leader of the four major dandies in the city. Since I can change my surname and keep a low profile, take a civilian ship, turns out it was not long ago. Song Yunxiang's stunning strike instantly annihilate dozens of ferocious beasts, but this also completely angered the killer. So they all gathered towards Song Yunxiang's side, just as they were preparing to kill Song Yunxiang. The Red Luan army who came to escort arrived in time. As the naval guns of the airship were fired out, the fierce beasts that gathered here. In an instant, he was completely killed. The crew couldn't help but feel ecstatic upon seeing the situation. But the captain had a puzzled expression on his face. Strange how could it be the Akamara Jun of the Song family? Shouldn't they be stationed at the southern border? Why did they come all the way here for rescue? However, the crew believed that he might have been overly concerned. I guess they're just carrying out a mission, just happened to pass by. Seeing this captain no longer hesitates, he immediately ordered the lifting of the defensive formation, transfer all energy to the power furnace, advance at full speed to rendezvous with the Red Luan army, and the sudden acceleration of the floating ship. But it left Song Yin stunned for a while, until he saw the distant airship, just came to understand. But he immediately showed a skeptical expression. Red Luan army sister. Song Yunjin founded the army of powerful female generals. Why are they here? At this point, the captain also looked at the floating ship with a puzzled expression on his face. Instructor Daiki, are you sure? Is the young marquis on the civilian ship across from you? This doesn't seem like his style. The hands of the dandy in the grand city of Juan. Why suddenly became so low-key? Upon hearing this, the wooden butler looked speechless. He knows that the marquis now attaches great importance to Song Yunxian. So I quickly reminded the captain not to call the wrong name. He is just the butler of the Song Shudong courtyard. I don't want to get into trouble just because of one name. Then he showed the captain the red mecca. When the captain saw Lubu being suppressed on the spot, surprisingly, it was on the dome. The strong man who achieved the second prince. I didn't expect him to be on this ship too. It seems that although our young marquis is a bit useless, but luck has always been good. If it weren't for this strong person. I'm afraid they will find it difficult to sustain us until we arrive. But the wooden butler remained silent. Wait until you know the strong man. After being seen as useless by you, young master Yunshan. I'm afraid it will be even more shocking. At this point, the floating ship has entered the protection range of the formation ship. Upon seeing this, the captain immediately ordered his subordinates to fire. In an instant, countless ferocious beasts were attacked and killed by naval guns. After the crisis is resolved. Song Yunxiang quickly helped up the captain. Let's find a safe place first and rest quickly. I'm planning to go back to the courtyard. But at this moment, he suddenly received a system warning. Detected excessive level crack space reaction. Please ask the host to leave the area within 5 seconds. Song Yunxiang was immediately shocked and lost his composure. What super level spatial cracks? And on the other side at this moment, the people who believe that the crisis has been resolved have already resolved the mecha. They are all chatting in twos and threes. 
completely unaware that the danger will approach again. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly appeared in front of everyone, immediately interrupt their conversation. Then he reached out his hand to them. You guys jump onto my hands quickly. We must leave quickly now. And this sudden scene, make Tang Jingxue look bewildered. I have no idea what the situation is, but in this moment of time, a huge ferocious beast appeared in front of them. Song Yunxian looked at the murderer in horror in front of him. How could Koen be a divine level killer? Why did he appear here? At this point, the system reminds Song Yunxian that he has missed the opportunity to evacuate, calculating escape options. How terrifying is the strength of the divine level ferocious beast? I saw him roar angrily at the tiny human. The sound wave attack made everyone, on the spot, wailing in pain and sorrow. People with weak abilities are even more prone to bleeding from their stomas. Turns out it was not long ago, with the timely arrival of the airship. The fierce herd of beasts was immediately destroyed by their bombardment and could not form an army. Seeing this, the fierce beast Kuan no longer hides in the divine order. He immediately crossed the space crack, arriving over the spaceship. The crew members under the huge figure were stunned. He trembled as he asked the captain, What is this behemoth? Upon hearing this, the captain couldn't help but curse loudly. How the fuck would I know? But in the current situation, I'm afraid we'll have more or less bad luck. But at this moment, the captain of the airship was shocked. How could there be such a huge killer? What kind of ship would he be? The shepherd next to him showed a solemn expression. Is this what Madame San said? Is the divine level ferocious beast Kuan? You really have a body as big as a city. On the other side, Kuan's huge body also stunned Song Yunxiang for a while. But he soon realized that something was wrong with this Kuan. In Kuan's belly, there seems to be an unusual fluctuation in soul power. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly received a system prompt. The alternative plan has been calculated and completed. But in this moment of time, Kuan opens his big mouth. Take a sudden inhalation. Song Yunxiang immediately realized something was wrong. He immediately reminded everyone to cover their ears. Immediately, he took out his defensive axe. And Zhang Shirkuan has launched a sonic attack. Where sound waves go, everything is just a howl of sorrow. Unable to cover the ear in a timely manner, resulting in direct bleeding from the stomata. Even the mecha cannot maintain on-site cleanliness. Fortunately, Song Yunxiang's Shuanfa formation timely protected Xiaowen and the others. Otherwise, they would also be doomed. Song Yunxiang didn't expect it. The sound waves of Koen's roar are so terrifying. He had no choice but to make everyone persevere a little longer. The sonic attack is about to end. At this moment, the captain endured the pain and opened the hatch. He just wants the team members to escape quickly, to the bottom of the spacecraft. Meanwhile, the situation on this side of the array space is slightly better. After all, the wooden butler is a heavenly level expert. His gas barrier can barely stop Zhu Ingwa's attack, but this also left the captain with lingering fear. But when he found out, this is just Cohen's ordinary roar. He couldn't sit still on the spot. This kind of disdainful eagle is just his ordinary roar. If he shouts a few more times, then, aren't we going to fall here? Thinking about the future, he immediately ordered his subordinates to transfer the naval guns. Aim at Cohen. Just as they were preparing to launch an attack, Song Yunxiang immediately stopped them from firing guns. This makes them quite puzzled. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly switched to a live action scene. This scene made the captain hardly believe it. He didn't expect that Lu Bu would be a waste material child. And when Song Yunxiang saw the wooden butler, I feel a lot of peace of mind immediately. Immediately ask butler Mu why he is here. Steward Mu immediately replied that he was here to pick him up and go home. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang smiled slightly. He hasn't heard the word home for a long time. Then he thanked everyone who came to greet him. Then he explained to the captain and the others. Cohen is the peak ferocious beast of the divine rank. Absolutely not an enemy they can confront. But according to Cohen's habits. As long as they don't show any hostility. Cohen disdains dealing with these little reptiles. Continuing. Song Yunxiang instructed everyone to turn off all power sources. After the ship leaves Cohen's alert range. Wait for an opportunity to escape again. After learning about it. The two captains couldn't help but be taken aback. They know that if a ship falls from a high altitude, a slight mistake can lead to a shattering body and bones. But Song Yunxiang told them, this is their only chance to escape, because he has seen Koen before, swallow half of the city in one breath. They only listen well to Song Yunxiang's instructions. With the sound of Song Yunxiang's command, three ships lost power instantly, falling downwards. 
and the fierce herd of beasts chased after them in unison. Koan, as Song Yunchang said, did not pursue him. The ship quickly descended to the designated position in the system. Song Yunxiang immediately ordered them to start the ship. Full speed advance. Escape from hazardous areas. Have you ever seen a ferocious beast, Kuan, larger than an aircraft carrier? Just a regular roar. It can make humans bleed through seven holes. The tiny humans in Kuan's eyes are like ants. If it weren't for, Kuan disdains chasing small humans like reptiles. Song Yunxiang and his team will not escape from Kuan's hands either. That group of evasive beasts are relentlessly pursuing them. They can only drive the power to maximum capacity. Get rid of the killer. But at this moment, the speed of the floating ship suddenly drops sharply. Originally, the floating ship was used to resist attacks from fierce beasts. Always activate the power source to maintain the defense array. The result is that the power of the floating ship is insufficient now. Seeing the speed rapidly decreasing, the captain couldn't help but feel extremely anxious. He knows that if he doesn't come up with a corresponding solution, the entire ship's crew will be ruined. And at this moment, the destroyer also discovered the abnormal condition of the floating ship. Young Master Yunxiang's ship went through a big war before. I think we've exhausted the power source. Wen Yen, the captain immediately ordered to aim at both sides of the floating ship. Next one second, countless launch cables shot towards the floating ship. In an instant, the hull of the ship was firmly hooked onto the launch site. With sudden acceleration, the people inside the ship were pulled upside down by inertia. Unknown captain, I thought I was being attacked by a ferocious beast, so I immediately ordered my subordinates to prepare for battle. Even if it's death, we can't just sit and wait for it to happen. But my subordinates told him, the speed of the ship is increasing. It was the ship owner of the Red Luan army who used ropes to pull them forward. Seeing this captain, I couldn't help but be overjoyed. Now he doesn't need to notify his family to collect the pension. But there was another problem with the airship on this side. Due to the aircraft carrier pulling the floating ship to fly, the speed immediately slowed down. And the high-level ferocious beasts behind will soon catch up with them. Now the power officer cannot sustain the naval gun attack. The captain made a decisive decision on the spot. Send out a combat team to prepare for the battle. They will soon be assembled. Constructing Mecha. In no time, it appeared neatly and uniformly on the deck. Everyone, be prepared. Encounter the enemy. Let those ugly monsters. Let's see how powerful our Red Luan army female generals are. After the captain finished speaking, they immediately set up their shooting formation. At this moment, the fierce herd of beasts was diving down towards the ship. What can welcome them is a dense beam attack. In an instant, countless ferocious beasts were killed on the spot. Although the Red Luan army utilized its formation advantage, make the fierce beast unable to attack for a long time. But ultimately, it cannot match the large number of ferocious beasts. And the ferocious beasts are still in their weak defenses. Launch a suicide attack. The formation of the second ship was immediately disrupted. They had to switch between swords and fierce beasts to fight each other. After seeing the second ship being breached, the captain immediately ordered some team members to go and provide support. With the arrival of the support team, the captain immediately instructed them to clean up the fierce beasts boarding the ship, then reorganize the shooting formation. But at this moment, another group of ferocious beasts arrived. Just when the captain thought he was about to get into a tough battle, a huge beam of light pierced through the entire pack of ferocious beasts. The fierce beasts that were hit instantly turned into flying ash. This left the captain with a look of shock. Who saved us? And Song Yunxiang, who stepped forward to save people. I am panting heavily at this moment. He immediately took out a few pills and took them to replenish his soul power. Although the power of the sky-breaking sword is strong, but the loss of soul power is too great. After restoring some soul power, Song Yunxiang once again fired the sky-breaking sword at the fierce beast. The ferocious beast hit in the next second will explode on the spot. And at this moment, the sword palm had already been deeply shaken by Song Yunxiang. Each blow can kill several ferocious beasts. It's unbelievable. Young Master Yunxiang surprisingly has such terrifying combat power. If there is someone who was once shameless to you, suddenly becoming your most respected hero and idol in your life, are you continuing to be his loyal fan? Or did it turn into black powder? The answer is obvious. Zhang Dagui wisely chose the former. And we also need to follow the example of Song Yunxiang. Be a great hero who saves lives. Just after Song Yunxiang stepped forward to assist the Red Luan army, Zhang Dagui is extremely excited. Immediately join the battle group of the Red Luan army. And due to the heavy losses suffered by the security team in previous battles, 
Continue to regroup and join the battle. We three are responsible for guarding the left side. On the right side. Just ask Miss Jingwa and Miss Ruowei to come and hold on. Seeing this, Nara and the other two also put in a good defensive position. I'll take the tip and cut it off later. You can support me on the side. Upon hearing this, Fei Gu immediately nodded and indicated his intention. Then he launched an attack on the ferocious beast with his palm cannon. Just like this, the fierce beast approaches the attack range of the golden moon wheel. The timing has arrived. Nara immediately blasted the golden moon wheel to attack the ferocious beast. In an instant, several fierce beasts were killed on the spot. But then Nala realized that the situation was not right. What's going on? Why did they suddenly stop attacking? The sudden scene left everyone looking bewildered. I have no idea what the situation is. Until I heard the roar of the divine beast Kuan. After all the fierce beasts gathered and retreated in unison. Many people know that Kuan is sending a retreat signal. This made them instantly happy. And at this moment, the crew is also reporting on the retreat of the ferocious herd of beasts. After learning about it, the captain spat out a mouthful of turbid air. He can finally let go of that hanging heart. Outside, Song Yunshang is also murmuring to himself. Finally retreated. It seems that this time we have completely escaped Koen's alert range. Then he dressed up casually. Three pills to restore soul. Continuous high intensity output. Make Song Yunshang exhausted. If the ferocious beast doesn't retreat, I estimate he will be consumed alive and dead. After all the fierce beasts have withdrawn, everyone cheered happily. Unexpectedly, we can escape from such a terrifying beast. It's really fortunate amidst misfortune. But at this moment, the wooden butler was lamenting how great it was. This time, it's really all thanks to young master Yun Sheng. Otherwise, we wouldn't have retreated completely from Kuan's hands. Upon hearing these words and seeing their strengths, they showed a puzzled expression. By the way, young master Yun Sheng, how do you know Kuan's habits? Song Yunxiang quickly waved his hand. I'm so tired. I'll care about this in the future. I'll go back to the bag warehouse and take a nap first. Let's leave the rest to you. Then he hung up the communication. He dragged his tired body back like this, but he fell asleep halfway through. In the end, Ruowei will carry him back. After this battle, everyone expressed their gratitude to him with a free heart. Although Song Yunxiang is still asleep, they are all extremely respected. Four hours after paying New Year's greetings, as the arrival broadcast rings, Song Yunxiang also woke up from his sleep. He quickly got up and ran outside the cabin. Long lost home in Yongan City. I'm finally back. Meanwhile, there is a person lazily stretching their waist in Yongan City. Why did you come so late? Hurt me for a while, okay. Wait for me. The weather is nice today. Just forgive you all. Our White Dragon Gang is now a legitimate team. In the future, you should change your tone and call me the leader of the gang. Do you know what? The classical Chinese subordinates quickly nodded and showed their support. Then he clenched his fists tightly. I am destined to rank among the eight generals of the heavenly capital while patrolling. He is the man who becomes the strongest star soul master. That will be the era I patrol. After speaking, he smiled and picked up the ring from his chest. Are you right? Du Lao. When can I get Chao Ren's soul jade? Inside the ring, an old man immediately emanates. The sound should be fast. That's your chance. Yongan City is located in the southeast corner of Tendu Kingdom. It is a fortress city built with great danger. Bordering the eastern and western water kingdoms. Yongan Mountain, located at the end of the southern wilderness mountains to the west. Watching each other at the Great Wall of Nanhuang. Behind it is the vast fertile plain of Tendu Kingdom. This is not only a vital passage from the central plains to the southern wasteland area, it is also an important military stronghold for defending the southern wilderness from dampness. In the past 20 years, Tiandu and Shishue have signed a joint border defense agreement, relying on the Great Wall of Nanhuang, connecting the Shikong Mountains and Nanhuang Mountains, established a joint defense line. It also indirectly drove the economic development of Yongan City. At this point, the Hongshir floating ship has docked at Yongan City Airport. The captain thanks Song Yunxiang in the name of gratitude. Dead skin and shameless, he asked Song Yunxiang for his autograph. Until six signatures are required. Leaving with satisfaction. This can leave Song Yunxiang speechless. How many daughters do I have when I go to this guy? I haven't waited for him to recover from roast. Behind me came the voice of the wooden butler, young master Yunxiang. Don't come safely. Song Yunxiang will turn back immediately. Immediately give the butler a big bear hug. Uncle Mu, long time no see. I really miss it so much. 
But Butler Kumu felt that his move was a bit exaggerated. But we haven't seen each other for just a few months. This made Son Yunxiang feel extremely embarrassed. But it made him discover a secret. That's because on the surface, Butler Mu only has the late stage of the mysteries. Actually, they are experts in the mid-stage of the heavenly stage. I was too weak in my past life. I thought only the old man in the entire Song dynasty was in the heavenly realm. I never thought. The shepherd who has been taking care of him is actually a heavenly level expert, and even higher than the old man's cultivation level. But at this moment, the shepherd's inquiry interrupted his thoughts. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly explained to the steward, These are my friends and his family. Then he introduced the shepherd to the Xiaowen family. They politely bowed back and reported their home door to themselves. Then Song Yunxian left Xiaowen's contact information, and let Xiaowen come and play with him when he has time. Xiaowen clapped his hands happily and cheered, and deliberately requested to bring Sister Ruo away with them. Song Yunxian smiled and touched his head, of course it's okay, you can take anyone you want. Afterwards, he bid farewell to the Xiaowen family and left. But at this moment, Lin Jinghua approached him again, directly stuffed a note into his hand, Song Gongzi, I will stay in Yongan City for half a month. If you have time, would you be willing to come to me? Jinghua is willing to have a long conversation with the young master. I haven't waited for Son Yunxiang to react yet. Lin Jinghua has already blushed and ran away with embarrassment. Just leave him there at a loss. At this point, the wooden butler suddenly coughed and made a sound, young master Yunxiang. Tonight, the master arranged a family banquet. Your fiancé A.E. Miss Kong Xinxin has also been invited. After listening to Son Yunxiang, his eyes couldn't help but chill. He narrowly escaped death in his past life. Just returned to Yongan City. Kong Xinxin came to the door with the heavenly rank stronger to withdraw his marriage. Whenever he thinks of this, it makes him feel nauseous. And those uncles and brothers who see him as useless. It's time for them to see what it means to hit a face. Soon, Song Yunxian arrived at the apron. And the exclusive driver of Song Fudong Courtyard. I have been waiting here for a long time. Just as Song Yunxian passed by the driver Xiaobeja. He couldn't help but be happy about it, but it immediately returned to normal and boarded the spaceship, but shortly after the departure and return journey. Xiaobeja suddenly realized something was wrong, young master. Your cultivation has unexpectedly broken through to the ground level. Is it because the soul meridian has been cured? Realizing the wrong shepherd steward, immediately remind him to focus on driving. But all of this is a gift. How could Lin Xiang not know? Unexpectedly, Uncle Bei was also in the middle of the heavenly realm. Know my cultivation level. Actually, it's also exposing one's own strength above me. Uncle Mu was so careful and cautious. It seems that Uncle Mu may know more. And on the other side. At this moment, Zhang Dagui is still sleeping soundly. Until Uncle Wu called out. He just woke up from his sleep. Zhang Dagui, who had just woken up, still had a drowsy state of eyes. Until I remember. I once fought alongside heroes and idols. He suddenly realized, jump out of bed immediately. I want to invite the hero to dinner, make good friends with heroes. But when I learned that the hero had already left, he burst into tears in an instant. But he doesn't want to be wrong about it. Immediately instruct Uncle Wu to investigate. He must report this thigh. Even if it's a pendant, it's good. A family demoted to the border, unexpectedly hiding numerous terrifying powerful individuals. But the more strong there are, the more. They become even more dangerous instead. There is even a possibility of being exterminated as a result. Just as the shepherd and his companions were on their way home, Song Yunxiang asked with some concern when Koan appeared. But these pastoral butlers wouldn't have thought of it. I've been trapped in him for a long time to get things done. To avoid causing panic among the public due to the appearance of Koan, the shepherd used military secrets as a pretext. Passengers of Hong's shipping have all been given orders. Only then did Song Yunxiang feel at ease. Then he took out the card that Nara gave him. I met two prisoners on the passenger ship. There was a slight intersection with them. Uncle Mu, can you help me investigate what those two people are from? Just take a glance at the card in Song Yunxiang's hand. Butler Mu knows where it comes from. Deka is a commonly used style among the six nobles of Xiaoyu Kingdom. Xiaoyubua respects the royal court controlled by the barbarian king. The six nobles are divided into three factions to balance each other. The moderate faction led by the Samarin family, controlling 70% of Xiaoyugua's technology and economy, led by the Molu family, the expansionist faction. He holds half of the military power of Xiaoyugua. As for the neutral faction led by the veteran noble Sukum family, 
It's just a puppet of the vice national faction. The protectionist faction was a product of saving the empire 400 years ago, not willing to agree with Milun's hegemony, and I don't recognize the orthodoxy of Tindu, for hundreds of years, they have always fantasized about using external forces to overcome the central plains, the glory of the unified era of the Guangfu Empire, strictly speaking, the resurrection faction led by the Huyen tribe, not considered a summer person, they are just a group of homeless and pitiful people, right? After saying these things, the wooden butler turned his head to look at Song Yunxiang, but I found out that guy was distracted. Look at the note Lin Jinghua gave him. The other party arranged for him to meet in the top suite of Yongan restaurant. Upon seeing this, the wooden butler immediately coughed and made a sound. Young master Yunxiang, your fiancé A.E., Miss Kong Xinxin, Song Yunxiang, who knows the meaning behind the words of the wooden butler, immediately interrupt him. Got it, Uncle Mu. I have my own sense of propriety. However, Uncle Mu, is it possible for Xiaoyu State to secretly collaborate with Milun State? Pinched us from behind. After listening to the butler, he immediately dismissed his suspicion. Because, this does not align with the core strengths of the moderate and neutral factions. Unless those old guys are no longer in this world. Soon after, they returned to the Song Dynasty mansion. The gatekeeper Ma San stood up immediately to welcome him. Song Yunxiang quickly stepped forward to help him. But this handshake, Song Yunxian felt another wave of sweat on his face. Originally, Grandpa Ma was also a strong player in the mid-stage of the heavenly rank. Young master, now he's going back to the east yard to rest and tidy up. Why don't we go to the middle courtyard to meet the old lord? Or play two cards with the old man? Besides, Song Yunxian quickly fought him ha. Huh? Next time, Uncle Ma. I need to go to the old man's place first. Then he bid farewell to Grandpa Ma. Quickly leave. Song Yunxiang has just walked a short distance. Did the driver transmit a message to Mr. Ma and find out? The young master has already broken through the territory. Grandpa Ma nodded slightly at me. Got it. The young master not only repaired the soul pulse, but also, just now, it seemed like I was trying to pry into my true realm. The changes of Song Yunxiang. How much did it bring them a little shock? But at this moment, Song Yunxiang was pondering deeply. Why do they all hide their cultivation? Is there any unknown secret? Soon, Song Yunxiang met the old man. He just spoke up. The old lord flashed in front of him. Then I patted his shoulder. Not bad, we have broken through to the ground level. Go to the study. Tell me a good story. What has happened to you during this period of time? But at this moment, Song Yunxiang has been deeply moved by the old man. He didn't expect the old man to also hide his cultivation. And he is also a semi-holy powerhouse. Our strength should be stronger than that of Mr. Su. Good guy. I didn't expect the Song family to hide so many cards. If we say, the Song family had one semi-saint and three mid-stage heavenly beings sitting in power. The previous life was still destroyed in the Southern Wilderness Show Dynasty. Isn't that to say, the preparations I am making now, it's not enough to turn the situation around. But suddenly Song Yunxiang was startled again. Surprisingly, it is the aura of a holy rank powerhouse. Although it is extremely weak like bamboo remnants in the wind, but it is definitely a genuine holy sword. Is it true that Song Jia has hidden a saint level powerhouse? The more cards Song Jia hides, the more. No, it means the less prepared I am. Perhaps this is the only way. Why not consecrate them all? Heroes who turn the tide and save the people. Unexpectedly seen as a playboy by his fiance A.E. Not only did he wear a big green hat, and they also have to tear off their faces and come straight to their door to divorce. Just recently, Song Yunxiang has just returned. I was called to the study by the old marquee. The two of them had a chess competition. Song Yunxiang has tried his best to improve his chess skills, control at 30% level. But the old man still saw his humility. The overall situation has been determined. Grandpa lost this game. Not bad. Your chess skills have greatly improved. Let's see. Next time, I can't let Ziyu be with you anymore. Then the old Marquis used an excuse to support the pastoral steward. But after the shepherd left, the old Marquis only then asked for a review of the previous game. But Song Yunxian didn't know what he was trying to express. So I quickly changed the topic. Old man, you should have received a message from Yuan Dingcheng, right? After the adoption of a son, the old Marquis slowly spoke up. I heard you're great. Not only did it repair the damaged soul vein, Breaking through to the realm of earth level cultivation, and also became a layman of Zhu Ci. Grandpa is very happy for you. Although the old marquis did not ask Song Yunxiang, 
but he was actually trying to figure out how to explain it. I can't say, did I travel back 60 years later? That would probably be too shocking and shocking for the world. At present, I can only falsely claim that I have entered a certain secret realm by mistake. In the magical array constructed in the secret realm, observing the future for a year, thinking about the future, he immediately spoke up, old man, if I were to fall into a super ancient secret realm by mistake, obtained a great opportunity inside, do you think Song Yunxiang hasn't finished speaking yet? The old marquee waved his hand directly to interrupt him. Look, my mistake just now was making the wrong move. I'll take a step now and walk this way. Song Yunxiang felt helpless. I have to play chess with the old man. Go to play chess. After gradually improving, the old marquee suddenly spoke up again. You see, if this chess game is lost, you can review it. All the pieces on the chessboard are the same, but if a chess piece accidentally jumps out of the chessboard, becoming a chess player. The old man's question left Song Yunxiang instantly stunned. It's like reminding him not to be a government official. Meanwhile, Yongan City Lord's Mansion Xinxin, I am arguing with my father Kong Fan. Say nothing to marry Song Yunxiang, but my father remembered the kindness of being supported by the Song family back then. The two families had already made an engagement 20 years ago, and also, this time, Song Yunxiang played a neutral role in the Battle of Dome City. Gong also became the host of Zhu Ci. So the Song family's banquet, he wants his daughter to go celebrate no matter what, but the stars remain unmoved. What if Song Yunxiang becomes a layman of Zhu Ci? How can he be compared to my brother under the skirt? Upon hearing this, my father flew into a rage. What can a scumbag like that who lives on the streets achieve? It's just a pile of mud. After seeing his father's evaluation of Su Xia like this, Xinxin immediately regrets it. He is now the leader of the White Dragon Gang. And in a month, he will become a layman of Chaoran. Even if Song Yunxiang is truly a layman of Zhu Xiai, he can't compare to my Su Xia brother either. Kong Fan is about to refute. Just interrupted by someone outside, if you don't get married, you won't get married. But it's just the Song family. Originally, the person who came was Kong Zhang, the father of Kong Fan. That is to say, the head of the Kong family. Seeing Grandpa standing tall in the air, delighted and pleasantly surprised, Grandpa, you can actually fly. Kong Zheng quickly waved his hand. Grandpa, where can he fly? That's a technique that only exists in the divine realm. Grandpa just broke through the bottleneck of the heavenly rank, just barely taking a step in the air with force. When you hear the heavenly staircase, the father and daughter stood still on the spot. Wait for me to recover my strength. Just invited Kong Zheng into the room. Grandpa, your current state of mind. How about compared to the old Marquis of the Song family? Kong Zheng pondered slightly. Song Jingzhong, the old Pivka, spent many years in the early stages of the heavenly stage. I'm afraid it's already his limit. Although I have just broken through the heavenly level. But I also have confidence to break my wrist with him. See here. The stars will soon show their fierce colors. That's great. Grandpa, let's go find Song Jia to get divorced. If anyone doesn't agree, you just hit him. At this moment, Kong Fan spoke up and wanted his daughter not to curse recklessly, but it was stopped by Kong Zheng waving his hand. I heard your conversation just now, I actually feel that. Star and that summer boy are a good match. For the greater benefit of our Kong family, our grandchildren, there's only one girl, a star. Ere he married into the Song family. It can only guarantee us worry-free for decades. If he could hire a layman from Chao Run to be his grandson's son-in-law, not to mention a hundred years of wealth and prosperity, even if it means returning to Zhongzhou and recognizing one's ancestors, there is still a possibility. I heard that Sun Xia is an orphan. As long as he enters the Kong family, then we will invite resources to cultivate him. I believe we will rise soon. Then Kong Zheng turned his head to look at his granddaughter, the gorilla. Do you have the confidence to let Sun Xia enter the Kong family? The chimpanzee blushed and answered, of course. Actually, we already have the reality of being married for a long time. Kong Zheng immediately takes the case, preparing to withdraw from marriage. But Kong Fan believed that everything should be done in a proper and proper manner. We need to find a suitable reason for our divorce. But Kong Zheng arrogantly asked for a reason. I am now a heavenly level powerhouse who overlooks the world. The fist of the strong is the truth. If that old man from Song Jinjong really dares to take action, I don't mind if I casually lifted up their Song family. For this kind of time, the old man also specially prepared some things. This is the old man who came from the Hong's auction house. Sanqing Zhuanggong Pil. The man falsely claimed that he had accidentally entered a super ancient secret realm. 
observing the great opportunities for the next 60 years inside, attempting to conceal my travels from my grandfather. Little did they know that grandpa already knew everything, and for this, he even handed him a mysterious wooden box. Turns out it was not long ago. Song Yunxiang has just returned to the Song Mansion. The old marquee pulled him to play chess with him. But during the review process, the old marquee suddenly spoke up to ask him, Look, if you lose the game, you can review it. All chess pieces are the same, but if the chess piece accidentally jumps out of the board, becoming a chess player, what should you do? Song Yunxiang suddenly froze for a moment. He doesn't understand why the old man has this. The old lord saw him like this. Hastily changing the topic doesn't really matter. I just want to ruin a chess game. By the way, what did you just say about the secret realm? But at this moment, Song Yunxian was looking straight at the old marquee. He thought to himself, the old man seems to know some secrets. Can you think about it again? He no longer paid attention to it. Then he revealed that he had mistakenly entered a super ancient secret realm. In the secret realm, he gained some kind of opportunity. Not long after, the southern wilderness erupted with dampness. The Great Wall of Nanhuang was destroyed in an instant. All the Song family soldiers sacrificed heroically. Later, the kingdom of Milun invaded. The final battle of Tendu City suffered a disastrous defeat. He went into exile in Shishue country, obtaining the protection of the Empress. Song Yunxiang's years of wandering experience are like this. Reduced it once again. But at this moment, the steward rushed towards the study, reciting scriptures. What about Lord Ho? Is he in the secret room? Seeing the butler so panicked, the shepherd quickly asked him what had happened. He immediately gasped for breath and answered, That person's condition is not very stable now. I don't have time to explain anymore. I want to see Lord Ho. As soon as he spoke, he was about to enter. But he was stopped by the shepherd's steward. Last night, I had something important with young master Yun Xiang. Let's talk about it again sorry. Meanwhile, brother Jean. In the study room, Song Yunxiang has already talked about his ultimate destination. In the last stronghold of the human race in the northern continent, he is powerless to turn the tide. Selected self-explosion. And then he woke up from the fog. After speaking, he smiled foolishly and explained that it was indeed unbelievable. I'm afraid the old man thinks he's just fabricating things. But now he's also a bit confused. Is it true that I was trapped in a fantasy formation and had a dream? Or is it really a time travel from 60 years later? However, the old marquis was muttering softly at this moment. A whole nail. Strange, didn't he tell me it would take so long? Then he asked Song Yunxiang about the system. Just now you said, the new main system currently owned has been replicated. The use of mecha by other amateurs. Take this statement seriously. After receiving a positive response from Song Yunxiang, the old marquis couldn't help but think to himself. Originally, my daughter-in-law mentioned two-way insurance. This means that. But I'm afraid he didn't expect either. Can this kid survive until 60 years before he dies? Thinking about the future. The old marquis also immediately reminded Song Yunxiang. The star master system is of great significance. You must never reveal it to anyone again. As for the cover-up of Zhu Ci Su Ren, it's quite clever. You will continue to act as a Zhu Ci vegetarian. As a cover, please. Song Yunxiang immediately nodded and said it was. Just because at this time point, the old man is his true lucky one. At this moment, the old marquis suddenly stood up. Speak again, you come with me. It's time to give you some things. That's what your mother left for you. Everything I know also comes from him. He once prophesied. One day, you will suddenly become exceptionally powerful. Or the soul meridian can heal itself. Or perhaps claiming to have traveled through time and space. After listening to Song Yunxiang, he couldn't help but be stunned. And at this moment, Old Ho has also taken out a wooden box from the dark box. He reminded me, Taoist, not to be surprised by this. Believe whatever you say. So I'll give you this wooden box now. At the same time, he also wants you to remember. The laws of the world. Non-human resources can violate. Under the Star Network. All for chess games. At this moment, his heart was extremely shaken. What kind of person is the mother? Surprisingly, even Starnet knows. However, the old lord ignored his expression. Just reminding him, the review game is also modeled after his mother's. As for what can be learned from it, it all depends on his intelligence. At this moment, suddenly, layers of halos appeared in the sky. Both individuals simultaneously sensed the mutation. Son Yunxiang couldn't help but mutter softly. It's the weak aura of the holy rank just now again. 
And by now, the old Marquis had already rushed to the outside of the house. The dying old man only coughed a few times. Surprisingly, it shook off the two people present on the spot. If it weren't for their timely response, I'm afraid I've been hit by the soul power wave of the old man. Motion induced shock injury. Turns out it was not long ago. The old Marquis just handed the mysterious wooden box to Son Yunxiang. But suddenly, layers of halos appear in this time and space. The old Marquis immediately realized that something was not going well. So he quickly called on Son Yunxiang to go together. Just on the way, Son Yunxiang couldn't help but wonder. Song Jing was the grand steward of the intermediate court of the Song dynasty. It can also be considered the old man's sobriety. He should be the same batch of big brothers as Uncle Mu. But why is cultivation only at the peak of the mysterious level? Is there anything special about the east courtyard of Song Mansion? And who would be the one they're talking about? At this moment, the steward of Jinda suddenly turned around and looked at Song Yunxian. Marquis Yunxian, will you also come with us? The old Marquis didn't speak. But in my heart, I am calculating. It's time for Yunxiang to know some secret messages. Soon they arrived at the courtyard of Song Mansion. Just entered the elevator. Song Yunxiang showed a skeptical expression. This is the elevator to the underground closed room. But soon he felt something was wrong again. Is there a deeper underground space than the secret room? With the elevator clanging open. Everything in front of him confirmed his conjecture. Underground spaces with artificial lighting. A formation that isolates soul power fluctuations. Unexpectedly. Surprisingly, there is such a unique place underground in the Song Mansion. He followed the old lord into a room like this. And the old man in front of me is already in a state of approaching longevity. The old marquis quickly stepped forward and helped the old man up. Uncle, you feel okay now? After hearing about Uncle San, Song Yunxiang was very shocked. Surprisingly, he is the third uncle of the old man. Is the holy order wave emanating from him? I've never seen this kind of person before in my life. If it's a holy rank, perhaps he is a layman of a certain primordial mecca. At this moment, the third prince was speaking slowly and leisurely. I feel like the deadline is approaching. I'm afraid there's less than a month left. Who is this little guy? Old Marquis, right away. Speak up and answer Uncle San. He is my grandson. Yunxiang heard that the little guy was Yunxiang's queen. The third prince glanced at Son Yunxiang. Is it the son of Xiaolang and Jor who has a damaged soul pulse? Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly knelt down and kowtowed. Young man Yun Xiang has met the third prince before. The third prince reached out to signal that he didn't need to be too polite. But after this touch, the third prince sensed that his cultivation was in the early stage of the earth level, and it also repaired the soul pulse. So he happily called him up. And after thanking the third prince, Song Yunxiang, immediately instruct the system to copy the soul jade mech of the third prince. But after a while, there was no movement at all. What's going on? Why is the star system not responding? At this moment, the third prince suddenly covered his chest. The old marquis quickly asked him why. And at this moment, the third prince couldn't help but cough and make a sound. The soul power fluctuations emitted, shocking them off the spot. The old marquis immediately erected a rigid barrier to block it. Song Yunxiang also relied on his graceful body movements, avoiding fluctuations and ripples. This scene left the old marquis extremely surprised in his heart. Good kid. Even the fluctuation of holy spirit power cannot be harmed. It seems that your strength is by no means average. However, at this moment, Song Yunxian was even more puzzled. Third Lord. It's the holy rank powerhouse hidden in our Song family. Why is the star system? But he can't replicate his soul jade mech. Is there any reason behind this? After the fluctuation of the third lord's soul power disappears, the old marquis hurriedly approached to inquire about his concerns and concerns, but it was interrupted by the third prince waving his hand. It's okay, it's just that I didn't control myself well just now. With the coming of Shouyuan, this body is like a cracked ball, holy level soul power in an uncontrolled form. I didn't expect Yunxiang to be able to dodge. There are indeed two brushes, deserving of being the sons of those two people. Upon seeing this, the old marquis quickly spoke up. That's right, Yunxiang got an adventure outside. Not only does it repair, the strength of the soul pulse has made even more rapid progress, and it is said that the opportunity he gained in the secret realm, I can actually see it more than a month later. The tragic situation of Nanhuan being engulfed by tides and engulfing Yongan city. After listening, is the third prince worried about the secret realm of ancient civilization? Yunxiang kid, in the future you see, can our Song family survive? Song Yunxiang immediately spoke up, almost completely annihilated. 
The third prince couldn't help but be shocked and pale. Old Marquis, upon seeing this, hurry to change the topic, uncle, whether what Yunshang sees is the real future or not. It's better to be a dreamy bubble in the fantasy formation, but we have to guard against it. I think it's better to prepare in advance. So, should Yunxian know some secrets, the third prince let out a deep sigh, let me personally say it. Yunxian kid, listen carefully. Old man Song Bingchuan once served as the eight generals of hunting heaven. He is a layman of Chao Ren's mecca. After listening, Song Yunxian frowned slightly. This is a secret he never knew in his past life. Pills that men can easily refine. Not only can it improve cultivation, and it can also prolong life. This excites his grandfather to the point of incoherence, because this is what they need the most. Turns out it was not long ago. When Song Yunxian learned that the third prince was a layman of Chaoran, he couldn't help but be greatly shocked. But on second thought, I feel like something's wrong again, because this is not consistent with his past life experiences, and he just touched the third Lord Star Master System. There was no response either. At this moment, the old marquis suddenly spoke up and asked him if he was right. In the future you mentioned, Yunxiang, have you not seen Uncle San? Song Yunxiang immediately spoke up and answered, in the future I see, the third lord has never appeared before, and Chao Ren's layman, it's a young man named Sun Xia. After listening, the third prince couldn't help but speak softly, I'm afraid by then, the old man Xiao Yuan had already run out, Chao Ren's mecca will naturally leave me, reconsolidate into soul jade. Go find the next amateur, perhaps the young people you just mentioned, is it Chao Ren's next amateur, and at this moment, the old marquis was indeed muttering to himself, is there no other way, there must be a way out, by the way, I have seen it in literature before, there are pills on the southern continent that can increase longevity, if we can seek benefits for Uncle San, even if it means losing everything, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, after hearing the pill, Song Yunxiang woke up like a dream, yeah, why didn't I think? The 7 star survival pill can increase lifespan by 3 to 5 years. The 8 star life extending pill lasts for 5 to 10 years. The 9 star longevity pill has been around for over 30 years. But at this moment, the old marquis looked at him with confusion. You actually know these pills that can prolong life. What path do you have? By the way, did you save the second prince this time? Can you ask him to come forward? At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly interrupted him. Moving on, old man. I know what you mean, but we don't need to disturb the people of the royal family. I happen to know how to refine the longevity pill. Upon hearing this, the old marquis, excitedly grabbing Song Yunxian's shoulder. When did you learn alchemy? That's a high-level longevity pill. Can you really refine it? You should know the alchemist used by the royal court. At most, it can only refine the six-star pill. And the success rate is still less than one in ten. To dispel the doubts of the old marquis. Song Yunxiang immediately took out a high-level pill. After seeing the pill, the old marquis is extremely excited, because he can feel it. This pill is at least seven stars or more. Song Yunxiang couldn't help but grin. That's right, this is exactly the eight-star heavenly spirit pill I refined. The cultivation that can enhance the heavenly level by a small level, but the effect of taking it is only once. As he spoke, he handed the pill to the old marquis, and at this moment, the old marquis had already made up his mind. He wants Song Yunxiang to enjoy the same rights as a homeowner. All human and material resources follow Song Yunxiang deployment. I just hope that Song Yunxiang must refine the Su Ming Dan. Let the Song family be able to live in the upcoming wave of longevity, overcoming this calamity. Of course, Song Yunxiang knew what the old marquis meant, so he walked forward to examine the body of the third prince. Just as he was about to pulse the third prince, the third prince quickly withdrew his hand. Put your left hand directly in front of him. The old man's right hand is a biomimetic prosthesis. In a major war, he was cut off in his right arm. I almost lost my life for this. That's why he pretended to be dead and hid here. Song Yunxiang finally understood. I see. No wonder the star system didn't respond. This prosthesis doesn't seem like a product of this era. I'm afraid it was unearthed from the ruins. Ancient civilization technology. As he touched the left hand of the third prince, the star system will start reading data immediately. When reading 70%, there was a data error. Son Yunxian couldn't help but enjoy himself. What situation? How could this be? But the old man and the third prince were completely confused. Upon seeing this, he immediately released the third prince's hand. It's okay, it's okay. I want to. It should be due to the lack of physical body of the third prince. 
so it affected the two meridians of his heart and soul inside his body. Old Master, Third Prince, I will first search for the materials to refine the Order Life Pill. After that, we will find a way to have you, Third Lord, be reborn with your broken arm. The Third Prince was immediately shocked. He didn't expect Song Yunxiang to be so capable. Surprisingly, he was able to be reborn with a broken arm. At this moment, Song Yunxiang took out another pill. Third Lord, this is a 5-star spring pill. Although it cannot increase lifespan, but it has extremely strong healing effects, can alleviate your physical pain. After giving the third prince foam chundan, he's about to leave. At this moment, the old marquis told him, all the resources of the Song family are at his disposal. Just after Song Yunxiang entered the elevator, he asked Chao Ren about the system. What is the reason for data errors? What's going on? The system will reply to him immediately. Data corruption caused by unknown reasons. Start drawing the missing data now. A seemingly ordinary maid. Surprisingly, it is a spy lurking beside the owner. But even if he hides it well, still unable to escape the owner's dazzling eyes. Not only did he find a small device implanted in his body, even planning to cast long lines to catch big fish, seized the opportunity to catch all of them. Turns out it was not long ago. After Song Yunxiang made an error copying the data of the Chao Man Mecca, he had to instruct the system to calibrate the damaged area, first refine the pill to increase the longevity of the third prince, then let his right arm grow again. Copy after recovery, and on the other side, the maid Liani is tidying up the room for Song Yunxiang, not sparing no effort, just for the satisfaction of Song Yunxiang, but he was mocked by his maid Song Lan, laughing at him only foolishly being bullied by Song Yunxiang. Liani has a shy and delicate expression on her face. And let Song Lan not say that about her own young master. However, Song Lan did not take it seriously. Joking at Liani is really careful. Surprisingly, it's because of Song Yunxiang, this useless embryo. Prepare incense. After listening, Liani immediately spoke up to refute the young master, but now he is not a waste. He can now practice normally. Seeing this, Song Lan spread out her hands, although acknowledging that Song Yunxiang is no longer a waste but still can't escape the fact that it's just a color embryo. He doesn't understand why Ripple is so protective of Song Yunxiang. Don't forget what happened last year. He even fooled you and Zisu into accompanying him to wash white. Upon hearing this, Ripple immediately went crazy. Okay, okay, Sister Song Lan, please don't say anything more. At this time, the maidservant in the Qing dynasty was trying to prevent the two of them from acting recklessly. Immediately reprimand them not to be reckless. Hurry up and finish your current work. The two of them quickly lowered their heads and reported the situation. But the maid beside her, Zisu, only wanted to eat in her heart. I have no intention of working at all. However, how could the Qing dynasty not see it? But unfortunately, he used the excuse of being poisoned. Falsely claiming that people have three anxieties. In the Qing dynasty, he had to leave speechlessly. Perilla is like a runaway wild horse. Bouncing and jumping. I just want to sneak into the kitchen and make some delicious food. Let yourself grow faster. Unexpectedly, on the way, I met my maid Su Wen. He jokingly instructed Su Wen to work hard. Unexpectedly, the other party's expression was cold and indifferent, even ignoring him and turning around to leave. This is really infuriating the Perilla. Immediately put on a superior's posture, I'll tell you. I want to become a full-time employee and stay at the East Campus as soon as possible. You must listen well to your seniors. Otherwise, I'll drive you back to the outer courtyard. Let you continue to pick feces every day. Suddenly, a big hand touched his small head. Zisu turned her head in confusion and took a look. The person who came here is exactly the young man he is longing for. He happily threw himself into Song Yunxiang's arms. Unexpectedly, he was despised by Song Yunxiang. Also remind Perilla not to let nasal mucus touch his body. But at this moment, Su Wen was coldly staring at Song Yunxiang. He finally saw the goal of his trip. However, Song Yunxiang also keenly felt that. Su Wen's cold gaze. But it seems like I haven't seen this person before in my past life. Watching Su Wen wearing a knightly uniform. She couldn't help but doubt whether this person was the new maid. At this moment, Perilla's words confirmed her hypothesis. And he didn't forget to criticize Su Wen. The police think that Song Yunxiang. Immediately instruct the system to scan the question. In an instant, the simple question was completely exposed before her eyes. There's really something fishy about it. Surprisingly using a small device, covering up the middle cultivation level of the yellow rank. Is it another spy sent by the Myronins? 
At this moment, Perilla interrupted his thoughts and stopped looking. What's so nice about young master Yunxian's washboard? They are very kind to listen to you. Always working hard to eat. Serious growth. Song Yunxiang's body is sweating profusely. He only then realized how much a jerk he was in his past life. And the ripples of hearing Song Yunxian's voice. I have already run outside the house. He finally met the young master he longed for in his heart. This makes him both excited and shy. But the two people behind him have another expression on their faces. At this time, the Qing dynasty was filled with shock in its heart. He didn't expect it. The young master broke through to the early stage of the earth's level in less than a year. It's unbelievable. However, Son Yunxiang is also not. He didn't expect that the Qing dynasty was actually in the early stage of the earth's hierarchy. In my impression, the Qing dynasty served him very early on. He couldn't help but think of, is this the old man's arrangement again? Dang Dang is still a handsome and graceful young man. The maids all admired him greatly. I don't want a mask to make him feel at ease. In an instant, he transformed back into the old age of his previous life. This made him suddenly feel at a loss, obviously, losing his usual calm and composed demeanor. Turns out it was not long ago, after Song Yunxian left the underground cave courtyard, the old marquis immediately instructed the wooden butler to start arranging. From this moment on, everyone and resources of the Song family, all can follow Song Yunxian's deployment. All instructions from Song Yunxian must be executed immediately and it also requires hidden guards, always protect his safety, the wooden butler immediately knew its intention, that's right, it means transferring even the command of Yin Wei to him, because the old lord knows, only by handing over Yin Wei to Son Yunxian, only in this way can its maximum value be realized, meanwhile, Son Yunxian is being served by a maid in the room, the feeling of long absence made him very sour and refreshing, the extravagant life of young and middle-aged playboys is both worry-free and worry-free, Make him linger and forget to leave. After receiving the tea handed over by Perilla and drinking it, Song Yunxiang suddenly remembered something. So he instructed Perilla to complete a task. That's when. Pay close attention to Su Wen's movements as she asks the maid. Also pay attention to safety. Cannot be detected by it. After giving instructions on all matters, Song Yunxiang sent them to busy their own affairs. The maids all politely left and left. Subsequently, Song Yunxiang took out the wooden box left for him by his mother. The material of this box looks quite ordinary. First, open it and see what exactly is inside. Unexpectedly, he was just about to open the wooden box. The formation will appear. Originally, the wooden box was set up with a level 3 encryption formation. Unexpectedly, a password needs to be entered to unlock. Is there anything valuable stored inside? Why didn't the old man tell me the password? It seems that we can only let the star system crack it. With a ding sound, the system will start cracking. Just during the waiting period, Song Yunxian suddenly remembered the words that the old man had reminded him of. Your mother once said, human beings cannot violate the laws of the world. Time cannot travel through either, but the chessboard can be reset. Below the star network are all chessboards. How can Rin Song Yunxian deeply think? He still doesn't understand what his mother is implying. Not yet waiting for his thoughts to turn around. The system has cracked 12 sets of passwords, so he began to input the crack one by one. When entering the correct password, he suddenly felt a bit familiar with the numbers. But for a moment, I couldn't remember it. As the wooden box is opened, seeing the items inside, he's like a bolt from the blue, stepping on the stargate in the past life. I have heard of it before after entering the Xuanjia position. It is said that many undisclosed achievements of Xuanjia position are related to him. But these three characters are taboo in the Xuanjia position. As for this apartment, it's quite exquisite. I don't know what its purpose is. Just as Song Yunxian picked up the mask from the wooden box, unexpectedly, the mask automatically activated. Suddenly, prominent and lifeless large characters appeared on the front. On the back, however, it is generated by the heart. This makes him quite unhappy. Looking at the mask without an opening, out of curiosity, he put it on. I don't want him to transform into an elderly person in an instant. Son Yunxiang immediately felt something was wrong. Looking at oneself in the mirror. The mask on his face is not only missing. And he's also returning to his old age. This immediately left him stunned and speechless. What situation? Did this bring me back to my original form? It can be said that he regained his senses from the shock. The maidservant had already pushed the door and entered during the Qing dynasty. Unexpectedly, I ran into Song Yunxiang who looked like an old man.
The Qing dynasty immediately felt that things were not going well, so he quickly pulled out the dagger between his pants legs, put on a face as if facing a great enemy. Who are you? Where is my young master Yunxiang? Song Yunxiang quickly waved his hand to signal. During the Qing dynasty, listen to my explanation. Things are not as you think. It's just a mask without any openings, but it can make people feel at ease. The person wearing it can instantly change their appearance. For this reason, there was almost a black dragon incident. Turns out it was not long ago. The wooden butler and the head of the hidden guard clan are coming to meet Song Yunxiang. In the Qing dynasty, they were asked to wait here for a moment. Go ahead and report to the young master yourself. Who knew that the Qing dynasty had just opened the door and entered the house? Unfortunately, I stumbled upon Song Yunxiang, who had transformed into an elderly person. In the Qing dynasty, he quickly touched the dagger between his pants legs with his hand. Seems as if facing a formidable enemy. Who are you? Where is my young master Yunxiang? Song Yunxiang quickly waved his hand to explain, but Qing Dai didn't give him any chance, waving a dagger and stabbing towards him. He had to turn sideways to avoid Qing Dai's attack, then grab Qing Dai's wrist with the flow. Then he pressed Qing Dai onto the mirror surface, and also warned Qing Dai to calm down for him. Who knows what's good? In the Qing dynasty, it was better to shout loudly for assassins. Under urgent circumstances, Song Yunxiang quickly covered his mouth. Please don't blame me during the Qing dynasty. You shouted it yourself first. I have no choice but to. This is the last resort. Although it has already taken control of the Qing dynasty, but Song Yunxiang is still pondering. When I transform back into old age, the phase referred to by this mask is generated by the heart. Could it be that I can transform my appearance according to my thoughts and desires? Thinking of this, he decided to try the authenticity. With the movement of one's mind, he instantly transformed into the image of the Qing dynasty. At this time, although the Qing dynasty was unable to move, but in fact, my heart is already deeply shaken. Looking at the transformed appearance in the mirror, Song Yunxiang's face showed a hint of joy. As expected, he can transform his appearance as he pleases. No wonder the original form was revealed just now. Turns out it was due to inner thoughts, and upon hearing the cries for help from the Qing dynasty, the wooden butler and others immediately rushed to Song Yunxiang's house. But by now, Song Yunxiang had already returned to his original appearance, and awkwardly gestured to the wooden butler. It's okay, he's just playing around with the Qing dynasty. Ma Jinhua immediately raised her thumb to praise her. Young master, you will be late, truly worthy of being a role model for our generation. The wooden butler, who couldn't bear to watch, quickly coughed and made a sound. Your fiancé A.E. will also be present at today's dinner. Please pay attention to your discretion, young master. Song Yunxiang, who was somewhat impatient, immediately stopped him. Continue to nag. At this time, the Qing dynasty had already awakened from panic. He was just about to express his apologies, also interrupted by Song Yunxiang. At the same time, it also reminds the Qing dynasty that, this is a secret between them. Do not let outsiders know. Then he asked the housekeeper what he meant by looking for him. But the wooden butler did not directly say. Just let him move to the study to discuss in detail. Song Yunxiang immediately ordered the Qing dynasty to pack up the items on his desk. Then he followed the butler to the study. Uncle Demu, tell me the truth. The Qing dynasty was arranged by the old man to protect me, right? Steward Mu did not deny it. In theory, he wants to keep Song Yunxiang confidential. But now the shadow guards have to obey Song Yunxiang's command. So he had to be truthful. Announced. In fact, during the Qing dynasty, he was a high-level expert in the third group of the shadow guards of the Song dynasty. Can be considered as my subordinate. Song Mansion Shadow Guard is divided into three groups. Each group fulfills their respective duties. Non-interference. A group responsible for action. Group 2 is responsible for intelligence. Three groups are responsible for guarding. The old marquee has just ordered. From now on, you will be the sole owner of all shadow guards. They are the leaders of Shadow Guard Group 1 and Group 2. After being introduced by the shepherd, Song Yunxiang learned about their weird names. A person named Gao Gaiga. Another one is called Ma Jinua. I haven't waited for Song Yunxiang to start roast. The shepherd, who knew his temperament, demanded that he speak with caution. Just because Gao Gaiga and Ma Jinua are both orphans, it was Song Yunxiang's mother who kindly took them in, and he also gave them names. They are grateful to Song Yunxiang's mother for this. And regarding the origin of names, it also has profound implications. That's all from the super ancient civilization period. Names of braves and demons. After hearing about the ancient civilization, 
Song Yunxiang couldn't help but feel curious in his heart. His unforgettable mother. What exactly is it? One last sentence. Comic author, are you too watery? Revive a lifetime. He became a hero who turned the tide. For this, my grandfather entrusted the future of the family to him. I just hope he can lead the family through the disaster. And he doesn't shift the blame either. Start laying out. But upon learning about the two subordinates, after being adopted by her mother as an orphan, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but recall the past lives of his parents. There is no memory of them at all. In my impression, the old man once said, they were missing 16 years ago. Afterwards, they announced to the public that they had passed away unexpectedly. When parents were born, I am only two years old. That's why there's no memory left of them. Plus, when I was young, I indulged in recklessness and indulgence. I don't care about it either. Later on, he wandered and drifted away again, tired of running for life. There is simply no time for decades of life and death wandering in other countries. Therefore, they have long been completely forgotten. Are you saying that I overlooked something in my past life? Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang turned around and asked the steward, who was furious. Uncle, my parents happened 16 years ago. You should be very clear about it, right? Song Yunxiang's sudden question. Let the steward be momentarily speechless. I completely don't know what to answer. Seeing Butler Mu's manly expression of affection, Song Yunxiang immediately remembered the impression of his past life. They are very secretive about things about their parents. Then Song Yunxiang waved his hand. No more difficulties, Butler Mu. Then let Butler Mu start arranging it. He is going to the Song family cemetery to pay respects to his parents. Then he walked out of the study. When Song Yunxiang saw the waiting Qing dynasty, he immediately turned back to ask the shepherd. Will the Qing dynasty now also have to obey him? The shepherd did not deny it. So I asked the Qing dynasty to come and see Song Yunxiang again. At the same time, he also told the Qing dynasty that, from now on, Song Yunxiang will be the owner of the hidden guards of the Song mansion. In the Qing dynasty, he immediately knelt down and kowtow to Song Yunxiang, and report that he is the hidden stake at number 28 of the third group of the hidden guard. Song Yunxiang immediately pulled out a storage card. For so many years, he has been silently protecting me in secret. It's not easy, is it? Thank you for your hard work. This pill from the Qing dynasty can be considered as a little reward for you. Although in Song Yunxiang's opinion, this is not a big deal. But by now, they had already dropped their chins in shock. This is a 5-star emperor spirit pill. At least its value should be above a million. Not to mention that it can enhance the delivery of a small realm. And there haven't been any side effects yet. The Qing dynasty was greatly favored and amazed. Such a precious thing, even in the heavenly capital royal. I'm afraid they all belong to priceless treasures, right? But Song Yunxiang paid no attention to this, because he has a lot of this thing. Now is the time for employment. He should try his best to select trustworthy people to enhance his strength. Meanwhile, Song Yunxiang did not forget to mention, Wake up, Gao Geida, and the two of you just need to perform well. They will naturally have. After learning about it, they quickly knelt down to worship the letter, and swear to die to be loyal to Song Yunxiang. The point pointed by the sword edge is completely unmarked. Watching this scene, Steward Mu feels deeply gratified. He knows, the best choice is for In Wei to follow Song Yunxiang. Afterwards, Song Yunxiang asked In Wei San's team to investigate a person again. Then everyone began to set off for the Song family cemetery. On the way, driver Xia Beja, what's the strange gate guard Ma San doing with him? But Ma San answered a different question. Do you think the young master is coming back this time? Has it become very different? Then the two secretly turned around to look at Song Yunxiang. At this moment, Song Yunxiang is wiping blood with Manager Hong. He gave Manager Hong a list of medicinal herbs and asked Manager Hong to find a way to help him get it. When the shopkeeper Hong reviewed Song Yunxiang's list, he immediately stated that he has never heard of a few medicines before. So he asked Song Yunxiang to wait a little longer. Now he is at the headquarters of the Red City Chamber of Commerce in Nanzhou. He needs to consult with a pill expert. Give Song Yunxiang an accurate reply when the time comes. After the trial with Song Yunxiang, Manager Hong immediately came to the head of the headquarters. And this person is the legitimate heir of the Hong family, Hong Yuxiao, responsible for all business of the Hong Chamber of Commerce in Nanzhou. At this moment, he is looking meaningfully at Song Yunxiang's information. Song Yunxiang, it does have some meaning. Then he asked Manager Hong to arrange for it. He wants to personally meet this young Marquis of the Song family. He is an assassin trained by a secret organization. At a young age, he became a layman of the Lubu Mecca. 
Just as he was carrying out his mission, unexpectedly, I met a strange person. The other party not only knows that he likes tomatoes on sticks best, and also gave him a storage card. Saying that critical moments will be of great use, Asen returned to Taiyuan with doubts like this. After verifying the organization's number, Asen drove his motorcycle through the waterfall and entered the base. But just as he went to report, a little girl also ran towards him. When the little girl saw him, just burst into tears. And the little girl is his junior sister Sinan. Asen is curious about why Sinan is crying so much, also asking him, didn't he go to Northern Zhou with his master? Why did you suddenly return to Taiyuan again? Sinan rubbed the tears in his eyes. Master, in order to save me. Unexpectedly, he was ambushed by the Meru people. Now lying on the sickbed, barely breathing. After listening, a Sanru was struck by lightning. We need Sinan to take him to see his master immediately. Even if a hat falls off, it doesn't even bother to check. And at this moment, the doctor is rescuing Asen's master. They have undergone 12 detoxification tests, but without exception, it all ended in failure. Just as they were preparing to test again, Ashen pushed the door with Sinan and entered. Then he went straight to the master's hospital bed. Ashen looked incredulous. After all, his master is a strong person in the early stages of the heavenly rank, the ace in the Taiyuan assassins. Only a few people can harm his master. At this moment, Suan Yang looked at her lover, feeling weak and speaking up, it's Ashen, just come back safe and sound. At this point, the doctor also reported his master's condition to Ashen. Senior Duan Yang, the external injuries are no longer serious now, but there is a strange toxin. It is eroding the heart and soul meridians of the senior. After hearing the erosion of the two meridians of the heart and soul, Asen was greatly shocked. Is it possible that the technology of the Ethereum? Can't we configure the corresponding antidote yet? Physicians feel helpless. I have to tell you the truth truthfully. At present, they can only use filtering technology, prevent toxins from invading the brain. But even so, there's not much time left for them to continue trying. This seems to be a new type of toxin born from this opportunity. From Taiyuan's knowledge base, unable to retrieve the corresponding detoxification plan. Actually, just looking at the structure of this toxin, cleverly connecting chemical substances through soul power. Afterwards, they will form toxin units. I think it's a bit like the technique of an alchemist. Unfortunately, the development of alchemy in the eastern continent has been slow. And alchemy, it requires alchemists to rely on personal experience and intuition. To make judgments, it is difficult to apply the medical intelligence of technology for an aid. After learning that alchemists may have a way to interpret, Asen immediately remembered. Previously, Song Yunxiang gave him the pill, so he immediately took out the storage card. With a crash, all the pills inside were poured out. The two physicians became ecstatic in an instant. Grab the pill and start discerning its efficacy. Quickly, a bottle of elixir caught the attention of the physician. The doctor quickly opened the bottle and smelled the scent of the pill. After confirming that the white pill may be the antidote, two physicians will immediately take the pill to analyze it. At this point, Sinan asked Asen Asen, a senior sister, with some curiosity, how could you have so many pills? You probably robbed the Hong's Chamber of Commerce Pharmacy, right? After listening, Asen couldn't help but burst into sweat. How could I possibly rob? These are all gifts from a strange person to me. Soon the results of the pill analysis came out. The structural units of the pill and toxin are consistent, based on medical intelligence computing. Three pills can relieve the poison in Sun Yang's body. This also makes Asen have to doubt. Is it just a coincidence that Song Yunxian gave him the pill? Still, Song Yunxian had anticipated it earlier. And who exactly is Song Yunxian? Meanwhile, the headquarters hall of Taiyuan. The high priest is inquiring about the situation of his subordinate Suan Yang. Subordinates replied to him. Suan Yang's poison has been brought under control. But what is taken? But it was the pill that Asen obtained from the target character. So, so. He immediately clicked on the information of the target character Song Yunxian. Copy the initiator star soul general. This should be the means that the adult is capable of. Is this plain and unremarkable male body? Has it already been taken away by adults? Why not use the container I prepared for you? Are you really back? Not at this time, the Song family cemetery. Song Yunxian sneezed as if sensing something. Ah Don. Which bastard is speaking ill of me? In his past life, when he was young, he indulged in recklessness and indulgence, neglecting the unexpected passing of parents at all. Later, it erupted due to dampness. 
The family suffered a tragic downfall, he began to wander and wander. Tired of running for life, decades of life and death drift, orphans have already completely forgotten their parents. Now Song Yunshang is reborn at the age of 18, he only realized what he had overlooked, so he brought his subordinates to worship his parents. Unexpectedly, someone keeps thinking about me and sneezing. Majinua, who was doing a good job, immediately spoke up and joked about young master Yunshan. Sneezing may not necessarily mean that someone is speaking ill of you. Maybe some girl is thinking of you. Upon hearing this, the wooden butler couldn't help but glare at Majinua. Signal him not to talk nonsense. Majinua had to pout and hum a tune. At this point, Song Yunxiang had already confirmed his conjecture. After system scanning, there were no accidents involving parents in the cemetery. It's just that the old man made it up. It's just a cover-up tomb. Judging solely from the mask of sentient beings with no form, he already knew his parents were not very human. Can. What secret did parents go missing with? At this moment, only a faint ding sound was heard. Ma Jinhua immediately opened the video. Turns out he already found the information he inquired about. This person comes from a slum in Yongan City. Was imprisoned for tomb robbery. Now we have formed a club called the White Dragon Gang, granting the title of gang leader. Specially serving as the main source of livelihood for tomb raiders to eliminate loot. After learning about it, Song Yunxiang directly asked Ma Jinhua, where is Lin Xia currently located? An abandoned house at number 13 de Gulain in the north of the city. The people from the second group of the hospital are already monitoring there. Ma Jinhua answered without hesitation. Song Yunxiang immediately stated that he wanted to go and take a look. Meanwhile, at the apron, Xia Beijia and the other two are also chatting. Ma San believes that Kong Xinxin is not a good person. Now young master Yunxiang has obtained an adventure. Not only did it repair the soul pulse, There's no need to hide one's strength and hide one's secrets for Song Jia anymore. Marry a bad woman who has one heart for herself. But Xia Beijia felt that. This move will definitely not be accepted by the old lord. Because the old marquis cannot do such treacherous things. Ma San took a moment to think about it. Also indicating agreement. But it's not without a solution. Young master Yun Rue from the second master's family. Always secretly in love with that Kong Xingxing. No big deal transferred the engagement to their western courtyard. Let that silly kid be the receiver. Who knew he had just finished speaking? Song Yunxiang and his companions have arrived at the apron. The two of them wisely closed their mouths and respectfully welcomed Song Yunxiang. Then they started heading towards Daegu Lane in the northern district of the city. The little brother who searched on the other side has crooked teeth, carrying a large bag of things to the abandoned mansion. Boss, boss. Daefengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables. Today, the monkeys touched a lot of treasures on their trip. After speaking, he put out the treasures in the package. A dog-like appearance. Signal to Sun Xia to take a look. Sun Xia looked at the treasures on the ground. Pretend to be a profound Du Lao. Are you there? Please help me identify which valuable items are. Du Lao is not talking nonsense either. Directly pointed out for him. Subsequently, Xu Xia asked Suozi to keep what he had found. All others are not allowed. According to the rules of the White Dragon Gang, selling items without authorization, extract 70% of the sold price, and the transportation costs also need to be reported by the monkeys in all of them. After learning about it, Swayazi was a bit worried. After all, the gang leader is still holding down the monkey's monthly payment for goods. But Su Xia doesn't care if these sales channels are in his hands. Now his words are imperial edicts. If the monkey doesn't listen, he will continue to hold down for another month. At this moment, Song Yunxiang and his wife were lying on the roof, watching. Ma Jinhua's heart is full of curiosity. The invisibility formation used by the young master is really impressive. Not only can it isolate sound, and it also blocks soul power fluctuations. It's like a super weapon for infiltrating assassination. At this point, Song Yunxiang suddenly said that he wanted to observe closer. Ma Jinhua couldn't help but burst into sweat. He is worried that getting too close may not be noticed by anyone. I haven't waited for him to ask yet. Song Yunxiang has already jumped off the roof. Helplessly, he could only keep up quickly. At this moment, Su Xiaxing lay leisurely on the chair. Du Lao, are there any items in these items that can improve cultivation? After receiving a negative answer, Su Xia doesn't care at all. After all, it's not always that good luck. But when these things are resold, it's not a problem to easily earn over 100,000 yuan. If it weren't for the privilege of meeting Du Laolin, the young boy, I won't achieve anything so soon either. 
Speaking, can I really become a layman of star soul descending to Chowran? After listening, Du Lao asked Sun Xia to rest assured. As long as they work together. When the star soul descends, Chowren will naturally be captured with ease, and he already feels it. The fire of Chao Ren's ordinary life is about to burn out. At this moment, Song Yunxiang's heart was filled with doubts. How does this Sun Xia feel so ordinary? Compared to my previous life, it's completely different. No, it's because their soul power fluctuations are completely different. The ring in his hand. The fluctuation of soul power emitted. That's the one I know. He revived his life and became a genius demon. Not only did it repair its own incomplete soul vein, my cultivation has skyrocketed for this reason. The pills that are easily refined are also at the master level. The mecha design drawing drawn. Let the Jigon scholars be impressed by it. And Ji Gongshir, in order to improve his design skills, we all have to worship him as our teacher, even if we are shameless and shameless. Now Ji Gongshir Nanbu Dengfong, in order to fulfill Dean Gu's mission, working day and night to produce mechas, and ask the secretary to convey to Dean Gu that there is no need to worry. Technical challenges of two testing machines. He will definitely conquer within three days. The subsequent production is not a problem at all. As for production and capacity, as long as the material supply is in place, we can definitely exchange fire before the date set by Song Yunxiang. And he also prepared a big surprise for Song Yunxiang. That's why he's been thinking all night without sleeping. Works that can impress Song Yunxiang's eyes. Having both heavy armor and shield charging defense capabilities, it also has both artillery and splash destructive power plus the maneuverability of aerial backpacks. The ultimate form of the Wei Yuan style mecha is formed by combining it. He believes that if Song Yunxiang sees this work, I'm afraid no matter what, everyone would be willing to accept him as an entry-level disciple. On the surface, although the secretary is praising the work for its excellence, but in my heart, I was joking. Isn't it just stacking all the equipment together? Even if we can successfully construct it, estimate the consumption of soul power. I'm afraid it's also hard to accept. Nangua Dengfeng seems to realize. There is still room for optimization. So he started muttering to himself again. The students next to them also looked speechless for a moment. Then he told Tang Jinshue. The teacher is doing something very impressive. What exactly is it inconvenient to disclose to the public? Tang Jinshue immediately replied to the rules and understood them. After all, I used to be a member of a refinery. But if forging requires materials. He can provide, because, his mother's family is running a business in this area. If needed, he can find a way to prioritize providing it. You can rest assured about the price. But the other party said they wanted to report to Nangua Dengfeng. If necessary, please contact him again. After that, I quickly hung up. Bloodthirsty can make Tang Jingxue look confused. Forcing me to do so, he is contacting his former classmates from Tiandu Forging Academy. Anyway, he must win a business deal. Make his father-in-law recognize his business acumen. Meanwhile, during the monitoring and patrol process, Ma Jinua suddenly received a subpoena. So he quickly reported to Song Yunxiang in a low voice. Young Master Yunxiang. The eyeliner of the second group said that Miss Kong was coming here. I don't want Song Yunxiang to be listening to him at all. At this moment, Song Yunxiang's heart was contemplating. The soul power waves emanating from the ring. That's the one I know. And now. Who will be under the same skirt? Is this under the skirt the original body? At this moment, Ma Jinhua quickly leaned over to his side and tell him about Kong Xingxing's incident. Song Yunxiang just realized now, when I see Kong Xingxing's distance from here, when there are only two intersections, Song Yunxiang immediately asked Ma Jinhua, why is it so certain that Kong Xingxing will come here? Ma Jinhua is helpless. I have to answer truthfully. I found out the news before. Miss Kong seems to have some personal connections with this summer patrol leader. But young master, please don't get angry yet. These are all unconfirmed rumors. Actually, the Kong family also has our dark side. I will go and verify it now. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly spoke up to stop it. Then the two of them began to retreat and leave. Before leaving, I turned around and glanced at Su Xia. Just because that eerie ring made him wary. So he asked Ma Jinua to arrange manpower to continue monitoring. Then he handed Ma Jinhua a storage card. There are 200 hidden symbols inside. People and horses used for squatting, to prepare for unexpected needs. After learning it was a hidden talisman. Ma Jinhua was shocked on the spot and was stunned. Although the stealth suit is only a simplified version, but with the effect of acting skills, at least it can give them some extra clothes. After thanking Song Yunxiang, 
Ma Jinhua immediately disappeared in front of Song Yunxiang. Song Yunxiang looked up and saw, looking at the night sky, he knows it's almost time to go back to the mansion to attend the dinner party. At this time, officials from outside the Song dynasty, such as Xi Yan, were present. Standing in front of the reception hall, just as they saw Song Yunjin returning, Song Yunxiao's face was full of mockery. Isn't this Miss Yunjin? Why are you available today? Let go of the busy military affairs and come back. Should not have spent the budget again. Come home and ask for food, right? Although Song Yunxiao doesn't like practicing, so far, it's just the beginning of the mystery. But he relied on his clever mind, controlling the outward investment of the Song family's industry. And Song Yunjin is the eldest daughter of Uncle Song Ching. Cultivation is in the early stage of imperial rank. It is the ancestral commander of the Red Luan army composed of women. At this moment, he was looking at Song Yunxiao with disdainful eyes. In his previous life, he was born with a disabled soul pulse, so as to give up on oneself, living an absurd life. From then on, he was no longer favored by his family. Now, by chance, I am reborn back to the age of 18. He wants to completely change the inherent prejudice of his family towards him. And everything starts with the welcome banquet. Song Yunxiang went to the banquet hall as soon as he returned. At this moment, the old marquis is also waiting in the banquet room. When I saw my eldest son not yet present, the old marquis immediately spoke up and questioned. Upon seeing the situation, aunt and madam quickly answered. Father Song Ching said that military affairs are busy and we can't leave. I'll come back when I'm on vacation at the end of the month. And Lady He is the daughter of the Wei Tingho of the He family in Zhangzhou. It's the mother of Song Yunjin and Song Yunqi. After listening, the old marquis waved his hand. Signaled him to be okay. Then he asked his second son why he hadn't arrived yet. Madam Chang, the second uncle and mother, also truthfully told the truth. Father Song Bo. He said there's a party tonight. So he won't be able to attend the banquet either. Mrs. Chang, on the other hand, comes from the heavenly capital kingdom. The Chang family, one of the three major valleys. When he was young, he was a beauty who covered up a city. It's the mother of Song Yunxiao and Song Yunroe. After the old marquis learned that his second son had lost socializing, an old marquis who knows his temperament and temperament, get angry on the spot, socialize and fart, tell him to get back to me now. Upon seeing this, Aunt Zhao immediately spoke up and explained to the marquis to calm down. My husband is going to socialize with the envoy sent from Zhangzhou. I heard it's a big deal. However, this time it involves the succession dispute of the Zhang family. They seem willing to pay a heavy price. In exchange for our cooperation and support. And also, my husband said he will finish the party as soon as possible and come back. Just finished speaking, Song Yunxiang also came to the banquet hall. He and everyone present greet each other one by one. Aunt Zhou immediately stood up and asked Song Yunxiang to sit next to him. And asked Song Yunxiang with concern. How are you doing at Jiwu Academy? Song Yunxian smiled and responded well. Aunt Zhou treated her very well from beginning to end in her previous life. Perhaps it's because. The reason why Aunt Zhou was once a maid in the eastern court. But just as Song Yunxian was about to sit down. The old marquis gestured for Song Yunxian to come and sit next to him. Just as Song Yunxian passed by Aunt Zhao's side. Aunt Zhao immediately smelled the fragrance on his body. So Aunt Zhao directly asked him about Yun Xiang. Do you have anything good on you? Based on the richness of this aroma. It should be a pill with more than three stars, right? Song Yunxian could only admit with a smile. At the same time, I also exclaim, Aunt Zhao is truly from a pharmaceutical family. Surprisingly, he still knows some basic knowledge of elixirs. It is said that Aunt Zhao was once the secretary of Uncle Air, after marrying my second uncle, responsible for managing the business related to Song family medicine. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang asked Uncle Air why he didn't come. At this moment, Aunt Air told him with a disdainful expression on her face, Uncle Air has a dinner party and wants to socialize, so I don't have time to come back. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang is not polite either. Just sit down directly. Just because Zerbwa is a utilitarian and pragmatic person, he has always looked down on him who used to lack ambition. And Aunt Air is also a businesswoman with a natural disposition. What we value in our eyes is only profit. But fortunately, despite their heavy profits, but they are all people with bottom lines. Even at the end of the road, they will all prioritize the collective interests and reputation of the Song family. Put it first. I don't know why An Air is not favored by Uncle Air. At this moment, Song Yunxiang noticed that Uncle had not come either. Judge Song Yunxiang. The puzzled aunt immediately spoke up to explain Yunxiang's nephew. You also know that. 
Uncle, he leads the Iron Arm Army to sit on the Great Wall in Nanhuang, cannot leave easily. So please forgive me, nephew Yunxiang, but Yun Jin and Yun Qi will come over soon. You young people have more topics to talk about together. At the banquet of the Western Fifth Courtyard, if there's anything I don't understand, I can ask you for advice. Yun Jing's sister, Song Yunxiang could only agree with a smile, and the uncle who didn't show up. He is a stubborn and upright soldier. Song Yunxiang, who is stubborn in his past lifestyle, very sneering. In my impression, uncle's realm is the pinnacle of hierarchy. Now I think it's probably just to cover up, right? Auntie's character is also like this. Unfortunately, I care too much about face and rules. I always like to catch Song Yunxiang preaching. At this moment, Song Yunxi just came to the banquet hall after school. Auntie scolded him on the spot for wearing flashy clothes. Then he was asked to go back and change his symptoms. But he was stopped by the old marquee. It's just a family banquet. Don't be so formal. At this time, Song Yunxi has no major or minor issues. Say hello to Song Yunxiang. Song Yunxiang retorted with a slight smile at Song Yunxi. He should be called Brother Shang. Because Song Yunxi is an extremely outstanding genius young man. At the age of only 16, he broke through to the early stage of the Earth's hierarchy. That's why he relied on his talent and arrogance, disdainful of others. Fortunately, there is a pure heart of loyalty, righteousness, and courage. In his past life, he was under pressure from the court. He was evacuating to cover the evacuation of residents. In the end, he fought until he was exhausted and died. And at this moment, Song Yunqi is still smiling and teasing Song Yunxiang. I want him to willingly call him brother. So Song Yunxiang must surpass him in realm. Song Yunxiang is not talking nonsense either. Just stand up straight. The body immediately emitted a violent wave of soul power. Song Yunqi was startled on the spot. How could it be possible? You have already broken through to the ground level, and it also repaired the soul pulse. Seeing him like this, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but grin. Immediately ask him to call out his brother to listen. Song Yunqi immediately expressed dissatisfaction. Only those who surpass him in realm will call. Now Song Yunxian, like him, is in the early stages of imperial rank. So ultimately, he is still the first genius of the Song family. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxian immediately took out a pill and took it down. I only heard a loud bang. Song Yunxian directly broke through to the mid-imperial stage. Shouldn't you call me brother now, kid? This kid is the first genius in the family. His outstanding talent made him proud of his talents, disdainful of others. Therefore, he looks down on his brother who has a damaged soul vein. The nickname for my brother is neither big nor small, even jokingly trying to make him willingly call him brother. Then the cultivation level must be higher than him. Who knew this song was no longer that song? Song Yunxiang, who has traveled through rebirth, will certainly not get used to him. So he immediately revealed his cultivation in the early stages of his imperial rank. But Song Yunqi still expressed dissatisfaction. After all, both of them were in the early stages of the imperial rank. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang didn't talk nonsense to him either. Just take out one emperor's spirit pill and take it down. The cultivation instantly broke through to the middle stage of the earth level. I don't want to. At this moment, Song Yunqi suddenly hugged Song Yunxiang's thigh claiming that Song Yunxian will be his own brother in the future. The rapid change in attitude left Song Yunxian somewhat stunned. This guy admitted too quickly, right. But at this moment, Song Yunxi only had pills in her eyes. Where else is there to worry about whether to admit or not? Brother Xiang, don't call you brother now. Just want me to call you grandpa. It's not that we can't discuss it either. Unexpectedly, the words had just finished. My head is affected. A critical punch from the old marquee. What soul language are you talking about, kid? Get up now. Who knew it would be better now? Song Yunqi did indeed get up, but it was directly hanging on Song Yunqian's body. Brother Xiang, what kind of ammunition is this? Can you give my younger brother one to taste? Seeing my son having such an unlimited limit for ammunition, auntie's eyes and face were speechless for a moment, and the second aunt was lost in thought. At this moment, Aunt Zhao suddenly spoke up and asked Song Yunxiang about it. Yunxian's nephew. The bottle of elixir in your hand. Could it be the legendary emperor spirit pill? After learning that it may be a five star pill, Auntie looked incredulous. After all, there is only one case in the entire Wei Tingho mansion, and it was passed down from generation to generation 400 years ago. At this moment, Aunt Air, I was thinking about the auction of the Hong's Chamber of Commerce a few days ago, because the Hong Chamber of Commerce recently gained the favor of a certain Dandao expert. Just a batch of Samsung pills. 
can double the revenue several times. As for the value of the bottle of elixir in Song Yunxiang's hand, I'm afraid it's even more difficult to estimate. And when Song Yunxiang saw that Ant Zhao could recognize this pill, he greatly appreciated Ant Zhao's insights. I don't want to. Ant Zhao actually knows the special effect of the delivery pill, because he has seen ancient relics passed down from his ancestors. It records that, D Ling Dan, it can elevate the earth level powerhouse to a small level. And there haven't been any side effects yet. Unfortunately, everyone is only effective when taking it for the first time. At this moment, the old marquis was thinking about how to make good use of this bottle of earth spirit pill. After all, they can make the middle power of the Song family upgrade to a higher level. He knows this is a very rare opportunity. If we could obtain an earthly spirit pill for the two children, what's the point of sacrificing some face for him? But over the years, although they never treated Song Yunxian harshly, but it doesn't count as much. If you show too much affection now, will it be seen as a petty person who tends to follow the crowd and being looked down upon? Unexpectedly, just as Auntie hesitated, but Aunt Air has already started taking action. So he quickly asked his son to pour tea to Song Yunxiang as compensation. Song Yunxi made a decisive decision on the spot. Just take away the perception in front of the old marquee. With a swoop, he came to Song Yunxiang's side. Brother Xiang, please have some tea. Just now, it was my little brother who didn't understand. Just a few jokes. I hope Brother Xiang doesn't take it amiss. Seeing Song Yunxi so eye-catching, Song Yunxiang asked him to perform well next. You can give him a push then. It's not impossible to help him break through to the heavenly level. Song Yunxi was immediately overjoyed. But at this moment, Song Yunxiu's siblings also came to the banquet hall. Soon, Song Yunxiu realized that the atmosphere was not right. Strange. How could that little trash sit in his father's seat? Although the old man is very biased towards her, but it's not enough to make my mother change her attitude as well. My mother has always been powerless to wake up early. How could you be so polite to her? And it has already reached a shameful level. I haven't waited for Song Yunxiu to return from Hui Middle School yet. Song Yunrui had already cursed at Song Yunxiang. Seeing this, he quickly covered Song Yunrui's mouth, and citing Song Yunrui's bad mood today as an excuse. Let Song Yunxiang not take it to heart. Song Yunxiang didn't care about it either. Just looking at Song Yunxiu differently. Although Song Yunxiu doesn't like practicing, but his mind is very intelligent. Understanding the advance and retreat of current affairs. She belongs to the same category as Dean Gu's female fox. Like that idiot Song Yunrui. Having a genuine and extremely strong personality and love. I have been working hard to maintain my genius persona. Unfortunately, it's Kong Xingxing's licking dog from that woman. Because of this, he has always been at odds with Song Yunxiang. He narrowly survived the Korean War in his previous life. Three years later, the final battle of Tindu City. Xuan Zhao's position has been destroyed by the group. A Sanbu. Song Yunxiang, who was fortunate enough to fall and receive the protection of the Empress. Exile to Shishue Kingdom. In the Shindu of Shishue Kingdom, the two reunited again. At that time, Song Yunrui was constantly chasing and killing someone. Because of that wild seed, that led to the downfall of the Song family in the tide. Unexpected encounter, and then hastily bid farewell. After time has passed and circumstances have changed, they have also reached a settlement. Recalling the wild species mentioned by Song Yunrui, Song Yunxiang immediately thought of it. Could it be that the direct line of the Song family had an insider? Just as he was speculating who that wild seed might be. Song Yunjing is already standing opposite him. If it weren't for the report from the Red Luan army, Song Yunjing can't believe it. The hero who saved the dome city was actually him. Faced with divine level ferocious beasts, not only does it remain calm in the face of danger, even able to lead everyone back with their whole bodies, it really makes Song Yunjing a bit difficult to see through. At this moment, Song Yunxian was impolite in greeting Song Yunjing. In my impression, Song Yunjin has been struggling with funding issues all along, but due to personality, he is ashamed to keep the money on his lips. This anxiety makes him very conflicted. Song Yunxiang took this opportunity to help him, so I deliberately thanked him for sending a boat to pick me up. Song Yunxiang's move suddenly stunned him, then he smiled and said it meant the old man. The meeting came over. The old lord immediately asked him to make a list of war losses, then reimburse him. After learning that Song Yunjin came back to ask for the account, Song Yunxiu immediately spoke out and mocked, but it also showed him the mystery of the situation. Big sister can be so polite to Song Yunxiang. 
It seems that my judgment earlier was correct. Song Yunxiang is likely to have great potential. At this moment, Song Yunxiang is shifting the blame with the old marquis. The cost should be borne by him. Seeing this, even the old marquis is not polite to him. The old marquis knows how many big fortunes he has made recently. Just a few million is just a small matter for him. Song Yunxiang could only scratch his head awkwardly. Although there are still tens of millions on hand, but what he earns now is not as fast as what he spends. At this moment, how many more people came to the banquet hall? The person coming is the young daughter and fourth son of the old marquis. Yang Nu. Song Shi is currently the education director of the Yongan Military Preparatory Office. Cultivation is in the early stage of the Earth's level. Song Son, on the other hand, is an old bachelor who cannot achieve success in both literature and martial arts. A simple personality that gnaws on old and fat houses. Always living with three older brothers, under the shadow of the younger generation. And Song Yunxiang from his past life. In terms of eating, drinking, and having fun, they share a similar odor. At this moment, Song Song was happily resting on Song Yunxiang's shoulder, quietly asking Song Yunxiang, Do you want to go out for a couple of drinks tonight? Song Yunxiang held his hand, smiling and politely refusing, and signaled to talk about this later. At the same time, it is also sensing his true cultivation, but I don't want him to be a genuine mystery in the early days. This makes Song Yunxiang feel like he's overthinking. This man is born with a missing soul pulse. Not only are they treated differently by their families, my fiancé A.E. also regards him as me. For this, he also wore a big green hat. Now I even want to come straight to my door and withdraw my marriage. Unexpectedly, he was already prepared. He wants to take the opportunity to hit his fiancé A.E. hard in the face once. Turns out it was not long ago. After chatting with Song Yunxiang about daily life, Song Song, he immediately invited Song Yunxiang to sit down together. I don't want Song Yunxiang to tell him. I have to sit next to the old man myself, so he didn't talk nonsense either. Directly signal Song Yunxiang to come back and talk again. Rumors about Song Tsang. Song Yunxiang has also heard of it. He is the continuation of the old man's string. In terms of qualifications, it is far inferior to the three brothers. Nearly four generations old. The cultivation is still stuck in the early stage of the Xuanjie stage. In the Song family, his status is not as good as that of Song Yunxiang in his previous life. When Song Yunxiang was ready to return to his seat, Song Shi warmly greeted him politely, but in the next second, Song Shi will be directly suppressed. How could it be possible? Has this kid's cultivation already surpassed mine? I can't even tell. What is his cultivation level? At this moment, Song Yunxiang was also waving at the Song River in the morning, praising him for becoming more and more beautiful. In his past life, Song Yunxiang did not pay attention to his background, just knowing that he is a well-prepared teacher. Breaking through to the early stage of the Earth's level before the age of 30. Not to mention outstanding talent, but at least stronger than many instructors at the Jiwu Academy. If neither of them has any problems, the insider that Yun Rue referred to in his past life. Is there someone else? Now this guy. Do you know who the so-called wild species will be in the future? How about creating an opportunity to test him? Not yet waiting for Song Yunxiang to take action, Yun Hua suddenly appeared throw it into his arms. He doted on touching Yun Hua's head. Yun Hua was born to Aunt Zhou. Since childhood, I have been closest to Song Yunxiang. At this moment, Yun Zhao also came over to greet Song Yunxiang. He can only respond awkwardly with a smile from time to time. And towards Li Yun Zhao, who has a quiet personality. He is not good at the type of conversation he has with him. And Song Yunxiang, out of his love for Yun Hua, he asked Yun Hua to sit next to him. Unexpectedly, it was directly rejected by Yunhua. Yunhua even reminded him to be careful of being slaughtered, because what he did was not a good position. The old marquis's face was immediately filled with embarrassment, so he asked everyone to raise their glasses to celebrate the victory. Song Yunqi, who was eager to show off, immediately proposed to pour wine for Song Yunxiang. But just as he was pouring wine for Song Yunxiang, Steward Mu quickly reminded the old lord to wait a moment. Because the people from the Kong family haven't come yet, the old marquis just remembered and forgot about it. When Steward Mu suggested going to urge them, unexpectedly, he was stopped by the old lord waving his hand. No need to rush. At least Kong Fan is also the lord of a city. The face of the imperial eagle dog still needs to be given. And when Song Yunrui heard that Kong Xinxin was coming, he was as excited as if he had been beaten with chicken blood. But he was splashed by Song Yunxiu on the spot. Cold water, you kid, remember. 
Kang Xinxin is at least engaged to Song Yunxiang. That's your future sister-in-law. Don't mess with your sense of propriety. Who knew that Song Yunrui not only didn't listen to what was said, but also, he also said that he would wait for his cultivation to break through the realm. When the time comes, he will change his engagement partner to him with the old man. And Song Yunxiang is a useless playboy without a father or mother. How could it be compared to him as a young genius? He believes that Lord Khan will weigh the pros and cons on his own. However, Rao is like this. Song Yunxiao still has some confusion. Why do younger brothers in Song Yunxian like Kong Xinxin so much? He could tell at a glance that Kong Xinxin was a green tea bitch, seeing older sister having prejudices against Kong Xinxin. Song Yunrui immediately spoke out to refute. Even joked that Song Yunxiao was an airport. Song Yunxiao was instantly furious. Educate Song Yunrui on the spot. Second auntie helplessly. I had to remind them to pay attention to some propriety. Song Yunrui took the opportunity to quickly escape. By the way, go and welcome his beloved Kong Xingxing. My second aunt was just about to call out to Song Yunrui, but the old lord spoke up and followed him. At this time, the Qing dynasty came to report to Song Yunxiang. Indicates that Ma Jinua has detected valuable information. At this moment, we are waiting in the adjacent lobby. After learning about it, Song Yunxiang and his companions are about to move to the Heavenly Hall. This scene was also seen by Song Yunxi, so he secretly followed up, not wanting to, but being rejected by the Qing dynasty. And at this moment, Ma Jinua has taken out three photos from her pocket. This was captured by Xiao and Daegu Ali. Then he took out another recording device, according to our citation, Group 2, painted by the hidden piles installed in the Kong family. The Kong family master has already broken through to the heavenly realm. At this moment, they are planning to recruit Xia as a burden. They plan to publicly withdraw their marriage at the dinner party. The old man of the Kong family is still clamoring to break our wrists with the Song family. Just now, Kong Xingxing took his family to secretly investigate, seeking summer. That's why some of their conversations were recorded by secret guards. When Ma Jinua opens the recording, the content inside is simply unbearable if everyone hears it. Instantly shattered by the three views. At this moment, the old Marquis's face was full of mockery and ridicule. You still want to break your wrist with my Song family. I'm afraid you're not trying to make me laugh to death. How do you plan to handle this matter, Yunxiang? If you are willing to keep this engagement, how many cards can our Song family reveal appropriately? Unexpectedly, he was decisively rejected by Song Yunxiang. He doesn't have much interest in this engagement. Directly returning it would actually be more worry-free. As for the Song family's bottom card, there's no need to expose it either. But the old Marquis believed that everyone had stepped on their face. I can't just let others bully me like this, can I? However, Song Yunxiang had already made arrangements. The bottom card cannot be exposed. A few new cards are still acceptable. Then he reached his hand into his mouth, Aga. Ah Jean is light and refreshing. I'll let the three of you break through to the heavens now. Then go try it out. How thick is Mr. Kong's wrist? He used to be a self-deprecating scrap material. Not being favored by family for this. His fiancée A.E. also sneered at him. Not only did he do something outrageous behind his back, nowadays, it is even more necessary to come directly to the door and withdraw the marriage. This makes the old Marquis very angry. So he called Song Yunxiang to the side hall for discussion, even willing to expose their trumps. We also need to stand out for Song Yunxiang. But Song Yunxiang had already planned on this. That is to cultivate three heavenly level strongers. Then I'll go and break my wrist with Kong Fan. At this moment, Song Yunxi was lying on the door eavesdropping. But the isolation formation has already been set up in the side hall. In the end, he listened to loneliness. He can only keep complaining when he is feeling angry. But at this moment, Song Yunjin suddenly grabbed his ear and scolded him to go back and sit down obediently. Song Yunxi, who was in excruciating pain, could only give in. Not yet waiting for Song Yunjin to retract his hand, a strong soul power erupted within the heavenly hall. Fluctuations. The siblings were instantly shocked to the point of being stunned. Do you feel it? Although these two muffled noises are very faint, but this seems to be the fluctuation of the Tianjia breakthrough. Song Yunxi agrees with this, because my father's last breakthrough was the same. As soon as Song Yunxi is about to speak, Song Yunjin quickly covered his mouth, and all of this was seen by Song Yunxiao. He had already seen the clues between the siblings. I also speculated that it should be a fluctuation of soul power. And it's also extraordinary. Unfortunately, his cultivation is too low. So I didn't feel anything. But it made him smell the smell of money from it. 
At this moment, Song Shi also turned his head to look at the heavenly hall. Just now, it seemed like the atmosphere of Tianjie, but it doesn't seem like the fluctuation of my father's soul power. Thinking of this, he was immediately scared and broke into a cold sweat, and Song Song looked at him with a puzzled expression on his face. Still concerned, ask him if he's okay. He can only pretend to be calm. Signal that you're okay. At this moment, Song Yunxi was so happy that he flew away. I knew Yunxiang had something good in his hand. The movement that broke through the heavenly stairs must have been caused by him. Sister, you don't know. Just before you guys come over, Yun Xiang took down an emperor spirit pill in front of us, and then we will directly break through from the early stage of the geological stage to the middle stage. After hearing the emperor's spirit pill, Song Yunjin was greatly shocked. That's a pill that can save two or three years of hard work. Can you think about it again? He still believes that Song Yunxiang is the star of a dandy young master. Such a precious treasure. Song Yunxiang actually took it directly for the sake of fighting spirit. If we can sell it. At least enough to cover several months of military expenses for his Red Luan army. Just when he felt regretful. Song Yunxi's words startled his chin on the spot. Grab Song Yunxi and shake vigorously. What are you saying? Such a rare pill. He has more than one. At this point, Song Yunxi had already been shaken by him, making him dizzy and disoriented. Helpless but to say big. Probably over ten. The exaggerated behavior of the siblings. Make Song Yunxiu feel confused. He knew that these siblings must have discovered something again. I want to know what's going on. I can only find an opportunity to ask my mother. And by this time, Song Yunjin had completely regained his composure. He knows that as the commander-in-chief of the Red Luan army, although the five-star pill is priceless, but we cannot lose face in front of our families because of this. At this moment, a wave of soul power erupted again in the heavenly hall. Song Yunjin's siblings were knocked to the ground on the spot and the wine pot on the table was also shattered. At this moment, the siblings couldn't conceal the shock on their faces. Within a short period of time, three waves of heavenly level aura erupted. Song Yunqi thought to himself, if I had the audacity to follow in before, have you also broken through the heavenly realm now? Meanwhile, Song Yunxiang is sighing in the courtyard. Is it still a hastily arranged formation? Only able to withstand three heavenly level breakthroughs. But in the old lord's opinion, there is a different view. Unexpectedly, this kid's expertise in formation is surprisingly lacking in responsibility. The one-time isolation formation can be arranged so badly. At this time, the Qing dynasty had an incredulous expression on its face. He can't believe it. I was able to break through the heavenly realm so quickly. This made Song Yunxiang unable to help but feel a burst of sweat. Ma Jinhua and her companions are already the pinnacle of the earth's level. You only need two obstacle sheets to break through. But in the Qing dynasty, it was in the early stage of the earth's hierarchy. In order to elevate the Qing dynasty to the heavenly level, Song Yunxiang forcefully emptied his prison. Upon learning about it, the Qing dynasty immediately paid homage to Song Yunxiang, and swore to die allegiance to Song Yunxiang. I only wish to become the sword in Song Yunxiang's hand from now on. Slay all incoming enemies. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang immediately took out a purification talisman. He knew that although his qualifications were limited during the Qing dynasty, but being able to forcefully push to the Sky Street with external force is not a disadvantage. Subsequently, the array symbols were triggered to cover the Qing dynasty. In no time, the Qing dynasty stood on him with a completely new look. In front of me. At this point, Gao Gaiga and his companions have already consolidated their realm. The power of the heavenly stairs makes Gao Gaiga full of vitality. At this moment, he really wants to find someone to have a hearty fight with and Ma Jinhua is stepping in the air. This feeling makes him feel very wonderful. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang immediately reminded them not to inflate. After all, Tianjie is just a preschool class. The holy rank is the beginning. As for their qualifications, there must be no problem with becoming a saint. Just play steadily and steadily. At this point, Ma Jinhua suddenly spoke up, and now I can vaguely feel it. The soul power inside seems to be connected to somewhere in the sky. After listening, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but be surprised. I didn't expect Da Jin to be able to detect the existence of Xin Wang. It seems that he has a great talent for divine sensing. Go back and get him a machine with an enhanced sensing weapon. As for Aga, it seems that she belongs to the strength type of players. We need to get him a suitable one then. And at this moment, the old Marquis wanted to dispel Ma Jinua's desire for him. It immediately indicates that Ma Jinua is sensing the heavenly way. After learning about it, Ma Jinhua suddenly became enlightened. 
It turns out that soul power from the heavenly way has always been true. Seeing Ma Jinua being deceived by herself, the old marquis immediately gave Song Yunxiang a glance. Song Yunxiang immediately came over for a meeting. He knows that the old man is worried that he will reveal his heart's web, so using the heavenly way instead is more appropriate. At this point, the higher generation opened their mouths. Inquire with Song Yunxiang, do you want to catch Kong Fan and beat him up? Song Yunxiang quickly waved his hand to indicate not to use it. There's no need to have a direct conflict with the Kong family yet. Only three of them need to intimidate Kong Fan. You can solve this matter in a gentle and low-key way. It's best for Majinawa to immediately raise his hand and say he has a solution. That's their ability to disguise themselves as the East City Courtyard. Then we will go together with the Qing Dynasty to welcome the distinguished guests of the Kong family. Song Yunxiang thinks this idea is good. Praise immediately. Praise Ma Jinua. The shepherd, on the other hand, is concerned about showcasing his strength in this way. Will it cause trouble for the Song family? But the old marquis thinks it's okay to do so. After all, the Song family has been hiding their strength for over a decade. It's also time to show those people a hand. Otherwise, it will only be regarded as a sick cat by people. At this time, the outer courtyard gate of the Song family. Song Yunrue is waiting for the arrival of the distinguished guests from the Kong family. Just as they were preparing to welcome them, Song Yunrue suddenly realized something was wrong. The incoming person is a heavenly level powerhouse who steps in the air, and wearing it looks like a security guard from the East Yard. The old man's cultivation has just broken through to the heavenly level. He hurriedly took his granddaughter with him to withdraw from the marriage. Unexpectedly, his heavenly rank cultivation is simply not enough to look at. In the future, just the gatekeeper will be able to suppress him. Turns out it was not long ago. After meeting Sun Xia, the old man of the Kong family, he thinks that although Sun Xia comes from a family background and has many achievements, but between his eyebrows, he was extraordinary in martial arts. Regarded as a capable talent. And Song Yunxian also had several connections with him, not to mention the incomplete soul pulse of Song Yunxian. But mentally, he is far inferior to Sun Xia, so he really agrees with his granddaughter's perspective. Grandpa's praise made Kong Xingxing blush instantly, but Kong Fan felt that Sun Xia's cultivation level was only a superficial level. This strength is not as good as our own guards. How can you trust to hand over your daughter to Sun Xia? But Mr. Kong doesn't think so. On the contrary, you don't know anything about it. Just now, I took a look at that kid, feeling a faint extraordinary aura. I'm afraid it's really as that kid said. He will be a layman of the Star Soul General Chowron. Besides, I have also served extraordinary ordinary people before. That kind of extraordinary aura that ordinary people possess. How could I make a mistake? After listening, Kung Fan still felt a bit uneasy. Although I don't know. Did Xia Sun use some shady means? But I still don't think we can gamble on him. After hearing my father say this about my brother Sun Xia, Kong Xinxin immediately refused to agree. His brother Sun Xia wouldn't be that shameless person. Only that Song Yunxian would do such a thing. I don't know what kind of crooked methods were used. Disguised as a naive person with a heart and soul descending to Zuasi, and thus deceived everyone. Seeing the father and daughter arguing over this, Mr. Kong quickly signaled to the two not to argue. See you later at the dinner party and act accordingly. If the illegitimate son of the Song family is indeed so unbearable, then directly propose a divorce to Song Jia. If Song Jia dares to say a word of no, I also happen to have an excuse to get angry. If Song Yunxiang is indeed a layman of Zua Ci, Star, you can also be hypocritical to him at the same time. Then secretly cultivate and find that kid. Slowly look for opportunities to sue Zutuzi in the Song Jia industry. At this moment, Kong Xinxin was filled with anger. A grumbling mouth. He doesn't care about anything. Su Tuji came this time. He is determined to withdraw from the marriage. Otherwise, he would disturb the Song family. Meanwhile, Song Yurue met someone from the Qing dynasty and others. He was immediately shocked to the point of being stunned. Because he knew that during the Qing dynasty, she was the maidservant of the eastern court. At this time, the Qing dynasty was bowing to him. I met young master Yun Rue during the Qing dynasty. We are waiting for the order of young master Feng Yunxiang. Come and welcome the distinguished guests of the Kong family. Although it is known that the Qing dynasty came from the eastern court, but the butler is still particularly wary of them when delivering water. The reason is, he always feels like those two security guards have seen each other somewhere before. Definitely not a general person. Maybe it's the group of people secretly trained by the old marquis. Although there are doubts in my heart, but he still feels that. 
the old marquis should not be concerned about a small matter, and using hidden positions. After all, seclusion is one of the top secrets of the Song dynasty government. Song Shui's confusion plunged Song Yunrui into contemplation. I haven't figured out a reason yet. The Africa of the Kong family has already appeared before their eyes. So they quickly went up. Prepare to welcome the distinguished guests of the Kong family. Soon Kong Xinxi walked out of Africa. Song Yunrui quickly bowed to him and said hello. Kong Xinxi, on the other hand, showed an expression of pretended ignorance. Curious about how Song Yunrui appeared here. Upon seeing this, Song Yunrui quickly reported to his family. After learning about it, Kong Xinxin still disguised herself as surprised. So Yunrui is also from the Song family. And he is also Song Yinxiang's cousin. You are hardworking and low-key in school. I didn't expect to still be rewarded for the wealthy family. Although Kong Xinxin's mouth was praising. But in my heart, I am mocking. Song Yunrui is not a good thing either. Getting close to him must also be a person who desires beauty. At this point, Kong Fan and Kong Laozi have also successively left Africa. Kong Xinxin pretended to be attentive. Embracing his father and praising Son Yunrui is just a compliment. Son Yunrui is also very witty. Hurry up and say hello to their power. Kong Fan immediately walked up to Son Yunrui, patted his shoulder. He is truly a talented person. If I guess correctly, your father should be a commercial genius of the Song family. Song Bo, Song Er Yi, right. Song Yun Rue also cleverly boasted about the attack of his Kong clan. Mr. Hong, watching the two of them endlessly brag about their business, he suddenly became angry, so he released his heavenly level aura to intimidate the Song family. With his wild breath emanating, the person with lower cultivation level was immediately shaken and turned upside down. The terrifying pressure made Song Yun Rue immediately realize, Mr. Kong is a heavenly level powerhouse. And Kong Fan knew that. Father, this is giving the Song family a way out. At this point, during the Qing dynasty, he turned around and asked Ma Jinua if he wanted to take action. After obtaining the approval of Ma Jinua, immediately released the breath to suppress it. Soon, the two breaths cancel each other out and drift away. This scene made Kong Fan somewhat incredulous. How could it be like this? Is it because of those three ordinary people? It seems that the Song family is not as simple as it appears on the surface. Kong Xinxin, who has a low cultivation level, is somewhat confused. He doesn't understand why Grandpa suddenly took away his breath. And at this moment, Kong Fan has already bowed his hand to show his respect to the Qing dynasty, and also asked who they were. A slight bow in the Qing dynasty. I started introducing myself. It was impolite just now. I am the maidservant of the eastern court of the Song dynasty. During the Qing dynasty, they were the gatekeepers of our eastern courtyard. We are waiting for the order of young master Feng Yunxiang, specially come to welcome the distinguished guests of the Kong family. Dear distinguished guests, please come inside. After learning that those three people were just servants of the Eastern Court, Mr. Kong had countless sleeping slots rushing past in his heart. At this point, he was already shocked beyond measure. Three heavily ranked strongers popped up in one fell swoop. He probably kicked onto the steel plate today. The old man thought his cultivation was extremely high. So I don't look up to my future son-in-law. So he brought his granddaughter to the door to withdraw his marriage. Unexpectedly, it kicked the steel plate as a result. The other servant was just a glance. It scared him so much that he almost passed away in place. Turns out it was not long ago. Song Yunxiu just sat next to her mother. My mother told him about Song Yunxiang's situation. He was shocked to the point of being stunned on the spot. Mom, you're not joking, are you? That kid actually has such a treasure. Seeing my daughter is still a bit unfortunate. Mrs. Cheng explained to her daughter again. Li Yunxiang's cousin is in front of us. Scared a lesson. Yunxi, that clever ghost just knelt down. I think you should also see something, right? After listening, Yunxiao immediately looked at Yun Jilian's siblings. I see. No wonder the behavior of those siblings is so abnormal. If there is more restraint in real numbers. I'm afraid there really is a gate behind Yunxiang's shoulder. And at least level 5 or higher. Thinking of this Yunxiao reassures my mother. This kind of good business definitely belongs to their western courtyard. Because I was afraid that my business would be taken away by Aunt Zhao. Yunxiao thinks we need to plan carefully. After all, my father has a pharmaceutical business in his hands. Now it's all taken care of by Aunt Zhao. At this moment, the door to the side hall suddenly opened. Song Yunxiang and others all walked out of it. Watching the ground level cultivation of Yunjing's two siblings. Song Yunxiang couldn't help but think to himself. They should have felt the breakthrough deprivation just now. 
And at this moment, Yun Qi had already approached Song Yunxiang. Xian Gu, did you experiment with something good inside just now? What can I do for you, little brother? There's nothing like experimental pills or anything like that. Little brother is willing to be a little white mouse once. Seeing Song Yunxian already walking, Yun Xiao quickly stood up and offered her seat to Song Yunxian. Song Yunxiang is certainly not polite. Sit down directly. At this moment, the servants suddenly came to report. The Kong family's Africa has arrived. Now young master Yun Rue and his team are welcoming him. So the old marquis hooked his finger at Butler Mu. Then he whispered in the ear of Steward Mu, who was deeply under the mansion. A murmur. Afterwards, the old marquis and Song Yunxiang, all of them coincidentally gave a knowing smile. This can make Yunjin and his siblings look confused and confused. And Yun Xiao, on the other hand, used their expressions of smiling at each other. I guess the Kong family may have bad luck. Meanwhile, during the Qing dynasty, the Kong family was invited to the banquet hall for a banquet. Yun Rui also smiled and invited him. At this point, Kong Xinxin appeared somewhat impatient. He is stroking towards the banquet hall. But soon, he realized that his father and grandfather hadn't kept up. So he asked his father why he was still standing in the same place. And Mr. Kong is still in shock at this moment. How could the Song family possibly have three heavenly levels? And yet so young, they are still wearing scary clothes. They must have used some kind of magic to deceive me. Just now, it was just a moment of carelessness that I didn't see through. Such a young heavenly rank powerhouse. How could they be willing to be in the Song dynasty? Where are the servants in the family? Thinking of this, old master Kong resolutely stepped out with great strides. He actually wants to see what tricks the Song family is up to. On the way, he gave Kong Fan a piece of a noble spirit to surrender upon seeing his soul. If there is any unexpected change, Kong Fan will immediately take the stars and run first. He stayed behind to cut off the rest. But at this moment, he suddenly saw a person standing at the pavilion. That person is the driver of the Song family, Xia Beja. He just gave a glance. Mr. Hong was frightened on the spot and knelt down on the ground. Soul Surrender also drops along with it. And when Kong Fan saw this, hurriedly went to help my father. And I asked my father with concern if he was okay. Mr. Kong quickly signaled that he was okay. When he looked at the pavilion again, there is no longer the figure of Xia Beja there. Did you just look at me? Can't you? This made him feel speechless for a moment. So he trembled and picked up the mixed descent talisman on the ground. At the same time, he also asked Kong Fan to help him up. Now his legs are still a bit soft. He still felt it was impossible all the way. How could there be such a strong person at that level in the Song Dynasty? However, at this moment, a strong man in a wheelchair suddenly appeared in the corner. He was instantly scared out of a cold sweat, eyes staring like copper bells. And that person is the gatekeeper Ma San. At this moment, he was staring at Mr. Kong with a cold gaze. Mr. Hong's heart was hit hard. On the spot, he vomited blood and fell to the ground. Upon seeing this, the father and daughter hurriedly stepped forward to help him up, and asked him with concern why his mouth was bleeding. He accidentally fell while explaining quickly. I accidentally bit my tongue when I fell down. Just finished explaining. He quickly pasted it towards that corner. But by now, that place was already empty. The figure of Ma 3 has disappeared and disappeared. At this time, the Qing dynasty looked up at the distant rooftop. Surprisingly, it was the hands of both of them. I had already felt that they were a bit uneasy before. Unexpectedly, not only is the realm above the heavenly street, and he also knows some strange methods. Although, the Marquis asked them to individually lock onto Mr. Kong, without disturbing others. Just give it a slight deterrent, but they're good. I have to resort to black-handed tactics against Mr. Kong. This is also to save face for the court. Otherwise, there would still be good fruits from Mr. Kong to eat. At this point, Mr. Kong had completely believed. What he saw was real. Song Jia did indeed hide numerous experts. When he returns, he will definitely report to the court. Saying that Song Jia harbors evil intentions. Intentional misconduct. At that time, we will definitely punish Song Jia for plotting rebellion. But on second thought, I realized it was not right. Although those two strong men just locked onto him. It didn't alarm anyone else. But this way, we can show our strength. Unless it's a plan to prevent him from going back alive. And how should he deal with it next? A towering heavenly rank powerhouse who overlooks the world. I didn't expect it to be someone who was greedy for life and afraid of death. After learning that he was heading to the Hongmen banquet, he immediately wanted to leave his son and granddaughter behind and run away. 
Unexpectedly, he was stopped by the other party's butler. Just because the butler's strength is even stronger than him, turns out it was not long ago. Feeling a sense of deceit in the fear of Zhang, slowly following behind the crowd. At this moment, his heart is in a state of panic. I didn't expect the Song family to hide so many powerful individuals. If I go to the banquet, I'm afraid it will only bring more misfortune than good. We still need to find a way to get out of here right now. Thinking of this, he took out a pill from his sleeve. Sitting idly by has never been his style. Greed for life and fear of death are the key factors. As long as I take this palace strengthening pill. Suddenly enough to pretend to be a star soul, leaving in the air. No matter how many strong Song family members he has, he cannot catch up with me. But just as he was about to take the pill, the wooden butler suddenly appeared behind him. Scared, he immediately, dropping pills on the ground. Our lord is waiting in the banquet room. Your Excellency, please, Mr. Hong. Although Kong Zheng knew that the newcomer was a strong person, but I didn't expect that. Surprisingly stronger than those two mysterious people before. So he asked Butler Mu who he was. Steward Mu, of course, truthfully told the truth. At the same time, he also signaled to invite inside. Kong Zheng can only say yes and yes. Meanwhile, at this moment in the Qing dynasty, we are reporting to the banquet hall, indicating that the distinguished guests from the Kong family have already arrived. Upon learning of this, the old marquis immediately ordered someone to play music to welcome him, and it's the kind of swona playing. This made the Qing dynasty unable to help but feel a burst of sweat. Little did they know that this was just a joke made by the old marquis. Soon Kong Xinxin and others arrived at the banquet living room. Kong Xinxin, of course, disguised herself as a well-behaved woman. Salute and greet all the elders one by one. The Song family naturally returned with courtesy, after mutual respect. The old marquis asked the eldest son to negotiate a few positions, so that the distinguished guests of the Kong family can take their seats, but it seems that only Kong Fan and his daughter are present. The old marquis couldn't help but be curious. Why hasn't the old man of the Kong family come yet? Coincidentally at this moment, Kong Zheng is waving his hand, smiling and reminiscing. Seems like meeting old friends, watching my father's attitude change so quickly. Kong Fan's heart was filled with doubts. Since entering the Song dynasty, my father started to become a bit abnormal. Can it be said that my father relied on the king divine sense of a heavenly level powerhouse? Have you noticed anything special about the Song mansion? And at this moment, it seems that the old marquis has discovered something. He is full of energy and energy. My eyes couldn't help but stare. Kong Zheng instantly felt like falling into an ice cave. It seems like my leg was tripped by something. Then he knelt down directly to the ground. Kong Xinxin immediately showed a look of disgust. I couldn't stop cursing my grandfather in my heart. Are you a soft-footed shrimp? Kneel down to people at any moment. What about the heavenly rank powerhouse? It's like embarrassing me. Song Yunxiang immediately spoke up and joked. Although I was indeed late once. But Mr. Kong punished himself like this. That's not necessary either. Upon hearing this, everyone burst into laughter. At this moment, the old marquis waved his hand to stop their teasing and even pretended to show concern for Kong Zheng. Kong Zheng could only endure the bitterness in his heart, responding that I was just too excited to see my older brother. I accidentally tripped over it. It's not a big deal. Then Kong Zheng asked the wooden butler to do him a favor, because I accidentally dropped a baby just now, due to the urgency to come and pay respects to the old marquee. So I haven't had a chance to search yet. So I wanted to trouble the housekeeper to help him run a trip. The wooden butler reassures him greatly. The lost treasure will definitely help him retrieve it. And at this moment, the old marquis is asking for meditation. The reason why Kong Zheng stumbled. Did he set up some lineup at the door? Song Yunxiang smiled and did not deny it. Actually, he knows that the old man also took action. Both of them are just doing this to each other. Soon everyone entered the dining section. Kong Xinxin looked at her grandfather and father. My heart is full of doubts. Isn't it about forcefully withdrawing from marriage? Why do you really sit down to eat? No, I have to say it. Thinking of this hole, the star immediately stood up. Just as he was about to speak, Kong Zheng immediately stopped him. The current situation. Kong Zheng doesn't want to be tricked by his granddaughter. Upon seeing this, Kong Fan hurriedly urged his daughter to sit down and have a meal. Let's take a look first before we talk. At this moment, Kong Zheng was apologizing to the old marquis by clenching his fists. I'm afraid that the old marquis will destroy him if he's not happy. The old marquis smiled and said, it's okay. After all, Kong Xinxin is the apple of their family's eye. It is inevitable that there will be some arrogance and arrogance. 
Continuing, the old Marquis raised his glass and suggested that everyone drink together. After drinking, everyone is chatting and laughing, chatting and chatting, and Kong Xinxin sat on the side pondering. Although neither grandpa nor father allowed him to speak, but he still wants to cause trouble. Coincidentally, there is the great intelligence of Yunqi. He can just make use of it. But at this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly received a test message. So he conveyed the message to everyone. He needs to adapt to it. Arriving at the side hall, he immediately connected to the trial message from Manager Hong. And this time, Manager Hong brought him good news. About the mindset he lacked before. One of the main members of the Hong's Chamber of Commerce has been taken down. Now being transferred back from Northern Zhou through the branch. The other two are friends of Xia Yuba. It only takes a little time to get it. The trouble is that the last Wu Inhua. At present, the Hong's Chamber of Commerce has only found the whereabouts of one plant. That's in the hands of the Mai Clan in the Sand Sculpture City. Big Smart is trying to win the favor of a green tea bitch. Even willing to fall out with their own brothers. Little did they know that this was all a trap set by a green tea bitch. The purpose is to make her fiancé a embarrass herself in public, so as to find a reason for their withdrawal. And it all starts with the Kong family's banquet. During the banquet, Song Yunxiang suddenly received a call from manager Hong. So he bid farewell to everyone and came to the side hall. I obtained the whereabouts of Wu Inhua from manager Hong. San Sculpture City located on the eastern border of Xiaoyu Kingdom. It's Xiaoyubwa defending the fierce beasts in the southern wilderness. And an important military stronghold for suppressing the demon tribe. With the Xiaoyubwa's rapid expansion into the eastern desert region. A large number of people are starting to gather here, but a hundred years, the sand sculpture city has undergone several expansions, gradually formed four districts, the privileged family, of course, they live in the inner city area, which is protected layer by layer, living a decadent and absurd life all day, Xiching district, the military forces stationed in the nine cities of sand sculpture city, although independent of the three-story city wall, but Xiching district, Instead, it's the entire sand sculpture city. The area with the highest defense intensity. The central urban area built around the inner city area. It is a gathering place for commercial and entertainment services in sand sculpture city. Outer city district. It is inhabited by Jianlin slaves and destitute wanderers. And the seller who holds the inner plant without silver flowers. They belong to the expansionist faction of the Xia Yuba Mulu tribe. Mastering over 60% of the troops in Xiching district. It is one of the three major forces in the Sand Sculpture City. Colleague chambers of commerce are relatively neutral and moderate. It's okay to talk, but it's a bit difficult to deal with expansionists, because they are very hostile towards Tiandu merchants. The other two require a thousand feet of gold and purple sand gallbladder. In Xia Yubwa. In the hands of the researchers controlled by the Samarin family, they do not accept currency transactions. I just want to exchange ferocious beast materials, and also, most of the ferocious beast materials come from the southern wilderness and death desert. There are some difficulties in acquiring the Chamber of Commerce. It's a bit uncertain about the timing. See here. Song Yunxiang asked manager Hong to send him the list. Just right. He now needs a lot of practical combat to stabilize his realm. And we also have to go to the death desert to search for the Star Lord's secret realm. Calculating based on the time of previous lives. He mistakenly entered the Star Master's secret realm at the time. It should be in four days. First, go collect materials from the ferocious beasts. Then go to the sand sculpture city again. Time is still available. It should be relatively generous. And when manager Hong saw that Song Yunxian was going to personally collect materials. Of course that would be the best. As for other spiritual medicines. The Hong Chamber of Commerce will definitely deliver it to Song Mansion within 10 days. Although the two agreed on a plan like this. But manager Hong still doesn't forget to remind Song Yunxian. The seller's strength in sand carving is very strong. Being able to trade peacefully is considered the best. Never do anything too risky. Meanwhile, in the banquet hall, Kong Xingxing is currently deceiving Song Yunrui. He constantly praises Song Yunrui. He is the most outstanding genius of the Song family. Unfortunately, the old marquis only showed favoritism towards Song Yunxiang. Therefore, he felt particularly unworthy of Song Yunrui. At this time, although Kong Zheng was drinking alcohol, but in my heart, I am praying to heaven. I hope my granddaughter Kong Xingxing won't cause any trouble. He just broke through to the heavenly level. I still want to spend a few more years in this world of flowers and flowers. But Kong Xingxing doesn't seem to be as Kong Zheng wishes. His hospitality made Song Yunxiu feel very disgusted. 
Green Tea Hole, I'll warn you first, if you dare to stir up trouble in the Song Dynasty mansion, the consequences will be very tragic. In classical Chinese, Kong Xingxing continued to arch the fire with a smile on his face. How could that be? Sister Yun Xiao, I just had a few conversations with Yun Rui. It's just about school matters. He is the number one genius that we, Ji Wuyu, are familiar with. Not to mention in this small city of Yongan. Just looking at the entire southern state. Yun Rui is also an outstanding presence. However, how could Song Yunxiao not know Kong Xingxin's thoughts? How dare to use his younger brother as a gunman? Then no wonder he was impolite. As for the headline of tomorrow's Yongin Morning Post, young girls die in rags on the streets. It depends on whether Kong Xingxin wants to live a lifetime or not. Unexpectedly, Kong Xingxin was not afraid of his threat at all. Instead, she smiled and joked about Song Yunxiao. I heard that. Sister is currently responsible for managing the investment business of the Song family. Tax measures are inevitable. Do you need him? City Lord's Mansion Wisdom for Life. Tax Department. At this moment, Song Yunrui also jumped out to support Kong Xinxin. He's such a thoroughly intelligent person. At this point, Song Yunxiang had already finished the call and walked out of the side hall. Kong Xinxin immediately ran to Song Yunxiang. Talk to him. This made Kong Jin start to feel a bit restless. I pray in my heart that my granddaughter must not die. And the old marquis looked at Song Yunxiang. A myriad of thoughts and ideas. He knows that Song Yunxiang is up to something. I just don't know who I'm trying to trick again this time. However, the scene where Song Yunxiang and his wife were chatting happily together angered Song Yunrui on the spot. He is a towering and powerful figure at the pinnacle of the mysterious level. Surprisingly, it's not as good as a soul vein with incomplete parts. Under the fury of waste, he launched a new soul surrender duel against Song Yunxiang. I don't want him to just finish speaking. Song Yunxi kicked him with a flying kick. The power was so great that he fell to the ground and flew out of the trees. After getting up, he immediately cursed at Song Yunqi on the spot. At this moment, Song Yun lifted his arms around his chest. Dare to disrespect me, Brother Xiang. Are you a bit too presumptuous? He was born with a missing soul pulse. Therefore, it became a waste material in the family. By chance, he gained an adventure. Growing into an extraordinary genius. Defeat his challenging cousin with just one move. Turns out it was not long ago. After seeing Kong Xinxin and Song Yunxiang chatting happily, Song Yunrui was infuriated on the spot. So, so, he immediately launched a soul surrender duel against Song Yunxiang. Unexpectedly, it was hit by a spaceship kicked by Song Yunxi. I want to duel with Xiang Gu. Let's talk about it after passing my level first. Upon hearing this, Song Yunrui could only suppress his dissatisfaction in his heart. He didn't expect that Song Yunxi would even thrust sideways and I can't beat Song Yunqi myself. Now it can only be done in a different way. Today, no matter what, let Song Yunxiang embarrass himself in front of Kong Xingxing. Thinking of this, he suddenly had a flash of inspiration. Song Yunxiang, I have no other intention. You see, our brothers haven't seen each other for a long time. Why not have a sparring with a star soul general? How does Kwandang help to entertain the dinner party? And you must have achieved something in this year at the Jiwu Academy. You should also show your hands. Have you reported your achievements to the elders? I remember when you left last year, it was still in the early stages of the yellow stage. I'm sure we haven't broken through to the Xian level yet, right? It doesn't matter, I will suppress my cultivation to the same level. I won't take advantage of you. After listening, everyone couldn't help but burst into sweat. Seems like a fool to me. Just because they all know Song Yunxiang's true cultivation. And Song Yunxiang saw Yun Rue come to his door to find a lesson. He is certainly willing to stop it. Seeing the situation and thinking to madam, speak up to stop them from fighting, but was stopped by Song Yunxiao. You can learn about Yunxiang's true strength, and if Yunxiang has the ability, teach this fool a lesson, it's also a good thing. Otherwise, a scheming woman can trick him into spinning around. I don't know how much social abuse I will suffer in the future. And when the old marquis learned that Song Yunxiang had accepted the duel, he immediately arranged for two people, go to the open space outside the banquet hall and play, and it also needs to be indicated by the Kong sign for bleeding, take out the nodding heads as a reward for the saints, although Kong Zheng readily agreed on the surface, but in fact, I am extremely reluctant in my heart, so he could only endure the pain and take out his only aphrodisiac, Kong Fan was about to speak out to dissuade him when he saw the situation, but he stopped it on the spot, he knows if there's no blood today, I'm afraid even my life is in danger. 
As for Xinxin's maid, he'll go back and tidy up later. When Song Yunxiao saw Kong Zhang so willing, he immediately realized something was wrong. In addition, the mother and others appeared very calm. It seems that it has become commonplace to use the spring revival pill. And Song Yunrui saw that Kong Zhang was so generous in his actions, he immediately punched and became blood-stained. After all, the revival pill is not an ordinary thing, can instantly restore vitality to those on the brink of death. On the battlefield, it's equivalent to half a life. Thinking of this, he immediately began to daydream. This time, not only can Song Yunxiang make a fool of himself in public, you can still obtain treasures like the spring revival pill. I will give this pill to my father again in the name of Xin Xin. Presumably a father who has always been strict. I will also look at Xinxin differently. Then I will ask my grandfather to change the engagement. This way, it will be natural to hold the beautiful woman back. At this point, Kong Xinxin had already noticed her grandfather's abnormality. He knows it must be because of the revival pill. So he immediately turned his head to look at Song Yunrui. Wait for this great intelligence to win back the pill. I'll scam him back and give it back to my grandfather. Then grandpa should not blame me anymore. And at this point, Song Yunrui has already strode towards the open space outside the door. When I was about to leave, I didn't forget to invite Kong Xingxing to watch the battle. But he was stopped by the old lord waving his hand. At the same time, they also asked the Qing dynasty to create a panoramic projection. Just watch the battle while eating. At this point, Song Yunxiang has stood on the open ground waiting for Song Yunrui. Not long after, Song Yunrui also came to this place. Seeing Song Yunxiang with one hand in his pocket, he is very unhappy. Song Yunxiang, don't blame me for not reminding you. The value of being a person lies in having self-awareness. You are not worthy of Miss Xinxin. After speaking, he immediately began to construct his soul makeup. In an instant, a mecha with swords in both hands, appearing in front of San Yunxiang. Then I'll go see Huwei pointing to San Yunxiang. Hurry up and give me the star soul construction manner, so that I can defeat you quickly. San Yunxiang in classical Chinese showed a hint of sneer. Throw the mecha suit casually. A beam of light instantly rises into the sky. Song Yunrui was scared to death on the spot. I didn't expect you, this useless person, to have been prepared long ago. What's going on? What kind of mech is he constructing? It seems like the breath is not right either. How could it be possible? Your realm is even higher than mine. Just finished speaking, a falling moon slash rushed towards him. In an instant, he cut off one of his arms. The powerful force even threw him tens of meters away. I haven't waited for him to react yet. Song Yunxian's Fong Tianji has already crossed his shoulder. It's really unbearable. It seems that you are more pleasing to the eye with just one hand. At this moment, Song Yunrui had an incredulous expression on his face. No, how could you possibly be Song Yunxian? How could Song Yunxian be so strong? After listening, Song Yunxian couldn't help but show a slight sneer. Of course I am Song Yunxian. Because I'm back. Meanwhile, a hundred miles outside the sand sculpture city, a group of people are riding. Camel rushing towards Sand Sculpture City. We shouldn't be far from the Sand Sculpture City, right? Riding on a primitive berth. Although it's a bit slow. But fortunately, it's not easy to encounter the killer. Unexpectedly, he just finished speaking. My subordinate quickly gestured to him to look up at the sky. At this point, a huge ferocious beast Kuan is located above them. He is a useless material with incomplete soul veins in the eyes of everyone. The Star Soul Battle State can only last for three minutes. As a result, he was met with cold ridicule from his peers, even launched a soul-to-soul -soul duel against him, just to stomp him down hard. Little did they know that it was an existence that caused terror. Defeat Song Yunrui with just one move. Everyone couldn't help but be surprised as they looked at it. It's too scary. With just one move, Yunrui's student machine was destroyed. What exactly is this new soul general? Surprisingly so brave. At this moment, Kong Fan's heart also suddenly smelled. Song Yunxiang, this useless person with incomplete soul veins. Unexpectedly, he became a layman of the Yahara Star Soul General. The message given by the Grand Duke is indeed correct. At this moment, Kong Jing also quietly asked Kong Fan about it. On the contrary, this statue of Song Yunxiang, could it be the legendary Star Soul descending to General Mercy? But this appearance doesn't seem like it. Upon hearing this, Kong Fan immediately gave him an answer. Father, over the past five years, in order to break through the heavenly rank. Always shut down. So there will definitely be some unknowns about this. Lance Howe has been circulating in recent years. It is said that the star soul descends left compassion. 
has the ability to transform into another star soul descent. After listening, Kong Zhang was greatly shocked. What kind of star soul descending left compassion has this ability? Isn't that possible to switch forms freely during battles? And at this moment, the old marquis looked at the amazing shock of everyone. He immediately let out a satisfied roar. The previous battle of the beast tied in Dome City. I believe you all have heard of it. Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiu couldn't help but feel a surge in her heart. It is said that during the battle of Dome City, there is a red armored star soul general, crossing the light swallow mount, like divine soldiers and heavenly generals, working alone to turn the tide. Maybe that person is him. At this moment, Song Shi suddenly spoke up. I didn't expect the star soul general who reversed the battle situation in the Great War. Surprisingly, he would be the first president of the Nanjo Military Academy. His layman is a first-year student of Jiwu Academy, also awarded the title of hero at the celebration ceremony. I didn't expect that person to be Yun Xiang. That's right. He is Song Yunxiang, the grandson of Song Jingzhong, Marquis of Jiuan, on the side of Xin Tian Sword. It should be for the safety of Yun Xiang. That's why he shared information about his amateur identity. All of them were pressed down. It's not too late for you to know now. The old man originally planned to have dinner at the banquet. Announce this news. The old marquis spoke with a proud expression. But at this moment, Auntie suddenly spoke up to inquire about the old marquis. Song Yunxiang is actually a layman of Zuoci. So, isn't Song Jia about to give birth to a holy rank powerhouse? And Song Jia once again possesses the strength of a saint level powerhouse. Will surely return to its peak? Aunt Tu's voice in her mother's family will also have more weight. For the rightful inheritance of his two children. He also wants to compete for a share. It's just a pity. He had a somewhat bad attitude towards Song Yunxian before. But in the future, we must make good friends. Even if he were to sacrifice his old face, he would not hesitate to do so. At present. I just hope Song Yunxian can handle Yun Rue lightly. Although it is still too early to talk about the holy rank with Song Yunxiang now, but the old marquis still asked Kong Zhang how to talk. Seeing this, Kong Zhang quickly stood up. With a smile on his face, he complimented his old lord. Congratulations, brother Song. Yunxiang, this child has extraordinary luck. Outstanding talent. It's really a blessing for the Song family, and it's also a source of joy. As he spoke, he turned his head to look at Kong Xingxin, but Kong Xingxin sneered at this. But he still changed his face instantly, smiling and saying congratulations. In my heart, I was mocking with CI, but that's all. There must be no star for him to patrol his brother. Soul descending Chao Ren is powerful. But at this moment, Song Tsong was having a dark face. Agreed Song family double flying, playing together in the world. Now Song Yunxian has risen to fame, but he is still the same useless person as before. Just at this moment, Song Shi suddenly patted his arm. Remind him to look at the screen quickly. At this moment, Song Yunrui on the dual field has already stood up. He still had some misfortune in the scene just now. I thought Song Yunxian must have used some kind of deception. So he wants to publicly expose Song Yunxian's tricks. Thinking of this, he began to break armor and reconstruct. This scene boldly puzzled Song Yunxian. He didn't expect Song Yunrui to master this skill. It can be considered a talent. Since that's the case. Then he will take Tong Jia's cultivation as his foundation. Come and try Song Yunrui's abilities. With the release of the Lu Bu Mecca. Song Yunxiang is enough to pretend to be a student of the Jiwu Academy. Machine repair has also been suppressed to the peak of the mysterious level. Seeing this, Song Yunrui couldn't help but burst into laughter. I knew it. The aura and appearance of the earth steps just now were indeed a deception. After speaking, he flew towards Song Yunxiang. Facing Song Yunxian with both swords is like crazy stabbing. How can he use all his abilities? Still unable to touch Song Yunxian at all. Looking at Song Yunxian's flowing and flowing body. The gatekeeper and the master were both boldly surprised. They have never taught Song Yunxian the identity of casting. Is it that little girl? Did you secretly contact young master Yunxian? At this point, Song Yunxian has already begun to counterattack. I saw him flipping over and jumping up. Imitating Song Yunrui's moves. Aiming at Song Yunrui is like a spaceship, a powerful force. Bomb Song Yunrui tens of meters away directly. This makes Song Yunrui very angry. Song Yunxian. How dare you use such a despicable move to deceive me? Song Yunxian ignored his questioning, even to get his words out. Immediately engage in crazy ridicule towards him. It's just that soldiers never tire of deceit. Your incompetent and furious appearance. It's really embarrassing. You just spend your energy talking on paper. 
embroidered on the legs with flower fists. No wonder Uncle Air has always looked down on you. Indeed, you are far inferior to that wild breed. When hearing about wild seeds, Song Yunrui looked shocked. Don't be fooled. Song Yunxiang knows their existence now. Is everything my sister guessed before true? How strong are the divine level ferocious beasts? Just the crystals spit out from his mouth. It can blast a huge crater out of the desert, and almost buried the passing merchants. Just now, after seeing Song Yunxiang's duel in public, can't help but marvel at the strength of Song Yunxiang. Wow, that's like a cat teasing a mouse. Song Yunrui has no strength to fight back at all. Their rich combat experience makes Song Yunjin feel unbelievable. I don't understand why Song Yunxiang has been. And during the Qing dynasty, she looked like a little fangirl. But when he turned his head to look at the wooden butler, where else is there the figure of the wooden butler there? At this point, the wooden butler has flashed to the side of Ma San and the others. This scared both of them. Because every time Butler Mu appears, he looks like a ghost. Why does young master Yunshan use the body technique of Xuanjia position? When did you hand it over to him? Steward Mu asked with a gloomy face. Classical Chinese, Ma San immediately spoke up to explain. The reason why we remain anonymous and hibernate. Isn't it just to avoid the suspicion of the one above? Or rather, to sever ties with the heart Xuanjia position. Then Ma San suddenly changed his art style, starting to question whether it might be Dylan's girl. But Butler Komu thinks he shouldn't. Over the years, Jai Shui has been striving to revive the flag of selecting casting positions. Clearly and secretly. I don't even know how much time and effort it took. Where else can I spare the time to teach Song Yunxiang? Upon seeing this, Xia Beijia quickly interrupted the two of them. In terms of personal laws and regulations, it wasn't originally a top secret thing. Young Master Yunxiang, as a child of the third master, it's normal for him to have two moves and the record he created himself is also very normal. At this moment, in the duel arena, Song Yunrui slowly stood up. Although he appears to be fooling Song Yunxiang, but in his heart, he was wondering why Song Yunxiang knew about this matter. Is everything his sister guessed true? And Song Yunxiang originally wanted to blow up something from him. Will it be related to his promiscuous father? Now it seems that we can only seek other methods. Just as Song Yunxiang was stunned, Song Yunrui seizes the opportunity to launch a surprise attack on Song Yunxiang. The double sword spun rapidly in his hand. In an instant, it pierced through Song Yunxiang's body. He hasn't had time to be happy yet. Song Yunxiang dissipated directly in front of him. He just realized that what he just stabbed was just a residual image. But at this moment, Song Yunxiang had already appeared behind him. Quickly take action and grab his head. Then he directly lifted him up. See Song Yunxiang, the envoy of the origin method, takes seven steps. The three housekeepers couldn't help but be surprised. If it's just a movement with suspended soul power, it's okay to say so. But now it's taking seven steps. How should this be explained? It seems like we need to contact Di Shui now. However, we have not yet received a response from the livestock butler. His figure has disappeared. All he left behind was for him to consult with the marquee first. At this moment, everyone in the banquet hall was shocked. Song Yunxian Ziri figure impressed them. But at this moment, Kong Zhang was in a panic. The seven steps of the Xuanjia guard. Song Xiaozi and that woman slaughter. Is there anything else to do with it? Not good. The Song family's water is too deep. We need to find a way to get out of here as soon as possible. Seeing Song Yunrui already defeated in battle, Kong Xinxing couldn't help but curse inwardly. Damn Song Yunxian. Grandpa's pill cannot fall into his hands. He's definitely not a match for Brother Sun Xia. As long as Brother Xia leads the White Dragon, helping Ma retrieve Grandpa's pill easily. At the same time, he can also give Xiao Hei a hard beating and scolding. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but ask Song Yunrui again. Yunrui's cousin, if someone would be referred to as a wild seed by you, then I want to know who he is. After hearing about wild seeds, Song Yunrui, he was instantly furious. Immediately say that Song Yunxiang is the wild species. This has made Song Yunxiang very angry. Give him a slap immediately. The powerful force caused his body to directly star form. People fall to the ground in an instant. Song Yunxiang took the opportunity to step on his back. I'll give you another chance. I hope you don't be disrespectful. Meanwhile, the caravan on the outskirts of Shadyoching suddenly submerged in sand and soil. When they crawl out, Jukuan has already left. But when he left, he vomited a bunch of mysterious substances, so the two of them went to explore the deep pit. 
When merchants see mysterious substances, he was immediately shocked by its material impact. Recumbent groove. This is what the monster just spat out. Hurry up and report this news to the seller of the sand sculpture. And the crystal spit out from the mouth of the god level ferocious beast Cohen. It should be the legendary divine step leg. The old man's cultivation has just broken through to the heavenly level. He hurriedly took his granddaughter with him to withdraw from the marriage. Unexpectedly, his heavenly rank cultivation is simply not enough to look at. Just their guards can beat him up fat. To survive, he is willing to become a dog next to his future grandson-in-law. Just now. After defeating Song Yunrui, Song Yunxiang, then he asked Song Yunrui who that wild seed was. But Song Yunrui died, and the duck's mouth was hard. Resolutely pretend to be foolish and say that you don't know. But in my heart, I am skeptical. Why did Song Yunxiang get entangled in this issue? Afterwards, we must discuss countermeasures with our sister. And Song Yunxiang clearly knew he was lying too. Afterwards, we need to have Yin Wei investigate thoroughly. Just say that he's not your opponent. Make him give up voluntarily. This surprised Song Yunrui greatly. Song Yunxiang surprisingly let himself go so easily. It's completely different from his previous style. At this moment, everyone in the restaurant was shocked. They didn't expect it. How could Song Yunxiang win so easily? But at this moment, the old marquis was thinking. After this decisive battle, even without taking out those ammunition, no one from the Song family will ever explore Yunxiang again. At this very moment, the wooden butler suddenly appeared behind the Qing dynasty. So the Qing dynasty asked the wooden butler about it. Should we go deal with it? That sneaky apprentice made. I don't want the butler to tell him not to startle the snake. Song Yunxiang has already made other arrangements and the apprentice made in the bushes, but completely unaware of this, still evaluating Song Yunxiang's strength, but he didn't want someone to secretly monitor him, that person is Liani, the maid of Song Yunxiang, at the same time, he also gave a greeting to the apprentice maid, at this time, in the banquet hall, the old marquis has already taken Kong Zhang, that reluctant pill, how did the two brothers compete this time, isn't it very exciting, in classical Chinese, Kong Zhen could only respond with a smile on his face. But the duel is very exciting. Also praising Song Yunxiang as a dragon and phoenix among people. It's a perfect match with their star family. Unexpectedly, Song Yunxiang interrupted him on the spot when he returned. Mr. Hong, there's no need to praise him falsely. Boy, this is just a small joke. How can I get into your eyes? And after seeing Song Yunxiang, Kong Xingxing, he appears to be paying homage to Song Yunxiang on the surface. Continuously praising Song Yunxiang as the most powerful. In my heart, I am already thinking about countermeasures. He must make Sun's brother go down. It's only necessary to take action against Song Yunxiang. At this moment, the old marquis suddenly spoke up, Yun Xiang. This elixir prize from Mr. Hong. I guess you won't need the old one either. My husband will help you keep it for now. Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang immediately reached into his pocket. Why don't we just say goodbye? Taking that inferior pill will result in individual residues. I have better options here. As he spoke, he threw a bottle of elixir at the old marquis. After taking the pill, the old marquis couldn't help but be shocked. Because Song Yunxiang gave him the finest spring revival pill. The Kong sign beside me. At this point, I have been shocked beyond measure. That's a full bottle of top quality spring revival pill. And the lady of the Song family was also shocked upon learning about it. So everyone showed eager gazes one after another, but he was decisively rejected by the old marquis. At this moment, a blue-haired maid came to report. He has found a pill in the yard. I don't know if it's the one lost by the distinguished guest of the Kong family. Upon seeing this, Kong Jin immediately ran over to confirm. After taking the pill, I still cherished wiping it with great care. But when it comes to the ultimate spring revival pill, he instantly felt that Zhuanggong Maru wasn't as fragrant anymore. The shepherd steward saw that the blue-haired maid had retrieved the elixir. He will immediately have the blue-haired maid go to the warehouse, receive a reward. Unexpectedly, it was interrupted by the performance of Song Yunxiang. Let me give this reward instead. Look, you don't have any cultivation right now. I think it's due to insufficient qualifications. Let me give you a choice of two. One is a four-star skincare pill. Can make your skin whiten like jade. The other one is a four-star spirit swelling pill. It can give you cultivation qualifications, beauty, and strength. Can you see which one to choose? If we don't make a choice, then I'll give you a cash reward. Unexpectedly, the blue-haired lady was very decisive. Kneel down immediately to choose the spirit seed pill of power. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang doesn't talk nonsense either. 
immediately give the pill to the blue-headed lady. Little did they know about his momentary move this time. Unexpectedly, for the future of the eastern continent, added a fierce legendary female general. This is the case. Everyone started eating and drinking again, although everyone has different thoughts, but on the surface, both guests and hosts are happy. Just during this period, Kong Xingxing used an excuse to feel unwell. Leave first, neither party has brought up the matter of engagement again. Until the old marquis announced the end of the family banquet, the end of a song and the end of a person, everyone just went back home, but Kong Zheng was sneaking around and not following the usual path. Unexpectedly, it was discovered by Song Yunxian long ago, he immediately signaled to Ma Jinhua and the two of them to go and capture him. In an instant, Kong Zheng was beaten up and his face was covered in explosions, and was directly taken to Song Yunxian's face. Yo, isn't this the heavenly rank strong master Kong? Why did it go back and forth? Upon hearing these words, Kong Zheng couldn't help but feel a tightness in his heart. Fist clenched tightly, so he immediately made an amazing decision. Then he fell to his knees with a thud. I, Kong Zheng is willing to be a dog next to young master Yunxian from now on. It is precisely because of the breakthrough in cultivation to the heavenly realm. The old man had the courage to lead his granddaughter to divorce. I didn't want to, but it caused me a lot of trouble. I was beaten up by the bodyguard of my future grandson's son-in-law, not to mention it. Now, it's even more for the sake of survival. Unexpectedly willing to become a dog by the sight of future grandsons-in-law. That's how Kong Zheng was able to leave. He still felt a bit anxious and uneasy all the way. Previously, I was too procrastinating. I didn't expect the water in the Song family to be so deep. Warn those servants in the east courtyard that they have days to take orders. Upon hearing this, Kong Fan was immediately shocked and stunned. Digital heavenly level stronger. What a terrifying existence that is. That's true. The information we previously learned about the Song family. I'm afraid many of them can't be taken seriously. It is said that the late emperor suddenly passed away. Zheng Taishir, the abbot of the country initiated the selection of eight generals for the site. The four major families of Tindu City also have their own teams. Finally, in the Battle of Emperor's Mausoleum, Tongtong's vital energy is severely damaged. Among the eight generals, the two saints of the Song and Zhang families both fell down. All four princes died in this battle. But as a result, he was appointed by the Prince of Jinbei to reap the benefits of a fisherman. The Zhang family failed to usurp power. The entire door was destroyed and the Song family also bears the crime of slaughtering the imperial family. In the end, Ming can only escape from the border city. I even heard that. The Empress Dowager of the Song family in the imperial palace also turned against her as a result, cut off ties with the Song family. Now it seems that, perhaps there is another possibility. From the very beginning, the Song family has been advancing through retreat. Hide at the border. It's just a matter of keeping a low profile. If the ancestor of the Song family had not truly fallen, now, with the addition of this human spirit, Song Yunxiang, the Song family will surely rise to power. A person lives for a lifetime. The key choices are often only a few times. No, I still need to go back. Speaking of which, Kong Zhang jumped directly into Africa. Meanwhile, Yongan restaurant in Yongan city. At this moment, Zhang Dagui is drinking heavily with Song Bo. During this period, Song Bo kept boasting about Zhang Dagui. This makes Zhang Dagui feel a bit embarrassed so he quickly changed the topic, talking about restaurants, I even want to buy some back to show filial piety to my ancestors, I just don't know where to buy it, seeing this, Song Bo quickly waved his hand to him, I'm afraid this will disappoint Zheng Xiaoning, this wine is named Tianxian Lei, it was brewed by the self-owned distillery of the Song family's Dong Yuan back then, its craftsmanship has long been lost, I only have a little saved now, over the years, only when encountering real heroes, I would be willing to come up with a jar to conspire with it. After listening, Zhang Dagui couldn't help but feel a bit regretful. But soon he ordered his subordinates to sacrifice the cup to its fullest. Such good wine. Of course, we need to have a good drink to drink. At this point, subordinate Zhang Chao suddenly leaned over and whispered in Song Bo's ear. Second master's wife just summoned you again. Urge you to go back as soon as possible. Mr. Zhao also sent a similar message. I have something important to discuss with you. Under the helplessness of Song Bo, I had to pay New Year's greetings to Zhang Dugue. Then he hurriedly left, just walked out of the private room. Song Bo sent Mei Dai to secretly protect Zhang Dugue, because Zhang Dugue, the sickly young brother. I'm afraid it will be within the influence of the Song family. To Zhang Dugue, 
Then he asked Zhang Chao about the situation at home. But it's just an ordinary family banquet. Why would there be a big fight to invite him back? Immediately report truthfully upon seeing this tide. After learning that his son Yin Rui suffered a disastrous defeat to Song Yinxiang, Song Bo couldn't help but show a hint of doubt in his heart. Surprisingly, his own son would be defeated by that useless Song Yunxiang. But what Zhang Chao said next made him even more speechless. Because, his wife asked him to go back and apologize to Song Yunxiang. This reminds Song Bo of, did Song Yunxiang get any big chance? Otherwise, with his wife's temperament, how could she be like this? Now we have to go back. Only then did I know what exactly happened. It's just that Rui Air's personality is too impulsive. There is no city or mansion to speak of. If he could be half as excellent as you, I can rest assured now. As he spoke, Song Bo's hand rested on Zhang Chao's shoulder. Seeing this, Zhang Chao quickly bowed and retreated, with a fearsome expression on his face. But Song Bo made him not have to survive like this. Stay by your side and learn well. We will find a way to get him back to the Song family when the time comes. Those who recognize their ancestors and return to their roots. At this moment, although Zhang Chao was bowing down to worship the evil, on the surface, there is nothing else to ask for. Just hoping to fulfill my mother's last wish. In fact, there are other thoughts in the heart. Fortunately, Song Bo still felt that Song Jiao was sorry for his mother. Meanwhile, Blue Wilderness Great Wall Iron Arm Army Base. At this time, the Yuzhong Tomb of the Second Camp Kindergarten is being observed. General Song Qing reports to General. General Lu from Zishuafang on the Blue Wilderness United Defense Line. Just contacted me. They said they want to send a team of people and horses. Go to Nanhuang. Conduct practical testing of new mass-produced Star Soul Generals. Need to pass through our residence. Please approve release. And after seeing the personnel configuration of the creek, Song Qin, he immediately chose to release it. And Zhang Nua also needs to arrange people and horses to escort in the dark. Just after Zhang Mutiling left. The chef is curious about the western water side. Why do we need to conduct new machine testing on the boundaries of Tindu? Aren't you afraid of leaking secrets because of this? But Song Qin replied to him, the alliance between countries. Most of the time, it's very subtle. Maintain appropriate balance of strength, and make it clear to the other party. Only in this way can we maintain long-term harmony. The old man clearly guards the heavenly rank powerhouse, but he insisted on being the dog of his future grandson's son-in-law. Just because there are so many strong people around my future grandson-in-law, only the guards can hang and beat him up. He is willing to work tirelessly for it. In order to be able to bear the blame and make contributions for the previous offense, seeing him so eye-catching, Song Yunxian will not continue to investigate further, just joking about his IQ online. Being able to make such a wise decision. Little did they know that Kong Zheng was afraid of death, otherwise, how could he be someone else's dog? But on the surface, he still shows great respect and respect, claiming that the Kong family had always regarded the Song family as their leader in the past. This will also be the case in the future. If Song Yunxiang doesn't mind, he is willing to immediately come to the Song mansion as a servant. Can you think about it again? The servants around Song Yunxiang are all heavenly level powerhouses. He had no competitive advantage in the early stages of his career. If you want to seek a good position, it's better to fight for it on your own. By the way, young master Yunxiang, I don't know if there is still a shortage of chefs in the east courtyard of your Song mansion. It's not a small boast. When I was young in Zhengzhou back then, I have also served saints and extraordinary beings, who knew that Kong Zheng Kai had just finished speaking. Song Yunxiang interrupted Kong Zheng, and asked him to get up and talk to Mr. Kong. If you really have the intention to serve the Song dynasty, I have a task assigned to you now. I don't want Kong Zheng to finish listening, kneeling down directly to request orders again. Song Yunxiang felt helpless upon seeing this situation. I had to order him to stand up again. Then take out four broken bullets from the inner lining. As far as I know, other families in Yongan City. There should be four ancestors who have reached the pinnacle of hierarchy. There are four broken ones inside. Go and run for me, Zhang Dan. Let them all break through to the heavens for me. As he spoke, he handed the pill to Kong Zhang. And Kong Zhang looked at the fragrance pill. I feel very uncomfortable in my heart. He worked hard in seclusion for five years before breaking through to the heavenly level. I just distanced myself from those old ghosts a little earlier. I haven't felt the joy of sitting up and waiting for someone yet. Now I have to be equalized by a few old ghosts again. It's completely speechless. But he also understood the intention behind Song Yunxian's move. That's the plan to tame those old ghosts. So that their family power can be used for themselves. 
and Song Yunxiang saw Kong Zheng so preaching, immediately take out a heavenly spirit pill to reward him. This made him deeply grateful for it, firmly stating that they will definitely include the other four families under their command. Let Song Yunxiang rest assured, just as he was about to leave, Song Yunxiang suddenly stopped him again. So he smiled and begged for instructions from Song Yunxiang. Song Yunxiang is not polite either. Immediately proposed their engagement to Kong Zheng. I didn't expect Kong Zheng to be a bit wrong. Kneeling on the ground, begging Song Yunxiang for forgiveness. And he said that if he appears, he can send the stars over. If Song Yunxiang doesn't mind, you can make her a concubine or a housemaid directly. Unexpectedly, it was stopped by Song Yunxiang waving his hand. Stop it now. I am not interested in him. What I mean is to find a decent reason. Just terminate this engagement. As for Kong Xinxin's thoughts, I don't want to interfere. I'm too lazy to take care of it. Upon hearing this, Kong Zheng was immediately suppressed. He didn't expect Song Yunxiang to terminate his engagement. But he will come to the meeting soon. This may be the best outcome. Therefore, he can only handle this matter well. After Kong Zheng leaves, Song Yunxiang finally breathed out a soft breath of turbid air. Although things have developed a little beyond expectations, but we finally settled the engagement. At this moment, the wooden butler suddenly expressed his doubts in his heart. I don't think Kong Zheng truly surrendered. After seeing the strength demonstrated by Song Jia, fear of retaliation. That's why it's pressing on Song Jia's body. Make a political speculation. At this moment, Ma Jinua also spoke in agreement, right? Young Master Yun Xiang. This Kong Xingxing has just left. Just run and find those who have slipped away. Maybe the Kong family will still secretly cause trouble. It's better not to do one thing and not stop doing two things. Taking advantage of tonight's dark night and high winds. Give him a whole family unveiling. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly waved his hand to stop it. You all listen to me now. Not long after. Maybe there will be a big war in Yongan City. Millions of ferocious beasts broke through the wall and entered. Countless people bid farewell in the flames of war. Every additional point of controllable power from the Taoist priest can serve the people of Tiandu Kingdom. Save more sparks of hope. In the current crisis, we should prioritize the overall situation. We cannot waste our strength on family grievances, on top of personal honor and disgrace internal friction. After listening, the Qing dynasty instantly became a little fangirl, and Butler Mu was also deeply moved. He didn't expect Song Yunxiang to have such a broad mind. The back has become increasingly majestic like his father's. Little did they know that Song Yunxiang treated Kong Zhang and others like this, just making the most of everything. After all, the battle of Nanhuang Shouchao. Of course, the more combat power, the better. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang asked Steward Mu to go arrange a floating flying rope. Tomorrow he is going on a long journey. Meanwhile, the Iron Arm Army base on the inner side of the Nanhuang Great Wall. The water-absorbing country transport ship is already 10 miles away from its base. At this point, a mecha is rushing towards the transport ship at lightning speed. Seeing the situation, the water-absorbing Fongard mech quickly made a sound, Hezike. The rushing mecha suddenly jumps. In the next second, he will appear in front of General Leoning. The person who came is Zhang Mu, the young captain of the Iron Armed Army's 2nd Battalion. Then he boarded the release document for sending off his family and after Lu Ning received the imperial edict, immediately expressed gratitude, immediately returned to the transport ship. Tiandu Jun has approved the release. Shall we start moving now? The princess of the classical Chinese wolf ring immediately showed a happy smile. Of course, we're leaving now. I can't wait to find the fierce beast for real combat. Test these three cute little ones. A crazy man is truly extraordinary. Not only did it float and shuttle through the air, but it also, it can also instantly attract the attention of girls. This makes the girls want to catch him, to test my little cutie. Just now, after Song Yunxiang dismissed Kong Jin, he will soon return to the Dong Yuan mansion. At this point, the wooden butler is ready for the floating shuttle. See here, Song Yunxiang sat on a shuttle for debugging without saying a word. He was very satisfied with the various performance of the shuttle. This made Xia Beja couldn't help but show a long lost smile, but he hasn't fully recovered from his joy yet. Song Yunxian was piloting a shuttle and preparing to fly away. Upon seeing this, the shepherd quickly spoke up to dissuade the young master. Would it be too risky for you to go to Nanhuang by yourself? At least a few hidden guards need to be brought along. Go protect your safety. At this time, the Qing dynasty also rushed to speak in agreement, even requesting Song Yunxian to take him with them. 
but Song Yunxiang felt that it was a big deal. He can come and go freely on his own. Taking action is actually more convenient. Continuing. Then he threw down two storage tokens for the wooden butler and hydrogen bomb. Inside the storage talisman is a large wooden comb of elixirs. You picked out some good seedlings from the Song Mansion and the hidden guards. Cultivate as many high-level combat capabilities as possible. And also, during the Qing Dynasty, could you also convene a meeting to discuss the affairs of our eastern court, and those subordinates with cultivation talents in the outer courtyard, make every effort to quickly enhance their combat effectiveness, for future emergencies, in classical Chinese, the two quickly nodded to show their momentum, continuing, Son Yunxiang asked steward Mu to pass on the message to the old marquis, he will definitely return within 10 days of his trip, let the old marquis not worry about him, Afterwards, he drove at lightning speed and soared into the sky. In an instant, it disappeared into the vast sky, and the deafening sound. It surprised Song Bo very much. The sound waves of this aircraft. It should be a very powerful floating speed. Shouldn't it be Yun Xiang who ran out to play? Seeing the lady of this city scold him is like a scolding. I asked you to go find him last night. You must wait until this morning. Now it's good. We're here again first. Father, reciting classical Chinese here can only awkwardly recall. No harm, no harm. It's safer to first consult with my father's opinion. We rashly went to find Yunxian like this. When the time comes, even if we lose our old face, I may not be able to hold on to the treasures in Yunxian's hands either. I don't want to. His words were heard by the old marquis who had just entered the living room, curiously asking what treasures they were planning to take. Seeing this, Song Bo quickly shifted the topic away. Father is like this. Last night, due to official socializing, unable to come and clean up the dust for Yun Xiang, so today I will be the host. I'll do it again at Yongan restaurant tonight. Unexpectedly, his kindness was stopped on the spot by the old Marquis, Song Bo's intention. Of course the Marquis knows, it's just an idea to use Song Yun Xiang's elixir. Although my thoughts were exposed, Song Bo slightly appears awkwardly, but he still believes that. These heavy treasures are also held in Song Yinxiang's hands. Why not take out these resources and operate them in a business model? Only in this way can we achieve maximum benefits. But we haven't received a response from the old lord yet. The shepherd in the Qing dynasty had already arrived in the living room. At the same time, reported that Song Yunxiang went to the southern wilderness to hunt and kill ferocious beasts. Afterwards, we also need to go to the sand sculpture city of Xiaoyuba. This can suppress Song Bo on the spot. He probably didn't hear it wrong, did he? Yun Xiang, that useless material, dares to go to the southern wilderness to hunt and kill ferocious beasts. And the old marquis has a deep understanding of him, shocked but choosing to ignore, just casually asking the shepherd about it. When will San Yun Xiang return? In a short period of three to five days, it will not exceed ten days at most. After paraphrasing, Steward Mu is about to leave and prepare to leave, but he was suddenly stopped by Song Bo when he stood up and called out. Then he directly questioned the father of the old marquis. There are fierce beasts everywhere in the southern wilderness. Big brother's iron-armed army is difficult to advance forward. Isn't it killing him to go alone? At this moment, the shepherd seemed to have never heard his words before. If you don't even dump him, just leave directly. Seeing this, the old marquis had to open the information screen. Recall Song Yunxiang's recent heroic actions. Show him. At the same time, it is also reminding him not to hit Song Yunxiang's seed. And after watching the video, Song Bo, still find it unbelievable. He doesn't understand. Why did Song Yunxiang suddenly become so strong? Meanwhile, Song Yunxiang is currently flying rapidly in the air. The powerful explosive power of the flying shuttle. In an instant, it crossed the transport ship of Shuashuibo. This makes Princess Wolf Ring curious. Surprisingly able to maintain rapid flight at this altitude. This rider must have strong skills and abilities and it seems that he is completely unaffected by high-altitude wind pressure. Is it a formation set up outside the shuttle? Tiandu Kingdom is indeed a crouching tiger with hidden dragons. Anyone I meet has such strong abilities. It's just a pity that all the water-absorbing countries are female soldiers. Otherwise, I really want to catch him. Can you help me test my little cutie? I can definitely be a playboy, but they have to choose to save the world. For this reason, he went alone to the southern wilderness to hunt and kill ferocious beasts, just to obtain the materials from the ferocious beast, used to enhance the strength of human race powerhouses. It is also used to upgrade and strengthen mass production machines. Purpose, just to prepare for the outbreak of the beast tide in the near future. 
Originally, it was four days after Song Yunxiang went to Nanhuang. The Song Dynasty welcomed a distinguished guest from the Nanzhou Anti-Military Academy, and they are Su Heming, the chief guard of the Jiwu Academy, and Song Yunxiang's instructor Chang Yi. Su Heming, standing on the transport ship at this moment, was quite emotional. Yongin City. The last time he passed by here was over 30 years ago. The feeling of long absence made his heart involuntary, but his profound Cheng Yi. I was already shocked to the point of being stunned. Seems like I've never seen the world before. As Su Heming and his companions disembarked from the transport ship. In the Qing dynasty, they respectfully greeted them with courtesy. Seeing this, Su Heming also responded with a smile. At the same time, it also laments that the Marquis' mansion of Zhou truly deserves its reputation. Only the maids around Song Xiaozi have such high cultivation levels. And at Song Mingcheng, I have always regarded the Qing dynasty as an ordinary maid. The focus is all on the figure of the Qing dynasty, and also conducted an undercover investigation on Song Yunxiang. The famous fruit of being a playboy is truly worthy of its reputation. Yunxiang kid should have told you before. I came on this trip according to his instructions a few days ago. We have already brought the things he instructed us to. Su Heming smiled and spoke up. When Shen Yi saw the situation, he went there. Pick up the suitcase in your hand. The Qing dynasty, who knew about this matter. Then he immediately bowed and invited them into the mansion. Along the way, Shen Yi occasionally looked around and around. My heart and mind are all focused on the maids of the Song dynasty. I also marvel that Song mansion is simply a paradise on earth. Song Yunxian's life made him envious. The main reception hall of the outer courtyard of the Song dynasty mansion. Shun Envy is reporting to the old marquis. The matter of a distinguished guest from Jiwu Academy. See here. The old marquis asked him to go to the north courtyard and call Yun Jin over. At this moment, the wooden butler suddenly spoke up. About the new testing machine sample. He and Miss Yunjin are here to connect with the temporary guests. Why bother the old lord to personally receive you? However, the old marquis did not think so. After all, he is the mentor of Sun Su Yunxiang. They should be given the least amount of respect. And at this time, Xing, Dai has brought Su Heming and the others to the outside of the reception hall. Looking at those proud maids, Chang Yi has an impulse to become a servant in the Song dynasty. After all, he is a powerful cultivator with a profound and profound cultivation level. Being a security captain is definitely more than enough. But he felt that this was not enough excitement. He wants to hide his strength, selling oneself and sneaking into the Song family to become a small servant. In times of crisis, revealing one's cultivation, so as to capture the hearts of the beautiful in one fell swoop, just as he was daydreaming about it. Su Heming suddenly interrupted his thoughts, even reminded him to restrain himself a bit. Don't write all your desires on your face. Then the two of them walked into the living room. Su Heming did not expect that the old marquis would personally come forward to receive him. This surprised him a bit, and the old marquis said goodbye to the arrival of Su Heming. He clasped his fists and saluted him on the spot. Unexpectedly, Su Banshang, the leader of the Three Swords, unexpectedly visited my humble abode. It really makes my humble abode shine brightly. Seeing this, Su Heming never forgets to be polite to each other. Afterwards, the two sat directly adjacent to each other. The old marquis took the opportunity to falsely blame Song Yunxiang. Blame Song Yunxiang, that kid is not big or small. How dare I trouble you? Su Bancheng personally runs around, and Su Heming lightly brushed his head. Slightly awkward. It immediately indicates that it was just a voluntary recommendation from oneself. At this moment, Song Yunjin, who received the summons, also came to the reception hall. Seeing the situation, the old marquis immediately stated that the person coming was his granddaughter. At the same time, he also introduced Cheng Yi to his granddaughter. The two are the teachers of Song Yunxiang. They came this time. It's to deliver to the workshop of Jiwu Academy, the new machine produced. Because it was entrusted by Song Yunxiang, there is also a portion of the Red Luan army among them. And by now, Cheng Yi had already been mesmerized by Song Yunjin. What a refreshing beauty. Oh, there's such a queen model. I really want to be stepped on by him. Just as he was daydreaming, Su Heming quickly patted him. Shoulder asked him to quickly take out the things and show them to others. At this moment, he regained consciousness from his days. So I immediately placed the suitcase on the table and opened it. Everyone, please take a look. This is our workshop in the Maintenance Institute. According to the design proposal provided by Song Yunxiang, the specially crafted Wei Yuan Shur. 30 units in total. Please check and accept the other side at this time. In the hinterland of the southern wilderness.
Song Yunxiang is currently hunting down ferocious beasts. This is a Daifengshu, salad of assorted fresh vegetables, the golden core of various ferocious beasts. Just like this, he casually piled them together. Colorful. It looks a bit rustic at first glance. After these days of crazy hunting, now the materials for the ferocious beast are sufficient. Take out one tenth first to exchange for medicinal herbs. Then leave another portion for upgrading and strengthening the mass production base. Let's take the rest and sell it for money. Fighting for several days in a row. The realm is also completely stable. Before heading to Sand Sculpture City, why don't we first break through our cultivation to the later stage of the earth level? He is responsible for the materials on the ferocious beast's body. Surprisingly, he went alone to the southern wilderness to hunt and kill ferocious beasts. During this period, I also improved my cultivation by the way, but it was surrounded by countless fierce beasts. But fortunately, the formation he set up is strong enough. Those ferocious beasts cannot be shaken at all. And Song Yunxiang has just broken through to the late stage of the earth's level. He felt an immense amount of soul power filling his body, also considered as the late stage of the geological stage. At this moment, his soul power. I'm afraid he's more than three times stronger than his previous life. If we follow this state, instantaneous time, he should be able to unleash more than ten times the combat power of his past life, just as he was happy about it. The ferocious beasts outside are unaware of life and death roaring at him incessantly. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but grin. Clearly, so many ferocious beasts have gathered together. But even a small heavenly level defense array cannot be broken through. Thanks to me, I have also placed four consecutive items, land river and mixed element three layer defense array. You guys are really garbage. Anyway, it's rare. So many materials have been delivered to your door. Then I reluctantly accepted it. As he spoke, he cut a new defensive formation. Upon seeing this, fierce beasts rushed forward one after another. Unexpectedly, he was blown up on the spot by his new soul structure. Next second, Albumeka appeared in the fierce beast group, not yet waiting for the ferocious beast to approach. Song Yunxiang instructed the star master system, copy out two sky breaking slashes. Although the sky breaking slash consumes a huge amount of soul power, but based on his current strength, I can barely use my heavenly rank achievements. Seeing this, he integrated his armament and achievements. In an instant, just use an extremely domineering heavenly level combat technique. Breaking sky dance, places passed by. All ferocious beasts were slain by him. This left Song Yunxiang feeling somewhat unprepared. A sudden and imaginative move. I didn't expect such a terrifying power to erupt. Try combining it with other achievements again. For example, the seven waves in the Xuanjia position. With the use of the seven heavenly waves move. The ferocious beast has suffered another large area of casualties, and in order not to harm the core crystallization of the ferocious beast, Song Yunxiang also slightly suppressed 70% of the power struggle. Its power is relatively good for him. Then he directly reached out his hand and shot through the air. The crystals inside the ferocious beast flew in front of him in an instant. It's better to have it delivered to your door. Keep what's useful for now. The useless ones will be sold to the second prince. It shouldn't be a problem to switch to over a billion yuan, but that kid seems to have run out of money. We need to find someone who is even more wealthy and wealthy. I don't know if the Hong Chamber of Commerce can take this batch of goods. Speaking of which, the crystallization will be incorporated into the system space. And at this moment, the ferocious beast Chochi is unaware of its life and death. Dare to roar at Song Yunxiang. But in his eyes, poor Chi is just looking for death. Coming with a strange flight. He didn't hesitate to use his ultimate kill and leap into the air. Starting directly at Chongqi means passing through the heart. In an instant, poverty turned into ashes. Only the core crystal remains. Not long ago, Song Yunshan dealt with the fierce beasts in the heavenly realm. He will also be forced to use some means to fight hard. Under current power, I am already able to fight head on. The core crystallization of the heavenly rank ferocious beast can be used to strengthen mass production volume. It's not a rare good thing. If there is a chance, you can shift more gears, but this place has always been outside the signal area. I don't know if Dean Gu has followed what I said. Send the mass-produced machines produced to the Song Dynasty government. It has been five days now. I don't have much time left. Go to the Sand Sculpture City first. Let's get down to business before we talk about it. It's still a long way from here to the Sand Sculpture City. If we could use Chowren to fly, it will be several times faster than the floating shuttle. Star Master System. The faults caused by Chao Ren's mistakes have been fixed. I didn't think about it. Time has passed for a long time. 
Song Yunxiang is still a memory of the star system that has not yet arrived. And at this moment, a hundred miles outside the sand sculpture city, Divine Sword retreats, has been heavily protected by others. These guards are from the cellars of the sand sculpture city, but on the transport ship, but standing with Xia Yuba, people of the Huyan ethnic group. And that person is also the young master of the Huyan clan, Huyan Shi. And there is also the method of protecting the Dao in the face. I can feel the aura of the divine level. This divine level retreat item. We are determined to protect the beauty of our family. This trip to San Sculpture City. This trip is really worth it. As he spoke, he turned straight back to look at McKinley. Jean Xiao, I think we can make a deal. In classical Chinese, McKinley's expression remained unchanged. It seems that I am not interested in the transaction mentioned in the Huyan letter. Dear sir, you also know that. Our wheat family is backed by a family of catalogs. Not short of money either. However, the Hu Yen letter doesn't care about these things. He just reassured McKinsey, dealing with his nonsense family. The benefits of McKinsey are absolutely indispensable. But there was still no hint of joy on McKinley's face. Just a faint expression. He is looking forward to it very much. Meanwhile, Market Street in the urban area of Shadayo City. Someone is auctioning off newly captured slaves. But some people are shining brightly at this because he is a mixed race member of the shark tribe, but his behavior caught someone's attention. That person can tell at a glance, he is a mixed race of the foundation of the shark tribe, just didn't expect, little dragon sea kingdom's buildings dare to appear in sand sculpture city, truly deserving of being a divine level kick, unexpectedly attracting the gathering of people from all walks of life. He was originally the prince of the dragon sea kingdom's Jaren tribe, now he hides his identity and comes to the human city. The purpose is only to capture the traitors of Long High Kingdom. Take back the most precious divine jade from his hands. Unfortunately, his identity was discovered by a mysterious powerhouse. And then we learned about the purpose of his trip. Turns out it was not long ago. Two shark tribes have just infiltrated the sand sculpture city. They discovered a woman who couldn't see through her realm. Out of curiosity. Lan Li then asked the treacherous uncle, who was a strong member of the Earth's level. Have you noticed anything special about this woman? I don't want to cheat uncle, but I judge based on experience. This woman is just an ordinary heavenly level powerhouse. It should just be for the purpose of stepping back from the divine rank. Don't worry too much about these small characters. Even ask Lonley to learn more from him. Don't always look like you haven't seen the world before. But Lonley always paid attention to that woman. And he also found that the woman had disappeared under his nose. Seeing this, he had no choice but to give up on it. Soon. They came to the side of Prince Lan Kuan of Long High Kingdom. At the same time, he also saluted Lan Kuan. Kalankan, in order to not attract attention, immediately gestured for them to sit down and speak, and they need to communicate in common language. Upon seeing this, Lan Li immediately reported to Lan Kuan, Your Highness, the traitor who stole the Divine Realm, currently located in the western district of Shadayo City. We have found his exact location. After learning the specific location of the traitor, on Lan Kuan's face, show a hint of doubt. Xiching district should be a military controlled area, right? How did he get in there? And Lan Jian saw Lan Kuan puzzled and puzzled. He immediately explained the young master to him. As far as the investigation is concerned, this traitor Lan Zhou took advantage of his majesty's birthday, under the guise of donating treasures, designed to steal our tribe's oracle. Afterwards, he fled to Tiandu, so his majesty dispatched the princes. Colorful and diverse. Follow the pirates heading towards Tiandu to pursue this traitor. But as I expected, this traitor is indeed not the pirate who used to go to Tiandu before. He deliberately subordinates for a while to distract all the princes. Landing from our mortal enemy Xiaoyuba, flowing all the way to the Sand Sculpture City. I plan to borrow it to the Sand Sculpture City airport. Take a boat to Tiandu Central. In theory, he should be on his way to Zhengzhou by now. But because a few days ago, Suddenly, a divine leg appeared outside the sand sculpture city. As a result, Shadayo City has entered a state of martial law, strictly control the ships it travels with. At this point, the traitor was forced to be trapped here. Upon hearing this, Lan Kuan immediately stopped Lan Jian from continuing to speak, because he knows all these situations. Then he asked Lan Jian to pick the key point to talk about. Seeing this, Lan Jian no longer talks nonsense immediately indicating that Lan Zhou is a member of the Dragon Sea royal family. Nature knows the secrets of some of the most precious divine domains in the tribe. Lan Zhou has been stuck in Tianjie for decades. 
Stealing the divine domain is probably to break through the bottleneck. Now I happen to encounter the divine rank and appear as soon as I step back. Trapped here, he may turn to the seller. Attempting to divide some crystalline fragments. Used to gain insights and opportunities for breakthroughs. After learning about it, Lankuan still feels like something's wrong. But for a moment, it couldn't be said. At this moment, he only cares about whether Shen Yu is still with Lanzo, because he was worried. Lanzo will exchange the divine jade with the seller for a refund of the divine rank. But Ko Lan Jian doesn't think so. He dares to conclude that the divine magnolia Zhou is either carried with him. The belt is either hidden by Lan Zhou in a secret place. The smooth progress of the matter went too far. Lan Kuan couldn't help but feel wary. But right now, there's nothing we can do about it. After all, the inheritance of Star Soul General Ao Bing is of great significance. Now we can only grit our heads. Fortunately, I have that thing in my hand. Even if there are only three of them, I should be able to handle it now, Uncle Wang of Lanzhou. Thinking of this, Lan Kuan and a few others got up and headed to Xiching District. Unexpectedly, they just left. The mysterious woman revealed her figure. Teach the divine realm of the human race. Perhaps it was the previous Ao Bing. What the old guy Su Lanil left behind. Meanwhile, at this moment, Song Yunxiang is piloting a shuttle to the Sand Sculpture City. At this moment, the shepherd suddenly called him. So he connected the video of the shepherd's butler. After seeing that Song Yunxiang was safe and sound, the shepherd butler, he finally felt at ease. Then he withdrew his soul from Song Yunxiang. Conquer what has already been received. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly asked the steward what he thought of it. The shepherd immediately reported truthfully. He is currently at the teaching base. The Red Luan army is testing those new soul generals. And at this moment, virtual projection practical test area of the Red Luan army's field. Each unit is maintaining its formation and engaging in actual combat with virtual ferocious beasts. They all cooperate with each other to launch long-range attacks on ferocious beasts. After eliminating the fierce beasts on the ground, they directly changed their formation again. Changed to artillery mode for firepower suppression. In an instant, the fierce beasts in the air were like fireworks blooming. The sound of explosions is incessant in our ears. Subsequently, they immediately dispatched two airstrike type star soul generals. Responsible for killing those fish that missed the net. The splashing type on the ground uses flying swords for cover. Under mutual cooperation, the ferocious beasts that were several times larger than them were quickly slaughtered and wiped out. Those ferocious beasts that haven't died completely. The heavily equipped star soul will be responsible for killing. In no time, the simulation and practical testing will be successfully completed. All ferocious beasts were annihilated and sent to battle. Various types of star soul generals. The survival rate is 100%. Seeing this Yun Jin, I couldn't help but grin and ask everyone, what do you think these star souls will be like? He is preparing for the upcoming human crisis. Spending a lot of money to refine high-level pills, just to enhance the overall strength of the human race. Still venturing alone to hunt down the killer in the southern wilderness. Collect materials to enhance the testing machine for star soul descent. Little did they know, his testing machine is already strong enough in the eyes of others. After the simulation and actual combat test of the Red Luan army is over, everyone still feels unsatisfied. The testing machine not only improves its output and strength, but also, and the efficiency of soul power conversion has also been optimized. The combat power of the testing machine exceeded their expectations. If all the Red Luan army can be replaced with this new type, so the combat effectiveness of the entire army will increase by more than three times. This makes Ami, the commander of the western camp of the Red Luan army, Everyone was shocked, so he quickly questioned General Song Yunjin. Where did this good thing come from? Could it be that Taishian Heavy Industry specially developed it for them? But Bai Su, the head of Hebei Camp, doesn't think so. As far as he knows, Muay Thai Heavy Industry should not possess the technical strength in developing such treasures. Bai Su's belief, let Song Yun's mouth and footsteps rise slightly. It was designed by my cousin Yun Xiong to enhance behavioral foresight. It is a testing machine made by the workshop of Nanjo Jiwu Institute. Of course, among them, the machinists of Taiyuan Heavy Industry have also made efforts. The four leaders of classical Chinese were all shocked. They didn't expect the designers to be scrap materials. Song Yunxiang, that guy is just an uneducated culture. How could it be that suddenly, it turned into a genius refining stones? It's simply unbelievable. Little did they know that Song Yunxiang not only had extremely high talent for training and crafting, but also, still able to fully retreat in front of divine level ferocious beasts, 
After witnessing Song Yunxiang's terrifying combat power, they will definitely do it again. Even more shocking. Meanwhile, at the Iron Arm Army base on the southern border of Yeoman City, at this time, Song Yunxi and his father, looking at the testing machine with great interest, although I already know, this testing machine was designed by Song Yunxiang, but Song Qin still asked his son again, confirming the situation. Song Yunqi couldn't help but laugh heartily. That's right, all of these were created by Yun Shanga. Isn't it very impressive? Go to various battalions in the military. Select the elite testing machines that are suitable for these models. Give him. Build a reinforced special operations battalion in a short period of time. Additionally, contact various enterprises in the name of Iron Arm Army again. Purchase a large amount of refining materials at market price. How much does he charge? After explaining the trivial matters, sending off a loved one cannot help but sigh softly. If this can arm all the iron armed forces, don't say it's guarding the Nanhuang Great Wall in the town. It's about expanding our territory further into the southern wasteland by a hundred miles. It's not impossible either. After learning about it, Song Yunqi suddenly felt speechless for a moment, thinking inwardly, if my father knew, Yun Xiang still has those pills in his hand. I'm afraid we still have to give it to the Iron Arm Army. Let's have a few whole pills for each person. And on the other side at this moment, Song Yunxiang is currently heading towards the direction of Sand Carving City. The livestock butler in video. Tell me about what happened to Song Fu these past few days. I gave him a brief overview of everything, and also provided him with an important piece of intelligence. That was a few days ago. An incredible treasure has appeared outside the Sand Sculpture City. The city has now entered a state of martial law. Remind him to act with caution. After learning about this matter, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but grin. Although I don't know what treasure it is, but since ancient times, treasures have always been shared by those who see them. He also wants to get a cup of soup in anger. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang starts the full load acceleration mode. In an instant, he disappeared into the vast sky. Meanwhile, outside the west district of Shadyoching, Prince Lan Kuan of the Shark Clan bribed. Soon they were allowed, entering Shicheng district. However, the guide instructed them to, never do anything, just disguise yourself as a businessman from Tiandu. Everything will be handled by him as the guide. Strong people gather in Shicheng district. If it offends some great person, I'm afraid they will all die tragically. Seeing this, Lan Jian quickly smiled and agreed with peace of mind. Little brother, I just heard about the hot spring bathhouse in Shicheng district. Extremely luxurious. So I just want to go and broaden my horizons. Just finished speaking. A few people appeared across the corridor. This startled them all. Lan Li and Lan Jian quickly protected Lan Kuan in front of him, and the guide reminded a few people not to be nervous. He acted according to the situation. Through simple communication between two guides, both sides passed by in tacit agreement. But in this moment, McKinsey immediately realized something was wrong. So he asked Lan Kuan and a few others to wait for a moment. Then ask Lan Kunjin in shark language, did they meet somewhere? But out of caution, Lan Kuan. I don't know if McKinsey is probing them. Fortunately, he switched to communicating with him in Tiandu language. This guy, may I ask if you have any guidance? I am a newcomer here. I'm not quite familiar with the language of your Xiaoyuba yet. The Prince of Dong Haiba seeks to retrieve the divine realm within his clan, willing to take risks and pursue traitors in the human city. Unexpectedly, he was targeted by the amateur of Wenzhong by the star soul. He thought he would be the yellow sparrow that caught the praying mantis. Little did they know that the real yellow sparrow had someone else, and that person is also planning to eat all sizes. Just now, at the moment when Lan Kuan passed by Huyan Xin, the Huyan letter immediately sensed something was amiss. So he asked Lan Kuan in shark language, Have you seen it somewhere before? Seeing the Huyan letter is testing oneself. Lan Kuan took off his hat directly, and after seeing Lan Kuan, Huyan Xin, frown, he didn't expect it. Surprisingly, the person in front of me would be a human ancestor. So he immediately turned his head and asked the passersby led by Bai Lian, Who are these people? After listening, the leader of Balian was immediately frightened and shivered, until the leader of Black Lotus questioned him, and after indicating the identity of the extension letter, he suddenly woke up with a startle. At this point, Lan Li and Lan Jian had already entered a state of alert. The intention is to take action as soon as you notice something is wrong. A white-faced leader who can regain his senses, but not giving them a chance. At this moment, 
The white-faced guide is answering the question of the Huyen letter, indicating that Lan Kuan and others are businessmen from Tiandu Kingdom. This time, we are here to provide less supply to Mecha Steel. After learning about it, Hu Yenqin's eyes turned cold. Seems quite dissatisfied with such an answer. Until Hu Yen spoke up to explain. It indicates that Naidi Xiao is the fourth in the four shows of Mecca, McKinsey's younger brother, doing some gray area business in Tiandu. Hu Yenqing just came over from the central conference, so I relaxed my guard, let Lan Kuan and a few others go over. Seeing the situation, the white-faced guide quickly urged Lan Kuan and the others to leave quickly, but Lan Kuan, who was following behind, had a cold and gloomy look in his eyes. He knew that guy from the Hu Yen family just now was definitely not easy. As expected, the Hu Yen letter has just come out. He immediately instructed Hu Yanfa to find someone to keep an eye on Lan Kunji. This makes Hu Yanfa somewhat puzzled and puzzled. But the Hu Yen letter explained to him, Lan Kuan and the others made him feel very uncomfortable. It's unbearable, like being allergic to seafood, as if engraved in the bloodline of the Hu Yen family. Only then did Hu Yanfa understand the meaning of Hu Yenshin's letter. Young Master Murphy believes that they are members of the shark tribe, but the young man watched, clearly just an ordinary human race. Classical Chinese, Hu Yen's letter immediately reminds Hu Yen to speak softly, he believes in his intuition, so we still need to investigate. Upon seeing this, the hairbrush disappeared in place with just one swipe, and without the full protection of Hu Yen Fa, Hu, Yenxin clearly relaxed a lot. I have long heard about the quality of the demonic female slaves in the sand sculpture city. This is the crime of jade and silk. This journey has truly lived up to its reputation. It's rare for that old guy to have his book printed. Today, let Ben Xiao come and taste it carefully. Meanwhile, the sand sculpture hot spring bathhouse in the western urban area of the sand sculpture city. Lan Kuan and a few others are watching Lan Zhou burn near the big bathhouse. This damn Lan Zhou is really despicable. We worked hard to track and guard all the way. This guy actually relies on the power of the shark jade transform into human form, and then I'll be happy and carefree here. Upon hearing this, Lan Li immediately became interested, so I immediately asked Lan Jian to show him as well. At this moment, Blue Space feels depressed, just hand him the telescope directly, and Lan Li couldn't wait to keep an eye on the tip. Undoubtedly an advanced undercover investigation equipment imported from Tiandu country, surprisingly able to see through the anti-peeping formation on the bathhouse, in order to maximize the value of this device. Lan Li actually moved the camera aside to look at the girl. Unexpectedly, Lan Jian gave him a brain teaser. Lan Li immediately started screaming in pain. At this moment, Lan Kuan spoke up and asked Lan Jian about it. Is that traitor Lan Zhou still hiding in the bathhouse? Upon seeing this, Lan Jian immediately gave him a positive response. Hand over the telescope and signal him to take a look. But he pushed it away with a push. Just waiting like this is not a solution. So they still plan to sneak in directly but Lan Li and Lan Jian, but relying on a cloak to conceal the aura of the shark race. If you sneak into the bathhouse, it will definitely be exposed. Therefore, only Lan Kuan can go there alone. But at this moment, Lan Jian suddenly asked Lan Kuan to wait for the traitor to stop him. At this point, I have already walked out of the bathhouse. Seeing this, Lan Kuan and a few others jumped and followed suit, but he had no idea at all. There is someone nearby who is watching them. And that person is one of the four saints of the water absorber. Huang Miaoyin Yuan, a layman of the star soul general Wen Zhong. Come on, traitor of Longhai Kingdom. Unexpectedly stole the inheritance of star soul general Ao Bing. Half demon prince. Just like this, he followed two ants and came here. Is it a bit too big? But I didn't expect to come back for the sake of the divine realm this time. But there was such an unexpected gain. Can I be considered a yellow sparrow behind me? Little did they know that the real yellow sparrow was not him, but rather a mysterious old man who hides even deeper. It's really ridiculous. Do you also consider Huang K to be behind? Isn't that why I want to eat all sizes? He is a human sperm. It is also the hope of the human race, in order to cope with the upcoming dampness, not daring to venture deep into the southern wilderness to hunt down the killer. And now I have just returned to the sand sculpture city. He just wants to fish in troubled waters although using the hidden formation, but for safety reasons. Song Yunxiang still plans to load the shuttle into the system space, then walk into the sand sculpture city. With a wave of his big hand, the shuttle instantly twisted and entered the system void. Then he summoned the ineffective mask of sentient beings. Take it with you without saying a word. 
We need to first exchange the raw materials of the ferocious beast for medicinal herbs before proceeding. Previously, I threw this mask directly into the system space. I haven't had a chance to study it thoroughly yet. Now it's perfect to give it a try. During speech, Song Yunxiang has already transformed into Fiji's appearance, but soon he realized something was wrong again. After all, it's to make a deal with the researchers from the Samarin family. It's obviously inappropriate to go with Fig's identity. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang changed his appearance and transformed again. Unexpectedly, Yi's identity has changed several times, but it's not suitable. In the end, it's better to disguise oneself as an elderly person. Afterwards, Song Yunxiang came to the Sand Sculpture City, Hong's Chamber of Commerce in urban areas. The maid immediately welcomed the situation upon seeing it, also kindly asking Song Yunxiang what he wants to buy. Who knew that Song Yunxiang didn't have time to pay attention to him? Let him take him directly to see Manager Lu. Soon, Song Yunxiang met Manager Lu. He didn't say a word. Express your opinion to Manager Lu. Manager Lu immediately signaled to borrow a step to speak. Afterwards, he asked Song Yunxiang if he was a general of the Song family. And Song Yunxiang can only falsely claim to be. This time I am here to handle matters for young Master Yunxiang. Comes for trading thousand feet of gold and purple sand. You are a person from the Song dynasty and I'm still here to do business with the Samarin family. Manager Lu will immediately make a gesture of invitation, and remind Song Yunxiang. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang can only let him rest assured. At this time, in the reception room of the Hong's Chamber of Commerce, the people of the Samarin family are waiting for the arrival of Song Yunxiang. But if the family does have some confusion, thousand foot gold and purple sand gallbladder, they are all spiritual medicines that the teacher privately treasures. But why do teachers have to pay out of their own pockets? Holding two precious medicines, trading ferocious animal materials for Mecca to develop new organisms. But the teacher candidly told me to join. Although they are representing Samaringa this time, accepted Mecca's commission, but the data for developing new organisms, it can be taken back. If we can make the research progress faster, why bother spending a little money out of your own pocket? Besides, Tanti has high expectations for the new model of McKay's phone. After all, that could be the existence of a power enemy who causes a human star soul general. However, Jarawa still has some confusion. Why do you need to personally come to this kind of thing? Just leave it to the seller to arrange. At this moment. Subsequently, it was revealed that Song Yunxiang's purpose was to come. Continuing. Both parties successfully transacted under the guarantee of Manager Lu. Although, everyone was shocked by the quality of the crystals produced by Song Yunxiang, but nothing unexpected happened either. After the transaction ends, Song Yunxiang said goodbye and left. Now two medicinal herbs have been successfully obtained. All that remains is the seller's Wu Inhua. Now go to the seller in Xiching district to pick up a spot first. At night, I was just waiting for an opportunity to move. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang used a hidden formation, jumping towards the external direction, but soon he sensed the aura of the holy rank powerhouse. Although this person has already applied two layers of shielding, strange who that woman is. Impressionless soul power fluctuations. Is it someone I haven't met in my past life? Is he monitoring someone? Star Master System Scanning. So it's the Shark Tribe, but the soul power fluctuations emitted by that blue-haired boy. How can there be a feeling of familiarity? The demon race without wildness can only become slaves to the human race. They need to find ways to make humans happy, just hoping to follow a good master. And at this moment, two cat demons are working hard to please the Huyen letter. The leader ABA also took advantage of the heat and recommended it to him, claiming that if the Huyen letter is willing, just need three numbers, then we can take them back to the mansion and slowly appreciate them. These two cat monsters are both bred by their own families, a bloodline certificate verified by the government, not the kind of wild and untamed demon race. As for security, there must be no problem. Seeing this call, I no longer hesitate. He he is ready to buy these two cat monsters. Then he spoke up and inquired about it. Dad, by the way, you just mentioned the wild demon race. I heard that your store has recently received a top quality item. Can there be this matter? In classical Chinese, ABA immediately answered with a smile on his face. Young master, the news is quite clear. The small shop has just purchased a top quality item. Not too early, it has already been reserved by my Jiaxi Xiao. See, it was reserved by the fourth young master of the my family. 
Hu Yenqin's eyes showed a hint of disdain. This is the fourth young master of the my family again. I don't think it's as good as this, right? Take me to see how it works first. If satisfied, I have also reserved a position for you, young master. Speaking, he stood up and asked ABA to lead the way. And ABA doesn't talk nonsense either. Carrying a call extension letter. Just go straight to the domestication room on the second underground floor. Gongzi. This demonic horse soldier was reserved by the fourth young master of the Mai family. Ji Pingguo is said to be the strongest warrior in the tribe. He has a strong and resolute personality. Don't look at him like this now. When we caught him, we have lost five mysterious level veterans. Fortunately, we caught a few foals. Otherwise, we can't lead him into a trap yet. After listening, those two captive cat monsters, already trembling with fear, they are all urging the delay letter to leave quickly. However, ABA didn't bother to pay attention to their feelings. I just want to grab the thigh of Hugh Yangson with all my heart. If Hugh Yangson likes this kind of witch from the demon horse tribe, you can place a 30% deposit for booking now. But at this moment, the communication watch of the Hu Yen letter suddenly rings, with the connection of the video. Tell Hu Yen to send a Hu Yen message. As expected, the matter did not come out of the delay letter. The three guys I just met do have problems. They, tracking a recent top tier customer of a seller who has recently invested in the city. According to the investigation, that disciple is a traitor wanted by Long Hai Bo. Hu Yenfa suggests whether to notify the seller first. But it was directly stopped by Hu Yenxin. At the same time, he also asked Hu Yenfa to send him the location. Go over now and meet up with Hyanfa. I have to take a step forward before I have anything else to do. This storage talisman contains the redemption money for two cat demons. I'll give you the extra. I will come back later, Ben Shao. After finishing speaking, he ran away with two cat demons in his arms. And ABA looked at the storage talisman in his hand. If in thought, extraordinary skills and generous spending. It seems that this person may also be from a different family. Thinking of this, ABA immediately turned back. Looking at the colorful and bound demon horse talisman, it's inevitable that there will be many dreams at night. Hurry up and send the demon slave to fourth young master. At this time, the Shadayo Hot Spring Bathhouse in Xiching District. Lan Zhou is humming a song with a relaxed expression at this moment, completely unaware that the three parties are monitoring themselves. Until Lan Jian lurked not far behind him, he suddenly realized, someone is tracking, so he immediately flew up and jumped up, quickly escape. Seeing this, Lan Kuan and a few others quickly ran and chased after each other. But soon, they found out that Lan Zhou was fleeing outside the city. But at this moment, they can't care about that much either. Lan Jian immediately instructed Lan Li to call. First, let's go pursue Nalan Zhou with the young master ourselves. As the two of them flew the tower several times, the towering city wall was leapt over by them. We haven't received a response from the city guards yet. Lan Kuan and his companions have already rushed past them. Except for Chang Lanquan and Lan Jian, there are no longer any concerns. Immediately take out the star soul and surrender to prepare enough equipment. And at this moment, Lan Zhou suddenly turned around and glanced back. I want to see who is chasing him. But this momentary delay. Lan Kuan and the other two are already good enough to pretend. The star soul will block in front of him. This can make Lan Zhou jump with anger. Are you stupid forks? Wei Yuan sure, who uses the color scheme of the Tiandu navy in the desert. At first glance, it is clear that there are only fools from Long High Kingdom, the idiot's disguise that came up with only then. Lan Kuan, as the prince of the Dragon Sea Kingdom, in order to pursue and kill the traitor Uncle Wang, not willing to use secret weapons, little did they know that their subordinates had already defected. Just as we were about to seize the critical moment of Uncle Wang, but the subordinates suddenly used secret weapons, give him a fatal blow. In an instant, he became a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. Just now, Lanzi and his companions pursued Lanzu all the way to the outside of the city. Taking advantage of the moment when Lanzo glanced back, they will soon be able to pretend to be a star soul and intercept Lanzo. Lanzo is helpless. I had to speak out and make fun of it. I thought I could attract other princes. I didn't expect to catch up with Lanzo, you bloody waste. Wen Yen, Lan Jian immediately angrily retorted to Lanzo, you scoundrel. Stop talking about useless things. Hand over our precious treasure quickly. Otherwise, I will make you look good. And Lan Kuan faced Lanzo's teasing. Some of the faces show an unpleasant expression. But he still advised Lanzo to return the precious treasure of the human race. As long as you're willing to turn back. Yes, he can ask his father to spare Lanzo's life. I don't want to. 
Lanzel was even more sarcastic when she heard that she had turned around. Sure enough, it's mixed blood that comes from the belly of a human woman. Even the wording is biased towards the human race. It's really sad. The pitiful and weak human race rat generation and the incompetent demon race waste. Living on the shore. My esteemed shark tribe is a true dragon bloodline. The ownership of the shark is the endless deep sea. Now let me show you what you're doing. The true battle method from the name of the deep sea. Speaking of which, Lonzo directly constructs the star soul manor. A beam of light rises. He has already disappeared in front of the two of them. Not good. This wicked person actually infiltrated into the sand. Just finished speaking. A beam of light shot at two people in the sand. Upon seeing this, Lan Kuan immediately swung his sword to block it. And the Lanzo sword, hidden in the sand, raided the Acropolis. Immediately, there was another mockery of Lan Kuan and the two of them. How many of you trash are there? What a big dog bile. Knowing that I am the pinnacle of the heavenly rank, but still daring to come and pursue. I think I got that thing from the Dragon Sea King. The Dragon Subduing Cone is a magical tool specifically designed to counter the dragon race. The previous star soul general Ao Bing Su Ren. Lord Lan Ao was the one who plotted against him. But now you can't see me. What if I have a dragon subduing cone in my hand? After being known about the chassis, Lan Jian is a bit at a loss. But Lan Kuan asked Lan Jian not to panic. Just follow the plan we discussed earlier. That's Lan Jian to attract Lan Zhou's attention. He came to find an opportunity to use the dragon subduing cone to restrain Lan Zhou. And after Lan Jian learned the method, first, I was momentarily stunned. But soon he came back from the meeting again. And then jump up in the air in place. Targeting the sand around Lan Kuan is an indiscriminate attack. At this moment, Huang Miaoying, standing on the city wall, had a playful expression on her face. It seems like everything is under his control. Little did they know that not far behind him, still hiding this one, Song Yunxiang, Lao Lu. Are these saintly old ladies purely interested in watching the excitement? Sitting on the mountain and watching the tiger fight? Or are you waiting for the opportunity to take action? And the guards inside the city felt a bit strange. Why did the signal suddenly disappear? The construction equipment fighting coming from outside the city did not sound an alarm. Little did they know that all of this was deliberately done by someone else. No, let's go to Xiching District and report to the seller. After speaking, the captain rushed to Xiching District with his subordinates. But suddenly someone blocked the way. And the people blocking the way are the Hu Yan letters and Hu Yan laws. The Hu Yan letter saved the guards from panic. I am a guest of Master McKinsey and also asked the guards what happened here. After learning that it was General McKenzie's guest, the guards just relaxed their guard. So everyone bowed to the Hu Yen letter one after another. And there will be a crowd fighting outside the city. Tell the Hu Yen letter about the matter of leaking the bucket. And I don't know if someone broke the alarm formation. What's going on? Not only did no alarm sound, now the communication device cannot be contacted either. Sir and command post. A mysterious powerhouse that suddenly appeared. And even more so, they raided the soldiers in their defense area. Under helplessness, they had to go to Mafu to report the situation, requesting support. After listening to the guard's statement, the Hu Yan letter immediately grinned. So, let's put it this way, the my family has not received any news yet. Just finished speaking, Hu Yan Xin and Hu Yan Fa. Just launch a surprise attack on the guards directly. In an instant, the guards were all knocked unconscious by them one by one. Okay, that's it. Let's also join in the excitement of the internal strife among the shark tribe. After speaking, the two of them rushed towards the outside of the city. Meanwhile, the battle outside the city has become increasingly intense. Lan Zhou sees the opportunity. Jumping up from the sand, aim at Lan Kuan and deliver a fatal blow. But he was dodged by Lan Kuan. Then he grabbed Lan Zhou with both hands, taking advantage of the situation. It's really stupid. Do you think the dragon subduing cone is with me? Uncle Xia took advantage of it. Now hurry up and catch up. As a result, he saw the situation. Lan Jian immediately ran and jumped up. The dragon subduing cone in hand flashed instantly. See this scene. Everyone hidden in the dark showed signs of shock. The dragon subduing cone is a treasure recorded in ancient imperial literature. This thing Song Yunxian remembers in his past life. It fell into the hands of Nanrong Temple. And Hu Yinxin was both shocked and once again. The dragon subduing cone is his ninth ant's magic weapon. At this point, Lan Kuan seems to be on the verge of losing his grip, so he quickly urged Lan Jian to speed up his pace. Upon seeing this, Lan Jian immediately showed a sinister smile. Don't worry, your highness. I will help you free yourself from this. 
As soon as he spoke, he chased the dragon out of sight. The next second, Lan Kuan will be pricked with a chilling sensation. The sudden scene made Lan Kuan feel unbelievable. The pain in his heart also caused him immense pain. After the wailing, he passed out in a coma. At this point, Lanzo from Xingjie's Gojuan has already arrived in front of him. You are the real fool. Do you think I was tricked? I really thought it was just a few of you trash. You can also track the strong ones at the peak of the heavenly rank. It's just that I deliberately arranged the blue room. It's just bringing you here. Mingming is a member of the royal family of Longhai Kingdom. Still a powerful figure at the pinnacle of the heavenly rank. But he wanted to break through his cultivation. Take a desperate risk. Resolutely steal the inheritance of the shark's desire from the clan. He also designed to lure the prince of the shark clan to come and pursue him. Take advantage of their unpreparedness and capture them alive. Obtain the essence and blood from the prince of the shark clan. Used to activate the desire of the shark. Opening the ceremony of inheriting ordinary people. At that time, he will become a star soul. The cultivation of Aobingsu, the pinnacle of the heavenly rank. Also from the mortal to the sacred. Breakthrough to holy rank. Just now, when Lan Kuan thought he was about to catch Lanzo, unexpectedly, he was ambushed by the already defected blue room. Suddenly caught off guard. Lan Kuan was caught by the dragon subduing on the spot. The piercing pain made him feel direct. I passed out in a coma. At this moment, Lan Zhou looked at Lan Kuan with a speechless expression on his face. Full of disdainful mockery, Lan Kuan is just a waste. Then he asked Lan Jian to wake up Lan Kuan. Lan Jian, who received instructions, without hesitation, start the dragon subduing chase. The pain that strikes directly at the soul. The uncontrollable wailing of Lan Kuan. Lan Kuan Wangji. The taste of chasing after the dragon is not good. Just because you want to pursue me. It's like talking nonsense. But just as he woke up, Lan Kuan ignored Lan Zong, just blindly asking Lan Jian why he did this. Lan Jian is a veteran of the Wong Kar Wai team. He doesn't understand why Lan Jian chose to betray. But Ko Lan Jian didn't take it seriously, because he has always been loyal to Lan Zhou from beginning to end. Upon learning of it, Lan Lan immediately showed a look of shock. At this moment, he realized that Lan Zhou had been plotting for a long time. So, so, he spoke up and asked Lan Zhou what she really wanted to do. Upon seeing this, Lan Zhou immediately smiled with a cunning and successful scheme. Lan Zhao Wang Ji Wang Shu. I'll tell you directly. This time, I'm inviting you here. I just wanted to borrow the essence and blood of the shark from you. Do you know why this shark wants to consider our precious treasure? Legend has it that thousands of years ago, the ferocious beasts ravaged the West Sea. My family of shark people were forced to abandon their homeland in the sea. Go to Middle Earth to seek refuge from the human empire. Later, the first generation of Ao Bing's ordinary person, Lord Blue Tong, obtained the power of Star Soul Generals, killed tens of thousands of sea beasts with one's own strength. The supreme divine power quickly pacified the endless sea. I, the Shark Tribe, was able to return to my homeland. From then on, Lord Blue Boy was revered as the co-owner of the Shark Man, thus created the Great Dragon Sea Kingdom. As is well known, the ordinary person of Star Soul General falls. Star Soul will be transformed back into Soul Jade form. Go find the next suitable amateur, and Lord Blue Boy. In order to allow the Star Soul to bless the Shark Clan forever, Ao Bingnung, having gone through countless hardships and hardships, finally received the secret teachings from the soldiers and immortals. Blue Boy Adult exhausts yourself to receive assistance as a substitute. Seal Ao Bing Soul Jade with a secret method. Made this Shark Jade as the greatest inheritance of the Shark Tribe. This is the origin of our clan's governance treasure, the Shark Jade. Whenever an Ao Bingsu life insurance Yuan will become a Jinshur, they will activate the secret method again. Seal Ao Bing Soul Jade is Shark Jade, waiting for the next selected clan member to start the inheritance. After learning about this inheritance secret method, Hu Yenshin was a bit surprised. Surprisingly, it bears such a resemblance to his other ethnic group in Hu Yen. Unfortunately, this secret technique has been lost. Otherwise, if Shishue Kingdom can defeat the Star Soul, sealed as something passed down from generation to generation, that's just a matter of time before reaching the top halfway. Wang Miaoyin unconsciously thought to herself. However, Song Yunxiang felt that there was something fishy going on, because this is a story told from the perspective of teaching the human race. The version he heard of. It is the title conferred by the Heavenly Empire by the Dragon Sea King. And at this point, Lan Kuan already understood what Lan Zhou was saying. That is to start the inheritance of Star Soul General Ao Bing. Need the essence and blood of the shark. 
As for the essence and blood of the shark, it requires three royal families. Lonzo's original plan. It's taking a detour from San Sculpture City to Tiandu Kingdom. Over there, we can cooperate both inside and outside. Set an ambush to capture the two princes. I didn't expect to suddenly appear in the divine realm with a leg. Completely disrupted his original plan. Knowing that three royal bloodlines are needed. After the ceremony can begin. Lon Cohen couldn't help but burst out laughing. No wonder father asked us each to lead a team. I will follow you in several directions. Originally, it was to make it difficult for you to gather three people. Only you and I are members of the royal family here. I'll see how you start the inheritance ceremony. Don't tell me. Is Lan Jin your son or something? However, how could things be as simple as Lan Kuan expected? If there is nothing to do, how could Lance Hao lure him out of the city? This gave Lanceton a sense of omine. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang was speechless about Lan Kuan's foolish behavior. There won't be any mistakes. Still this pair, a foolish appearance, and the one I met in my past life who was sold by someone, the shark prince who still helps count money, almost the same. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang immediately realized that something was wrong. After all, Lan Kuan and the others have been chatting there for so long, the delay is already enough for the guards to rush. So Song Yunxiang wanted to leave the city without saying a word. He knows the secret techniques of that mysterious powerhouse, although not very clever, but it won't be discovered by those guards of Xuanjie city either, and the city guards have just arrived outside the city. Just speak out and congratulate them for stopping the leak, and they also fired artillery shots at them. This made Lan Jian very angry, immediately counterattack the Chun guards. Kellen Zhou ordered him to stop the attack, take Lan Kuan to the retreat of the divine stage. After being ordered, Lan Jian flew straight up and jumped up, flying towards the divine stage and retreating towards it. Don Chen's guards also quickly realized their intentions, so immediately notify the guards over there. We cannot let them destroy the divine realm and retreat. At the same time, I also received a message reply to the fourth young master. General Mai Tai is leading the elite guard team towards this side. And at this moment, Huang Miaoyin is overlooking everything from high altitude. He probably guessed that. The intention of Lan Zhou's retreat to the divine realm. It's just a desire to leverage the energy of the Divine Realm's retreat. Come and start the story of A.O. Bing. As for Hu Yanqing who wants to watch the excitement, both of them are unwilling to fall behind others. Without saying a word, it's enough to pretend to be a star soul and run away. This scene happened to be seen by Song Yunxiang. What kind of people and horses are these? Forget it, let's follow up first. As he spoke, he quickly followed up. Meanwhile, the guard who received the notification. We have already retreated from the divine realm and guarded it from behind. But ultimately, I can't withstand Lonzo's attack. With just one move, they were wiped out. Clear the blue Zo after deconstruction. Slowly walking towards the divine realm and retreating. At this moment, he looked proud of my foolish Lankuan nephew. Now I'll explain it to you. Why is it just you and me? Can also gather three fresh Sharkerman essence and blood. To activate the inheritance ceremony. In this bottle. It was the previous A.O. Bingsu person, Lord Lan A.O.'s holy level essence and blood. Last unexpected discovery, the energy skill for divine level retreat, to make the inactive essence boil again. So this is the force I put into coming here. Speaking, Lan Zhou poured his essence and blood onto the shark jade. Then he directly injected the second dose of royal blood essence, watching the upcoming inheritance ceremony of the shark jade. Lan Zhou couldn't help but feel ecstatic in her heart. But Lan Cohen looked panicked and panicked. He had no idea that things would turn out like this. A heavenly rank peaked stronger in the hall. In order to break through from the ordinary to the holy level, he chose to betray his own tribe, stealing the inherited treasure of the clan, Shark Jade, and even captured his own Wang Ji with parasites, just to obtain the essence and blood of the shark on Wang Ji's body, used to activate the inheritance of the plaintiff of the Shark Jade Kai lawsuit. Unexpectedly, just as he began the inheritance ceremony, but they were ambushed by people hidden in the dark, suddenly caught off guard, he was caught alive on the spot. Turns out it was not long ago. Zen has just arrived at the first retreat area of the divine stage. He will kill all the guards who have retreated from the level of the guardian god. Immediately after, the essence and blood of A.O. Bing's former amateur were collected, inject into the shark's prison. I saw the scene of protecting my face with a letter in my eyes. Star Soul General A.O. Bing didn't expect. Unexpectedly, the inheritance ceremony of Neza with the Star Soul Generals. There are nine similarities. If it's the same as the inheritance ceremony of the Yen Protecting Family. So before injecting the third dose of essence blood, 
that guy, to avoid missing the opportunity to enter the inheritance secret realm. I definitely dare not easily construct the machine body. This is a rare opportunity to take advantage of. Think of this. Yen instructed Huyanfa to take action together, interrupting the inheritance ceremony of the Shark Clan. Find an opportunity to steal or destroy the Shark Clan. Inherited items. And at this moment, Lan Zhou, who started the inheritance, looked proud. Lan Kuan Wang nephew, it's time to donate your blood essence now. After speaking, he waved the dagger towards Lan Kuan's abdomen. Countless essence and blood spurted out in an instant. Lan Zhou immediately murmured to herself and silently recited. The essence and blood on the dagger seemed to have guidance. Xiang Sharon wants to gather. At this point, Huang Miaoyin, hidden in mid-air, is silently watching. The ability to retreat from the divine level. Surprisingly, it can activate the essence and blood left by Blue AO. It seems that once this divine level is stepped down, I must bring a portion of rehydration water. Maybe, it can awaken the holy lord who is in a dormant state. And Song Yunxiang. But I am very curious about the spell to extract the essence and blood of the demon tribe. Interestingly, in the alchemy of the spirit race, the records are almost consistent. I hope they can pass on the legacy smoothly for a lifetime. So no matter who gets Ao Bing, I'll just go over and copy it directly. As Lonzo's incantation accelerates, the essence and blood on Lan Kuan's body are rapidly converging towards the Jaren. In no time, it will be absorbed as soon as it is desired. At the same time, it also indicates the need to inject a third dose of royal blood essence. Seeing this, Lonzo showed a hint of contentment in her smile. He was about to cut his arm without saying a word. Unexpectedly, something unexpected happened at this moment. I saw a beam of light shooting towards him. Under helplessness, he can only dodge the beam of light attack. I haven't waited for him to stabilize his figure yet. For beams of light shot towards him again. This makes him feel a bit flustered in order to avoid attacks. Taking advantage of Lanzo's reluctance to easily build a village at this moment. Hu Yanqing quickly instructed Hu Yanfa to take down Lan Jian, then seized the descending dragon cone. Seeing this, Hu Yanfa immediately flashed behind Lan Jian's back. Aiming at Lan Jian's back was like a flying kick. And although Lan Jian was attacked and kicked to the ground, but he immediately launched a counterattack against Hu Yanfa. But Hu Yanfa took the opportunity to grab his calf. With a sudden force from both hands, it twisted and broke. He had to take a leap and retreat. How could Ko Hu Yan easily let him go? Quickly bend forward and destroy his body. He was thrown heavily to the ground like this. Hu Yanfa took the opportunity to step on him and turn him into a mist of blood. See this scene. Lan Zhou suddenly became furious. So he immediately took out his star soul to surrender and construct stakes. Who knew that his star soul general had just formed a pile? A beam of light pierced through his chest. Originally, it was fortunate to have succeeded in Hu Yan. At this moment, Lonzo, who was captured, was howling in pain and sorrow. What exactly are you people? Why do you know how to control this dragon subduing cone? Just now, he was still in control of everything. Calculate one's own position as king. Obtain essence and blood. Strong individuals about to start the inheritance of Ao Bing. But in the blink of an eye, he was ambushed and captured alive. This made him feel extremely frustrated. Because it was the dragon subduing cone that bound him. Little did they know that the dragon subduing cone was actually made by the Huyin family, a magical tool specifically used to deal with their sea fairy tribe. Until the Huyin letter explains everything, Lance Hao suddenly realized, Nima, I should have thought of it a long time ago. This repulsive burning sensation. Damn the Huyin family. Although Lanzo has already been moved by Huyin Xian's emotions, but he doesn't intend to sit idly by. So he shouted loudly to the masters in the sky, Please have the expert appear. Give him a helping hand. Long High Country must have heavy insurance. Unexpectedly, the hidden Huang Miaoyin didn't want to talk to him. I just felt a little surprised. Unexpectedly, a sky-level mole ant from the mermaid tribe, even able to sense one's own existence. Instead of appearing, it's better to wait for the ants of the nonsense family to take away the inheritance of Ao Bing, and then secretly snatch it from their hands. This is the best choice. Lance Hao, which has not received a response for a long time, inevitably feels a bit awkward. I have always felt that. There is a realm of respect in the sky, far above my strong gaze. I didn't expect to remain indifferent. Is it an enemy who wants to reap the benefits of fishing? At this moment, Hu Yinfa is also looking at the sky. Is there a hidden expert in the sky? Why didn't I notice it at all? Have you noticed, young master? 
The inquiry sent by Hu Yan left the Hu Yan letter somewhat speechless. Even the powerful members of the heavenly rank cannot detect it. Besides, in the later stage of his geological stage, it's just that he feels, where can there be any experts? It's just that Lan Zhou was bluffing and bluffing. Why don't we first study how to take this inherited item? Seeing this call, I will not pay attention to it anymore. And Hu Yanxin's hand was only close to Zhao Renyu's. He kept making a buzzing sound. This made Hu Yan Xian grin uncontrollably. If this thing, like the Lingju Jade passed down from generation to generation in the Hu Yan family, that's easy to handle then. But at this moment, suddenly, the sound of galloping footsteps came from behind. Both of them were shocked when they saw the Hu Yan letter. They can't figure it out why. Lanzo surprisingly broke free from the constraints of the dragon subduing chase. However, Lanzo doesn't care about so much. Although I don't know who's helping him, but it seems that fate is still on his side. And the reason why Lanzo broke free from constraints, it's entirely Song Yunxiong, this old six, who did it. If we let Hu Yan Xian take away Ao Bing's soul desires, it will only ruin Song Yunxiang's replication plan. But according to what they just said, timeline of the previous life, Lan Kuan should have chased into the territory of Tiandu, and this teaches traitors. Some accomplices set up an ambush on the Tiandu side. I don't know what the specific process is, but in the end, but Lan Kuan received the inheritance of the star soul general Ao Bing. Now, the nursing and research family suddenly kicks in one side, adding a lot of variables. Is it because of this so-called divine level retreat? Disrupted the original timeline. Where exactly did this thing come from? Perhaps it was me who unintentionally, the butterfly effect triggered is not successful. And at this moment, Hu Yan discovered that Lanzo's strong attack was obstructing him. He quickly protected the Hu Yan message behind him. Strive for time to retreat for the Hu Yan letter. A call extension letter is a reminder. He doesn't have to fight hard. After all, Lanzo's realm is far higher than his. Kellenzo's mind is not about fighting with them. I saw him strike his arm with a dagger. Countless blood spurted out in an instant. Immediately afterwards, he began to silently recite spells. The Hu Yangsen and Huyanfa immediately felt uncomfortable. Song Yunxiang hiding in the dark. He secretly said on the side that he did a good job. At this moment, countless essence and blood are gathering towards the shark man. The inheritance ceremony was activated in an instant. And the Dragon Sea secret realm is also about to open. Just at this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly felt a wave of doubt. How do you feel like you heard this divine realm retreat just now? What sound was made? But obviously there's no time for him to think about it. Because, the ordinary figure of the first generation star soul general Ao Bing has already appeared. The great western endless sea co-owner of southern Jiangsu, king of the dragon sea, Lord Blue Tong, our tribe's warriors selected by the inheritance ceremony, enter the secret realm and accept the triple trial. The warrior who ultimately won, will become the star soul general Ao Bing. A simple person's voice has just fallen. Zhao Ringyu started buzzing. The tidal vortex has also formed and converged. In an instant, everyone present was sucked into the vortex. Huang Miaoyin, who was a bit confused, was a bit confused. He doesn't understand why he's also being sucked in. Song Yunxiang was silently cursing. Are the people who made this inheritance formation stupid? What the fuck are you doing washing me? What kind of broken design ideas? Unexpectedly, even discernment. The function of selecting the identity of a tester has not been implemented. The new soul will kill the god by Qi, and it truly lives up to its reputation. Relying solely on personal strength can turn the tide of the battle, kill the enemy and flee in chaos, causing frequent nightmares for enemy leaders. From now on, I never dare to cross the line again. Nowadays, the enemy leader has created an organism that can resist by Qi. This time, he will brutally kill by Qi. To expose the humiliation brought to him by Bai Qi in the past. Just recently. Just now, Mai Jia, the homeowner is still asleep. In the blink of an eye, he started having nightmares. Keep shouting for mercy there. Scared, both girls were at a loss. But he dreamed of something from many years ago. At that time, at the border of Nanjo in Tiandu Kingdom and the Death Desert, the two armies are engaged in a melee and fighting. At this moment, I saw countless lightsabers tilting towards me. Facing the soldiers on the side of my biao is like passing through their hearts. In an instant, more than half of the Maifan soldiers were killed or injured. They don't even know who did it. Until the star soul retrieves Bai Qi, lightsaber Ali Dangkon, they suddenly realized, bad information with errors. The star soul of the heavenly capital kingdom will rise white. Fire quickly and hold him down for me. After receiving the command, 
The seller soldiers all launched attacks on Bai Chi in unison, but it didn't hurt Bai Chi at all. Just because Bai Chi's speed is too fast, what they hit were all remnants of Bai Chi's shadow, and Bai Chi is just one move to sweep away thousands of troops. The Maifang warrior is once again covered in casualties. After witnessing the fierce and domineering aura of the god of killing Bai Chi, they all fled in panic. But how could Bai Chi possibly let them go? Chasing them with sparks and lightning all the way, until they run outside the canyon. The three soldiers saw the situation was not good. They resolutely stayed behind to hold back Bai Chi, just to buy time for Ma Biao's escape. Mai Biao's loyalty and righteousness in the face of soldiers, he remembers it in his heart, claiming to take good care of their wives and children in the future. Who knows how far Mai Biao hasn't run yet. Those three warriors have already been pierced by flying arrows. Following that, the two warriors next to Mai Biao were also killed on the spot. Mai Biao looked at everything in disbelief. When Bai Chi appeared in front of him again, he pounced and knelt on the ground begging for mercy, requesting Bai Chi to spare his dog's life. Then Bai Chi quickly pointed at him, inquire if he is the head of the Mai family in the Sand Sculpture City. And at this point, Mai Biao had already been scared out of control. With all my heart, I only hope for a white start. Forgive yourself. He is willing to offer everything to the Mai family. But Bai Chi didn't want to kill him. I just waved my fingers and pointed to the canyon, divided by that canyon. In the future, if he knew about the soldiers of the Sand Sculpture City, dare to cross this calamity. No matter what the reason is, he would personally go to Sand Sculpture City to pick up Ma Biao's dog. Seeing this, Mai Biao nodded repeatedly, declare that he will restrain his subordinates well. I will never take a step beyond this realm. At this point, Mai Biao woke up directly from his nightmare. The terrifying scene back then still haunted him with lingering palpitations. At the same time, it also made his teeth itch with hatred. Tiandu National Crisis. Easy Star Soul Descent. Bai Chi, please wait for me well. I'll go to the underground hangar first. By the way, call Dr. Bunpy over to me. Shortly thereafter. But PG's disciples have been waiting in the hangar for a long time. During this period, subordinates reported to Mai Biao. Regarding the incident of unknown forces outside the city venting their fighting in Gojuang. But Mai Biao didn't take it seriously. Just instruct McKinsey and others to handle it. He has more important things to attend to right now. After seeing the arrival of Ma Biao, Egg Peel Master and Disciple politely salute him. Afterwards, Mai Biao began to inquire about Egg Skin. Have you completed his masterpiece? And Egg Pie also answered truthfully that he had good luck today. Replaced the missing materials from the Chamber of Commerce. I barely finished the work. After learning about it, my Biao was very excited. It's so beautiful. This is simply the cancer of the will of the sand sculpture city. With this one, an organism that can compete with the soul generals of the abyss star. It is difficult and easy for the star soul to rise white. The humiliation of the past. I will definitely give it back a hundred times. Originally, he only wanted to be the sixth son of Huang Kei. Do not want to inherit for a lifetime. But he doesn't play according to the routine. Unexpectedly, he sucked this unrelated person into the formation as well. Fortunately, he has foresight, with a quick eye and quick hands, set up defense measures against illusions in the sea of corpses. Orphans are not in the illusion, lost in self. Good insurance, good insurance. Sure enough, the first trial was generated from memory. What kind of mental demons are tested in the fantasy world? The so-called triple trial must have an illusion. That's really clitch a D. Unfortunately, in my previous life, I have already conquered countless secret realms, big and small. This kind of trial is really dull and tasteless, but it's rare to have such an immersive experience. It's okay to play and stroll for a while. This is the uniform of Suenjiawi's thousand registered residents, and at this moment, I don't have any scars on my face yet. To calculate in this way, the time point of this illusion, it should be two years after the southern wilderness was affected by the tide. So let's go out for a while and experience this so-called illusion. After speaking, Song Yunxiang quickly walked out of the camp. He thought to himself, since we are in a fantasy world, so if he behaves recklessly, he should also be fine. Over there in the front, it is the fortress city of Tancheng on the southern border of Zhangzhou. Calculate based on this time point. At this time, southern Zhou had already been destroyed by the North Korean Empire. The Niluan army took the opportunity to head south. Jai Shui led half of the Xuanjia captain to the north, rushed to aid the northern army of the town, and I followed the other half of Xuanjia captain who stayed behind, responsible for the defense line of Zhongzhou. However, at that time, my mentality was inflated, 
and I was too detached and careless, I fell into the trap of luring a tiger away from the mountain at night. Result, causing the defense line south of Tancheng to be destroyed by Taiha mercenaries, also in the duel with the knight shortly after. The scar left behind. Perhaps so. This illusion is meant to make me reflect on myself. The mistake made at that time due to youthful vigor. It's just a pity. Just like when you realize. Being in one's own dream. It can dominate the entire dreamlike. This fantasy world is now my the final say. As Song Yunxiang spoke, he revealed his cultivation skills. Slowly take off. It seems to be no problem. Then let's have a holy level addiction in this illusion in advance. After speaking, he quickly flew away in the air. This shocked both subordinates greatly. They didn't expect themselves to. Your superior is actually a saint level powerhouse. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang was thinking of catching Yi Wang and beating him up. Then directly use violence to crack this patient. At the same time, the third defense zone in the southern part of Tanshang, Fantasy World. The human warriors are hunting down the remaining ferocious beasts. Haiwoji jointly launches Joint Strike Fighter. Just to quickly slay the ferocious beast. With the death of the last ferocious beast, Captain, hurry up and ask the soldiers if everything is okay. Remove all pile structures. Two quarters of an hour to rest and replenish as soon as possible. So everyone began to unravel their bodies one after another. Zhang Dagui immediately. Just go and help your brother up. At the same time, he also blamed his brother for not having to fight so hard. Then he supported his brother and planned to rest on the side. At this moment, the captain suddenly stopped them. So the two of them quickly bowed to the captain and said hello. You did a good job just now. You wealthy young master doesn't seem very reliable. I didn't expect that killing a ferocious beast would be a great skill. As for you, Dr. Zhang. I don't know why you're so reckless, but as a heavenly city warrior. I don't allow any warrior to take the risk of dying. Do you understand? Upon hearing this, Zhang Dafu looked dejected and disheartened, apologizing to the captain one after another. Seeing this, the captain won't say anything anymore. Just let Zhang Dagui take a closer look. Zhang Dafu cannot blindly rush in, playing with ferocious beasts for life. Afterwards, let them go and rest quickly. At this moment, the subordinates around me began to ask who they were. The captain let out a helpless sigh. They are two underprivileged youths from the Zhang family in Zhangzhou. I have some friendship with their elders. That's why I said a few more words to them. And at this moment, Zhang Dafu and his brothers are already sitting on the side with their meals in hand. Zhang Dagui was begged to death by his brother with such single-minded determination. Why bother again? The Zhang family's path is in decline. Perhaps it was destined by fate. No one has ever blamed Zhang Dafu, but it's Zhang Dagui who thinks they're like this also devoted to martial arts. Protecting our country and family is quite good. However, Zhang Dafu still feels extremely guilty in his heart. It's all because he was obsessed at that time. Surprisingly, he still wants to take action on his younger brother. So the mistake he made, he will use his own life to redeem himself. However, Zhang Dagui did not want to bring up this matter. Actually, he had already forgiven his brother Zhang Dafu. At this moment, the alarm suddenly sounded. Another ferocious beast has appeared. Everyone immediately put their hearts and souls into battle posture. Perhaps unfortunately, there are too many fierce beasts in this wave. They can't handle it at all. So the captain ordered the launch of a beacon signal to test the well. Also seeking assistance from the second and fourth defense zones. Then we sent medical and logistical personnel to Africa. Advance retreat. However, at this moment, the sky was filled with flying beasts. If Africa takes off, it will become a torch. Just as everyone was at a loss, suddenly, a semi-holy powerhouse appeared in the distance. Perform a ultimate kill. A sword breaks through mountains and rivers. In an instant, all the ferocious beasts were completely slaughtered, and the ground also leaves a deep ravine. Such a scene made everyone dumbfounded on the spot. Soon someone woke up the captain in a deep shock. That one shouldn't be the legendary ghost of Nanjo, right? It's been a legend before. The semi-saint from Nanjo. Unfortunately, it fell from the tide in Dome City two years ago. Later, about a year ago, there is another legend. Someone witnessed an exceptionally old gentleman's sword. Like a dead spirit. In Nanjo, which has already fallen into the lair of fierce beasts, appearing and disappearing like ghosts and spirits. That's why it's called the Southern Ghost. As the Southern Ghost steps out of the air, the captain immediately ordered a quick battle and a quick decision. Kill the remaining ferocious beasts with all your might. And Song Yunxiang, who was hidden in the sky, also watched all of this. I'll go. 
Isn't this an illusion generated from my memory? How can you still see scenes beyond my memory? It seems that the fantasy world created by these soul desire secret realms, it's not simple either. Lance How Ghost. Just let me catch up. See who you really are. Originally, he only wanted to sit and reap the benefits of fishing. Waiting for the inheritance of Aobingsu people to end, he took the opportunity to replicate the soul general of Aobingsheng. I don't want to pass on for a lifetime, but I don't play according to the routine. Surprisingly, he was also sucked into the inheritance array. Fortunately, he promptly deployed defense measures against the illusion in the sea of corpses, so he didn't lose himself in the illusion, since the illusion is generated from his memory. So this fantasy world, now it's up to him the final say. Thinking of this, Song Yunxian will cultivate his cultivation, ascend to the pinnacle of a past life. Originally, he wants to catch Yi Wang and beat him up hard. Unexpectedly, I ran into the ghost of Nanjo on the way. Suddenly, a scene beyond memory appeared. Song Yunxiang couldn't help but lack a trace of curiosity, so he chased after him directly. I want to see who the ghost of Nanjo is. He doesn't think this person must be Mr. Su, because within the original timeline, if he hadn't appeared on the side of the second prince at that time, the person who went to rescue the driver must be Mr. Su. So Mr. Su was very likely to encounter unforeseen circumstances. In this timeline, because of his intervention, Su Lao broke through temporarily to the first level of the holy rank, thus defeating a blood in the state of demonic disintegration. However, the southern ghost in front of me, like a gentleman meeting Mr. Su, but there is also a feeling of patchwork. Just as Song Yunxian wanted to get closer, the ghost of Lance Hao suddenly turned around and glanced at him. This surprised him a bit. His concealment methods are truly remarkable. How could the ghost of Lance Hao discover him? But things didn't go as he thought. The ghost of Lance Hao not only stopped but also, even launched attacks on him. Only then did he realize something was amiss? Turns out he didn't activate the stealth array. However, at this point, the sword of Lance Hao ghost has broken through the mountains and rivers and has been cut off. In the next moment, he was overwhelmed by the strongest blow. Fortunately, this is his fantasy world. The strongest defense is naturally activated according to one's mind. Fortunately, he even subconsciously took out the government. And the strongest strike of the southern ghost sword. They can't hurt Song Yunxiang at all. He immediately activated the mode of demonic disintegration. In an instant, it ran forward like a shell. Song Yunxiang saw the situation. Once again, it will make him escape. Quickly catching up immediately. But soon Song Yunxiang realized something was wrong. There is a light wall blocking in front of it. But the southern ghost doesn't seem to be restricted by the light wall. Passing through the wall. Just flew out directly. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang no longer hesitated. To pass through the wall immediately. But it bounced back from the light wall. After landing, Song Yunxiang looked depressed. He doesn't understand why the ghost of Nanjo can fly over. How could I be bounced back? To figure out what's going on. He flew to the light wall again. Touching the light wall with your hands. He wants to know what exactly this wall is. Then it flew several hundred zhang along the intensity of the light. But it still hasn't reached the edge. So he prepared to summon the star system. But after a long time. Still no response. At this moment, he remembered. At this time, the star system is not yet functioning as well. Okay, since it's an illusion generated by my memory. Then I need a star system at its peak stage. As his thoughts move. In hand. Instantly generate a full version of the star master system. Star master system. Show me, what is the current situation? As the scan is completed, the star system also provides an explanation. The host is currently ideological, in the illusion world generated by the host's memory. Because this fantasy world is generated based on host memory, the effective range is limited to the host's memory only, within a radius of 500 miles of the original activity range. After learning about it, Song Yunxiang finally understood. He had previously thought of taking this opportunity to go around and take a look. I didn't expect to be unable to even leave Zhengzhou now. The ghost of Lance Hao can only be investigated later when there is a chance. Now let's go find the Night King and beat him up first, then quickly end this illusion world. Thinking of this, he flew away directly. Meanwhile, in a small port town in the fantasy world, the battle here has ended. At night, commanding soldiers. Clean up the battlefield as soon as possible. Take away all the supplies that can be taken away. Next, as long as we lure the tiger away from the mountain, deceive the Xuanjia guard to this place. They can take the opportunity to negotiate again, to plunder for a while. 
but at this moment, King Yi suddenly noticed someone approaching, not yet waiting for him to take action, but that person showed up voluntarily. After seeing clearly that the person coming is Song Yunsheng from the Xuanzhe Guard, Yi Wang is a bit unbelievable. It's impossible for you, a small Xuanzhe Guard household, how could it fly in the sky? That's a means that only the holy rank powerhouse has. Absolutely impossible. Classical Chinese Song Yunxiang also followed his words. No longer pretending. Immediately transform into an elderly appearance. At this moment, I am a saint level powerhouse. The star master system has called out the star soul descent for me. Master Yuan, I will beat this kid hard. Originally, he only wanted to sit and reap the benefits of fishing. After the inheritance of Ao Bingsu people is over. Take the opportunity to replicate Ao Bingxing's soul descent for your own use. I don't want to pass on for a lifetime, but I don't play according to the routine. Surprisingly, he was also sucked into the formation. So he decided not to do anything, not to stop. Defeat your mortal enemies within the illusion realm. Yi Wang also directly found the core of the secret realm, and then capture the remaining souls that inherit the original soul desires alive, forcing the remaining soul to hand over the management of the secret realm to him. Just recently, Yi Wang led Taiha mercenaries to launch a surprise attack on Xinjuan Island. They haven't even started cleaning the battlefield yet. Suddenly, a beam of light descended from the sky. In an instant, it was constructed in mid-air. Produce a star soul general. Seeing this, Yi Wang couldn't help but feel a surge of energy in his heart. Surprisingly, it is the soul general of Shiera Star. How could this be possible? However, he couldn't help but. Unfortunately, the person who arrived was Song Yunxiang, who was driving the Dongyuan master. At this moment, the Taiha mercenaries began to react. So everyone rushed over to protect the Night King. In Song Yunxiang's eyes, they are simply seeking death. Song Yunxiang immediately activated the Douyuan Sword Array. With the command of Song Yunxiang, countless Douyuan swords shot towards Taiha mercenaries. See this scene. At night, it's even more heart-wrenching. Mayfly Splash a telepathic weapon that resembles a star soul like a general, realizing a bad night. Hurry up and remind your subordinates to avoid it, but obviously it's already too late. At this moment, both Taiha mercenaries were instantly killed on the spot. After the return of Dou Yuan's sword, Song Yunxiang is not talking nonsense either. Just tell Yuan not to hide himself anymore. Hurry up and summon the star soul general to duel with him. After listening, King Yi was already shocked beyond measure. How could he know that I had obtained the Star Soul General? Mercenary groups cannot have traitors. Revealed the news to Tian Du's side. Sure enough, it's talking about some kind of education about treachery, love, and injustice. On the surface, military intervention prevents wars among countries. Actually, it's behind the scenes. Intentionally balancing the balance between countries. Could it be that the East Continent, which does not wish to split, is once again unified? That group of weird women. What kind of calculations are you making? Ranking and waiting for the night to come to my senses from confusion. Song Yunxiang's next words shocked him even more. You plan to lure the tiger away from the mountain. Lead Xuanzhou away as a garrison. Smuggling from sea and land to Xinjiang port. And then we plan to launch a night attack on the ammunition field all the way. It has to be said that. This is indeed a wonderful chess piece. You are also a rare military genius, this guy. Upon hearing this, the Night King's face was covered in cold sweat. This whole thing has been seen through. I thought it was just an ordinary person. Strange little thousand households. It's really my Night King who underestimated this old guy. Little did they know that it was all Song Yunxiang cheating. Just taking advantage of the opportunity to abuse the Night. Speak less nonsense. Hurry up and pretend to be your star soul general. Let the old man have some fun. End this boring fantasy world. Although this may sound a bit confused in the ears at night. But now he only has enough to pretend to be a star soul general. Perhaps we can defeat the star soul in front of us. Descending the abyssal master. With a blue beam of light crashing down from the sky. Star soul generals suddenly generate. Then at night, he raised his big sword high. Wave a move to seal the dragon vault. Instantly, a blue dragon hit Song Yunxiang directly. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang's face showed a hint of disdain. Is the strongest move of star soul generals sealing the dragon library. What a terrifying blow it used to be. Now it seems like that's just the case. Three Do Yuan swords are enough to deal with it. As he spoke, he sent out his Do Yuan sword and struck straight down. Feng Longpu was instantly pierced and defeated by the Do Yuan sword. Night Net, facing the unfavorable situation, quickly sent out the blade sealing array. 
trying to defend against the three Douyuan swords sweeping in. But Knightnet clearly underestimated the power of Douyuan sword. The shield composed of his sharp blades is simply unable to resist. In an instant, Douyuan sword broke through the blade defense shield and chased after him, a knight with no escape route, instantly overwhelmed by the sweeping Douyuan sword. At this moment, the knight was filled with fear in my heart. He couldn't figure out how there could be such a strong person in Tiandu country. He wouldn't even understand if he died. I'm just a character in a fantasy world. As he was blasted by the Douyuan sword at night, Song Yunxiang did not have any joy at all. Just joking is even more boring than imagined. Then he looked towards the core position of the secret realm. Okay, let's end this boring fantasy world now. And at this moment, the core of the secret realm, an old man suddenly opened his eyes. Surprisingly, someone has taken such a short amount of time, past the first trial. I taught the human race how to have such excellent descendants. To wait for him to finish speaking, the space in front of me began to crack open directly. Seeing this, the old man quickly spoke up to remind him, please pass the back of the trial, stay in place and wait for the array to pull. Do not attempt to intrude into the core area without authorization. Who knew the other party would take his words for granted? Without saying a word, tear apart the space directly. Is this the core of the so-called secret realm? Song Yunxiang said with a hint of mockery, and the old man saw someone break in. He immediately accused the other party of daring to act recklessly. But when he saw the other person's soul descending, he immediately realized that something was wrong. The person in front of him is not a descendant of his proud family. Although I don't know who Song Yunxiang is, but dare to break into his secret realm of human relations. No wonder his subordinates are not lenient, as his thoughts moved. Countless chains of magic shot towards Song Yunxiang. Who knew that Song Yunxiang waved his hand casually? Nafa Chain actually returned directly to the original route. He was tied into fried dough twists in an instant. The sudden scene left the old man somewhat bewildered. He doesn't know why Song Yunxiang can also control the legal chain. Are you the administrator of this secret realm? Come over here. As Song Yunxiang spoke, he raised his hand and grabbed the old man. Although you are just a trace of the original owner's replicated soul, but now the anger of the old man can only be borne by you. What kind of broken formation level are you on horseback? Dare to learn from others to create a secret realm. I don't understand adding a paragraph about the identity of the inbound person. Is there a code for bloodline identification? Originally just an ordinary inheritance ceremony. Unexpectedly, a troublemaker named Lao Lu appeared. Not only did they seize control of the secret realm, and even turned the controller into a beautiful woman. Just recently, Song Yunxian destroys his mortal enemies in the illusion realm. After night, he tore apart the space without saying a word. Enter the core of the secret realm. Utilize the chain of strict laws to apply for control on the spot. Sudden everything. Make it difficult for the controller to accept. But it's impossible. Who the hell are you? Why is it not controlled by the secret realm formation? Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang smiled happily. I found a vulnerability in this illusion. I want to hack into the world built by this formation program. Isn't it something that can be completed in minutes? After listening, the controller's face changed greatly. What? Your Excellency is actually a formation master. Not right, even if it's a formation master. It's also impossible to have such abilities. Who knew that Song Yunxiang not only did not answer his questioning, but also, instead, it made him more sensible. Hand over control of the secret realm. Otherwise, we'll hit him hard. However, the controller is not afraid of the threat at all. The inheritance of Star Soul General Ao Bing. It is the foundation of the Proud Family's establishment. How could he let outsiders plunder him? Seeing this, Song Yunxiang's face showed a hint of disdain. I didn't say I wanted to steal your Ao Bing inheritance. You give me control of the secret realm. I'll help you select the next amateur of Ao Bing. This way, we won't waste everyone's time. After listening to Song Yunxiang's words, the controller flew into a rage. What you're thinking is quite beautiful. Although this work is not about living beings, but it's not that easy to deceive either. Even if this work is combined with this strand of residual soul, it will disappear. I will never let your excellency achieve his wish. Song Yunxiang seemed to have anticipated this earlier. He just told the controller for a lifetime. I didn't ask for the opinion of the controller. So he decisively took action against the controller. After all, with the help of the star system, identifying vulnerabilities, forcefully black out the core program of the formation. It just took some effort. With the technique of breaking formation runes, the center of the vulnerability was quickly identified. 
Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly shook off the controller. I rushed to the core of the vulnerability myself. Is this the center of the vulnerability? Star Master System, give me the core program to forcibly hack into this formation. Speaking of Song Yunxian's big hand towards loopholes, center one bomb. In an instant, the secret realm space began to collapse and twist. See this scene, the controller couldn't help but be shocked. How could it be possible? The secret realm space is rapidly collapsing. That thing, invading the stable formation program of the protection secret realm. What's going on here? Even our data is being compromised. Your Excellency, the Royal Family, please stop quickly. I am willing to transfer control to you, but you must promise that this seat cannot steal Ao Bing's soul desires. But Song Yunxiang ignored it, just because he can handle it quickly, and the controller is now extremely anxious. Keep going like this. Don't talk about this secret realm. Even the inheritance of the human race will not be guaranteed. Under urgent circumstances, he can only hand over the secret collection and give priority to Song Yunxiang. Just hoping to preserve the inheritance of Ao Bing, Song Yunxiang stopped continuing even after seeing the situation. With a wave of his big hand, he untied the magic chain on the controller's body. He actually wants to take a look. What other tricks can the controller play? And the controller doesn't dare to have any bad intentions at this moment. It can only be a control desire that keeps pulling out the secret realm, and offer it with both hands. After seeing the desire for control, Song Yunxiang, he immediately deciphered the star soul, descending the abyssal master. Soon he noticed a hint of something unusual. It seems that entering this core area, the appearance will also be reset back to the appearance of entering and exiting the secret realm, but from the heart. Surprisingly, even the formation of the secret realm can deceive. Indeed, it's not easy. When Song Yunxian looked towards healing again, he flashed into the palm of the controller without saying a word. After picking up the jade box, he flew down directly. Looking at the jade box in my hand, he felt somewhat familiar. Seems like I've seen it somewhere before. Soon he thought of the box his mother had left for him. There is something in it that is almost the same as the jade box. Is this the control jade box of the secret realm? The master of classical Chinese immediately reported and stated, but his massive body made Song Yunxiang dialogue with it, feeling quite laborious, so he asked if he could shrink on his own. Unexpectedly, the response I received was unable to, but if Song Yunxiang accepts control, it should be possible to adjust its size. Just inject your divine thoughts into the jade box, after learning about it. Song Yunxiang closed his eyes and began to inject divine energy, before long, his eyes suddenly opened. Green blindness fades away. The jade box has already been completely controlled by him. I see. This secret realm is actually in a unique space. A small world opened up. It's so easy to control the entire secret realm. This makes Song Yunxiang feel a bit unbelievable. But the controller can truly feel it. He has become the ruler of this world. Upon seeing this, he immediately fixed the vulnerability in the secret realm. As countless blocks flow through the space, the secret realm has been repaired in an instant. Then he issued instructions, make the controller smaller, but soon he had another interesting idea, that's to turn the controller into a woman. As instructions are issued, the controller begins to transform its form. Soon, the controller transforms into a young girl. When he saw himself transforming into a woman, he was immediately frightened and screamed in shock. But Song Yunxian seems to be still unsatisfied, directly increase his potential. He can only be a panicked plea for mercy. Seeing here. Song Yunxian also lost his mind of teasing him. I also feel that he seems to be genuinely surrendering. So, so. Song Yunxian just wants to see other people who are caught up in the illusion. When I saw Huang Miaoying, the holy rank powerhouse, he suddenly paused. Star soul descending is the holy rank. Old ladies, go take a look at him. Meanwhile, somewhere in the illusion space, with a thunderbolt crashing down from the sky, countless ferocious beasts were killed on the spot, and the person who made the move. It was Huang Miaoyin who was driving the star soul to descend and smell it. At this moment, his father suddenly came from a distance. The sound is evident. Huang Miaoying immediately defeated the star soul general Wen Zhong. What followed was the young Huang Miaoying. She is clearly a transcendent and saintly powerhouse. Breaking through a small illusion is as easy as the palm of one's hand. But she is willing to constantly cycle in the illusion. Because there are the most beautiful memories of her life there. This trapped him deeply in it. Unwilling to wake up, somewhere deep in the Shikong Mountains. Song Yunxiang is currently monitoring the father and daughter of Huang Miaoying, but they were completely unaware of it. 
His father was just constantly warning Huang Yaoying, let him just dodge when encountering ferocious beasts. Never summon star souls for future battles. At this moment, Huang Yaoying also realized her mistake, so he immediately apologized to his father. Say sorry, claiming that he will never do it again next time. And Song Yunshan, upon seeing the star soul will win Zhong, he immediately remembered. I have heard of one of the four saints of the Western Water Kingdom in my past life, the holy rank strong of the royal family. He is a layman of the star soul general Wen Zhong, just a little unexpected. This woman's psychedelic illusion actually occurred in her childhood. Thinking of this, Song Yunshan waved casually. All the relevant scenes in the realm of fantasy appeared before his eyes. I've actually cycled through this illusion 13 times already. How could a powerful person with a noble rank be trapped by a heart demon? Perhaps it's because he doesn't want to wake up himself. I originally wanted to use administrative permissions. Force contact with this illusion. But since there are melons to eat, then let's wait and see first before we talk. Maybe we can get some strange clues. On the other side at this moment, the civil servant is taking his daughter with him. Come to pay homage to your wife. As the father and daughter stepped into the formation, the steward immediately waved his hand to close the formation. Seeing this, Huang Nguyen couldn't help but be curious and ask her father, Can you also teach me formations? When Yenzi's empty neck revealed a faint smile, then I touched Huang Nguyen's head. Then he asked her why she suddenly remembered to study, who knew her ideas were extremely simple. So if you learn how to form a formation, so she can come and see her mother anytime. Instead of waiting until the peach blossoms bloom every year, after learning about it, Si Kong Jing's face showed a hint of embarrassment. I will teach you how to learn formations in the future. Now let's go worship your mother first. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang has already seen everything just now. He knows that the formation arranged with sealing technique is extraordinary. Legend has it that there used to be a mysterious formation in the Middle East continent. It's about inheriting as a guardian. Shouldering the responsibility of sealing the emperor's spirit in adversity. In his past life, he encountered the four empty wells in the earth spirit secret realm. It depletes its own vitality. To suppress the dried corpse in the earth spirit secret realm. In the legendary secret realm of the earth spirit. Sealing the statue that once unified the entire eastern continent. Star soul generals who have created centuries of empire dominance. It is said that the star soul will possess an incredibly brutal and terrifying power. If he were to choose his master, the entire continent will be plunged into endless flames of war. To prevent this situation from happening, the Guardians have been a family for hundreds of years, always shouldering the heavy responsibility of suppressing the seal of earthly adversity. This should be the Shikong Mountain in the eastern continent nearly a hundred years ago. It seems that the timing is also right. Can it really be such a coincidence? At this moment, Song Yunxian was looking at them father and daughter in confusion. And at this moment, Si Kong Jin is touching his daughter's head. He asked his daughter to go play nearby for a while first. I have some things to talk to my mother about myself. At the same time, he also reminded his daughter not to install new soul armor. Unexpectedly, the mischievous Huang Miaoying made a funny face at him. So he suddenly became somewhat speechless. Not long after, he took out a love letter with his wife, telling of various longing for his wife. But Song Yunshan became a melon-eating crowd. It's also called collecting intelligence. On the other side at this moment, in the woods not far from the peach blossom forest, Huang Miaoying is currently lying in the bushes, eyes fixed on a huge wild boar. But in my heart, I was thinking about the various cooking methods of wild boars. Thinking of this, his eyes lit up, kill that wild boar. In an instant, the wild boar was beaten to death by him. Meanwhile, as a melon-eating crowd, Song Yunxiang. I also heard some superstitions. I see. The descendants of the guardians have 10 years of free time. Go to take on the family and have children. Leave offspring behind. This young descendant named Si Kong Jing. Leaving the imperial spirit secret realm. Traveling in all directions. But he will come back in 10 years. Take over the responsibility of sealing the emperor's spirit. He traveled to the Shindu city of Shishu Weibo. I met Huang Yuji at the Luochao Poetry Festival. Two fell in love at first sight. They made a lifelong pact under the peach blossom tree. Si Kong Jing has given up his responsibility as a guardian lineage. Decided to grow old together with the daughter of the Huang family. The two of them lived a comfortable life like this. But soon their matter was discovered by the Huang family. Although they ultimately escaped the pursuit. But Huang Yuji was born prematurely due to serious injury. After giving birth to Huang Yaoin, she passed away. 
Sikong Jing is causing a great wind chime earthquake in the Shikong Mountains. I have been hiding inside with my young daughter to live. What a heartbroken listener. The tragic story of the listener shedding tears. It's not yet time for Song Yunxiang to finish his emotions. It's everywhere. It turns out that Huang Miaoyin is holding up a wild boar and running rapidly. This scene made Song Yunxiang feel a bit dumbfounded. Undoubtedly a natural amateur. At a young age, one's strength has already reached the realm. With the reopening of the wind chime formation, the father and daughter of Sikong Jing quickly returned home. Huang Miaoyin was very happy to show off to Ju Xiang. I caught a big wild boar myself. Fennel, upon seeing this, showed no hint of joy. He's just indifferent. Faint responded with one sentence from both of them. But at this moment, Song Yunxiang's expression changed greatly, just because he knows the woman in front of him. Originally, he was just a sin driven by others. Unexpectedly, he made a comeback and became the chief of the Dark Silence Company. In order to obtain the opportunity from Song Yunxiang, how dare he openly disobey the orders of the Empress. Song Yunxiang's application to return to Tiandu. But ultimately, Song Yunxiang is relatively lucky. The Empress not only intervened again to save him, but also, even directly recruited him into the harem. Just now, when Song Yunxiang first saw Tong Jushang, he knew this person was exactly the old witch. The fall of Tiandu Kingdom in the previous life. Song Yunxiang, who was seriously injured, went into exile in the creek and water. But the injury has slightly improved. He disregarded the Empress's dissuasion, determined to return to Tiandu. Unexpectedly, she faced various obstacles from the old witch, knowing that Song Yunxiang's soul pulse is incomplete. The old witch chose to treat Song Yunxiang unfairly. Shang Shang exhausted Song Yunxiang's soul power to the point of exhaustion. New sister enough village empress, Song Yunxiang felt a little helpless. He didn't expect that Dark Jingxi's soul would remain so haunted. However, the old witch has been coveting the opportunity on him for a long time. How could he easily let him go? Just trying to persuade him to obediently surrender. Don't make meaningless struggles anymore. But how could Song Yunxiang be a master at the mercy of others? He immediately cursed at the old witch. What do you mean by stepping on a horse? Her Majesty the Empress has promised to let me leave you. Dark Jingxi, however, pursued gambling like this without authorization, which was considered despicable. Could it be that the imperial edict to become the empress is to fart without success? Faced with Song Yunxiang's condemnation, the old witch sneered at it. He also prevented Song Yunxiang from showing off his eloquence. Now he is going to arrest Song Yunxiang on charges of espionage. But how could Song Yunxiang not know? What idea is he having? At this very moment, the empress's decree happened to be delivered. The old witch's face suddenly darkened. The timing of the arrival was so cleverly timed. Look at it. Your majesty seems to have been prepared for this long time. I'm determined to protect Song Yunxiang. Thinking of this, he stopped his subordinates from meeting. At this point, the ship delivering the edict has already docked at the shore. Song Yunxiang listens to orders. Song Yunxiang is loyal and righteous. Wu Yong, thanks for rescuing the driver. Books are very famous and taboo. A group of elegant people. It's really in my heart. Being conferred the title of Duke and Marquis of Nanyuan. Immediately enter the harem to await an edict. After listening to Qin, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but feel a bit confused. Nan Yuan Junho, isn't that the highest title of the Empress of all dynasties in South Africa? Her status is comparable to that of the Empress of the Heavenly Capital Kingdom. What the hell is the Empress doing? Shouldn't you really want me to go to the harem to serve as a sleeping attendant? I haven't waited for Song Yunxiang to think much about it yet. The edict officer has already begun to congratulate him. Then he asked him to follow him back to the palace and report to the authorities. This makes the old witch scared and not good. Your majesty is going to seal this kid into the harem. So the secret about the ancient civilization he possessed. Sooner or later, your majesty will also discover it. His power is similar to that of the legendary lord of the abyss. I must get it. As soon as I read it, the old witch spoke up to stop it. Who knew that the holy administrator didn't take him seriously? He even mocked whether he wanted to rebel or not. Although I know that the imperial edict officer is labeling me with a hat, the old witch can only endure with frustration. But for Song Yunxiang, he still wants to fight for it. But the imperial edict officer didn't give him a good face at all. If you find any evidence, just go straight back to the divine governor and face the holy one. Her majesty the empress has her own discretion. Song Junho, please board the ship. I would like to take a look at this official, which non-eyed dog dares to stop you. 
Seeing this, Song Yunxiang also began to mock the old witch. Red chief, that young master, I'll leave now. Wishing you good health and old age. Long life for a hundred years. I'm sorry. I forgot that you are already in your fifties. I don't mean to curse you for living to the end. Don't take it to heart. After listening to the old witch, she was furious and gritted her teeth on the spot. Your majesty, since you insist on becoming a addicted and indecisive ruler, then don't blame your old age for cutting off the 400-year legacy of Shishue Kingdom. Thinking back to this point, Song Yunxian couldn't help but find it somewhat interesting. Unexpectedly encountering old acquaintances in unexpected places. Absorbent Bowen Jing Si. It is said to be the former empress of water absorption. Selecting manpower from slaves and sinners. The established secret agency. I didn't expect you to grow into the chief executive of Anjing Company. This old thing. Back then, I wanted to covet the power of the star system. Now I want to be a melon-eating crowd. What secrets are hidden in you? Meanwhile, with the wild boar's abandonment, Huan Miaoying hurried towards her hometown of cohabitation. Living in the same hometown, he smiled and touched his head. When Tong Jushan looked up at Si Kong Jing, a slight blush suddenly appeared on his face. This scene, let Song Yunxiang immediately notice some abnormalities, in order to enjoy the wonderful melon. Song Yunxiang directly uses the secret realm healing to accelerate fast forward, filter out all the irrelevant daily tasks, until Huang Miaoying falls asleep. Si Kong Jin is reading the formation book in the room. Five Elements Reversal Wind Chime Formation. It is somewhat similar to the formation of the seal fighting ancestor. If there's a chance, you can steal some learning. What situation? That old witch is peeking outside the door. Do you also want to secretly learn this sealing formation? However, it is obvious that Song Yunxiang was overthinking, as the door was pushed open. The Sikong police also put down their array spells in their hands. But Song Yunxiang secretly cursed in his heart. Hurry up and drive away that old witch for him. Continue reading the formation book, so that he can steal his studies. Unexpectedly, the following scene made him only want to eat melons, because the old witch at this moment is charming and charming. But in the face of the old witch's initiative to tear open the well, she refused. But the old witch turned a blind eye to this. It's even more like walking straight towards the tearing well with a fast pace. This made Song Yunxiang spit out all the melons he had eaten. He didn't expect to see such a beautiful scene. Beauty and drunken slave in order to regain their freedom. Attempting to commit misconduct against the owner. Unexpectedly, it was rejected by the owner's words. Shame is unbearable. He can only flee with tears in his eyes. See this scene. Song Yunxiang is full of restraint and restraint. This melon is really amazing. The seductive male host has not yet failed. I didn't expect the old witch to have such a shameful experience. It's too slow to continue like this. Why not fast forward to 10,000 times? Filter out those irrelevant images. After speaking, Song Yunxiang began to accelerate. In fast forward, Huang Miaoying is not cooking, or it could be trivial matters such as studying and sleeping, until one day two years later, Song Yunxiang only returned to normal speed to watch. At this moment, Huang Miaoying couldn't conceal her excitement. Dad, are you telling the truth? Are you finally going to teach me formations? Looking at my daughter's expectant gaze, the steward immediately nodded and said it was, after receiving a response from my father. Huang Miaoying was so happy that she flew away. But the air traffic police reminded him not to be too happy too early. Just because I had to give him an unusual formation. This, but the sealing technique formation of the Eastern Guardians. This ancient inheritance. We need to trace it back to two eras ago. Indeed, it is the sealing technique formation of the Guardians lineage. But in such an obscure way. Teach a child under 10 years old. This Si Kong Jing doesn't seem to be very good at teaching. I can learn the sealing technique formation from you. If there is another chance to enter the Earth Spirit Secret Realm, the previously inaccessible areas, maybe we can go explore it further. Song Yunxiang spoke calmly and slowly. Time flies in an instant. It will arrive soon in two months. Huang Miaoying has made continuous efforts. The core of the formation finally twisted and formed in his hands. Seeing this, he happily raised his hand and pointed. Dad, look, have I learned it? In classical Chinese, Si Kong Jing had a helpless expression on his face. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang also has a speechless expression on his face, this little fool. The array talent is really not good anymore. I have learned how to look at fast mirrors by following them. Your body is only now twisted and formed. I didn't expect the ceiling technique formation of the Guardian's Meridian. Unexpectedly engaged in a battle with the suppression. The five elements formation of Ancestor Star Soul Descending. 
having almost homologous techniques. If we had previously violently cracked the five elements formation, only 60 to 70 percent certainty. Now with the sealing technique of the Guardian's lineage, not only does it have 12 layers of confidence to perfectly break through the formation, after breaking it, we can still give him a higher level seal to go back, even adding a password to him. Thinking about it makes people feel dark and happy. Little fool, I guess we'll have to practice for a long time. Why don't we fast forward on one side, while looking at the others? Let's see what's going on with them. As the screen switches, a group of mermaids appear in the picture. But he was mocked by Song Yunxiang for not doing anything serious. And when the screen switches to a woman with a child, Song Yunxiang recognized it at a glance. Women are just ordinary people in Yu Yanjia. As for the clear and beautiful picture. Of course, I can't escape Song Yunxiang's teasing. Just because the other person is young and bald, he suspected that the other party might be a formation mage. Until I saw the snowman on the snowy ground, his expression suddenly paused. What's going on here? How could a snowman appear here? Meanwhile, the picture of Huang Miaoying, it has been accelerated by Song Yunxiang to two months later. At this moment, Huang Miaoying is unlocking the chain for the old witch. When the chain is unlocked, he is very grateful to Huang Miaoying, but he is worried that if the air traffic police come back, what should Huang Miaoying do? But he hasn't had a chance to think too much yet. But Huang Miaoying has already opened the door to the formation. Sister Ju Xiang, you go, hurry up and leave here. I've wronged you over the years. Now, on behalf of my father, I will return your freedom to you. After listening, the old witch was momentarily speechless. At this moment, he has no idea what to say to Huang Miaoying. Unexpectedly, Huang Miaoying suddenly had a cold face and asked him to leave. Under helplessness, he had no choice but to bow and thank Huang Miaoying. Then he quickly left without looking back. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang remained fully focused on staring at the snowman. What kind of ghost is this snowman? Over 100 years ago, there's only one sleeping scene. Anyway, let's see if the little fool has learned the formation yet. What happened later? Little fool actually let go of the old witch. It seems that some key point has been missed. Now go back and take a look. Then continue to enjoy the delicious melon. Just because the little girl has a pure and kind heart, drunken slaves take advantage of this opportunity to use bitter meat to gain sympathy. Out of kindness, the little girl let her go. As a result, not only did she not know how to repay her kindness, instead, he even threw stones at the little girl in the well, causing it to fall into a dangerous situation. Just now, Sikong only needs to go down the mountain for some business. Remind your daughter to remember his words before parting. At the same time, it also reassures the daughter, he will finish writing before his birthday. But Song Yunxiang was just busy following others. Momentary negligence. What did Sikong warn his daughter about? So he just flipped back and wanted to see what happened. The scene of the Sikong police teaching Huang Miaoying the formation. He crossed it all without even thinking about it. Until the air traffic police pulled out a jade plaque. He stopped his movements curiously. Ah Miao, please take good care of this jade plaque for your father. Besides, daddy has two more things to warn you of. One is that even within the range of the formation, it is also not easy to construct star souls to descend the literary masses. Secondly, before daddy comes back, never run outside the range of the formation. After speaking, the air traffic police touched their daughter's little head. And although Huang Miaoyin has already remembered her father's words, but he didn't want his father to leave him. And for this, she even cried with grievances. The air traffic police are helpless can only comfort him, claiming to take him out of this place after completing the task. Then go to Tiandu country to taste the delicious food from all over the world. After learning that his father was going to take him to eat delicious food, the imperial temple is affected by the sudden direct current of the Halako. So I made a promise with my father by pulling a hook, but I still remember to remind my father to come back early. And Sikong Jing did reassure him. If encountering danger, as long as the jade plaque is activated, the defense system of the formation will be activated. At that time, the air traffic police will come back as soon as possible. Looking at the jade plaque in Huang Miaoying's hand, Song Yunxiang felt lost in thought. This jade plaque looks similar to the central continent. The life cards used by those sects. If a name is on, it means that a person is alive. Surprisingly, he already knew what the air traffic police had entrusted him with. Then go take a look at the little fool. Why let the old witch go? As the two images are presented. Song Yunxiang also knew everything about it. That's why the old witch used a bitter meat trick to gain sympathy. But Song Yunxiang sneered at this. Such clumsy means. 
I can only deceive Huang Miaoyin. And in the picture, Huang Miaoyin has a sincere expression on her face. She felt guilty about the grievances of the old witch for many years, so she replaced her father and gave the old witch freedom. On the surface, the old witch feels extremely nauseous. Before parting, she bowed deeply to Huang Miaoyin. But when he turned around, he showed a sinister smile. Huang Miaoyin was completely unaware of this. Only Song Yunxiang feels unworthy of her. Perhaps this is the reason why she cannot forgive herself. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Let's take a look later. In the following days, Huang Miaoyin is playing alone. Bored, he is counting the days. Looking forward to daddy's return. A loud noise came from the formation. Huang Miaoyin immediately showed a long lost smile. Immediately ran happily to welcome him. But Song Yunxiang knew that. Someone is forcefully attacking the formation. So he quickly flew over to check. At this moment, outside the main formation, someone is indeed attacking the formation. The leader of the team is Huang Shangnan, the head of the Huang family. I really didn't expect it. They would actually hide in this narrow mountain range. The Huang family worked hard to find them for 10 years. If it weren't for that lowly maid spreading the word, who could have thought of it? They will hide under their own eyelids. And although the Huang family has a broken cone breaking through the formation, but it's difficult to crack just by breaking the array cone, it would be best to add a formation master. Just as they felt remorseful about it, I thought it was Huang Miaoying who came back from her father. But he opened the formation. But soon he realized something was wrong. So he began to question who was outside. However, how could sunglasses miss such a good opportunity? He immediately ordered his subordinates to stop Huang Miaoying. Upon seeing this, Huang Miaoying immediately wanted to close the formation. But ultimately, there's still not enough time. Because at this point, the formation has already been broken and chased away. The Huang family saw this. Everyone rushed forward, construct the body, instantly surrounding Huang Miaoying. Huang Miaoying is forced into helplessness. We have to fight back. I saw a thunderous explosion in the sky. Star Soul will win Zhong construct piles to form. See this scene. The glassy woman couldn't help but be shocked. She won Star Soul General. Perhaps that girl is the head of a naturally innocent family. Do you think so? That girl is the seat of Miss Yuji and the thief's life. Who knew she had just finished speaking? Huang Shangnan slapped her in the face. Even if it falls outside, she is also my royal daughter. How can you be just an ant-like scholar? I didn't expect Yuji's child to be an innate amateur. This will ensure that my royal family will continue to prosper for hundreds of years. You should immediately use the soul lock to catch that child. Be careful not to hurt him. Upon hearing this, several subordinates immediately sent out the soul resurrection lock. In an instant, Huang Miaoyin was firmly locked in place. But how could Huang Miaoyin sit still and wait for death? I saw a sharp blade rising from behind him. To hear the name of Zhong with the star soul, borrowing heavenly might and using yellow. Miaoyin's words have just been finished. Seven sharp blades immediately burst out with lightning and thunder. With Huang Miaoying's loud shout of thunder, the thunder and lightning in the sky poured down in one fell swoop. In an instant, several royal subordinates were killed on the spot. This scene shocked Huang Shangnan boldly. What means is this? Surprisingly able to lure thunder to attack him. He is clearly a powerful figure at the peak of the holy rank, but he is willing to fall into a fantasy and cannot extricate himself. Countless cycles of waiting in the illusion. Just waiting for someone who can't come back. Turns out it was not long ago. After Huang Miaoying was caught up in the inheritance formation, he went back to his childhood and experienced illusions, just as he was waiting for his father to come back. The Huang family found this place under the notification of the guilty slave. Under helplessness, he can only rise up and fight back, and use the power of thunder to instantly kill the enemy. This has made Huang Shangnan marvel at it. Emperor's cultivation can cause such immense killing power. If we can cultivate this girl well, his Huang family can sell themselves to the creek and water pool. A first class family. Seeing this eyeglass, the woman quickly ordered her subordinates to continue going up. Be sure to capture Huang Miaoyin deeply. But Huang Miaoyin remained calm in the face of danger. Facing Letty, of course, he was hitting him head on. This has made the glasses lady a bit awkward. After all, the other party is a prestigious child. Our own military strength is limited. So he can only ask the homeowner to take action. Look at those useless subordinates. Huang Shangnan is also speechless. Under helplessness, he had no choice but to personally take action. And at this moment, the subordinate of the waste team is sandwiched before and after Huang Miaoying. Huang Miaoying was both absent-minded and trapped by a resurrected soul. This will completely infuriate him. 
Venin Tianlei gave the enemy a severe blow. Power is constantly being consumed, causing him to be exhausted enough, but he received praise from Huang Shengnan, and claimed to be worthy of his royal bloodline, having such unparalleled talent at a young age. It's just a pity that we're different from him, reached a great level, then don't blame him for bullying the small with the big. After speaking, he suddenly flashed up to Huang Niaoying, grab Huang Niaoying's arm. I threw Huang Niaoying out with the flow. Then comes the gathering of soul power with one hand. The powerful power makes the star soul hear the crowd and feel anxious on the spot. And Huang Niaoying was also bombarded and flew far away. He struggled to get up. Holding his father's life card, he began to cry loudly. Daddy, daddy, there are bad people coming to our house. They bully me. You still have to catch me. Dad, where are you? Why haven't you come back yet? Looking at the life card in Huang Niaoying's hand, Song Yunxiang immediately understood. Come here. Because at this point, Si Kong Jing's life card has already been extinguished. But Huang Niaoying is still crying, crying to accuse dad of deceiving him. Why can't life cards control the mountain protection formation? At this moment, Huang Shengnan suddenly asked him what his name was. But he didn't have the heart to talk to Huang Shengnan. At this moment, he just wants to wait for his dad to come back. Seeing this, Huang Shengnan asked Huang Niaoying not to be afraid. He is Grandma Huang Niaoying's cousin's sisters. So no one dares to harm Huang Niaoying. Just go home with him. But Huang Niaoying is unwilling to leave for no reason. Because this is his home. He needs to wait here for his dad to come back. But Huang Shengnan wouldn't care about Huang Niaoying's feelings. Just slap him unconscious with one palm. Then she hugged him and left straight away. Song Yunxiang just silently watched everything. Perhaps he has already realized the extinction of the life card. So what does that represent? However, at this moment, the scene of the illusion suddenly came to a standstill. Then the screen began to collapse and reorganize. Song Yunxiang only realized that. Entered the next cycle, repeating and repeating this mind demon illusion over and over again. Is this the reason why he has been trapped in a vicious cycle? His obsession with demons. It's waiting for someone who can't come back. Such a reciprocating cycle. Keep going like this. When will you be the head? I didn't originally want to intervene. But in order to learn the seal formation, I'll just barely make a move once. At this moment, the scene repeats to Huang Niaoying kneeling on the ground, as I kept asking where my dad was. At this point, I saw Song Yunxiang shake with a snap of his fingers. In an instant, those useless subordinates were covered by the formation. We haven't waited for them to react yet. Song Yunxiang silently recited a spell. The next second, the formation will explode on its own. See this scene. Huang Shengnan had an incredulous expression on his face. How could it be you? You have already been taken care of by me. Before the words fall. Was disrupted on the spot by Song Yunxiang. I'm sorry I'm late. And at this moment, Huang Niaoying was already crying uncontrollably. The person he had been waiting for for a long time finally came back. Saint level powerhouse. For the long lost family relationship, he would rather be trapped in an illusion, unwilling to wake up for a long time. This scene deeply touched Song Yunxiang. In order to elevate his mood, Song Yunxiang resolutely disguised himself as his father. Its purpose is only to hope that he can overcome this heart demon calamity. Just now, due to the unwillingness to see Huang Niaoying repeat her illusions, Song Yunxiang chooses to decisively lend a helping hand. Huang Yaoying witnessed this scene. Huang Shengnan couldn't help but be shocked. He doesn't understand why Si Kong Jing can still come back alive. At the moment of his confusion, Song Yunxiang has initiated a formation sealing technique against him. But he used his speed advantage to avoid it. Mina formation can only ambush miscellaneous people below the ground level. As long as my speed is fast enough, this formation will be of no use to me. After Huang Shengnan finished speaking, he immediately jumped into a bloody brawl. The sound of pile thunder, but it collided with the arm of the formation. Suddenly caught off guard. He was bounced back to the ground. At this moment, he was looking at the sky in frustration, with an incredible appearance. At this moment, there came the mocking voice of Song Yunxiang. It's really stupid. As long as my formation is big enough, no matter how fast you are, you're just bouncing around in the bathtub. Speaking, Song Yunxiang began to activate the formation. Huang Shengnan and others were instantly swept into midair. Then Song Yunxiang took the opportunity to throw the formation ball. Then he directly wrapped Huang Shengnan and others in it. As he raised his hand and threw it, Huang Shengnan and others disappeared into the vast sky. Just solved the crisis. Song Yunxiang heard Huang Miaoying's crying. 
The next second, Huang Miaoying threw herself into his arms. Dad, you're so bad. Why did you only come back now? I thought something was wrong with you. See here. Song Yunxiang quickly crouched down to comfort Huang Miaoying. But in this moment, Huang Miaoying felt something was wrong. So he pushed Song Yunxiang away. Then take advantage of the situation to dodge to a safe distance. This is not my dad's soul power fluctuation. Who the hell are you? Huang Miaoying was vigilantly questioning. At this moment, Song Yunxian realized that it was not good. I actually forgot the disguise of soul power fluctuations. You can recognize soul power fluctuations so small. It's not easy to be a natural person. Thinking of this, Song Yunxian quickly made up a reason to explain. That girl, listen to me. Dad went to Tiandu Kingdom once, inherited the ancient legacy of our guardian lineage. So the fluctuation of soul power changed. Now this soul power fluctuation, it's a fusion of a veteran with 60 years of combat experience. Did daddy's battle just now seem very experienced? This is the wisdom from that big shot. Upon hearing this, Huang Maiao Yinkai let go of his vigilance. Upon seeing this, Son Yunxiang quickly expressed, bringing gifts back from Tiandu country. So he chuckled and took out the watermelon, saying it's roast duck. This can explode Huang Miaoying's anger on the spot. There was a mistake in this matter. Song Yunxiang quickly threw away the watermelon. Awkwardly, take out the roasted duck. After seeing the roast duck, Huang Miaoying instantaneous Hara DC. Without saying a word, snatch the roasted duck and deliver it to your mouth. Song Yunxiang. I can only helplessly explain to him the way roast duck is eaten. Unexpectedly, this aroused Huang Miaoying's interest. On the spot, Song Yunxiang is going to take him to Tiandu to eat roast duck. This can make Song Yunxiang boldly feel a headache, but he can only grit his teeth and send Buddha to the west. So he directly took out the secret realm of desire. As the core scene of the formation changes, in an instant, the two of them appeared in a room. Upon seeing this, Huang Miaoying quickly arrived at the windowsill. Looking at Tiandu's city, his heart is full of shock. Daddy, is this the heavenly capital city? I've never heard of you before. The ceiling technique formation can also move instantly. This is really amazing. Classical Song Yunxiang had no choice but to continue to deceive. He said he also benefited from the power of that big shot. But in reality, he is trying to accelerate the progress. Use the secret realm to heal. Based on memory, a Tiandu restaurant was created to divert Huang Miaoying's attention. Song Yunxiang quickly summoned Huang Miaoying to eat delicious food. That's how Huang Miaoying started his wild eating and drinking. Looking at Huang Miaoying's satisfied expression, Song Yunxiang also remembered Tiandu City. I couldn't help but secretly think in my heart. Waiting for the end of the battle of the southern wilderness beast nest, he's also going back to heaven to see it. And at this moment, Huang Miaoying has already swept all the delicious food on the table. He immediately ran over and hugged Song Yunxiang. Then he said thank you to Song Yunxiang. At this moment, his figure was also slowly dissipating. Song Yunxiang just came over from the central conference. I see. He has already ended his mind demon illusion. Now we should also go to the core area to take a look. See how many people have successfully passed the first trial. As Song Yunxiang passes through a light curtain, he also arrived at the core area of Ao Bing's secret realm. At this moment, the controller is pleading with Song Yunxiang. Unleash his gravity technique. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang casually helped him untie it. Then I asked him how many people there were. After the first trial, the controller doesn't say a word. Just call up the second trial screen. Plus Song Yunxiang. Five people have already passed. Immediately, he asked Song Yunxiang. Do you want to participate in the second trial? Second trial. The contestants will compete against the star soul general Ao Bing. Throughout history, ordinary people have served as guardians of the inherited secret realm, dominating everything in the secret realm, but his fate will soon change, just because he got caught in a sixth place in the inheritance assessment. Not only did it strip him of his guardian status, even turned him into a cute girl. Now it's even more for fun. Old Lu unexpectedly turned him into a mascot again. Just now, Song Yunxiang helped Huang Miaoying break free from the curse of her heart. He immediately returned to the core of the secret realm. The purpose is to know how many people have passed the first trial. Seeing the situation, the guardian immediately calls up the screen of the tester who has passed the test. Plus Song Yunxiang, a total of five people have passed. Then he asked Song Yunxiang, do you want to participate in the second trial? In the second trial, the tester needs to fight a large number of enemies. After reaching a certain kill score, 
After all, it will be randomly matched for it. A replica of an Ao Bingsu human. After listening, Song Yunxian showed a hint of doubt. Homo sapiens copy. Is it like you? The guardian of classical Chinese waved his hand repeatedly. Although he inherited the first generation Ao Bing, a wisp of residual soul from Lord Blue Eyes, but the essence is bound to the secret realm Jade Box, the reason why Lord Blue Eyes set him as his own. I just hope it can be in another form. Continue to protect the Shark Clan, but those clones of ordinary people are different, they're just healing in a secret realm. Automatically recorded combat data. The Aobingsu human clone lacks emotions and autonomous consciousness, but inherited all the combat power and experience of the original owner. Therefore, as a focus on trials, it is most appropriate. Although I have learned about replicates, but Song Yunxiang still has a hint of doubt about the matter. He doesn't understand that those four people have vastly different realms. Why was it suppressed to a certain level by unification? Upon seeing this, the Guardian quickly spoke up to explain and report back to your highness. During the trial, it will be conducted according to the trials of the testers who have been inhaled into the secret realm. Use the weakest cultivation as the standard. Now they will be uniformly suppressed until the later stage of the Earth's level. Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang immediately showed an awkward expression. Late geological stage. That person shouldn't be me, right? Immediately, he will no longer pay attention to it. Third trial. It should be about having the winners fight against each other. Then we can decide on the final contestant. The so-called triple trial of the secret realm. Ichom Wando. Two-level martial arts combat. Triple fighting. Indeed, it is true that everything changes without leaving its roots. After listening, the guardian looked shocked. He didn't expect Song Yunxiang to guess. But now the second trial is about to begin. He wants to appear and explain the rules to the experimenter. Therefore, he felt a bit embarrassed and asked Song Yunxiang about it. Can you restore his previous sense of threat? Despite his appearance, Song Yunxiang felt that. That scorched old man doesn't have any sense of intimidation. He decided to give the guardian a more interesting look. Also, give the guardian one. A name worthy of his new image. Soon he was under the control of Song Yunxiang, turned into a chubby fish. When I see my own image, the guardian had a frightened expression on his face. However, Song Yunxiang was laughing heartily. Such a mascot image, only worthy of the identity of a secret realm administrator. Continuing. Song Yunxiang gave the guardian a name called Xiaolan. Although the guardian is not very satisfied with this name, but he can only grit his teeth and accept it. Then he was sent away by Song Yunxiang. Go explain the rules to the heartbroken person. But after the guardian leaves, Song Yunxiang watching the scene of the double trial, suddenly interested. He also wants to go play with the replicates of the Aobingsu people throughout history. Meanwhile, Hu Yinxin is currently looking around on the trial platform. Hair surgery is not available. It seems that he didn't pass through the hard demon illusion smoothly. But beside him, Lan Kuan was roaring with anger and light hanging down. Lan Zhou, you bastard. Look at what you've done. Unexpectedly using the inheritance of the shark tribe as a children's play. I didn't want his roar to attract Lan Zhou's merciless ridicule. Just because the formation has already isolated the sound, Lonzo has no idea what Lan Kuan is yelling at. At this moment, he was curiously looking at the platform, a woman who suddenly appears. That woman was at the beginning of the inheritance ceremony. I didn't see her. Perhaps she was hiding in the air before. The strong man who overlooks everything. At this moment, Huang Nialin's expression was somewhat desolate. She knows her dad is no longer here. As for the one pretending to be her father. At this moment, her heart is extremely grateful. But at this moment, suddenly, an explosion came from above the platform. The strong sense of oppression shocked everyone. And the person who came was the guardian Xiaolan. I am the guardian of this secret realm. Congratulations to all of you for successfully entering the second trial. Everyone's realm has been suppressed to the later stage of the earth level. Please proceed with the upcoming battle. Persist until the last moment. Win the qualification to enter the third trial. So let's start the second trial now. After speaking, everyone was immediately transferred to the battlefield. Unfortunately, but Lonzo was teleported to the enemy pile. But it can't stop him either. For those shrimp soldiers and crab generals, he's all instant kills. The same goes for others. And Song Yunxiang silently watched everything. As for Huang Niaoyin, she did not reveal the type of star soul descending script. Song Yunxiang didn't pay much attention either. At present. He just wants to try the newly developed Weiyuan-style aircraft. Thinking of this, he directly constructs the star soul formation. 
with the continuous roar. Soon, he killed 1,000 enemies. I gave it a try. Combine multiple weapons on a single player. Although the output is very strong, but the burden on soul power is simply outrageous. During speech, suddenly, a bald monk appeared in front of Song Yunxiang. This made him curious about where the sudden change came from. Could it be the legendary clone of a human being? Meanwhile, a few others also encountered their own clone of a human being. Lonzo couldn't help but be shocked by the situation. Brother Lon Ao, is it really you? The case a human clone did not respond to him. I saw him raise his hand high and start the star soul building manner. In an instant, a powerful and domineering star soul general Ao Bing, right in front of him. Five forms of star souls will appear consecutively as Ao Bing, corresponding to the testers of each ability. Unexpectedly, it cannot withstand a replicated star soul general. Just because the user is Song Yunxiang, this old six, and the star soul general Ao Bing is still the ultimate form, reverse aging mode, just now, Hu D is experiencing a magical realm of focus, it's his wedding night right now, when he was young, he had a charming and silly appearance, just as he was about to lift the bride's hood, unexpectedly, Xiao Lan suddenly appeared, without saying a word, announced the failure of the first trial of Hu Yen, and was forcibly kicked out of the secret realm after 10 seconds, after listening, Hu Yenfa looked bewildered, but in the next second, he will be teleported out of the secret realm, and on the other side at this moment, northern border, Xu Aran is still sleeping soundly as usual, it seems that everything has nothing to do with him, but with the appearance of Xiao Lan, publicly announced the fifth tester Zhang Lu, also failed the trial, later, he was also forcibly kicked out of the secret realm, and at this moment, as soon as the divine level outside the secret realm retreats in, Two beams of light descending from the sky exploded near the first retreat. Subsequently, it is precisely the eliminated Hu Yenfa and Zhang Liuya. At this moment, Hu Yenfa is still shouting Madam in his mouth. But soon he realized something was wrong. Turns out it was just his dream just now. At this moment, the My soldiers also rushed to the place where the two of them appeared, and ordered both of them to immediately lay on the ground with their heads clasped in both hands. Seeing the situation, he called for a delay and quickly took out his identity token. Declare oneself as the elder of the Huyen family, Huyen F.A. The guests invited by General McKinsey. So, so, my just soldiers will immediately verify their identity through a secret line. After learning the true identity of Huyen Fa, the soldiers all lifted the construction piles one after another. It means there was no endless meaning just now. I hope Huyen Fa can understand. And Huyen Fa didn't have the heart to pay attention to these things either. At this moment, he happened to have something to ask the My Family soldiers about. Unexpectedly, the soldiers from the My Family were the first to inquire about him. The person who appeared with him just now. I don't know if Hu Yenfei is an enemy or a friend. And that person seems to be a demon tribe. After learning that the person was a demon tribe, Hu Yenfei immediately jumped out of the pit and ran to check. At this moment, Zhang Lu was still sleeping soundly. This made Hu Yenfei feel a little speechless. Also curious. Is this person one of those two arrogant individuals who engage in infighting? At the same time, the second trial site in Ao Bing's secret realm, Lanzo. The opponent is the ninth generation Ao Bing Su Run Lan Ao. Lan Ao jumps up with a flying body. Aiming at Lanzo is a deadly strike. Lanzo was forced to dodge and retreat. Brother Lan Ao, who is still shouting at the same time. What can be obtained is the crazy attack of Blue Ao. At this moment, Blue Ao's killing moves have been exhausted. Seems like he's going to put the Lan boat to death. And after dodging multiple attacks, Lan Zhou, only then did I realize that something was wrong. The person in front of him is not his blue AO big brother at all. And the realm seems to be the same as him, suppressed in the later stage of low order. The appearance of the tiger man of AO Bing, who only has a star soul. Actually, he's a scumbag who can't even unleash 20% of his combat power. So he can also fight against one of them. How dare you disrespect my most respected brother, Blue A.O. So, based on my older brother's record, come and get rid of you, this fake guy. After he finished speaking, he used his strongest killing move, Whirlpool Wrestling. Blue A.O. is not willing to be outdone when he sees the situation. Immediately dance out the Whirlpool of fighter jets to strangle and kill. Soon, the two vortices collided. Next came a powerful explosion of power. On the other side at this moment. Hu Yan Xian also encountered his opponent, Lan Zun. This person is the third generation amateur of the star soul general Ao Bing. Fireworks master dancing double-headed dragons, but in the eyes of Hu Yan Xian, 
It's like playing tricks in a classroom. I saw him forcefully flying a tower. In an instant, they launched a surprise attack on Blue Lord. Kalanzan is obviously not jealous either. He not only blocked the attack of the Hu Yan letter, but also. Instead, he even launched a blazing attack on the Hu Yan letter. And in Huang Miaoying's double secret realm trial field. At this moment, a person is slowly approaching. Huang Miaoying saw the situation. Immediately shoot out a beam of light to attack. But he was easily dodged by that person with a leap. At the same time, it will soon start a new soul outfit. Subsequently, what appeared was a cold sword fighting master as cold as frost and snow. This person is the fifth generation amateur of the new soul general Ao Bing. Blue collar workers, but by this time Huang Miaoyin had already attacked him. But he blocked the attack with a beautiful pose from him. At the same time, at Song Yunxiang's trial venue, he didn't want to pretend to be forced, but he encountered a bald criminal. It is Lan Lu, the sixth generation amateur of Star Soul General Ao Bing. Never personally intervene in battles. It's because you only need to control the four keel whips behind you. Master of blade weaving in combat. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang also became interested. So he immediately retrieved the secret realm jade box and let Yuha adapt it to him. A similar star soul general. Yuha will start building his estate soon. In an instant, a star soul general Ao Bing appeared in front of Lan Lu, and it is also the strongest form of reverse scale mode. In order to successfully replicate to the star soul, Ao Bing, Song Yunxian unexpectedly chose to be his disruptor. Originally, Lan Kuan was about to, being eliminated from the competition. Unexpectedly, he was rescued by one of Song Yunxian's ammunition, causing Lan Kuan to be resurrected with full blood. Having the power to fight against Sea Dragon King Lantong in World War I. Just now, the second trial area of Ao Bing's secret realm where Lan Kuan is located. Suddenly, a strange person appeared in front of him. The strong sense of pressure made his legs start to soften. Under unbearable pressure, he wanted to kneel and submit. At this moment, he remembered. The person in front of me. It should be the legendary one. The great lord of the endless sea. The first generation amateur of star soul general Ao Bing. That is, the emperor of Longhai, Lord Blue Eyes. The great king of sharks. How could I possibly defeat such an opponent? During the conversation, the blue pupils were already present, and the star soul construction was completed. Then he swung his halberd. Two body dragons behind immediately flew towards Lan Kuan. The location of Lan Kuan exploded instantly. Fortunately, Lan Kuan dodged in time. That's how he managed to escape the disaster. Who knew he hadn't started to rise yet? The body dragon sprayed lightning beams at him again. Suddenly caught off guard. He was blown up on the spot. At the same time, on the other side, Song Yunxiang is also fighting against the replica of Ao Bing. At this moment, both sides are fighting back and forth. But soon the copy of Lan Lu will reveal its flaws. I saw Song Yunxiang wielding his halberd and flying the Lan Lu whip blade. Then it's flying and jumping up. Aiming at Lan Lu is like a spin and sidekick. The powerful force makes Lan Lu feel like a shell. Fly out. Until a few hundred meters later, I can't stop my body. In a fit of rage, Lan Lu used his strongest killing move. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang's face showed a hint of doubt. He wants to see if the other party has any other tricks. In just this moment, Lan Lu's record is scorching with excitement. The attack has been stopped. In an instant, Song Yunxiang was surrounded by attacks. But he didn't panic at all. He has long been accustomed to this long-range attack tactic. Next, he needs to show Lan Lu some experience. What is true? Firepower suppression. I saw the cannons behind him starting to charge up. In the next second, the group will burst towards the scorching waves and cut wildly. The scorching waves cut like paper paste. Shoot it into a hornet's nest. Instantly shattered into bubbles. And Lan Lu can only jump high to avoid beam attacks. But when he wanted to lock in Song Yunxiang again. But it was discovered that Song Yunxiang had already disappeared in place. When it followed, it was behind him. At this point, Song Yunxiang's weapons were already fully equipped and formed. The next second, Lan Lu's chest will be frozen through with his own body. Immediately after, the six machine guns behind also began to charge up. In an instant, Lan Lu's body was once again pierced by a beam of light. I only heard a loud explosion. Lan Lu's figure began to gradually dissipate. And at this moment, Song Yunxiang also returned to the ground. Ultimately, it is a replica. I'm afraid they won't be able to unleash the fighting power of the original two cities. If I had known so weak, there's no need to use the power of the secret realm core to simulate a star color. Ao Bing's use of a micro far-sighted body is already enough to win. But Ao Bing still feels quite comfortable using it. 
Lon Cohen, you need to be stronger. Don't disappoint my high expectations. Whether I can copy to A.O. Bing this time depends on you. Just finished speaking. Xiaolan suddenly appeared behind Song Yunxiang. Congratulations to Song Yunxiang for passing the second trial. Also curious. Why can Song Yunxiang use the Star Soul to defeat A.O. Bing? Seeing this, Song Yunxiang pointed to the healing of the secret realm with his finger. Xiaolan just came over from the central conference. But soon Xiaolan realized something was wrong again. Even if Song Yunxiang used the power of secret healing, but the A.O. Bing used by Song Yunxiang just now. Whether it's color or style, they are all models he has never seen before. And Song Yunxiang is so proficient in driving A.O. Bing. After Xiaolan noticed something, Song Yunxiang made two friendly sounds, immediately start shifting the topic. How do you speak after becoming a mascot? The tone and movements have become cute and adorable. Be foolish. Classical Chinese Xiaolan ponders slightly, and Song Yunxiang took the opportunity to demand, see how others are doing. Upon seeing this, Xiaolan immediately recalled the footage of the other four people. Lan Kuen, this guy shouldn't be hanging up right now, right? I don't know how he passed the previous round of the experiment. I can go directly to the scene to see if it's okay. Just this one question. Xiaolan immediately realized something was wrong, but he was also helpless. It can only be said that it is possible. At the same time, it also reminds Song Yunxiang. Don't interfere randomly on the spur of the moment. But Song Yunxiang ignored his reminder. Right now, he's going to Lan Kuen's side to see what's going on. In the next second, he will disappear directly at the core of the secret realm. And on the other side at this moment, Lan Kuen has been beaten up and lying on all fours in the pit. As a result, the body cleans itself. At this moment, a pill fell straight into his mouth. In an instant, it entered his mouth. This can make Xiaolan so anxious that she curses loudly. Didn't you tell me not to interfere recklessly? Classical Chinese Song Yunxiang's face showed a hint of embarrassment. Oh my, I accidentally slipped my hand just now. I don't know where that pill fell. And by this time, Lan Kuen had already awakened. Lan Kuen, blessed with elixirs. Soul power is rapidly recovering. Although he doesn't know what's going on. But now it seems that he still has the power to fight. Immediately, he took out his star soul and surrendered. To show respect for the former Dragon Sea King, this time, he will fight with the star soul of the Dragon Sea Kingdom, as he raises his star soul high and surrenders, following in an instant. Maritime aircraft suddenly appeared. To increase the fun of the trial, Song Yunxian surprisingly controlled Xiaolan with a deceptive device. Take the tester who has passed the second trial, all transmitted to the small coastal city of Longhai Kingdom. The purpose is to have the testers fight against dampness. Just now. Lan Kuen, blessed with elixirs, once again rises to power. He will be right away. Go Zhuang Chu Xuan, Haishir Star Soul, will face off against the first generation Ao Bingsu person, Lan Tong. But Blue Tong seems to be trying to make a quick decision. I saw him flying and jumping up, swung out a halberd. Two organic dragons roared down in an instant. Upon seeing this, Lan Kuen was able to immediately equip himself with weapons. Come up and use the strongest ultimate move, Whirlpool Slash. Not yet waiting for the killing move to clear oneself. Two body dragons have sprayed light columns to block it. Instantly strangle and dissolve the vortex. At this point, Lan Kuen and Lan Tong had already stood together. I saw Blue Boy sweeping away a thousand soldiers on his own. Then shake off Lan Kuen. Lan Kuen also took advantage of the situation to start accumulating strength. The dragon roar cannon poured down in an instant. Suddenly caught off guard. Blue pupils are being blasted straight but it didn't hurt the blue pupils at all. There is even room to unleash the whirlpool strangulation. Lan Kuen can only dodge and evade attacks, and then throw it out of the hand with the flow, my confidant. The body of blue eyes, dragon, was instantly knocked out of its head. Seeing this, the blue pupils raised their light ball high with one hand, triggering thunder and lightning sounds. At this point, Lan Kuen's soul power was already running low. So he immediately mobilized his soul power and gathered it in his chest. The next second, the dragon roar cannon will hit the blue bucket. In an instant, the beam moved to the front of the blue bucket. Under helplessness, the blue bucket can only block attacks. Lan Kuen took the opportunity to wield his halberd and kill Lan Tong. But he was dodged by the blue bucket. Then the two entered a tug of war mode. Both sides fought back and forth. But Song Yunxian let out a light sigh. Just because when we were fighting for the knife just now. Lan Kuen is restructuring at the moment of disarming. Then we can win this battle. Kalankin, however, lost to his youthful vigor. I always thought that with momentum and passion. 
can be invincible. Under uninteresting circumstances, Song Yunxiang decided to see other people. At this point, Huang Miaoying has already defeated her opponent. Successfully passed the second retry of refining and protecting ductility. Although still struggling, but it has gradually gained the upper hand. And the nature of Lanzhou is a bit harsh. It's already possible. Winning but still intentionally disgusting the opponent. Xiu Lan, ah. Actually, everyone else is also accompanying me, right? The ultimate amateur of A.O. Bing. You will still make a choice between these two proud people. Upon hearing this, Xiao Lan was instantly vigilant. Intense and reckless behavior. Song Yunxiang signaled to him to rest assured. After all, choosing who is the same for Song Yunxiang. However, the third trial is really boring in the form of fighting each other. At the same time, it also appears a bit hasty. Fortunately, Song Yunxiang gave some suggestions to Xiao Lan. Meanwhile, the battle of Huyan letter has also reached a critical moment. I saw him facing the attack and running towards the Blue Lord. Two fists angrily burst out. Lan Zun was instantly shattered by his bombardment. Upon seeing this letter of delay, I was able to resolve the conflict. It was really a tough battle. If there is an opportunity, I really want to have a battle with this clone's master. Just finished speaking, the Huyan message was transmitted out of the trial site. Then it appeared on the platform. Surprisingly, two people have already passed the second trial. Where did that old guy come from? I don't seem to have seen it before. He taught the half-demon boy of the human race not to be present. He is indeed much weaker than my uncle. At this moment, Xiaolan suddenly appears. Congratulations to them for successfully passing the second trial. This startled the Hu Yan letter. At the same time, he also found that Lan Kuan had returned to the platform. Then Xiaolan asked them to prepare well. The third trial has officially begun. Then they were transported to Longwei City in Longhai Kingdom. When Lan Kuan saw Lan Zhao, he rushed to Lan Zhao without saying a word. Lifting your legs will lead you to the brink of death in Lan Zhao. I didn't want to, but I was easily dodged by Lan Zhao. Even being grabbed by Lan Zhou and pressed to the ground. At this moment, the horn of the Longhai City police suddenly sounded. Turns out there was an outbreak of dampness here. And at this moment, their task is to. It is guarding the small harbor city of Longhai Kingdom. Longhai Kingdom is located in the Endless Sea on the west side of the eastern continent. It is supported by the Joran clan in the empire. The feudal states established to resist fierce beasts in the sea. Until the division of the empire, Longhai Kingdom relies on its rising military strength, gradually becoming an equal existence with other countries of the human race. And Longwei City, as a defensive fortress city in the southern part of Longhai Kingdom, for hundreds of years, the Joran clan has been resisting here. Endless sea tide. Guarding at the forefront of the Long High Kingdom gate. This time, it coincides with the arrival of fierce beasts. The leader immediately ordered the closure of the animal defense wall upon seeing the situation. Open the muzzle of the beast gun. At the same time, we must also guard against fierce beasts in the air. Then he arranged for the three battalions to be responsible for protecting the evacuation of the people. One and two battalions followed him out of the city to welcome the war and take time. At this moment, the testers have just been teleported to Dragon Tail City. Lan Kuan thought they were once again trapped in a mental illusion. I didn't want to, but I was immediately pulled up by Lan Zhou. Then there was a punch that flew away. The realism made Lan Zhou feel that it was not a mental fantasy. But he still has some confusion. If this place is real, why is his realm still suppressed in the realm of the earth? Looking around for a week, he doesn't care about anyone else at all. Even. Still treating Song Yunxiang as a refugee who was unexpectedly involved. The only thing that matters is the strongest Huang Miaoying. He thinks that as long as he keeps an eye on Huang Miaoying, he will definitely be right. But at this moment, Huang Miaoying is indeed thinking. According to the number of murderers at this level, just that little soldier alone won't last long. Perhaps to buy time for residents to evacuate. As for Song Yunxiang, he has an inexplicable sense of familiarity. At this moment. Xiaolan suddenly appears, and declare this place as the Dragon Sea Kingdom of the real world. The task of the testers is to guard this harbor town, to prevent anyone from coming around recklessly. Xiaolan puts a scoring collar on everyone's face. This collar will explode, so testers cannot leave the trial area without authorization. The third trial task is as follows, 1. Support teaching. Soldier 2 is to ensure the evacuation of residents. Thirdly, responsible for killing ferocious beasts. At this moment, Lan Zhou suddenly spoke out and scolded Xiao Lan. Not wanting to, but being seen as an unreasonable person by Xiao Lan. 
He was deducted 250 points immediately. Lonzo's momentary hesitation, but still asked how to determine the winner. Upon seeing this, Xiaolan immediately questioned Son Yunxiang. Son Yunxiang also transmitted a message to him as soon as possible to reply. After learning the rules, Xiaolan begins to announce in public. Surviving shark soldiers and evacuated residents will give a score for heartbreak. Killing ferocious beasts can also earn rewards. The results of the first two trials, it will also be converted into trial scores. Finally, Aobingsu will be judged based on the total score. The guardian Xiaolan has finished speaking. Hu Yenxin immediately spoke politely. Ask his companion where Hu Yenfa is now. After hearing this, Xiaolan also gave him an answer. Upon learning of the Hu Yen letter, he immediately bowed and cut out in gratitude. Xiaolan rewarded him with 100 points upon seeing the situation. Afterwards, it was announced that the third trial would begin. At this point, Longway City has already fallen into the flames of war. Soldiers are arranging for residents to evacuate quickly. At this moment, the fierce beast in the air suddenly launched an attack on the crowd. The ground exploded instantly. I haven't waited for the soldiers to react yet. A beam of light attacks and tilts downwards. The city wall also collapsed instantly during this attack, even blocked the city gate. It seems that I don't want to leave a way for everyone to survive. The ferocious beast has started to gather strength and launch an attack again, but I don't want to have my head cut off by a black blade. It turned out that the person who came to rescue was Huang Niaoi. He also received a reward score of 100 for this. Everyone expressed gratitude to him upon seeing the situation. Then Huang Miaoyin arrived at the city gate. Soul power begins to gather in one's hands. I only heard a loud bang. The city gate will be opened. This startled everyone's jaws. And the city gate has been opened. Residents have also begun to evacuate in an orderly manner. At this point, Huang Miaoyin's trial score has reached 365. At the same time, the coastal defense line on the other side. A group of soldiers are resisting fierce beasts. Due to the formidable strength of the ferocious beast, how many soldiers can trap a fierce beast? But one soldier was accidentally caught by a fierce beast. Just as the captain went to save someone, a steel fork flew towards us. In an instant, it hit the fierce beast. Soldiers also took the opportunity to rush forward. And the captain is undoubtedly. Who will the incoming person be? When he turned around to look at the person he had come by, I saw that person was quite dignified, new Seoul soldier Sun Haishir, and he is also a second class warrior in Longhai Kingdom, he still looks seriously injured and dying, in the blink of an eye, it became lively and lively again, playing martial arts skills with great prowess, even forced out the old bruises of old wounds, the sense of comfort left him unsatisfied, immediately clap another palm towards the distance. A palm print appeared instantly on a tree in the distance. Just because he took the pill given by Son Yunxiang, although it's just a mere five stars, unexpectedly, he was able to recover to this extent. Not only has the physical pain been greatly relieved. I thought I was already fearless of life and death. Unexpectedly. At this moment, I am eagerly anticipating Yunxiang's survival technique. It's really a bit ridiculous. It's rare to see the third prince so happy. The old marquis immediately spoke up and asked the steward Chimu about it. Do you have the latest news from Song Yunxiang? Is it still smooth to search for alchemy materials? The classical Chinese wooden butler immediately opened the video screen. Lord Wei, according to the last message from young master Yunxiang, he should have successfully arrived at the sand-carving city of Xia Yuba. Ah Jin's second team is following up on the situation over there. I'll call him over now. At this point. The comfortable third prince suddenly let out a loud roar. Just leave one sentence for you to keep busy. Then he turned around and left without looking back. Until stepping into the elevator. The third prince couldn't help but be happy. I really didn't expect it. I still have hope of prolonging my life. Thinking about it makes people look forward to it. As for those old things. When you see the star soul descending to Chowron again. The heroic posture of spreading wings and soaring. I'm afraid I'll be scared again and have a stream of feces and urine, right? Tiandu City Earth Spirit Secret Realm. I, Song Bingchuan, am coming back. Huang Xiaosheng made the Marquis and several others unable to help but feel a burst of sweat. The butler, on the other hand, made some awkward remarks. The third lord seems to be in a pretty good mood as an elderly person. Upon hearing this, the old lord also spoke up to explain the phoenix's nirvana, about to be reborn from the ashes. How can one be in a bad mood? Don't be fooled by Uncle San's humble demeanor towards us now. You should know that when he was young, 
he used to be dressed in fresh clothes, angry, and frivolous. His arrogance and recklessness, there is no shortage of food in the entire Tiandu country. After all, that was a genius who once suppressed an era. At this point, the butler suddenly spoke up again. I heard my grandfather say, Third Lord, he is an old man who dotes on a madman. For the sake of the Empress Dowager, she has always been the heavenly capital emperor of the past. Upon seeing this, the wooden butler immediately reminded him to speak with caution. At this very moment, the leader of the second group of the hidden guard Ajin suddenly appeared. The old lord immediately asked him to report on the recent situation of Song Yunxiang. Upon seeing this, Ajin immediately opened the video screen. The sand sculpture city has a leg due to the recent appearance of the divine ring, so I've been under martial law all along. Although we haven't found the whereabouts of young master Yunxiang yet, but as soon as the divine sword retreats, a recent leak incident occurred nearby. According to our undercover investigation, among them, there are shark people from Longhai Kingdom appearing. Although I don't know if it's related to young master Yunxiang, but coincidentally, I couldn't contact young master Yunxiang during this period of time. So I guess there should be some correlation, right? After listening, the old lord immediately asked the wooden butler to arrange a group of elite soldiers, rush to the sand sculpture city, and bring the heart-shaped soul sent by Mr. Su to surrender. Be prepared to receive Song Yunxiang at any time. At the same time, he also asked A Jin to retrieve the footage from the scene. So A Jin immediately contacted the secret. Detective 4632, according to the spy number sent by the second group of shadow guards. 4 refers to Xia Yubwa, while 6 refers to Sha Diao City. The last two digits are the personal numbers of the spies. Meanwhile, near the retreat of the divine stage in the Shadayo city of Xia Yubwa, the detective is reporting his specific location to Ajin, and then transmit the on-site footage to Ajin. At this moment, a beam of light exploded beside the retreat of the divine stage. A person suddenly appeared in the pit. He is precisely the one who has been eliminated due to his delay in playing. I didn't die. The collar around the neck is also gone. Sure enough, I was still in a secret realm just now. Not waiting for him to sort out the secret realm. Hu Yenfa has come behind him. A few lowly people ran up and hugged him tightly. Young master, are you okay? This is really great. The sudden appearance of Hu Yen's message made Hu Yen feel a bit confused. He asked Hu Yanfa why he was here. It wasn't until he turned his head and stepped back towards the divine level that he realized it. This is exactly where they were sucked into the reef human race's secret realm. At this moment, Hu Yenfa awkwardly scratched his head. I was heartbroken and failed in my first comeback. Kicked out of the secret realm. I've been waiting for you here ever since. After listening to the Hu Yen letter, immediately ask Hu Yen to send it. What time is it now? A few days have passed. Hu Yenfa immediately raised his hand to check the time. The time flow rate in the secret realm seems different from outside. Now that we are sucked into a secret realm, only a day and a half have passed. General McKinsey has set up an ambush. Surround this place heavily. We need to collaborate with them. The people who appeared after the ambush together. Upon hearing this, the letter of delay stated that it was unnecessary. Just before he comes out. Is it only Huyanfa who was kicked out? Seeing this, Huyin pointed to Sha Diao City. It means coming out at the same time as him. There is also a little girl from the demon tribe. I don't know what the origin is. Always in a drowsy state. At this moment, the guards have captured the dungeon of the Mai family. I heard that the fourth young master of the Mai family, Mai Tai Gongzi is more interested in it. After learning about it, Hu Yenshin pondered slightly. Does it leave no impression? On the way back, when was Hu Yen's inquiry about Hu Yen's letter being flashed? The Hu Yen letter immediately extended three fingers. Seeing this, Hu Yen Fa gave him a thumbs up. Undoubtedly, I am the young master. Sure enough, it's impressive. What is the content of the third trial? How did the young master fail again? Upon hearing these words, the letter of delay immediately fell into memories. The scenes of fighting fierce beasts are vividly remembered. The realism of death. The Hu Yen letter really doesn't want to go through it again. As the questions spread out, the Hu Yen letter also began to fall into memories. In the place where Ao Bing has experienced the third trial, fortunately, Lan Kuan's timely appearance. That's why we saved that pair of soldiers. The soldiers also immediately discovered. The ones who saved them were their own people, and he is also a second-class warrior of their Long High Kingdom. At this moment, Lan Kuan suddenly jumped and flew up. Just aim at the ferocious beast and curse blindly. Suddenly a tower. Then there was another vigorous blow and a swing. Shana was instantly split in two by him. 
The formidable strength shocked the soldiers boldly. At the same time, I don't forget to thank Lan Kuan for saving them, and Lan Kuan killed numerous ferocious beasts. In the end, his trial score also rose to 330, but he never stopped. Jump and then killed a fierce herd of beasts. See this scene. Lan Zhou just began to understand. So this is how you can score. It's just a bit despicable. Lan Kuan Kid surprisingly brought the soul of Sun Hai to surrender. I just came out of the bathhouse. Wearing only Xia Yuba's tattered clothes. Miscellaneous aircraft. Wei Yuan Shi from Tindu Kingdom and the special style of Huyin family. Under the same realm. It belongs to me, this evil machine. No, I have to find a way to hold them back. As soon as I read it, Lan Zhou began her own plan. At this point, he was already in a confident and confident state. Thinking in my heart for a moment. Yo Hu Yan's kid. Let them abandon their past grievances and ally with themselves. I never thought Hu Yanxin would ignore him at all. Just because he can take action against his own family and relatives. His invitation. Hu Yanxin naturally believed. But we haven't waited for Lan Zhou to start persuading us to stay yet. The Hu Yan letter is already accumulating power. Then he jumped up and headed towards the fierce herd of beasts. Leave only Lan Zhou there to curse at her. When he turned around and wanted to talk to Song Yunxiang. I don't want Song Yunxiang, but he has already gone far. Watching Song Yunxiang go in the direction of departure. Lan Zhou's face showed a hint of doubt. Who and that woman are both heading towards the city? M.O. Fei. Protecting citizens is easier to earn points than killing ferocious beasts. It's not up to him. Anyway, since the rule is that the one with the highest score wins, so I just need to find a way to score while, just reduce their score. At this time, although the Huyan letter was fighting against the fierce beast, but in my heart, I was thinking, Lan Zhou seems to have impure motives. He needs to be more careful. For melee shrimp, the Huyan letter feels a bit difficult, just because that shrimp diving is too hard. Under duress, he used his soul power beam to attack. Unexpectedly, he was able to instantly kill the shrimp. This also earned him 80 trial powder. Shrimp, it seems that only the pliers are harder. I don't seem to be very good at handling long-range shooting. As soon as I read it, the Huyan signal began a remote attack. Wherever the soul standing beam passes by, the shrimp were instantly killed. The soldiers of Longhai Kingdom all showed signs of suspicion upon seeing the situation. I don't understand why Xiaoyuba wants to help them. But at this moment, the Hu Yan letter was sneering. It seems that rescuing a Dragon Sea soldier costs 50 points. I don't know if you intentionally pushed them into danger. And then I kept relying on this rescue to score points. Although the Hu Yan tribe and the shark people are enemies of the world. But the Hu Yan letter disdains using such despicable means. For soldiers who stand up to defend their country, he should still give at least. Earn points with respect and respect. He still wants to confidently kill the killer. As more and more ferocious beasts were killed by the Hu Yan letter, the Longhai soldiers no longer have doubts about him. So they all cooperated with him to kill the killer together. Fighting for the glory of the shark. On the other side of the battlefield at this moment, Lan Kuan is looking at the Hu Yan letter in midair. The strength of the Hu Yan letter left him deeply impressed. He's not willing to fall behind, is he also prepared to shrimp? Big kill, special kill. Just as he was about to finish the shrimp. Suddenly, a beam of soul power shot and killed the shrimp first. Lan Kuan immediately turned back to look at the person who offered to help. Unexpectedly, it was his Lan Zhou Wang uncle. This made him a little overjoyed. So he happily expressed his gratitude to Lan Zhou. Unexpectedly, Lan Zhou mocked him as an idiot. Lan Zhou's goal is nothing more than to compete with him for trials. At this moment, there was a sudden movement in the fierce herd of beasts. I saw the leader of the ferocious beast spitting out circular sound waves from his mouth. Three Chikugi trees. Fierce Beast 4 received instructions, average. Everyone opened the round shells one after another. Chin Mu instantly burst out a soul power beam. Everyone immediately realized something was amiss, but it's obviously too late. Wherever the soul power beam goes, there are explosions everywhere. Instantly. Slaughter all the soldiers of Long High Kingdom in their area. At the same time, within Long Way City, the Long High soldiers are guiding the tribe to evacuate. After leaving the city, head north, there is a secondary empty ship to assist. For Huang Miaoying's assistance, Longhai soldiers, thank you very much. After all, the other party has helped them solve a lot of trouble. But at this moment, the Longhai soldiers suddenly discovered, a large number of murderers have flown in from the south. Huang Miaoying quickly turned her head to look at the situation. For him, although they are all ants, 
But as the quantity increases, it's only using Ms. Sue's. He's still not easy to handle. However, as he pondered how to respond, suddenly, a beam of soul power burst into the fierce beast in the air. The fierce beast that couldn't dodge was instantly turned into flying ash. This scene boldly shocked Huang Miaoying. What a strong soul power beam, almost comparable to the attack of the soul generals of the origin star. But why is this fluctuation of soul power so familiar to life? I haven't waited for Huang Miaoying to figure this out yet. Another beam of light instantly killed two ferocious beasts, and the person who made the move was Song Yunxiang. At this point, he has already obtained 400 trial points. A shrimp earns 80 points, but one arm only gave 100 points. The balance of Xyalanch is still not very good. After all, flying ferocious beasts can fly to the ground. In order to obtain the inheritance of the shark clan, Lan Shou started his own calculation, intentionally killing the killer next to other testers. My trial score is constantly increasing, but the opponent is stagnant. Unknown opponents are still grateful to him, Dain Wan. And at this time, within Longwei City, Huang Miaoyin is fighting against fierce beasts in the air, even if he tries his best. There are still civilians killed by lone ferocious beasts on the ground. The Dragon Sea soldiers who saw the situation unfavorable immediately launched a defense. I thought it was another fierce battle. Unexpectedly, the ferocious beast was instantly killed by a beam of light. And it was Song Yunxiao who took action against them. Although killing the ferocious beast resulted in a trial score of 100. But the people saved were not given points. How did Xiaolan set it up? There are plenty of loopholes. Unexpectedly, Xiaolan suddenly appeared next to him at this moment. And he stated that this was set according to his idea. Only by saving those who were supposed to die. Only then will they be divided. After learning about it, Song Yunxian felt embarrassed repeatedly. At this moment. Xiaolan reminds him that a large number of ferocious beasts are attacking. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxian immediately pulled his bow full. Kind enough to remind Huang Miaoying to be careful of the fierce beasts behind her. Then a beam of light shot towards the ferocious beast. In an instant, the fierce beast in the air was instantly turned into flying ash by him. At this moment, the soldiers of Longhai suddenly realized that something was wrong. Originally, it was a flying beast that was attacking amphibians. Fierce beasts are transported by air to the city. With the release of the flying beast, a few shrimp were parachuted to the ground. Upon seeing this, the Longhai soldiers immediately called for support. Airborne ferocious beasts appeared in the streets of Shear District. This also made Song Yunxiang feel a bit tricky. After all, using bows and arrows in the city is not very suitable. So he immediately transformed the cloud giant bow into a sky-breaking claw. Then he quickly ran towards the fierce beast. The blind horse's battle record broke through the sky and the seven waves were instantly killed. In an instant, the blind horse was dismembered by five horses. This scene left the soldiers of Longhai feeling a bit scared and uncertain. I have no idea what just happened. I only saw a string of blue remnants. Immediately after, the fierce beast was completely slaughtered. At this moment, Huang Miaolin on the roof was somewhat surprised. Mass production machines in Tiandu country, paired with weapons I have never seen before. Not only are there terrifying long-range attack methods, even in close combat, it is incredibly powerful. Such a powerful force. It's comparable to the soul generals of the origin star. But at this moment, Song Yunxian was thinking in his heart. The power of this body is quite impressive. Soul power consumption is also lower than expected. Barely able to meet his minimum standards. At this moment, Xiaolan suddenly spoke up. Sun Shangning didn't say he made the changes like this before. Third trial. Not to be able to select. Are the braves truly guarding the future of the shark man? Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang immediately stated that he did not want to, but this answer drove Xiaolan crazy, just because Song Yunxiang's current score is higher than others. This makes Song Yunxiang feel a bit embarrassed, but this is a rare opportunity. He also wants to do more data testing. After all, there is no loss generated in the secret realm, but soon, Song Yunxiang's painting style will change. Blaming Xiaolan angrily, why did she stay by his side all this time? Don't keep an eye on those two shark people. Seeing this, Xiaolan had to reluctantly sigh and leave. Meanwhile, at the coastal defense line of the southern gate of Longwei City, Su Yenching is hiding behind a giant rock. Wrath and rebuke indiscriminately for suspected ferocious beasts. If it weren't for his timely evasion of the attack, I'm afraid this matter has already passed away. And on the other side of the battlefield, a pair of Dragon Sea soldiers are opening their shields and forming a circle. Their actions not only saved themselves, but also and also protected Lan Kuan and Lanzo. This shocked Lan Kuan very much. 
But in the end, he still expressed gratitude to the Longhai soldiers, but the Longhai soldiers made him not polite. After all, thanks to his previous help, as for the attacks of those ray ferocious beasts, there seems to be a certain interval of time. At this moment, it is a good opportunity for them to counterattack, so they launched a charge without saying a word. During this period, Lan Kuan also paid attention to Lan Zhou, but I found out that Lan Zhou was already nowhere to be found by this time. Seeing this, Lan Kuan no longer paid attention to it. Follow the soldiers from Longhai to kill the fierce beast in Xixian. Unexpectedly, the fierce beasts in Xixian have started to gather strength again. Seeing this situation, the Longhai soldiers immediately activated their weapon as the spirit armor formation. The attack of the ferocious beast in Xixian came in a flash, but they were all blocked by the spirit armor formation. At this moment, the Longhai soldiers reminded Lan Kuan. After the attack of the ray beast, a brief vulnerability will be revealed, and let Lan Kuan seize the opportunity to kill him. After the attack of the ray beast, Lan Kuan seized the opportunity and jumped up with a leap. Aiming at the radiation ferocious beast is like flying into the air. Unexpectedly, it was tightly gripped by the false shell of the radiation ferocious beast. But for Lan Kuan, it's not enough yet. He immediately killed the ray beast with his double swords on. In an instant, he cut off both legs of the ray beast. The unstoppable radiation beast collapsed on the spot with a loud roar. I don't want to be outdone by Lanzhou at this moment. One move achievement, Whirlpool Strangulation. Instantly kill the ray beast. Seeing this, Lan Kuan had to dodge and withdraw from the attack range. But Lanzhou stood on top of the radiation ferocious beast, secretly delighted. Sorry about that. Uncle Wang, the eldest nephew of Lan Kuan. My favorite thing is simplicity. Although Lan Kuan is extremely angry about this, but still kindly remind Lanzo, be careful behind your back. Seeing this, Lanzo quickly jumped and retreated. At this point, the Hu Yan letter had also arrived. Launch an attack on the radiation preparing for a surprise attack. I don't want to, but I can't hurt any ray beasts. Damn it. This thing will shrink the fake shell to defend against long range attacks. If there is no means to crack the fake, difficult to cause effective harm to him. Just as the Hu Yan letter was pondering countermeasures, protuberant defecation, I saw Lanzo suddenly appear behind him, aim at him and launch a fatal blow. Others are all fighting monsters to earn points of heartbreak, but he was hiding on the side and conducting a surprise attack. The purpose is to eliminate others from the competition, to win the inheritance of the Shark Clan by oneself, becoming a layman of Ao Bingxing's sole general. Now it's just the right time for him to seize the opportunity. So he launched a surprise attack on Hu Yenxin without saying a word. Unexpectedly, Hu Yenxin discovered it in a timely manner, although he managed to dodge Lanzo's fatal blow in time. But in the end, I got kicked by Lanzo's spaceship. At this moment, Hu Yenxin has discovered that the person who attacked him is Lanzo. So he immediately launched a counterattack against Lanzo. Kellen Zhou quickly slipped into the ground, successfully dodged the attack of Hu Yenxin. Feeling so angry that I couldn't help but curse on the spot. I haven't waited for him to recover from his depression yet. The ray beast is gathering strength again to launch an attack on him. Panic in the face of. Hu Yan Xian activates the ultimate body technique. Tossing vine clothes to avoid the ray attack of fierce beasts. Obviously, this is also a helpless move. The only way now is to hide under the fierce beast. This way, we can avoid indiscriminate attacks from radiation beams. Just think of this delay letter and start taking action. I saw him unleashing his body techniques to the extreme. Tossing and turning in the rotan clothing room. A sliding shovel came under the fierce beast's body. The bottom is the blind spot of his ray attack. But he hasn't finished speaking yet. The radiation ferocious beast has already opened its bloody mouth. Upon seeing the situation, the delay signal was immediately redirected to the muzzle and aimed. I only heard a loud bang. The ray ferocious beast was pierced by four beam holes. The moment of explosion. Even if the Hu Yan letter dodges and retreats. Surprisingly thrilling. He is also celebrating. Killing the ray beast can earn 300 trial points. Now his trial score has reached as high as 790. Just as he was calculating the score. The fierce beast Xiaomama suddenly launched a surprise attack on him. The timely notice of the delay letter quickly jumped up. After several flips, retreat to a safe distance. Immediately launch a beam counterattack against Xiaomama. The small Xiaomama ferocious beast scored 80 points. A medium-sized ray ferocious beast earns 300 points. That flying ferocious beast doesn't seem to be very strong. I guess it's about the same score as cursing. There is only one giant ferocious beast in the distance. 
I don't know how much trial powder he is. I'm afraid killing him is the key to this trial. The so-called saying is that the speaker has no intention. Listener's intention. What was just said in the Hu Yan letter has already been heard by Lonzo. Is that giant turtle? It is indeed so. If we could bring him over, maybe we can sit and reap the benefits of fishing. Thinking of this, Lonzo immediately fled underground, heading towards the direction of the giant turtle and ferocious beast. Meanwhile, on North Gate Street in Longway City, Song Yunxian has already killed those blind horses that parachuted in. At this point, North Gate Street is obstructed by the bodies of ferocious beasts and building debris, difficult to travel with. So the Long Hai soldiers commanded the masses, take a detour from the streets on both sides, and Huang Yaoying. At this point, it is shooting and killing flying beasts in the air. When the blind mother was killed, the flying beast immediately wanted to escape. But how could Huang Yaoying easily let him go? I saw Huang Yaoying throwing the weapon blade out of her hand. The flying ferocious beast immediately had its head shaved off. Two ferocious beasts also smashed towards the crowd on the ground. See this scene. Song Yunxiang couldn't help but feel quite emotional. At least it's also an old holy sword that has lived for nearly a hundred years. How do you feel? He is not good at handling things. The outbreak of favor in the city should. No, he's just practicing in seclusion for decades, right? But he will first choose to protect the retreating masses. This is beyond my expectations. And it can also be seen that. He is learning. Try to avoid accidentally injuring the masses in battle as much as possible. This is a good start. Just as Song Yunxiang was stunned, a cursor suddenly launched a surprise attack on him. Unexpectedly, Song Yunxiang was too lazy to turn around. I saw that his backhand was a blow to the ferocious beast, blindly cursing and being split in half. This surprised Huang Miaoying who rushed to the rescue. So he opened his mouth and asked Song Yunxiang who he really was. The holy rank stronger has cycled countless times in the heart demon illusion realm, just because he's waiting for his father's return. Little did they know that his father had already been killed, and Song Yunxiang, out of kindness, he used healing to transform into the appearance of his father, help him escape from the centrifugal magical realm. Who knew that even if Song Yunxiang changed back to his original state, Huang Miaoying still has an inexplicable sense of familiarity towards him, even suspecting that he is his own father. Just now, after killing the blind horse that attacked Song Yunxiang, and signaled to Huang Miaoying behind her not to be nervous, he is just an ordinary passerby involved in the secret realm. But Huang Miaoying couldn't believe it at all. Just because I was in Xiching district before, he vaguely sensed something was wrong. Perhaps this person was hiding his figure at that time, track behind them, but Song Yunxiang bluntly denied it. I can't help but feel curious in my heart. Only relying on Huang Miaoying's holy level 6, it should be impossible to detect his covert methods. I believe it was just Zhuge Liang bombing him afterwards. However, Huang Miaoyin is still questioning. Previously, during the first retreat of the divine rank, that shark can suddenly escape from the pursuit of a dragon, seize the opportunity to open the secret realm. I'm afraid this person is also secretly helping out. Perhaps it could also be an ally of that shark man. Unexpectedly, Song Yunxiang asked him not to guess blindly. I just met those few people once, at least in the current trial. They both belong to the same camp. Why don't we work together to resist dampness first? Let's talk about it after completing the third trial. Then Song Yunxian leapt to the east gate and rushed towards it. Leave only Huang Miaoying to ponder in place. Before being drawn into the secret realm. I didn't even notice this person's existence. If this person's cultivation is not above mine. I'm afraid there may be some special means involved. And soul power fluctuations. Why do I feel a sense of familiarity? If we talk about special covert methods. Is this person also a high level array mage? At this time, Song Yunxiang had already arrived at the East Gate. He immediately used a jade box to retrieve the map of Longway City. Now there are three people defending against the damp beach line. One person protecting refugees in the city. I was supposed to personally participate. I just want to take a look. The simulated battlefield generated by this illusion. What is the actual experience? By the way, we will conduct a test on the body and armament. At the same time, it can also serve as an outsider player. To balance the line of defense against dampness, the distribution of rescue forces within the city. In theory, with the combat power of those three people, the beach defense line should be able to hold on for a while longer. Why did this situation occur? Then Song Yunxiang called Xiaolan over. Then he spoke up and asked what had happened. Why did the south gate defense line collapse so quickly? Xiaolan is also angry about this matter. 
That's exactly what his tribe Zio Bilan Zio did. That dog not only doesn't go directly to resist the enemy, still making small moves behind the scenes to drag down teammates, shameless score grabbing, playing sneak attacks. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang immediately expressed his concern. That's why I said I need to modify the rules of the third trial. Do you think Star Soul handed Ao Bing over to someone like this? Will he shoulder the responsibility of guarding your tribe? Upon hearing this, Xiaolan's face showed a fierce and vicious expression. I decided to get this guy out of the game. Sun Shang Waju, we need to be able to end this heartbreak now. Let another young shark be the inheritor. At this moment, Song Yunxiang signaled to him not to worry. Still need to have a beginning and an end. Look at the outcome of the entire heartbreak, but it can be accelerated to advance a bit. When 50% or 60% of the residents escape from outside the city, Song Yunxiang immediately asked Xiaolan to place the coffin pillar. Conduct the final stage trial. After Xiaolan responded, she disappeared directly into place. Song Yunxiang also decided to rush over and take a look. Meanwhile, outside the south gate of Longwei City, Lan Kuan is desperately killing the ferocious beast. But at this moment, the fierce beast shrimp Na has already attacked it. Prime Minister damn it. The defense line still cannot withstand the attack of fierce beasts. I don't know my fellow shark people. Has it been safely evacuated from outside the city? At this moment, the giant ferocious beast suddenly let out a howling cry. Then we began to take big strides forward. And at this time, the Hudian letter was fighting against the fierce beasts in Xixian County. I also noticed the same thing. The giant ferocious beast sitting there actually moved. Just as Huyan Xian was stunned, Lanzo suddenly emerged from underground. Snatched and killed the killer in Xixian County. The Huyan letter was so infuriated that it jumped on the spot. Aim your foot at Lanzo, it's a firepower output. But he was mocked by Lanzo for being an idiot. Still looking around during the battle. Shouldn't it be that the monster was robbed? This makes the Huyan letter even more infuriating. Swear that Lanzo will pay the price for this. Unexpectedly, he fell into Lanzo's scheme. When the beam of the Hu Yin signal attacks, Lanzo quickly lowered his body to avoid it. Then he fired several beams of light towards the giant ferocious beast to attack. Then he burrowed into the ground and disappeared without a trace. This made the Hu Yin letter feel a bit confused. Before he can understand what's going on, Lanzo's attack has already hit the giant ferocious beast. The giant ferocious beast instantly became extremely angry. Immediately let out a burst of moans and screams. Only then did the Hu Yen letter begin to understand. Nalan Zhou was just in him. Its purpose. I just want the giant ferocious beast to command the herd to beat him up. Facing fierce beasts flying from all directions. The Hu Yen letter can only be exhausted from running for life. See this scene. Lan Kuan couldn't help but feel a bit strange. Why are all the ferocious beasts heading towards that red body? Soon he realized something was wrong. So he immediately wanted to rush to provide support. But it was stopped by Lan Zhou suddenly drilling out of the ground. Wait, Lan Kuan. Wang Jiwang uncle. I actually have a good idea. Taking advantage of the boy from the Hu Yin family attracting the herd of beasts. Now, it's a good time for us to go kill that giant turtle. Think about that unique giant killer. The score will definitely be very impressive. And also, we can take this opportunity to catch them all in one go. They were originally lifelong enemies. Unexpectedly, there was also a day when we fought side by side. Just because the shark prince Lan Suan is upright, provide assistance to the Hu Yen letter that is surrounded by moisture. This move surprised even the Hu Yen letter. When it is learned that, Lan Kuan is not simply giving him a helping hand. And it's also for the tens of thousands of people behind us. His view of Lan Kuan has also begun to change. Just now, since the leader of the ferocious beast issued a command, the herd of beasts launched a total attack on Dragon Tail City. The Longhai soldiers were instantly surrounded by a herd of beasts. The battle line was also dispersed accordingly. Many soldiers are buried in the mouths of fierce beasts, and on the periphery of the beast tide, Lan Zhou is using a trick to lure Lan Kuan into loading the chamber, claiming that this is a good time to kill the giant ferocious beast. If Lan Kuan doesn't go with him, then he can only enjoy this achievement alone. Who knew that Lan Kungan didn't want to talk to him at all? One flipped over and jumped up, then left him. This made Lan Zhou a bit furious. Damn it, this little fool didn't fall for it. Did you see through my conspiracy and fail? Forget it, hide in the dark for now. Let's find other opportunities. After speaking, Lan Zobin drilled into the ground. Meanwhile, Hu Yenqin is still struggling to support under the siege of fierce beasts. At this moment, Lan Kuan rushed to help. 
I saw Lan Kuan raise his hand and kill one of the killers with one move. And in the Huyan letter, the person who came was Lan Kuan. Although curious, but I didn't say much either. Afterwards, the two of them began to unite to kill the enemy. And Xiao Lan on the city wall is watching everything. At this moment, Song Yunxiang also came to his side. Seeing this, Xiao Lan immediately shrank her figure. And tell Song Yunxiang that the third phase will start as soon as possible. The coastal defense line almost collapsed. Now only the two people in front of us are still barely together. Upon learning of it, Song Yunxiang immediately bent down to take a closer look. The Prince of the Shark unexpectedly joined forces with the eye-protecting young master in battle. This has made Song Yunxiang. Some of the initial expectations were not met, and with the addition of Lan Tzu into the battle, the Hu Yan letter has also become much easier. The ferocious beast also suffered heavy casualties in the fierce killing of the two people. In leisure time, the Hu Yan letter expressed gratitude to Lan Kuan. He didn't expect it either. One day, they will fight alongside the warriors of the shark tribe and he also entrusted his back to the other party. Kalenkin's thoughts are not at all these. Now the coastal defense line has almost collapsed, but as long as one more ferocious beast can be killed, can buy more time for the evacuation of residents in the city? I don't want to. Hu Yenching reminded him that this was a breakup in a secret realm. I don't know if it's as the guardian of the secret realm said. It's hard to say if this is a real city. I can't handle everything in front of me well, but they were all created in a secret realm. Now. They are still in a competitive relationship under the scoring rule. If this is just a fantasy generated by a secret realm, isn't it a bit of a disadvantage for Lan Kuan to show off his skills? However, Lan Kuan doesn't think so. The city behind him has tens of thousands of residents. Soldiers pick up weapons to protect their homeland. Whether this place is a fantasy or reality, his principles will be implemented to the end. Even if it's not a city in Longhai behind me. Not a common people of different ethnic groups, such as the shark people. If it were a city of imprisoned fanatics, the people of Tiendu Creek, he is also like this. Countries go to war for their own interests. Warriors gambling on glory and fighting is another matter, but the people are all innocent. It's also good to face the damp human race, whether it's the demon tribe or not. We should all abandon urban construction. Enemy Kai. Lan Kuan's words plunged Huyan Xian into contemplation. He started to think that Lan Kuan was still a bit interesting. Meanwhile, within Longwei City, Huang Miaoyin is supervising the effective evacuation of the people. Now he also knows, only by killing life, only civilians who are threatened by fierce beasts will score points. But I just don't know how it was determined. Thinking of this, Huang Miaoyin's eyes suddenly widened. If this illusion, it is based on a certain real event that has occurred, and the generated, those civilians who were rescued and provided scores. Actually, it was in that period of real history. Unfortunate victims. The vicious beast tide is a tragedy. Absolutely not to let him. Recreated in the city of the creek pool. Including all intelligent races that have created civilization. They shouldn't have died so shamelessly. At this moment, only a beeping sound was heard. The police circle issued a warning to residents that the rescue mission has ended. Final completion rate 47%. Holy level ferocious beasts are about to start attacking the city. All testers quickly head to the south bank defense line to gather, jointly fight against holy level ferocious beasts. On the way to the destination, Huang Yaoyin occasionally thinks, a monster with the power of a holy level ferocious beast, only the holy rank strong and the primordial star soul generals can be mobilized to fight against one another. Trial cultivators who are suppressed on the ground level based solely on a few cultivation levels not necessarily able to withstand the holy level ferocious beast, but no matter what, it's not worth him exposing his new soul to smell. It's better to wait and see what happens first. And at this time, at the south gate of Longway City, the Longhai soldiers under the city are fighting against fierce beasts. The soldiers on the city wall are adjusting the muzzle angle. I only heard a command. The cannons rushed out at lightning speed. In an instant, countless ferocious beasts were blown up into flying ash. Smoke dissipates. The ferocious beast has been killed or injured a lot. At this moment, the soldier leader immediately shouted loudly for the 5th battalion to remain behind. The soldiers of the 4th battalion followed him down the city wall to kill the enemy. Then they all jumped away, kill the fierce beast, and on the other side of the city wall. Huang Miaoying has now arrived by Song Yinxiang's side. With the combat power of this city, it's impossible to stop that holy rank killer at all. Even if we add a few realms, the tester suppressed on the ground level. That's just a drop in the bucket. 
What is the significance of this trial? Is it really to evaluate and sort out the saints? Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang did not retaliate. If I tell you, not long after, the Southern Wilderness Joint Defense Line, an outbreak is about to break out. The scale is thousands of times larger than this one, and it's affected by dampness. After listening, Huang Miaoying couldn't help but be shocked. How could this be possible? Even with the current level of dampness, there has never been a history of Shishue Kingdom before. If it's a thousand times, relying solely on the Iron Armed Army of Tiandu and the Qingyao Army of Shishue, bring thousands of soldiers. The Great Wall of Nanhuang cannot be defended at all. However, Song Yunxiang told him, that's true. That wave of longevity directly engulfed the Great Wall of Nanhuang. Iron Armed Army, Red Luan Army, Qingyao Army, thousands of soldiers all died in battle. Nanjo and Tiandu and Shanshua Road in Shishue, they were completely captured. Millions of innocent people died in vain in this disaster. Then Song Yunxiang took out the secret realm jade box, using the power of the jade box, based on one's own memory screen, directly projected onto Huang Miaoying's corpse C. Huang Miaoying felt as if she was there in an instant. The damp holy level ferocious beast appeared with many moles. The people are like ants in front of fierce beasts. There's no strength to fight back at all. When Huang Miaoying saw, after the tragic situation in Yongan City, Nanjo, Tindu, his face was full of disbelief. The purgatory-like scene on earth made him extremely frightened. By the way, there are holy ranks guarding the entire city. He should be able to take action. Upon hearing this, Song Yunxian lowered his head and let out a light sigh. As far as I know, no holy rank has taken action in the entire city. The entire Shishue Mountain South Road has been engulfed by the tide. Under the resurgence of tides, how can the whole city live alone? Upon seeing this, Huang Miaoying quickly questioned Song Yunxiang, how long will the Korean War break out? And Song Yunxiang immediately extended two fingers, less than two months left. After learning about it, Huang Miaoying was shocked. If it weren't for the delay caused by the news of being removed from the divine rank, according to the original plan, in order to help Song and I break through the holy level triple, at this point, they have already gone to Shindu, conduct at least three months of seclusion. Is it possible that he, what is said is not empty. Why am I so willing to trust him deep down in my heart? And his soul power fluctuates. How could I have an inexplicable sense of trust? To prove that what I said is true. Song Yunxiang directly summoned the power of healing. Memory footage of the upcoming outbreak of a beast tide. All projected onto Huang Miaoying's corpse C. The scene of the human race being slaughtered by fierce beasts is like a human purgatory. The scale of the beast tide. Huang Miaoying was a bit stunned based solely on his and Sunni's two holy ranks, plus the fighting power between Quan Cheng and the royal family. I'm afraid it's also difficult to turn the situation around, but with just a few words from Song Yunxiang, how many more projection images are there? I just want to deploy the troops of the absorbent suit. It's simply impossible, unless more evidence can be presented to prove it. However, Song Yunxiang apologized for this, just because he can't provide any other evidence. Upon seeing this, Huang Miaoying scolded Song Yunxiang on the spot. Who the hell are you? If you don't even reveal your identity, how do you make me believe in you? How to persuade the empress and the court? Upon hearing this, Song Yunxiang pondered slightly. The secret of rebirth. He definitely can't expose it. Since that's the case, then he can only find a way to deceive Huang Miaoying. Thinking of this, he immediately resolved Go Zhuang. Then simulate the soul power fluctuations of the airship. Song Yunxian's sudden change in soul power surprised Huang Miaoying greatly, so he immediately resolved Go Zhuang. Without saying a word, he rushed towards Song Yunxian. At this moment, he is already in tears. The person in front of him is his father whom he hasn't seen in a long time. Before long, he threw himself into Song Yunxian's arms. Years of grievances were suddenly released. Meanwhile, at the south gate of Longwei City, Lan Kuan and Hui Yangxing are still fighting against fierce beasts. But unfortunately, there are many fierce beasts, they are already struggling to resist. Your body is better at long-range attacks. You can go and support the station on the other side of the city wall. Two lines of defense. Hurry up and get out of this gap. I'll take care of your situation. Not waiting for Lan Kuan to finish speaking. Suddenly, he kept cursing blindly and rushed towards them. But it was killed on the spot by the artillery of Hu Yan Xin, faced with an endless killer. The soul power of the Hu Yan letter is already depleted. For now, let's not worry about trial scores or anything else. As his teammate, Lan Kuan is quite reliable. And Lan Kuan never expected such a day to come. 
he would actually fight alongside people from other ethnic groups in Huyen. Unfortunately, they will all come to an end in this trial, but they all have some reluctance in their hearts, facing the giant ferocious beast in front of me. When I was in the distance before, I haven't felt his terror yet. I only found out when I got closer now. This ferocious beast is probably not just a heavenly level, at least have a holy rank or higher. Seeing this, Lan Cohen couldn't help but exclaim despicably, in front of the holy rank, we are simply powerless. The classical Chinese Huyan letter patted his shoulder, encourage him not to give up. During the second trial, they are facing a human clone, still persevering, come here. And he did it knowing it was impossible. It has always been the historical creed of his Huyan tribe. Even if it's about to end here, he also wants to fight against the strongest enemy, Hua of Huyan letter. Lan Kuan also strongly agrees. As a prince from a different tribe of shark people, he couldn't watch the fierce beasts break through the city wall, capturing the people of the Dragon Sea Kingdom, even if they die in battle. The royal family and warriors should also die before the people. Continuing, he will use depth as bait to attract the enemy's attention, but it was immediately stopped by the Hu Yan letter. No, my body's mobility and remote means. Better than you. I'll catch the attention of that giant turtle. Your collective explosive power is strong. You are responsible for finding opportunities to give him a fatal blow. And ultimately, it all boils down to the inheritance trial of the shark clan. It's also because of my intervention that causing unexpected incidents. If you're lucky, I can really get a score for killing giant turtles. I hope that person is you. After speaking the Huyen letter, he rushed towards the giant turtle. At this moment, the giant turtle also roared and issued command race to the herd. The ferocious beast immediately charged up and launched an attack, but they were all dodged by the Huyen letter. At the same time, he also reminded Lan Kuan to search for opportunities at the tail of the giant turtle. Lan Kuan immediately responded and went forward, and the Huyen letter is responsible for attracting firepower ahead. Faced with a group of attackers flying towards us, his artillery fired one shot. It's just one, the killer who occasionally jumps into the air and strikes the ground, when his soul power beam, when it's about to hit the back of the giant turtle, suddenly blocked by a tentacle in time. Seeing this anger, Hu Yenching couldn't help but be shocked, but he hasn't fully recovered from the shock yet. The giant turtle's tentacles have captured him. Oh no, I really need to play this time, but it's better not to die in the hands of those little minions. Later, Hu Yenching was dismembered on the spot by the tentacles of the giant turtle. They were originally lifelong enemies. Unexpectedly, he became a friend fighting side by side in the secret realm. In order to enable Lan Kuan to inherit the Ao Bing lineage, Hu Yen Xingxing, she chose to sacrifice herself to fulfill Lan Kuan's purpose. Just as Lan Kuan was preparing to deliver a decisive blow to the giant turtle, unexpectedly, Lan Hao, which was hiding in the dark, suddenly broke out. Aiming at Lan Kuan is like a spaceship. Lan Kuan was kicked out so far in an instant. Lan Zoza immediately launched a performance vortex to strangle the enemy. The giant turtle was immediately ground to seven meat and eight vegetables. Then he fell to the ground with a loud bang. See this scene. Lonzo couldn't help but grin and in the end, it wasn't me who won. This huge score finally belongs to me, right? And Lan Kuan can only curse Lonzo shamelessly from the side. Unexpectedly, at this moment, the giant turtle suddenly let out a terrifying roar. Both of them couldn't help but be shocked by the situation. I don't understand what's going on here. Meanwhile, Hu Yan believed that after his death, he would be secretly exposed. Unexpectedly, the situation was transmitted to a secret space. The collar is still there. Is it that the trial hasn't ended yet? At the moment of confusion in the Hu Yan letter, a light curtain suddenly appeared in front of him. It means that Hu Yangson is not a member of the Shark tribe, failed to obtain the qualification for Ao Bing's inheritance. At the moment when the Hu Yan letter was just starting to feel absurd, immediately, he began to hold his head in pain and howl. Continuing, he had many images of being damp in his mind. That feels like being in person. Why do these images appear in my mind? And that information, does it indicate that soon after? The southern wilderness will erupt and be affected by dampness. What's going on here? At this moment, Xiaolan suddenly appears. Number 2 Heartbreaker Hu Yanqing is out of the game. In half a second, you will be forcibly kicked out of the secret realm. Hu Yanqing was kicked out just as he woke up in shock, leaving Xiaolan alone in the same place, Hui. I don't understand. Why did Song Yunxiang show Hu Yan's letter those damp ones? An explosive scene. But that's not something he can worry about either. He just needs to complete the task. Meanwhile, 
On the battlefield of the second line of defense in Longwei City, Song Yunxiang is currently fabricating lies and talking nonsense to Huang Yaoyin. So it's probably like this. Strictly speaking, Wei's father did not take away the world or be reborn. This little guy named Song Yunxiang, just accepting the inheritance of Wei Fu's formation, carrying only a wisp of Wei's father's residual soul on his body. Although Song Yunxiang was speaking to Huang Yaoyin like this, but secretly, I have already been instructed. Copying the Star Master System. It's just that we can't replicate the data of Star Soul Descend in the Secret Realm. So we can only wait until we get out of the Secret Realm and find a way to get started. Unknowingly, Huang Miaoying. At this moment, I am already crying uncontrollably. Before that, in the Sand Sculpture City. It's really Daddy who has been following me all along. I should have thought about it a long time ago. Only Daddy's formation skills. To create a formation that shields the Holy Stone. Wang Yensong. Yunxiang can only continue acting. That's right. Originally, this song Yunxiang came to the Sand Sculpture City by accident. Because I saw your obsession with you. Only then did Wei's father's remaining soul be activated. In this secret realm. Father Wei obtained some permissions through the formation method. That's why I was able to appear and meet you like this. Wait until you leave this secret realm. The remnants of my father's soul. I don't know when it will dissipate. After listening, Huang Miaoying immediately hugged Song Yunxiang tightly. He wants to stay in this secret realm like this all the time. Just like when I was in Shikong Mountain. Unfortunately, Song Yunxiang can only continue to lie. Actually, as a father, this strand of residual soul can no longer sustain for long. Even in this secret realm, it should also dissipate quickly. As for the scenes of the beast tide erupting that I showed you, not long after. As it is now. Thousands of times more beast tide will engulf the southern wilderness joint defense line. Three years later, the entire eastern continent will be destroyed. When the time comes, whether it's a mystery or a stream, it's still raining in Longhai. No one can be alone. Ordinary people, ordinary people, heavenly level, holy level. None of you can escape completely. The third trial rule specially modified for my father. The purpose is to show you the tragedy that the mainland is about to face. I hope to entrust my strength to someone truly worth it. Being a father is not considered a natural plan. Only this little guy named Son Yunxiang, the only variable that can change all of this, guarding this continent. It is our responsibility as the guardians of our lineage. Song Yunxiang accepted his father's arrangement, doing some great things. I hope you can consider him as the reincarnation of your father. Do your best to help him, if that's possible. Even if the remnants of my father's soul are completely dissipated, also deserving of the trust entrusted by the elders and teachers of the sect. Who knew that the words had just finished? Several fierce beasts suddenly attacked. This just gave Song Yunxiang a chance to exit. Immediately, Song Yunxiang picked up Huang Miaoying to seize the way and flee. The ferocious beasts will immediately launch an attack on them. This move hit Song Yunxiang's chest. He should even use his soul power. Simulate particle effects of background shadow dissipation. Seeing this, Huang Miaoying couldn't help but be shocked. Quickly asked Song Yunxiang what was going on. Song Yunxiang quickly pretended to be the blow he had just blocked. Excessive consumption of soul power. Going to fall into a deep sleep. At this point, the attack of the ferocious beast also refers to. Huang Miaoying immediately blocked Song Yunxiang and roared angrily. Then he constructed a new soul. Wave soul zone casually. Countless thunderbolts bombarded the oncoming ferocious beasts. Those ferocious beasts were instantly killed on the spot. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly exclaimed. Back then, his small figure was just a little Amiao. Now it has grown into a strong person who can help the world. He is very pleased as a father. Xiao Miao, I hope you can continue to improve like this. After speaking, Song Yunxiang's figure began to dissipate. This made Huang Miaoying cry uncontrollably on the spot. But that won't help either. At this moment, the young Song Yunxiang had already appeared prominently. Where was it? What exactly happened just now? Song Yunxiang pretended to be confused and asked. Huang Miaoying did not answer his words. Just directly solved the problem of pile construction. The two of them then descended onto the city wall. Huang Miaoying couldn't help but shout daddy. But at this moment, Song Yunxiang clasped his fists and saluted him. Senior Huang, I'm under Song Yunxiang. Just now, I was in charge of the civil service. Before the senior disappeared. I have already been informed of the situation with my mind. Classical Chinese Huang Miaoying suddenly froze. But then he asked Song Yunxiang not to call him senior. Just call him Amiao. 
In order to obtain the inheritance of Ao Bing from the Shark Clan, Lan Zhoujing resorted to any means to become the sixth son, hiding in the dark and waiting for an opportunity to move, just as Lan Koen is preparing. When it comes to delivering a fatal blow to the giant turtle beast, Lan Zhou suddenly rushed out. Then take the opportunity to launch the strongest performance vortex strangulation. The head of the giant turtle was twisted into a flying gray colon on the spot. Zhou soon realized something was wrong. Although the giant turtle's head has already been smashed by him, but he didn't score for it. Is it strange that this giant turtle hasn't died yet? Just as he was puzzled, one side protrudes. The giant turtle's body slowly began to shake. The wicker pot ferocious beast attached to the giant turtle in an instant. One after another, they left the turtle base. See this scene. The soldiers in Longhai couldn't help but enjoy themselves. At this very moment, all those wicker beasts leaped up in one fell swoop. Immediately shoot a spike from the mouth and launch an attack. Red Sea soldiers were caught off guard and passed by in a flash. Then they were thrown into midair by the wicker pot ferocious beast. Then he launched a soul powered beam attack on them. Next second, their bodies were shattered by the bombardment. And at this time, on the side of Lan Kuan and Lanzo, a fierce barnacle beast is also launching a surprise attack on the two people. Seeing this, both of them quickly dodged the attack. But we haven't waited for Lanzo to retreat to a safe distance yet. The sharp thrust of the wicker pot ferocious beast hit again. This made Lanzo couldn't help but curse at goddammit. Suppressed on the ground steps, unable to relay in the air. Just as Lanzo was preparing to be tough, Lan Kuan suddenly shot out from behind the fierce beast vine pot. Sweep a thousand armies together. Just cut off the tentacles of the vine pot ferocious beast. Seeing this, although Lanzo expressed gratitude to Lan Kuan, but the trial score of this ferocious beast is a sure thing for him. He's taking a quick step. Launch a performance vortex strangulation on the vine pot ferocious beast. The wicker pot ferocious beast was instantly killed by its combat skills, and Lan Kuan could only greet Lanzo in the distance for a while. Kellen Zhou is now very happy. Just because he killed the fierce beast vine pot, obtained him 500 trial powder. At this point, the Tinghu ferocious beast launched a soul power beam attack on him again. But he caught it in time and dodged it. Seeing this, Lan Kuan doesn't intend to stop here either. Frankly speaking, let Lanzo deal with those two fierce barnacle beasts. He turned around and was about to leave. Unexpectedly, he was stopped on the spot by two other fierce barnacle beasts. Without hesitation, launch a soul power beam attack on him. Lan Kuan can only quickly dodge and avoid. This ferocious beast is very good at attacking targets in the air. If you can't grasp the timing of jumping well, it may only become a torch for ferocious beasts. During speech, Lan Kuan has already rushed towards the fierce beast Tinghu, seize the opportunity and take a leap forward, launch the achievement Dragon Moon Slash, Vine Pot Ferocious Beast. In an instant, he was killed by his Dragon Moon Slash. He just returned to the ground, launch a Dragon Roar next to another Barnacle Ferocious Beast. In an instant, the fierce beast of Tinghu was killed by the Dragon Roar Cannon. Subsequently, Lan Kuan obtained 1000 trial points. At this point, his trial score has reached 3060, but his soul power has also been exhausted. At this point, a thunderbolt suddenly fell from the distant city wall. Lan Kuan quickly looked up. What is that? Strong soul power pressure. Is it those two people? Surprisingly, there are strong individuals of this level among them. At this moment, Xiaolan couldn't help but be shocked as she watched everything. What is this star soul general? Why does it look like it's even stronger than Ao Bing of our tribe? On second thought, Xiaolan quickly vetoed it again, bah, our clan's Ao Bing is the strongest star soul general. The other star souls will all be spicy chicken in front of Ao Bing. Isn't that respected? Where are you singing again? Please, be a good person. Due to the continuous growth of giant ferocious beasts, the medium-sized fierce beast dragon sea soldier was instantly suppressed. Heavy casualties. And in order to turn the tide of the battle, Lan Kuan resolutely decide to reverse the soul pulse. Burning soul power illuminates the body of a giant ferocious beast and self-destructs. Finally, it was the human side that defeated the fierce beast tide. Turns out it was not long ago. On the battlefield of the second line of defense outside Longwei City. At this time, the Longhai soldiers are being slaughtered by fierce beasts. The reason is, the suddenly emerging Tinghu ferocious beast is powerful. Dragon sees soldiers in front of them. There's no strength to fight back at all. Even if the Longhai soldiers were to, the ferocious beast unleashed its full force to strike. But it cannot shake the fierce beast of Tang Lake at all. 
Just because the false appearance of the rotan pot ferocious beast is too hard, and they were directly swatted away by the vine pot ferocious beast, next is to launch a soul power beam attack. Upon seeing this, Lan Kuan immediately flew up, showcasing achievements and leaping forward in a cage. I only heard a loud bang. The wicker pot ferocious beast was killed on the spot, but in the end, it was still a bit late. Those two long high soldiers. At this moment, seeing our soldiers being completely suppressed by fierce beasts, Lan Kuan angrily punched the ground. Damn it. This difficult and fierce beast not only has long range shooting capabilities, medium range physical attacks can also be tricky. The strength of the shell can also withstand ordinary melee weapons. The armor of the long high soldiers is simply difficult to deal with. Is it my illusion? Why are there more and more damn ferocious beasts? Lan Kuan seemed to think of something and immediately turned around to take a look. But the following scene surprised him greatly. I saw countless fierce beasts emerge from the giant turtle's body. This giant turtle is constantly breeding this medium-sized ferocious beast. No, we have to take down this giant turtle beast. But how can we make him stop proliferating? Suddenly, Lan Kuan's face turned very pale. Seems to hold a belief that one must die. The next second, he was emitting blue flames all over his body. Obviously burning soul power. Lan, who is hiding in the dark, will not let roast. Lan Kuan is a little idiot. Unexpectedly reversing the soul pulse and choosing self-protection. Realizing something was amiss, he quickly slipped away. At this time, it is already the peak of Lan Kuan's soul power overflow. So he immediately jumped up. Flying towards the giant turtle. Arrive. The fierce beast of Tinghu Lake, approaching danger, immediately intervened to block it. The tentacles instantly broke Lan Kuan's arm. Immediately after, Lan Kuan's limbs were twisted to pieces. But even so, still unable to stop it. Lan Kuan already holds the belief that he will die. To perish together with the giant turtle. Just as it was about to fall into the giant turtle's body, Lan Kuan apologized to his mother. He failed to take good care of himself. With a loud explosion, the ferocious beasts around the giant turtle were annihilated by the explosion. Lan Zhou in the distance is watching everything. He couldn't help but mock Lan Kuan for being an idiot in his heart. Believing that this is just a ridiculous cowardly behavior. Only dogs can have everything in the end. What he didn't expect was that. At this moment, the danger is condensing. I saw a soul power arrow rapidly attacking. He hasn't had time to dodge yet. The soul power swordsman had already exploded him on the spot. And the person who made the move was Son Yunxiang. This kind of garbage will never understand what sacrifice is. After speaking, Son Yunxiang understood Go Zhuang in his heart. In order to persuade Huang Miaoying to withdraw from the dispute over the inheritance of the shark people. Song Yunxiang stated that, promised the inheritance of the guardian of the secret realm, Ao Bing. The consequences that can only be handed over to the shark. I don't want to. Huang Miaoying has no interest in the inheritance of the shark people at all. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but smile awkwardly. So we need to use healing to end this trial. But was immediately stopped by Huang Miaoying. Wait, we need to have a beginning and an end to our work. Clean up this battlefield. See if the power to take action can be recognized by this seat. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang immediately agreed. Also inviting Huang Miaoying to clean up the battlefield together. Then the two of them began to file a complaint. In an instant, two envoys, the soul of the source star, appeared prominently. Without saying a word, the two of them rushed directly to the battlefield to kill the enemy. Quickly exploded and won four victories. Wherever they went, all the ferocious beasts were slaughtered. At the same time, in the mysterious space of the secret realm. At this moment, Lan Kuan was slowly opening his eyes. What caught the eye was Xiao Lan waiting for him. In order to save the people of Longwei City, Lan Kuan resolutely chooses to sacrifice. I self-destructed just to die with the ferocious beast. Unexpectedly, it was a blessing in disguise. Through inheritance testing, so as to have the opportunity to inject the blood of the real dragon, the ultimate form of the shark clan. Only then can the state be displayed. Just recently, because Son Yunxiang couldn't stand Lanzo's petty behavior, so he shot a soul power sword and killed him. He was inexplicably teleported out of the triple secret realm. Damn it, what happened just now? How dare someone sneak attack me? Where is this again? Have I already failed? How could it be that the bonus points did not qualify for inheritance? What kind of thing is this special? Not waiting for Lanzo to finish speaking, the formation passport began to gradually shrink and become smaller. No matter how much he shouts resistance, it's useless. Until the formation passport disappeared with him. Meanwhile, in another secret realm core space, 
Lan Cohen also woke up after self-destructing. He hasn't figured out what's going on yet. Xiao Lan has already started congratulating him on passing the trial and gestured for him to look at the light wood behind him. The silly and sweet prince is upright and kind. Earn a total of 10,980 points. Congratulations to Prince Lan Kuen for obtaining the qualification for inheritance. Suddenly, everything made him feel a bit unbelievable. Until Xiao Lan admits it herself. Now I have taught a clan to inherit the identity of guardians. Junka. Lan Kuen became the 10th generation amateur of the Star Soul General Ao Bing. After finishing speaking, Xiao Lan will directly initiate the inheritance ceremony. In an instant, a beam of energy rushed towards Lan Kuen. Massive amounts of data began to enter his mind. According to legend, Ao Bing's data still needs some time. Xiao Lan began to pay attention to the situation on Song Yunxian's side, and on the southern gate battlefield of Longwei City. Huang Yaoying is driving the flying blade to slay the ferocious beast. The power of thunder accompanies it on both sides. I saw six flying blades wrapping around the giant turtle and cutting it. The next second, the turtle shell was cut in half. Upon seeing this, when Song Yunxian fired another sword, the exploding golden box was split by Huang Niaoying's sword. At this time, the giant turtle's body is also divided into two sections. After killing the giant turtle. After relieving the suppression of the realm, is it true? One move can instantly kill the giant turtle. Unexpectedly, Huang Niaoying did not think so. Although the combat power of this giant turtle is only three peaks of the holy rank, the difference in combat power for each of the 12 levels of the holy rank. It can be compared to a great realm of mortals. Even so, Huang Miaoying hits with all her might with the 6th level of the holy rank. It's also difficult to achieve a one-hit kill against this half-disabled giant turtle. It's hard to imagine. This level of ferocious beasts appears in large numbers simultaneously. How terrifying that would be. As for the 12th level of the holy rank, it is the so-called holy rank. It's just a pity that Song Yunxian's soul vein was incomplete in the previous generation, unable to further reduce, helpless but to continue to break through horizontally. Just as Song Yunxian was pondering deeply, Huang Miaoying suddenly spoke up to inquire. She has already lifted the suppression of her realm, hasn't she? Why is her realm still suppressed in the later stage of the Earth's level? Upon seeing this, Song Yunxian could only awkwardly shift the topic. That's right. Now let me show you your trial results. After speaking, he used healing to project a light curtain in front of Huang Miaoying. Due to Huang Miaoying not being a member of the Shark Tribe, therefore, they did not obtain the qualification for inheritance. After reading it, Huang Miaoying was speechless for a moment. This crude thing was actually created by Song Yunxian, and there was no point in killing that holy level ferocious beast. Just as he turned to look at Song Yunxian, that gorgeous interface made him mock for a while. But at this moment, Song Yunxian was thinking of a crooked idea. Based on the information inside the secret bath box, this area should belong to the real area. The current state is the same as outside the secret realm. Thinking of this, he pulled out a chaotic talisman. Wait a moment, the secret realm will be lifted. We will go back to the original situation. I'm afraid the soldiers from Xia Yubwa have already surrounded me. This is the surrendering of the lost soul that I previously captured. I don't think you want to expose the identity of the water absorber, do you? At the moment when the soul was subdued and handed over to Huang Miaoying, I didn't expect the new main system to have no response. This made Song Yunxian feel a bit confused. In theory, this is the real area. It should be possible to copy the data of the new soul generals. But for some reason, it's not possible. At this point, Huang Miaoying has already taken over the soul surrender. But he believes that the holy order wants to leave. Who can stop it? As for whether Song Yunxian has a different perspective on him, Song Yunxian could only smile awkwardly. Then I'll find a reason to just leave. In an instant, Song Yunxian arrived at the core of the secret realm. He immediately inquired about the progress of inheritance. Xiao Lan will answer immediately, and there is still one last step left. According to the great dragon sea king, first generation Ao Bing, the inheritance process developed by the amateur blue eyes adult. Finally, to inject true dragon blood into every generation of Ao Bing's ordinary people. Enable it to obtain the ultimate form of the shark race. After listening, Son Yunxiang couldn't help but be shocked. True dragon blood. Why inject this kind of thing into Ao Bing's ordinary people? Upon hearing this, Xiao Lan immediately fell into memories. It seems that Lord Blue Boy mentioned what Starlight Planet was. And God doesn't like contaminated containers. When I heard about the Starlight Plan and the container, Song Yunxiang was even more shocked. 
immediately asks Xiaolan where this thing comes from. How many more are there now? Xiaolan is not talking nonsense either. Directly open the door of space. In an instant, the two of them arrived at the bottom of the secret realm. And Song Yunxiang, it has also been reset back to its original appearance when entering the secret realm. Just when he was puzzled, why is this place not under the control of secret healing? But Xiaolan gave him the answer. Respectfully, this is the lowest level of the secret realm. This space is a special real area. The blood of the real dragon was drawn from him. I don't know if it's much or not. Unexpectedly, the one who possesses the blood of a real dragon is actually a child, and he's also a reformer. Its strangeness made Song Yunxiang feel uncomfortable. Legend has it that it was also due to the emergence of modified humans. It ultimately led to the destruction of the previous era. Just recently, Xiaolan took Song Yunxiang to the bottom of the secret realm, and it indicates that the blood of the true dragon comes from the person in Guangzhong. In principle, that person is more like a puppet with partial life forms. This immediately made Song Yunxiang think of transforming people. So he instructed Xiaolan to quickly open the coffin. After Xiaolan's operation in front of the coffin, the coffin slowly opened in front of Song Yunxiang. What appeared before his eyes was suddenly a reformed person. At this moment, Xiaolan curiously asked, What is that doll? Actually, Song Yunxiang is not very clear either. He is just in the literature of the northern continent. I have seen something similar before. It is said that several eras ago, a race that cannot cultivate the star soul two veins, in order to achieve the same level as the human race, the power to control star soul generals, created a technology similar to body modification. The product of that technology is transforming people. After hearing this, Xiaolan is not friendly, praising Song Yunxiang for his extensive knowledge and knowledge, and suggest whether or not to activate this person. Take a look at classical Chinese. Song Yunxiang immediately stopped and said that he must not seal it properly. Hurry up and leave this place. After speaking, he walked towards the portal without looking back. Actually, there are still speculations in the literature. It is precisely because of the emergence of reformed people that led to the destruction of that era. It's hard to say exactly what's inside the coffin. In case of hostility and loss of control, that would not be worth the loss. It's better to throw him here first. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang suddenly stopped in his tracks. That one who doesn't inject the blood of the real dragon, will it affect Lan Kuan to become an Ao Bing Su person? After receiving Xiao Lan's inability to answer, he no longer paid attention to it. Just because that transformed person, bringing him some unpleasant premonitions, then Song Yunxiang and Xiaolan left this space. Meanwhile, Lan Kuan has already received the transmission from Ao Bing. He just landed. Those inherited skills continue to emerge. It hurts so much. It seems like there were countless things just now. Information was forcibly forced into my mind. Did I really become the star soul general Ao Bing Su? Then let me see how to use it. As he spoke, he began to pretend his soul was strong enough. But let him change all the cool postures, he won't be able to fit in. Not right, according to the information injected into the mind. That's enough to pretend like this. But why can't it still be enough to pretend? Is it that some link went wrong? Just as he tried to pretend again. Suddenly seeing Xiaolan and Song Yunxiang teleporting in. Xiaolan couldn't help but wonder where he was causing trouble. And Song Yunxiang didn't know either. Just as a ritual for socializing with the human race. Or just a celebratory dance move. Little did they know that at this moment, Lan Kuan was looking embarrassed. Not bad. It seems that you have become a layman of the new soul general Ao Bing. Xiao Lan spoke with praise. Seeing this, Lan Kuan quickly thanked Xiao Lan for her completion. By the way, I also asked who Song Yunxiang was. Xiao Lan immediately replied that it was his superior. Upon hearing this, Lan Kuan was somewhat shocked. What kind of respect? Isn't he the tester who was unexpectedly drawn into the secret realm? After listening to Lan Kuan's words, Xiaolan couldn't help but be furious. The little thing is so embarrassed that it's reckless. This esteemed one is profound and unfathomable. Unlimited power. It's Lord Guardian, my master. Pay attention to your manners, little thing. After hearing that Song Yunxiang is the master of the Guardian Lord, Lan Kuan was greatly surprised. Master of the Guardian. That's a legendary existence. So, so. He immediately reported his name and paid respects to Song Yunxiang. Song Yunxiang quickly asked him not to be polite. Star Soul entrusted Ao Bing to him. I hope he can use this strength to protect Dong Damu well, as their hands touch each other. The star system, however, did not respond. Seems to be in a secret realm. 
the ability to replicate star soul generals will be hindered. The replication capability of the Star King star system, is it related to the Star King? At this moment, Lan Kuan suddenly spoke up, interrupted Son Yunxian's thoughts. Its meaning refers to, just now, I was trying to construct the star soul will Aobing, but it didn't succeed. I hope the two adults can give me some guidance. After learning about Lan Kuan's ideas, Xiao Lan immediately indicated that it was normal. After all, Lan Kuan is not the first to encounter. It's just that in this secret realm space, it's impossible to construct at all. Just leave the secret realm space and you'll be fine. I see. So how do we get out? I can't wait a bit. I want to try the power of Xinghu and Zhang Ao Bing. Lan Kuan urgently spoke. Seeing Lan Kuan like this, Song Yunxiang doesn't drag him down either. Just take out the jade box and prepare to go out. At this point, there are many targets waiting outside for Lan Kuan to try the knife. And Xiao Lan saw that Song Yunxiang was about to end the secret realm trial. He immediately disappeared in front of the two of them. Meanwhile, Lan Zeo was still shouting in the formation cage. But soon, he received the news that the trial of the inheritance secret realm had ended. I haven't waited for him to react yet. But the person has already been kicked out of the secret realm by Xiao Lan. The same goes for the other side of the secret realm. Huang Yaoyin was also forcibly kicked out of the secret realm. At this time, in the first retreat area of the Divine Stage outside the Sand Sculpture City, there is very little left that has been mined in the first retreat of the Divine Rank. At this moment, a portal suddenly appeared in the sky. Then suddenly several beams burst out from inside, just landed right next to the Divine Step and exploded. Upon seeing this, soldiers from the Sand Sculpture City immediately began their vigilance. Thieves appear. Quickly, all the constructed star souls will surround and kill them. Since the failure of the third trial assessment, the Huyan letter followed the dragon subduing pursuit back. He also owes McKinsey a favor this time. More importantly, it requires McKinsey to provide a count. He wants to buy the African ride directly. Unexpectedly, McKinsey asked him not to be so polite. It's just a transaction. Africa will treat him as a gift given to him along the way. The Huyan letter can only be accepted with a smile. At this point, it has already exceeded the boundaries of the Sand Sculpture City. McKinsey also began to bring up another part of the transaction. After the two of you and the fire thief mysteriously disappeared, suddenly appearing again, what exactly happened in between? Interpreting the interlinguistic nature of classical Chinese, it's not a big deal. What he knows, it is estimated that the intelligence collected by McKinsey is also similar. Those arrogant identities should have been known by the My family. And the star soul general Ao Bing is also likely to be displayed soon. I can't hide these things, those two unfathomable mysterious powerhouses. I don't think the My Family can find anything either. As for that demon tribe child, even the My Family couldn't detect any abnormalities in him. Maybe it's just a slave palace that was unfortunately caught up in. Seeing that the delay letter was not truthfully disclosed, McKinsey smiled and reminded him, everyone is smart. Don't think you're out of the influence of the sand sculpture city. That's the naive idea of being able to default on payments. Hu Yan letter helpless. We can only start talking about it. Actually, this matter. We need to start from our presence in the central urban area. Encountering those two groups of shark people. You also know that. The shark man and our Hu Yan clan. Having a never-ending feud. Discovered signs of infighting between these two groups. Uncle F.A. and I followed closely behind him twice. The Hu Yan letter is like this. Avoiding the heavy and neglecting the light. It tells the story of being caught up in a secret realm, but McKinsey still questioned whether he had concealed anything, but the Hu Yan letter stated that what was said was true. Zhu Yanfa failed in the first trial, kicked out, although he hit the third level, but it also ended in failure, and he was also deducted 10,000 points because he was not a member of the shark tribe. There is simply no participating experience to speak of. Here the secret realm of the shark clan. If it's not a member of the shark tribe, fees will still be deducted. My gene, if you have some thoughts. Soon. He thought it might be the legendary star soul general Ao Bing. Chuan Chang is trapped among the mermaids in the secret realm. One side is infiltrating the entrance of the My family. The other side is the person who is chasing the disciples. As for the others, McKinsey still wants to know who it is. But I don't know about the Hu Yan letter either. In the secret realm, he just briefly met those two people once. He's also difficult to judge. Or it could also be at the retreat of the divine stage. It's just getting caught up in an accident. This immediately made McKinsey realize. The target of those two people may be the divine stage's leg. But it's hard to say either. 
Maybe it could also be a helper hired by the shark side. As for the shark who infiltrated the my family, it seems like it's also for the sake of the divine rank. Perhaps it can be used as an ear. Make a game of catching turtles in a jar. Just as Mackenzie was pondering his strategies, the servants suddenly came to tell him, the people in the secret realm have all come out. See here. Mackenzie immediately informed the delay letter that there was an urgent matter that needed to be dealt with. Afterwards, I hastily hung up the video call. And the Huyen letter also knows what's going on. He even bitterly laughed that Mackenzie might suffer a big loss this time. The Huyen hair on the side has actually become quite angry. That dragon subduing cone is clearly an addition to Huyen. However, Mackenzie claimed that it was a seizure of war spoils. The lion opens its mouth wide. Extortion. They, seeing the delay letter, please don't get angry with him. This time, I can retrieve the magical tools from Anchio's house. It can also be considered an unexpected joy, as long as it can make the elderly happy. Paying some price for this is not worth mentioning. I'll send this message back to grandpa and report it to him first. Meanwhile, in the first retreat area of the divine stage outside the sand sculpture city, Song Yunxiang and his companions have already appeared next to the retreat of the divine rank. After Zhao Rengyu completes the inheritance, also restore the original appearance. Lan Kuan saw the situation, immediately fly forward to grab it. Unexpectedly, he was ambushed by Lanzo from behind. This makes Lan Kuan itch with hatred, helpless for a moment. At this time, Lanzo had already lost the protection of the shark jade, change back to the appearance of a shark. What an idiot, out of the secret realm. How could the small steps in Pingli be my opponent? Unexpectedly, his words did not end. But Song Yunxiang has already taken action against him. In an instant, Lan Zhou was imprisoned by the formation. I haven't waited for him to resist yet. But the formation has shrunk. Imprison him into a group. At this point, Song Yunxiang and Huang Miaoying both silently put on their hats. Just because those soldiers from the sand sculpture city rushed towards them. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang bluntly urged Huang Miaoying to take action. Without saying a word, Huang Miaoying took out her soul general costume to cover up enough. In an instant, a powerful and domineering new soul general, appearing in front of everyone. The soldiers of the sand sculpture city were all stunned. What kind of organism is in front of me? Why can't we recognize it? Unexpectedly, Song Yunxiang deliberately spoke up. This is the holy envoy of the heavenly holy sect of Myron Kingdom. The kingdom of Milun has already partnered with the barbarian kings of the Xia Yuba royal court. Sign an agreement. How dare the soldiers of Shadayo City have grudges against the Holy Envoy? The soldiers who don't want to be in the Sand Sculpture City remain unmoved, determined to catch them before speaking. Even if Song Yunxiang and his team are truly in a prosperous era, I never thought the soldiers of the Sand Sculpture City have caused trouble for themselves. I saw Huang Miaoying's weapon blade spinning and flying out. The leader of the soldiers in the Sand Sculpture City was cut off by the waist. Upon seeing this, soldiers from the Sand Sculpture City rushed forward one after another. But they all give Huang Miaoying a head as a gift. At this moment, Song Yunxiang reminded him to leave some survivors and go back to break the law. Then evacuate towards the southeast at 5 o'clock position. Huang Miao leaped up in response to the sound. When landing, grab the nearby divine step and retreat the crystal. At this point, Song Yunxiang still doesn't forget to blame Milun Guoping Tian Shang Zone. Only then did he leave calmly. Only the remnants of the sand sculpture city are left to face each other. It took them a while before they realized it. Urgent task. We need to quickly gather information about the appearance of the Milun people. Report to General McKenzie. Meanwhile, General's mansion in the western urban area of Shadayo City. McKenzie is currently in a rage. Soldiers returning to report the news. We have already reported the entire incident. As for the new organism. McKinsey also guessed that it was a throwing shoe secretly developed by Marin. I just didn't expect the other party to be a heavenly level powerhouse. And this woman snatched away a divine sword in one leg. At this moment, McKinsey suddenly spoke up and asked the soldiers if they had any. Take a picture of the appearance of the envoy. Is it a woman with dark skin and a big chest wearing a mask? The soldiers in classical Chinese answered immediately. This woman is wearing a headscarf. My face was never clearly visible but she is indeed a fierce woman. After learning about it, McKinsey clenched his fists tightly. One of the four great envoys of the Manluoping Heavenly Holy Sect, a powerhouse at the pinnacle of the heavenly rank, damn Milun Manchu. But what kind of alliance was signed with Xiaoyu Wangting? Dare to come to my sand sculpture city and act wild. 
Send orders to bury all the sacrificed sand sculptor soldiers. Also notify the other three generals. Arrange an ambush in the city tonight. Prepare for their night raid at night. Those who commit crimes in the future are bound to be beaten up. Although he is a heavenly rank powerhouse. What is the origin star soul general? As long as my father's deadly weapon carries. They are just some local chickens, tiles, and dogs. They dare to appear again. Absolutely leaving them with no return. Meanwhile, the head of the Huyan family, Huyan Kong, is currently video communicating with Huyan Xian. Heard about Huyan Kung. His grandson Huyan Xian benefited greatly from the sand sculpture city. So he asked the Huyan letter to explain its process. But the Huyan letter indicates that Huyan Kong should not be in a hurry, claiming that there is a treasure that needs to be shown to Huyan King now. Seeing this, Huyan Kong also became interested. Immediately bend down and look quietly. He didn't want this thing, but it made his heart skip a beat. That's right, this thing is the dragon subduing cone. That's what happened back then. He Jia used the magic weapon to kill Lan Aeon Ace. Could it be that you were in Sand Sculpture City this time? Encountered the shark tribe of Long High Kingdom. Classical Chinese Hokage letter. Not only the shark tribe. Also mistakenly involved in the inheritance secrets of the shark clan. Go through three trials. There are also mysterious powerhouses in the secret realm. After listening to the description of the Hu Yan letter. Huayang King sighs. I didn't expect him to be the younger generation of the Hu Yan clan. Unexpectedly, there was a chance to infiltrate the inheritance secret realm of the shark clan. Experience it. Speaking, there is also a secret realm in the spiritual beads of his Hu Yan clan's inheritance. I don't know if it's also similar to the shark tribe. Although Huayang King has not actually experienced it. But I have heard from several older brothers who participated in the previous round. It seems that they are also talking about the triple secret realm. Upon seeing this Huyan letter, immediately question Huyan Kong. The scenes and information he saw at the end. What exactly does it mean? Not long after. Wild and damp. The downfall of Yongan City. The fall of Nanjo. Those scenes are extremely realistic. As if it were a first-hand experience. The oppressive feeling of dozens of huge ferocious beasts. It's like he's in a secret realm. Like a holy level ferocious beast encountered. After listening, Hu Yen Kong pondered slightly. The power of the secret realm is extremely mysterious and terrifying. Perhaps this is really showing you. A predictive picture of a certain future. Since the information you saw did not specify the specific time. Let's investigate first. At least the location is still clear. After all, the Hu Yen tribe is a vassal of the heavenly empire. The ancestors of the Hu Yen family back then. Once followed Emperor Taizu to conquer the eastern continent created the unification of the world. Now the empire is divided into three parts. We don't care how they fight a civil war, but if foreign enemies come to attack, so he's from the Huyan family. Never allow the people of the heavenly empire to be slaughtered by thieves. We cannot tolerate the territory of the heavenly empire being reduced to territory. The external enemy is still like this, not to mention the ferocious beasts and the human race. Let's encourage each other to see what Hu Yenkong said. The Hu Yen letter also expressed its doubts. I don't want to shout, but I do chuckle. For hundreds of years, he lurks the Hu Yen tribe in this barren land, looking north to the central plains, just waiting for someone, being able to inherit the will of Emperor Taizu, determined to divide the continent, reunification of the Tianjia bloodline, and just Xia Yuba. It's just a matter of their extension and support. In the future, I will give it to that emperor as a gift. Sooner or later, it will merge into the unified imperial territory once again. Let's talk about it when we come back. I'm going to retrieve the dragon subduing cone and star soul generals now. News of Ao Bing's present life. Tell your ninth and one thing. The title of Shang Wen Yen Hu Yen Xian is immediately available. At that time, he will personally retreat from the divine rank and chase after the dragon subduing dragon. Afterwards, Hu Yen Kong hastily hung up his line of sight. Then take the elevator down to the underground of Huiyan Volcano. Then a person strode towards the Lotus Building in a meteor shower. Turns out he came to pay his respects to Zhou Jie Hu Yen Wei. That's the clue person for the Star Soul's descent to Neza. Hu Yen Wei looked at Hu Yen Kong and couldn't recognize him. After all, Hu Yen Kong looks much older. Unexpectedly, Hu Yen Kong was just a mortal physical body. The heavenly rank is only a hundred years old, and one's lifespan is far away. Nature will naturally age with time. I just don't know that his sister is currently in seclusion. Has it broken through the 8th level of the holy rank? Little did they know. Over the years, Hu Yenwei has absorbed the power from his appearance. 
It's just a matter of barely stabilizing one's cultivation and not falling. I want to make another round before the reinforcements run out. Actually, there's not much hope. After learning about it, Hu Yenkong expressed that. The Hu Yen letter has found the legendary Divine Steps leg. Maybe there's still a glimmer of turning point. Upon hearing these words, the nature of the beauty guard is timid and timid. Although we can give it a try, but we still need to prepare in advance. First select the next candidate to accept the inheritance of Nizha. I couldn't help feeling flustered when I saw this skincare hollow. Judge Yeah, this Yen protecting family cannot live without you. Can protect Yen Wei but signal him that it's okay. Even if his physical support runs out, relying on the power of spirit beads, he can still borrow that sentence. Incarnate to stay in this world for a period of time, and only the next Neza person will grow to the holy rank. After hearing the incarnation, Hu Yenkong immediately thought of the sentence in the Lingju secret realm. Subsequently, he also mentioned his journey to find the divine rank and retreat. Hu Yan luckily managed to retrieve the magical tool. When the Hu Yan guard saw the magical weapon dragon subduing chasing, excited in the heart, hurriedly leapt to Huayang King's front. Where was the questioning found? Hu Yan Kong was startled by his move, trembling to answer in the sand sculpture city. The shark clan used shark's desire to open up the secret realm. Activate star soul. Inherit Ao Bing's star soul. Find Ao Bing to the next amateur. Has that strong person finally found a successor? At this moment, Hianwei's thoughts have returned to the past. That was the moment when he killed Lan Ao. Although deeply sorry, but Blue Ao is not to blame him either. Everything is karma and retribution. Just because of his uncles and brothers back then, all died in the hands of Blue Ao. Now Blue Ao will compensate him with his life. It's just that Lan Ao asked him to agree to his request. Thinking of this, the Hu Yan guard immediately began to construct Star Soul stakes. In an instant, the Star Soul descended from Neza and the pile was formed. At this moment, Hu Yan Kong exclaimed in surprise, Why did he use his Star Soul so much to surrender Neza? Isn't it accelerating the consumption of Yuan? But the Hu Yan guard was not moved by this. Just because he has to go on this trip, he wants to go and see with his own eyes this ordinary person of Ao Bing. Meanwhile, Huang Miaoying and others have arrived at their previous positions. Subsequently, he liberated Go Zhuang. At this time, Lan Kuan was also thanking Song Yunxiang for his help. Song Yunxiang smiled and gestured to Lan Kuan not to be polite. Just call him Lao Song. This makes Lan Kuan somewhat flattered and surprised, claiming that even if Song Yunxiang is not honored, we should also refer to them as seniors. But just as Song Yunxiang held Lan Kuan's hand, the star system detected it. It is the data holder of star soul generals. If you want to touch a woman's face, what kind of method would you use? Song Yunxian, this old six, is not following an ordinary path. He actually disguised himself as the father that women miss. This makes the woman throw herself directly into his arms. He also got what he wanted and touched a woman. So he replicated the star soul he had been dreaming of. Jiang Wenzhong was just a moment ago. After Song Yunxiang and others evacuated from the first retreat area of Xinjie, Lan Kuan immediately thanked Song Yunxiang for his help. In the future, whenever there is a mission, he is willing to work tirelessly for Song Yunxiang. Song Yunxiang signaled with a smile that he didn't need to touch politely. Song Yunxiang has completed copying the star soul general Ao Bing, and Huang Miaoyin on the side watched this scene. He was wondering if daddy's consciousness had reappeared. At this moment, Song Yunxiang was also looking at him. What Ao Bing was thinking in his heart has now been replicated in his hand. Now when Zhong is right in front of me, there is no reason to miss it. However, this finger recorder is quite a headache. We need to find a way to directly contact the skin on a large scale. Now it's time for him to showcase his acting skills again. Apologized, Senior Sikong. Let me borrow your identity again. I'm not trying to take advantage of your girl. This is all to save the eastern continent. Thinking of this, Song Yunxiang directly transmitted the message to Huang Miaoying. After receiving the familiar soul power transmission, Huang Miaoying is overjoyed, because this is the Ah Dai that she longs for in her heart. Song Yunxiang also played the role of Huang Miaoying's father. The flight attendant originally thought that daddy's remaining soul had dissipated. Now outside of the secret realm, daddy can still appear. This made Huang Miaoying burst into tears of joy. At this point, Song Yunxiang expressed that sudden appearance was also a last resort. Appearing outside of the secret realm will consume a lot. Maybe it will eventually return to nothingness. After learning about it, Huang Miaoying felt a bit panicked and panicked. Immediately ran towards Song Yunxiang. Quickly embraced Song Yunxiang with a full embrace. Crying and shouting, don't let his dad disappear. 
Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang showed a helpless expression on his face. I can't serve my father like this. Strive against the sky. However, if we can find some precious spiritual medicines that nourish the divine soul, perhaps it can still have some effect. The classical Chinese imperial temple should be like catching a life-saving straw, claiming to be looking for it. No matter what kind of elixir daddy needs, he will mobilize all the royal power to collect. You can even go find her majesty the empress. I believe there must be everything in the treasury of Shishue country. At this point, Song Yunxiang had already put on a benevolent appearance. I apologize for insisting on such a lot. I will only give Huang Maya Yinping, adding a lot of trouble. Just as he touched Huang Miaoyin with his hand, the system immediately detected that it was Star Soul's data. Shi Yu has already started reading and copying data. Huang Miaoyin is still immersed in fatherly love. As long as I can still see my dad, no matter how much he does, he doesn't find it troublesome. For daddy's sake, even if it empties the royal family's assets, why not? Seeing Huang Miaoyin speak so firmly, Song Yunxiang can only be sincerely grateful. And watching the intimate relationship between the two on the side, it was quite drowsy. He was extremely impressed in his heart. Undoubtedly the guardian of the shark clan. Respected as the master. Surprisingly, even such a strong person was easily taken down. A strong person who used to be so cold and aloof. But now in Zun Shine's arms, there is such a small bird that is so charming. Respected as a role model for him. At this point, the system has already replicated the star soul and completed the soul transfer. Song Yunshan gently pushed away Huang Miaoyin, who was hugging him, fake to say that due to excessive consumption. Now I need to return my body to Song Yunshan. List of people who need elixirs. The remains of Song Yunshan have also been transmitted. Afterwards, Song Yunshan will tell him. Then Song Yunshan switched to Xiang Yo Xinxing. Use soul power to create some special effects to increase the atmosphere. That's what made Huang Miaoyin believe. His father has already left. At this point, Song Yunxian had transformed back into a youthful appearance. Now the Star Soul Generals Ao Bing and Wen Zhong have both been obtained. Spending so much time on this, it's really not easy. Thinking of this, Song Yunxian quickly and respectfully paid his respects to Huang Miaoying. Unexpectedly, Huang Miaoying asked Song Yunxian not to call him a senior. Just call him a Miao. Song Yunxian, who still sells well despite getting a bargain, immediately indicate that it is ready and Lan Kuan beside him was filled with shock in his heart. Good guy, respect me for becoming a beautiful young man in seconds. The immortal's method of picking up girls is indeed extraordinary. It seems that I guessed well. I'm afraid I'll respect you. And the immortal family bestowed upon the first dragon sea king Ao Bing. What does it have to do with it? No, I need to be even more respectful to you. Respectfully capable. At this point, Song Yunxiang suggested that Huang Miaoying leave her contact information. List of spiritual medicines required by Senior Sikong. He will publish later. Huang Miaoying saw the situation. Huang Miaoying also returned the Red Soul Descending Talisman to Song Yunxian. After receiving the Soul Descending Talisman, Song Yunxian thought to himself, Huang Miaoying's second life standby for Milun, did not show any surprise. It seems that Shishue Kingdom may have already grasped this news. Thinking about, Song Yunxian took out some pills and gave them to Huang Miaoying and it means they're just low-level pills. Perhaps it may be necessary at a critical moment. And then he also pointed out that the first retreat of the divine rank is too large to carry. He came to help Huang Miaoying deal with it. I saw him take out the formation symbol and throw it into the air. The formation instantly begins to plunder the formation. Replace the last few steps with the seal formation. The effect should be better. As the divine rank retreats, he is surrounded by the formation. In an instant, Song Yunxiang compressed him into the formation symbol. Then he handed the formation symbols to Huang Miaoyin. Huang Miaoyin didn't expect it either. Song Yunxiang is so skilled in using the ceiling formation. What a terrifying array talent. But Huang Miaoyin still reminds Song Yunxiang to be careful. Song Yunxiang's body is not just himself. After listening, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but smile awkwardly. It can only indicate that one will have a sense of propriety. Who knew this would make Lan Kuan's face blush with embarrassment? What kind of body is not revered? Unexpectedly, this sentence can come from such a cold and powerful person's mouth. At this moment, Huang Miaoying doesn't want to stay any longer. Say goodbye to Song Yunxiang and leave directly. After Huang Miaoying left, Song Yunxiang is slightly sorry. We can only seek compensation when there is a chance in the future. Then he casually threw Zhao Ringyu to Nan Kuan. And then he said he wanted to go back to San Sculpture City. Take something. What are your plans for Lankuan? 
Unexpectedly, Lan Kuan insisted on following Song Yunxiang, because he has now obtained the power of the star soul general Ao Bing. It should be able to help Song Yunxiang. At this moment, Song Yunxiang waved his hand to him. It means it's just infiltrating. It's best not to engage in combat. Then Song Yunxiang took out the hidden talisman. Infiltrating in broad daylight can be more unexpected. At this moment, Lan Kuan quickly said, his subordinate Lan Li may have been caught by the seller. If there happens to be an opportunity, I hope Song Yunxiang can easily rescue Lan Lan. Song Yunxiang is not talking nonsense either. Just take a detour and start in the opposite direction. But Lan Kuan pointed out what Lan Cao should do. Seeing the situation, Song Yunxiang immediately added a hidden text to Lan Zhou. Then he buried him directly underground. Meanwhile, in the Demon Clan detention area on the third floor of the Mecha Dungeon, Lan Li has been beaten into a pig's head. The leader is giving orders. After dark, everyone enters a first level alert state. At this point, a soldier hurriedly asked if he wanted to transfer the iron guard. Slaves bought. In case of any accidental injury, iron whistle is to be blamed. But the leader didn't take it seriously. Just because we are currently following General Maijing's orders, and the demon tried boy who was caught back, still sleeping soundly at this moment. The chubby guy just looked arrogant. I didn't expect to be beaten up by someone chubby the next second. He also sealed his heart with formation techniques. As long as he doesn't listen, that will be a sudden death on the spot. Just recently, located at the north gate of Shidayo City, Son Yunxiang and Lan Kuan are using hidden uniforms. Lurking here, the hidden suppression made Lan Kuan feel unbelievable. Not only can it block light, surprisingly, there was no sound of landing. The high intelligence of concealed suppression. The stealth cloak of the other shark race. Moving forward with this amplitude is like entering an uninhabited realm. Slaying enemies is like taking things out of a bag. Unexpectedly, Song Yunxiang told him that he was overthinking. How could there be such a good thing? Not to mention killing enemies. It's just that I accidentally didn't control it well. Those with strong soul power will also sense leakage. After listening to Bo, Lan Kunkai settled down peacefully not getting complacent about it. Soon, the two of them arrived at the prison location. The soldiers of Shidayo City didn't expect it either. Song Yunxiang and the other two will move forward in broad daylight. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly signaled to Lan Kuan not to speak up. It turns out that the leader of the soldiers in the Sand Sculpture City is speaking. According to General McKinsey's plan, you each lead two teams. Section 3 of the North Wall between Xiching District and Outer City District. Ambush General McKinsey. Liao Dingliang fire. Thieves kick for the divine rank. We will launch another night raid on Xiching district tonight. At that time, there will be a northern wall. It is likely to be the key location for catching turtles in a jar. You can arrange according to General McKinsey's plan. It's Lan Kanyefu whispering in Song Yunxian's ear. They're talking about General McKinsey. He is the leader of the four beauties of the Maijia in the sand sculpture city. Information we previously investigated. McKinsey is the eldest son of my Biao, the head of the my family. Although McKinsey is not a legitimate heir, but due to outstanding military management and cultivation talents, so it's highly valued by my Biao. Entrusted with important responsibilities, so the relationship between his younger brothers and him is not very harmonious, but it's strange to think about it. In theory, McKinsey is not the foundation of his illusory reputation. Why did he judge that we would come for a night raid? and they also set up encirclements and ambushes. I really don't understand. After listening to Lan Kuan's words, Song Yunxian signaled to him that it was okay. Just adapt to the situation. Meanwhile, at Maifu Pianyuan in Xiching District, Mai Jia Lao Si Mai Tai is brainwashing the girl. During this time, he also asked Mai Tong if he wanted to have a drink, but Mai Tong waved his hand to indicate not to use it. Just because Big Brother McKinsey attacked at night with thieves, on the grounds of stealing the divine rank and retreating once, setting up numerous traps in Xiching district. Unexpectedly, Mai Tai was furious on the spot after hearing this. What the hell, big brother? It's just a cheap thing for a maid girl. I'm afraid this grandson wants to monopolize the treasure of the shark race, right? Do you think we don't know? Classical Chinese Mai Tong rang. He can't say that. After all, McKinsey is the heir recognized by his father, the leader of the four beauties of the Mai family. This can once again annoy the wheat fields. What big brother? The head of the four beauties. He wouldn't admit it. Only Mai Tong and him are legitimate livestock. The true heir of the Mai family. He wouldn't take those two seriously. Wait for him to find the opportunity. 
get those two people down. At that time, the air will only be half for him and my tongue. After listening, my tongue warned him not to complain. After all, my father said that the four brothers should unite. At the same time, it also helps the wheat fields not to become addicted to alcohol and sex. Maybe they need to take action tonight. Unexpectedly, at this moment, my tie revealed a hint of sound, reassuring. I will be ready tonight, waiting for an opportunity to move. When the time comes, our brothers will work together to cut off that cheap thing. Seeing this, my tongue didn't say anything more. Just take a walk and leave directly. And because time is limited, my tie didn't go to the dungeon to play anymore. That's to give someone's advice. Just holding two girls and walking back. Who knew that Song Yunxiang and his companions had been ambushing him for a long time? Two people seized the right moment, jumped down in one fell swoop, quickly take action and knock the two girls unconscious. Then Lan Kuan gave Ma Tai a kick with his white leg. With a loud bang, Mai Tai was kicked to a distant corner of the wall. Mai Tai asked in horror who they were. Why does it appear here? But it was Lan Kuan's big fight that greeted him. You know who Ben Xiao is, Ma Tai scolds her in pain. Ben Xiao was embroidered by the Mai family. Mai Tai, you guys are doomed. Do you know who my brother is? Unexpectedly, Lan Kungan was already unhappy with him. It's another big fight for him. That's how he calmed down. Crying to Song Yunxiang and his companions not to act recklessly. His three brothers, Mai Tong, are right outside. Still a super powerhouse in the half-step terrace. But Song Yunxiang ignored it. Just putting a seal on him with all my heart. The government, Ma Tai, looks at the government close to the chest. Extremely frightened. I haven't waited to know what it is yet. At that moment, he had already started spitting blood from his mouth. So he quickly asked Song Yunxiang what he had done to him. Song Yunxiang also truthfully told him, claiming to have used formation techniques, sealed his heart. Just gently crush him and he will die suddenly. Upon learning on the spot, Mai Tai quickly knelt down to beg for mercy. No matter what Song Yunxiang asks him to do, he is willing to serve. I just hope that Song Yunxiang can spare his dog's life with a high hand. Song Yunxiang is not talking nonsense either. Immediately let him take himself to protect. So Mai Tai could only honestly lead the two of them forward. Although the road was smooth and unobstructed. But just as we opened the vault. Mai Tai is curious why the alarm formation was not triggered. Little did they know that this was all a clever way to conceal the government's wisdom. Seeing Mai Tai open the door and still dragging around. Lan Kuan punched his head again. Under helplessness. Mai Tai had no choice but to open the door and bring the two into the vault. Song Yunxiang quickly scanned one side of the treasure trove, but he didn't see the elixir he wanted, so he immediately spoke up and questioned the seller of iron. Where are the spiritual medicines placed? The iron seller immediately trembled and answered, The spiritual medicine is placed on the third underground floor, but he can't get in there either. Seeing this, Lan Kuan grabbed him and questioned him. Only then did he reveal his authority. Can only enter one level of treasure trove. Only Mackenzie and the owner can enter the second and third tier treasure trove. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang did not make it difficult for him. One snap of the finger makes it dizzy. Afterwards, instruct the new main system. Put everything in the treasure trove into the system space. In an instant, the treasure trove became empty. This shocked Lan Kuan immensely. I'll just wave my hand and loot everything. Your methods are truly terrifying. Ijin has set numerous traps in the Xiching district. Preparing to capture Song Yunxian alive at night. Unexpectedly, Song Yunxian was caught off guard. Almost emptied the treasures in the third tier treasure trove before the day. Finally, he infiltrated the dungeon to save the ordinary people of the Bull Demon King. Just now. After Song Yunxian finished searching for the first layer of treasure trove. Quickly entering the second layer. Inside, there is a dazzling array of things. Placed with various core crystals of ferocious beasts that desire to be replanted. Although most of them only have gold. But the quantity is astonishing. If we only count the quantity. Approaching the amount collected by Song Yunxiang in the south. This may also be the seller spending several years. Even the results collected over a decade. As for those metal refining processes. Star making soul craftsmen can only be considered ordinary goods. But refining cheap machines like Nega Beta. It's already enough. But at this moment, Lan Kuan was overjoyed. These are the crystals of the highest imperial rank in front of us. Some of them may have already reached the hanging boundary. In Song Yunxian's eyes, these are just inferior goods, deserving of his esteemed respect and reward. Indeed, it is unfathomable. At this moment, the box in the distance caught his attention. Soon, the two of them arrived at the box. Song Yunxiang is curious that the box can actually isolate soul power fluctuations. 
The material is definitely not average. I'm afraid there must be something inside that's really amazing. Upon seeing this, Lan Kuan immediately opened the box. What catches the eye is a complete cracked crystal. This makes Lan Kuan very happy. Got rich. Respectful reward is a priceless crystal of cracked air. Who knew he had just finished speaking? I heard Song Yunxian's roast. Just a piece of average quality. Little pitiful cracked crystal. Such a good box is used to hold such a rotten thing. Lan Kuan immediately searched the box in classical Chinese. Check if there are any valuable items hidden inside. But it disappointed him greatly. Below are just some shock absorbing fillers. What a bunch of ignorant idiots. Material of the box. I'm afraid its value is thousands of times higher than that of cracked crystals. I'm completely blind. Song Yunxiang sarcastically said. When he saw the starry gaze in Lan Kuan's eyes. I will immediately realize that Lan Kuan wants that cracked crystal. Seeing this, Lan Kuan quickly waved his hand. Indicates that something is too valuable. He dare not accept it. The treasure remains in Song Yunxiang's hands. To unleash greater value. But Song Yunxiang felt it didn't matter. What he wants is a box. He's too lazy to pick up this orange cracked crystal. It's better for Shang Wan Shu Ejia to have a beginner's bag. The quality produced is high. I don't know either. How will Shang Wan's senior sister do after returning to Tiandu City? Looking back, Song Yunxiang wants to contact him. Let's see if we can borrow some combat power from the upper officials. So far, Song Yunxiang didn't think much about it. Directly start the system. Collect boxes into space. Lan Kuan was shocked by the means of no spatial fluctuations. The feeling is completely different from that of storage clothing. Then Song Yunxiang waved his hand again. In an instant. Numerous ferocious beast crystals have been incorporated into the system space. Lan Kuan was curious why he had to keep half of it. Is it because the space is already full? Little did they know. Song Yunxiang wanted to give them some self-protection power. Although Xia Yu is about to become the enemy of Tiandu. But both are intelligent races that have created civilization. Son Yunxian also doesn't want to see. When they were attacked by fierce beasts, unarmed. Upon learning of it, Lan Kuan was stunned on the spot. The intelligent race that created civilization together. Do you treat both the demon and human races equally? The pattern of respect is really grand. It really makes me feel ashamed. Son Yunxian doesn't care about his praise. Just urging me to hurry to the third floor. Meanwhile, at the general's mansion in Xiching district, subordinates are asking McKinsey with unwillingness, why do we just let Huyen Jia go so freely, pushing with a divine step, leaving peacefully, but McKinsey said it's okay, now is not yet the time to fall out with Hu Yanjia, then he asked about the ambush in Xiching district, subordinates will immediately answer that deployment is already underway, it will definitely be completed before dark, he just doesn't understand a bit, why place the treasure trove of the first retreat of the divine rank, and the dungeons where the shark prisoners are held? In important areas, there was no deployment of troops to ambush, but according to McKinsey's speculation, the thieves should be divided into two groups of people and horses, the shark and the millen. The shark tribe wants to save their companions. The Mirren people are thinking of retreating from the divine rank, so the mecha treasury and dungeons are both bait. No matter which group of people comes, Seeing heavy troops guarding nearby, I definitely won't take the bait. Furthermore, teaching people that the lifeblood of captives is not valuable, and the fragments from the first retreat of the divine rank are all so large. Just leave it for thieves to move around casually, without using star soul generals. How many more rings can we move? As long as the three layers of encirclement they lay in ambush are closed layer by layer, that group of thieves will surely struggle to fly. Now we need to wait until it gets dark. Send a few elite soldiers from the Qing Guard. Go to the vault and the dungeon for a replacement. Make the elite ready to report at any time. As soon as those thieves appear, immediately shut down the network. After understanding. Immediate resignation of subordinates. Go ahead and deploy. At this moment, my Jing is full of confidence, isn't it? Not only did they covet me, but they also carved me into a leg in the divine realm. Surprisingly, they are secretly vying for the inheritance of the shark race. This time. See how general I managed to catch you all in one go. Meanwhile, on the underground third floor of the mecha treasury, Lan Cohen was exclaiming in surprise, the height and emptiness of this treasure trove. And as soon as the divine rank retreats, it is neatly placed aside. It seems that they must have put in a lot of effort. These things are so big. I don't know if the space above can still be fully filled. Just as he was puzzled, Song Yunxiang has activated the system storage. In an instant, 
all the divine swords disappeared as soon as they retreated. Continuing, they came to the storage box of the elixir, collecting so many spiritual medicines. The seller can also be said to be extremely wealthy. Soon, Song Yunxian succeeded in finding Wu Inhua as he had hoped, and it's still a full six pillars. It's really an unexpected joy. Song Yunxian doesn't waste time either. Directly start the system, all. In comes space, but this time, Lan Kuan is curious. Why don't we leave them half? I don't want Song Yunxiang to say. Just now, we left behind the materials for refining the mass production machines. It's out of giving them the ability to protect themselves. But once these spiritual medicines and divine ranks are withdrawn, they are all things that shape top-notch combat capabilities. The current eastern continent. Top-tier combat power. All used in the battles between countries. Knowing that they would become enemies. Leave them with the resources to grow. That is being cruel to one's own compatriots and comrades in arms. People can be kind, but we can't make mistakes. After learning about it, Lan Kuan suddenly realized. Regarding Song Yunxian's actions, he is immensely impressed. At this point, Song Yunxian has already started arranging the illusion technique for blindfolded eyes. With the stimulation of soul power, the illusion magic array is instantly generated. The projection created by illusion is like a physical object. You don't need to touch it with your hands. I really don't know if it's true or false. At this moment, Song Yunxian reminded Lan Kuan to bring his pulse iron. You can just throw the pulse iron underground at that time. Subsequently, the two of them infiltrated the detention area of the Mecha Dungeon Demon Tribe. The soldiers haven't even had a chance to discover Song Yunxian yet. The two of them knocked them down. Along the way, it was also troublesome for Lan Kuan to carry the cracked crystal with him. He wants Song Yunxian to enter the system space, but Song Yunxian signaled not to use it, just use the storage symbol to store it later. However, Lan Kuan is still puzzled and puzzled. Cracked crystal has inherent spatial properties. Why is it still compressed into storage symbols? Just as the two of them went to save Lan Li, Song Yunxian suddenly felt an unusual wave of soul power. It turned out to be from that sleepy demon tribe boy. Seemingly ordinary sleeping demon girl. Unexpectedly, it made Song Yunxiang feel extraordinary. He occasionally exudes a hint of authority. This immediately reminded Song Yunxiang of that realm. In his past life, he was disabled due to his soul pulse. After the twelfth level of holiness, the realm cannot be further advanced, can only be forced to choose. Choose to continue horizontal stacking. The realm that is close yet unreachable. He is no longer familiar with it. No mistake, that's a divine traitor. Just as Song Yunxiang was shocked, Suddenly heard the angry roar of Lan Kuan. When he looked at Lan Tsuan, the person is no longer present. Turns out it was Lan Kuan who had already broken open the prison door, arriving in front of Lan Li. And Song Yunxiang, who doesn't understand what happened. Still accusing Lan Kuan of causing such a big commotion. But in the next second, he will understand what happened. At this moment, Lan Kuan is supporting Lan Li, who is seriously injured. These bastards have hurt you so badly. Don't worry, Lan Li. I will definitely not let them go. At this moment, Song Yunxiang took out a bottle of elixir from the inner lining, and let Lan Kuan feed Lan Li one first. The importance of resuming action as soon as possible. When Lan Kuan took the pill, he couldn't help but be shocked. This is the three-star pill of the human race, the spring revival pill, and it's even more advanced than the rejuvenation pill used by his father's king. So Lan Kuan quickly explained, Lan Li is just a skin injury. He also has a strong ability to teach the human race self-healing. This precious pill cannot be wasted like this. Unexpectedly, Song Yunxiang asked him to speak less nonsense. Hurry up and feed it to Lan Li to eat. Lan Kuan can only feed Lan Li with a mournful expression on his face. Just a DJ little demon. Surprisingly, he was able to take even more advanced pills than his father's king. This can also be considered a mishap in Lan Li's life. After Lan Li took the pill. The wound quickly heals. In an instant, Lan Li was reborn. Unfortunately, his brief demon life did not learn any culture. At this moment, he only wants to use a human language to describe it. That's the sleeping trough. After Nyobi recovers, Lan Li will soon pay his respects to Lan Kuan. Seeing the revitalized Lan, Lan Kuan was deeply shocked in his heart. The power of the revered immortal is truly unfathomable. At this moment, Lan Li pointed at Song Yunxiang and asked who this person was. Lan Cohen, hurry up and buckle it up. Zhu Lan Li asked him to speak carefully. The person in front of me is respected. He is the master of the guardian of the secret realm. It is also a pill bestowed by the Lord. 
Lan Li Tsai was able to immediately recover as before. The immortal's methods can be described as unfathomable. Seeing this, Lan Li quickly pays tribute to Song Yunxiang. Thank you very much for Song Yunxiang's help. But Song Yunxiang is too lazy to talk nonsense to them. It's important to leave after completing the task at the moment. But Lan Cohen has a heartless request. That's just to save his fellow demons by hand. After learning about it, Song Yunxiang was also helpless. Just made him think it through. If you bring those fellow demon tribes with you, there is no way to rely on the hidden government. Appearing openly and honestly. They stay in the dungeon riding horses. I won't zombie on the street. If you take them away. Once a battle occurs. That's hard to say. But Kulankuan said there is no freedom. I would rather die than be enslaved by the demon tribe. And he believes in the methods of Song Yinxian's ancestors. I'm sure we can keep this group of elderly, weak, sick, and disabled safe and sound. Seeing this, Song Yunxian didn't say anything more. However, we need to develop a new backup plan that has been discovered. For this group of elderly, weak, sick, and disabled people, only Chu Lankuan can be entrusted to use as bait. Lankuan will immediately reassure Song Yunxian. He is willing to be driven by it. Then they began to rescue their fellow demon tribe members. Those prison guards were quickly brought down by them. Meanwhile, the elite team sent by Mai Jin also arrived at the Mai Jia treasure trove. At present, they are divided into two columns, ambush on both sides of the east and west. When taking over the treasure trove, the leader also asked the soldiers if they had found any abnormalities. The soldier answered immediately. Just a while ago, General Mai Tai visited. There is no abnormality. Upon seeing this, the leader immediately signaled to go down to the treasure trove to take a look. When I see all the treasures in the treasury behind me, the leader finally let go of his worries. You too. They are all elite ground level guards in the general's mansion. Wait a moment, you can change into the attire of the treasury guards. Mixed with the treasure trove guards. Moderate adaptability. According to General McKinsey's prediction. Later, the thieves will come to the treasure trove to steal one leg of the divine level. Remember, after the thief enters the treasure trove, don't startle the snake with the grass. Secretly monitoring their actions. Report the trend to the general's office in a timely manner. At this moment, the elite team from the mecha dungeon on the other side also arrived at the negative third floor where the demon clan was imprisoned. Just as the team is in the position arranged by McKinsey during the ambush, but suddenly realized something was wrong. The original dungeon guards are no longer visible. Is there something unexpected happening here in the dungeon? Two teams. Come with me to the dungeon and take a look. They will soon enter the dungeon detention area. But those imprisoned demon tribes are all here. No abnormalities were found. This makes the leader somewhat puzzled. Why didn't we just see the guards? But subordinates think that. Can it be the dungeon? We received a notification here. That's why we evacuated early. But the leader replied that he probably wouldn't. Still think those guards are neglecting their duties. Wait for this operation to pass. You must report to the general that they are guilty. Little did they know that they were hiding inside the formation and calling for help. It's just that the leader and others didn't see it. Meanwhile, Song Yunxiang has already taken Lan Kuan and others to Xiching District. Your Highness, it seems like we've been here before. This is not leading to the central urban area. Is that VIP channel in the effort market? Upon hearing this, Lan Kuan bluntly stated that it was good. When the guards are handed over, they started taking action. But Kalanli is curious. Why not leave the city directly from Xiching district? However, Lan Kuan told him, based on the intelligence from the wheat field, McKinsey is deploying troops to set up an ambush circle, trying to lure them to the north gate, so that we can catch them all in one go outside the city. So Song Yunxian's plan is, traveling eastward from Xiching district to Zhongqing district, avoiding the military deployment of the Mai family, leaving the city from the east gate of the effort market connecting the outer city area. Moreover, if there is any alarm, guardians are working hard and the market is mixed with races. It can allow fellow members of the demon tribe to, first, lurk in the slave market, will be affected by the battle. After all, the sand sculpture city is a precious property of the demon race slaves. Even if the situation is not good, they can also hijack Guizhou in the central urban area, as a hostage, convenient escape. Only after learning about it in the column did I suddenly realize. Also praising the ingenuity of Song Yunxiang's strategy. Along the way, Song Yunxiang was also speechless towards Zhang Liuye. Just now, I casually brought it out together. I didn't expect that guy to be still asleep. In his free time, he discovered that. The system is affected by sleep coma. 
Unconscious individuals do not produce reactions, but this guy is a demon tribe. It's hard to say whether it's a layman or not. But that trace of terrifying pressure. It also raises doubts about his true identity. As Song Yunxiang touched Zhang Liuye's leg, suddenly, a demon boy shouted out what he was doing. Upon seeing this, he immediately lifted his spear and slapped Song Yunxiang's hand away with his backhand. Who knew he was exerting too much force? The wound is bleeding again. Song Yunxiang immediately took out the spring revival pill. I don't want him, but I want Song Yunxiang to leave. He doesn't want to eat anything from the human race. However, the fragrance of Koden attracted a wild sniff from the demon tribe children. In order to rescue our fellow demon race members, Lan Koen uses his body as earwax, put on the star soul and cause Ao Bing to wreak havoc in the sand sculpture city, attracting troops from the city. Only in the end did the demon tribe compatriots escape from Shangtian. Just now, in the sand sculpture city, near the connecting passage between Xiching district and Zhongqing district, looking at the pill in Song Yunxiang's hand, Timo boldly shot, is the thing in your hand nothing but a pill? Song Yunxian quickly gestured for him to speak softly. Timo immediately felt his probing. Apologize immediately to Song Yunxian. At this moment, the demon tribe child was staring blankly at him. I even asked Song Yunxian if he could lick it. Unexpectedly, Song Yunxian ignored it. I just replied that it's just a healing rejuvenation receipt, and asked Timo to hurry up. Take down. Worried about the precious treasure of the spring revival pill, body hair doesn't even dare to accept it. I didn't want Song Yunxiang to grab his neck stem. Without saying a word, he just stuffed the pill into his mouth. The wound healed quickly after removing body hair. The therapeutic effect makes body hair feel wonderful, as if in an endless desert, just for him to appear as an oasis. Not only has the body been cured, even the soul has been cleansed. At this point, all the wounds on the fur have disappeared. The skin also becomes more delicate and smooth. Little kid can't help but want to go up and lick it. At this moment, Tima was thinking in his heart. The elixir of the human race is so magical. Perhaps his clan leader can still be saved. Thinking of this, I immediately express my gratitude to Song Yunxiang. Thank you very much for Song Yunxiang's gift of medicine. He is a fierce warrior from the Rift Valley Alliance. The mystery of flower research just now, I rudely offended you. I'm really sorry about it. He now inspires in the name of a fierce wind warrior. Will hunt down three enemies for Song Yunxiang. To exchange his head for Song Yunxiang's forgiveness. I don't want Song Yunxiang, but he thinks it's unnecessary. He just doesn't want to. The injured are just a burden on the team. Now, as long as you take care of the tax god on your back and take care of your body hair. It can also be considered as a way of repayment. Seeing this body hair, one should be able to live up to their expectations. Then he asked Song Yunxiang if he knew the identity of the sleeping god. But Song Yunxiang asked him if he knew. Actually, the body hair doesn't know its identity either. Just instinctively feeling a hint of blood pressure. It seems that the identity of the sleeping god is quite prestigious among the demon race. At this moment, Song Yunxiang was also thinking to himself. The intuition of the demon race is quite keen. Unexpectedly able to perceive the extraordinary qualities of the sleeping god. At this moment, the voice of Lan Kuan could be heard from a distance. We can start taking action now. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang immediately reminded everyone to follow closely. Don't fall behind. Not long ago, it was inside the tunnel leading to the central urban area. Lan Kuan unexpectedly guarded. Wei Pai Xian Lan Li also solved another guard at the same time. Everyone quickly ran through the tunnel. Soon everyone left the tunnel, coming to the central urban area. After arriving in the central urban area, Lan Kuan quickly asked Song Yunxiang what to do next. Song Yunxiang immediately instructed him. According to the previously planned plan, passing through the slave market in the central urban area, leaving the city from the east gate, now there are two options. One is to divide the army into three routes. Three teams mixed into the crowd. Follow the crowd to find an opportunity to leave the city from the east gate. The second is that they adopt a proactive plan to lure the enemy. In the first case, just take a gamble. Lucky enough to sneak out of the city directly. Bad luck may catch the enemy off guard. If the women and children of the demon tribe are not handled properly, there will be casualties. So Song Yunxiang tends to adopt the second option. Proactively lure the enemy. Beat the rhythm of the battlefield. Most likely in one's own hands. But the two idiots in the column are in who language? Isn't it only the villains who make battle plans? The protagonist usually goes straight up and completes the task. Unexpectedly, his Hui was heavily attacked by Lai Lankuan. 
tell him, this idiot, to shut up for himself. Afterwards, Lan Kuan asked Song Yunxiang for his order. May Wei or lure the enemy. Proactively luring enemies does indeed require Lan Kuan. You go make bait. Wait a moment, you'll leave the team. Go to the junction of the central and inner urban areas. When the team approaches the east gate, enough to pretend to be the star soul general Ao Bing, create riots, attract the enemy's attention. Lan Li is responsible for taking advantage of the chaos and leaving with these demon tribes. After leaving the east gate, move towards this position. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Lan Li classical Chinese. Lan Li scratched her head, indicating no problem. And Song Yunxiang stayed behind to pay homage to the rear. If the enemy on Lan Kuan's side is not strong enough, at that time, the third backup plan will be activated. He will cross over with Lan Kuan to lure enemies, flying enemy kites. This has stumped Lan Li. But in the end, I was ordered to start executing the plan. Soon, Lan Li led everyone to the slave market area. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly jumped back to his side. It turned out that Song Yunxiang went nearby and picked up some clothes. Everyone, use these clothes to cover up the characteristics of the demon tribe. I will remove the hidden effects one by one later. Don't panic. Disperse and mix into the flow of people. Follow the crowd towards the east gate. Not long after, everyone put on clothes to cover up. But soon Song Yunxiang noticed. Timo and others want to cover up the characteristics of the demon race. It's also a bit difficult for them. So Song Yunxiang asked them to follow him. Song Yunxiang reminds the accompanying children of the demon tribe. Invisible clothing will make it invisible to pedestrians. They need to take the initiative to avoid it. Otherwise, a collision may be detected by someone. Song Yunxiang's reminder greatly increased Tichong's inner favor. This person's attitude towards them, different from other human races. It should be a trustworthy partner. Soon they will each be in their respective positions. Coming to the inspection gate, Song Yunxiang will immediately notify Lan Kuan to take action. Let's have his star soul General Ao Bing's debut show. After receiving instructions, Lan Kuan immediately jumped into mid-air, directly enough to pretend to be the star soul general Ao Bing. Now his mood is filled with joy. Just about to make a big fuss here. Afterwards, Lan Kuan released the sand-containing skull. Aiming at the building below is like a massive bombardment. This surprised the guards greatly. They didn't expect it either. Surprisingly, an enemy would launch an attack in the inner city. Two star soul generals Ao Bing appeared simultaneously. The purpose is to attract the enemy's firepower. The guards who were attacked immediately exploded their bodies. But in Lan Kuan's eyes, it's just cannon fodder. At this point, the guards have launched a counterattack. The beans and cannons were all firing at Lan Kuan in unison. Seeing this, Lan Kuan quickly dodged the attack and dodged. Just as Lan Kuan was preparing to have Han Salan counterattack. At that moment, I suddenly realized that there were still square meters below. To avoid accidentally injuring them. Lan Kuan gave up using range attacks containing salons, switched to using the achievement Dragon Moon Slash. A lamp falls down. The guards were blown up directly. Lan Kuan took the opportunity to launch an attack on the Lone Guard. After seeing that Lan Kuan's combat power is above the Xuanjie level, the guard immediately went to inform the general's mansion. Call for support from experts above the ground level. At this moment, at the east gate on the other side, the guards are quickly closing the gate. The leader is on the side of the sea's access control. All those approaching the east gate will be shot to death. Just finished speaking. He was ambushed by Lan Li. Then more guards were attacked and killed by Lan Li. The panicked guards immediately called for reinforcements. Someone broke through the east gate without permission. But we still can't escape Lan Li's killing. Song Yunxiang saw that the time had come. Immediately instruct the women and children of the demon tribe to rush out of the city now. Upon receiving the order, the women and children of the demon tribe immediately ran outside the city. At this point, the supporting guards have also arrived. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly urged Timo and others to leave quickly. Even if you raise your hair, it's not nonsense. A warning to Song Yunxiang to be careful in everything. He picked up a few small demon tribes and quickly left. Leave Song Yunxiang alone to intercept the enemy there. The guards dare to stop Song Yunxiang even when they see him alone. So they immediately divided into a fan-shaped enclosure. Prepare to capture Song Yunxiang alive. When the long spear approaches, Song Yunxiang immediately leaped into the air. Seeing that Song Yunxiang had already recalculated and jumped up, within countless borrowed forces in the air, it will only be better captured alive. Unexpectedly, they were mocked by Song Yunxiang as idiots. 
Activate the defense array immediately upon descent. Block the spear attack. Then, with the help of force, he flipped over to the back of the guard. Use the seven steps of a spring outing to counter kill the guards. The guard was killed to the point of being defenseless. Seeing Song Yunxian's superb martial arts skills, the leader immediately instructed his subordinates to equip enough star soul generals. Dragging Song Yunxian, he needs to go back and call for reinforcements. Soon, the two star souls will be blocked. In front of Song Yunxian, they all fought against Song Yunxian together. After evading the attack, Song Yunxian thought to himself, now is not enough time to pretend to be a star soul general. We have to wait for Lan Kuan's side, attract the high-end combat power of the Sand Sculpture City. And at this moment, on the side of Lan Kuan, Lan Kuan has already killed all the low-level guards. According to Song Yunxiang's plan, high-end combat power of lower and higher levels should probably appear now. It is indeed so. Not long ago, those low-level and high-end combat forces have already arrived. Seeing this, Lan Kuan threw away the enemy in his hand with one hand, turn around and head towards the western city area, and the frigate arrived with the Qing guard of the general's mansion. They are immediately pointing in the direction of Xiching district, indicating that Lan Kuan has fled to Xiching district. Although Hui, the thief, why did he run away that way? But I didn't think much about it and just caught up with it. And at this moment, hidden nearby, Lan Kuan mocked them as idiots. Then he informed Song Yunxiang that he had already taken care of it on his end. Meanwhile, on Song Yunxiang's side, Song Yunxiang is being pursued by those two tons of star soul generals. Obviously, Song Yunxiang was trying to steer them away. I didn't want to, but I accidentally fell into the encirclement of the guards. Song Yunxiang didn't expect it either, unexpectedly attracting so many low-level guards. At this moment, those low-level guards looked proud. Make fun of Song Yunxiang, even if his martial arts skills are unparalleled, they will also be consumed to death by them. Little did they know that they were giving Song Yunxiang his head as a gift. Just as Song Yunxiang was preparing to launch a massive attack on all sides, unexpectedly, Timo suddenly appeared. This has made Song Yunxiang look confused. Accuse him of causing trouble by running around at this moment. But I don't know the strength of Song Yunxiang's Timo, but in righteous and righteous words. Speaking of which, it was to save Song Yunxiang. After listening to Song Yunxiang, his eyes and face remained speechless. I didn't want Song Yunxiang to be picked up by him. Throw Song Yunxiang onto his back with a backhand, and urged Song Yunxiang to hold onto him tightly. Not yet waiting for Song Yunxiang to hear clearly, he has already started to accelerate his panic. Song Yunxiang immediately hugged him. I don't want him, but I quickly blame Song Yunxiang for changing places to catch him. Song Yunxiang quickly explained. The sleeping god is sandwiched in the middle. Moreover, there is nothing easy to catch on Timao's body. Timao did not continue to entangle, immediately break through and charge out. After escaping from the enclosure, Song Yunxiang specified a direction. Let Timo follow his instructions to escape. Unexpectedly, after a few turns, I ran into a dead end. They just turned around. It has already been heavily surrounded. The guards didn't expect the thieves to run into a dead end. Now they need to see how the thieves escape. Little did they know that this was all intentional by Song Yunxian. Song Yunxian also made a decisive decision to construct a new soul general. In an instant, the stars change. The new soul general Ao Bing suddenly emerged. But at this moment, Song Yunxian had a bewildered expression on his face. Just because this Ao Bing is different from his previous life. Two star soul generals Ao Bing alternate flying kites. The purpose is to exhaust the guards. Create opportunities for the demonic women and children who are preparing to flee. Taking advantage of the chaos, escape from the east gate of the Sand Sculpture City. Just recently, Song Yunxiang just had enough time to pretend to be the star soul general Ao Bing. He immediately realized something was wrong. This Ao Bing is different from the one he has used before. So he quickly activated the reverse scale mode. Unexpectedly, it couldn't be opened at all. This has left him with a gloomy expression all over his face and the guards saw that Song Yunxiang was just bluffing. I immediately rushed towards him. I didn't want to, but I was easily hit and killed by him. The other one was directly beaten to death by him. Afterwards, he switched to armed mode. See what kind of armament there is. It is already in an unlocked state. At this point, the guards have also chased after us. It's enough to equip the machine and kill Song Yunxiang right away. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang immediately managed to mount a battle knife, leaping into the air pierced the incoming guards with a single blow, then he fired another shot. In an instant, another guard was killed on the spot. Song Yunxiang has just finished. 
The ground guards immediately surrounded it again, and at this moment, the leader of the guard ordered a team to catch Timao. Timao was immediately heavily surrounded. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang quickly took action. The guards who Zhang Wei came up with move by move, killed five guards in an instant. Timo, don't panic too much. For those guards, it's a one-shot kill. The guards are simply giving him a head. Seeing this, Song Yunxiang couldn't help but sigh in his heart. She is truly a female warrior of the Great Rift Valley, although the combat methods are brutal. But it is extremely practical. Unfortunately, the demon race only has star veins, no soul pulse. You will never be able to use star soul generals. Thinking of this, he suddenly came up with a good idea. With the filling of the ceiling formation, even without a soul pulse, the idea doesn't seem impossible either. If the idea is validated, that's an endless taste. However, just as Song Yunxiang was stunned, the guard suddenly launched a surprise attack from behind. But it was quickly dodged by Song Yunxiang. And he also took the opportunity to twist and break the guard's arm. Using a dagger in his hand to directly cut off the guard's head, idiot makes the elemental star soul fly far away. Mass production machines can be compared to. Moreover, there is still a gap between two great realms. Actually, it's a small matter for me to mess with you all with my bare hands. And the guard leader saw that Song Yunxiang's combat power was so terrifying. They no longer care about the python. All the construction piles are working together to deal with Song. But this is just giving Song Yunxiang a head as a gift. Song Yunxiang saw that time was almost over. The PD level guards are also expected to arrive soon. Fortunately, he might as well use a salon to set off a fireworks display. Just take it as meeting Lan Kuan's side. Later, Song Yunxiang summoned Han Salon. A beam of light instantly soared into the sky. The guards couldn't help but be shocked by the situation. At this point, the containing salon has already been generated. Aim at the ground guards and directly bombard them. The distant Qin guard saw this scene. I understand in my heart. It must be the thief who escaped just now. I just don't understand how fast this healing speed is. How could it be so fast? I can't tolerate them thinking too much right now. They will definitely capture this healing for General McKinsey alive. But when they arrive at this location, there are only the remains of the slain guards left there. The Thunder Man has disappeared without a trace. They couldn't help but think that they were one step late again. Little did they know that Song Yunxiang had not gone far, just using stealth to assist behind them. Fury cannot help but be curious. What is Song Yunxiang doing back and forth like this? Why not just kill it directly? But Lan Song Yunxiang explained to him, the Sand Sculpture City has a heavenly terrace as its seat. They two steps want to escape safely and steadily. We must do some tricks to disrupt the enemy. The Qing Guard has two pinnacle levels. The weakest remaining. There are also early stages of the geological stage. For Lan Cohen, these are important. Maybe there's still some trouble. When he was on the yellow stage before, although soul power consumption is too high, but with LV Bu's invincibility, he can also harden the ground level. Now he is in the late stage of the earth stage. I have LV Bua and Bing Wenzhong in my hand. Three primordial star soul generals. There are still pills that will not be used up for a while and a half. Dealing with ordinary heavenly levels should be effortless. But he always has a bad premonition in his heart. I'm afraid there's something unusual hidden in this sand sculpture city. It is indeed so. At this time, the underground strike spectrum in Mecca. My Biao is watching his beloved. This organism actually needs to link the soul power of five heavenly levels. For its functionality. What a terrible expense. If this organism produces energy. Isn't it the entire Xiaoyubwa and even the eastern continent? They will all be in my bag. Unexpectedly, he just finished speaking. But Pai reminded him to be cautious when speaking. Just the material of this testing machine. But Pai has been collecting for nearly 50 years. Some of them are materials from ferocious beasts. It's even harder to get started. After learning about it, my Biao said it was just a casual remark. And what he just wanted to say. It is in the bag of his majesty the barbarian king cannot be taken out of context or misinterpreted. His meaning. At this moment, McKinsey came to report that there was something wrong with the plan. The origin star soul general of the shark clan has already appeared in the city. At this moment, we are engaging with the guards. Although the soul of the origin star will appear earlier, disrupted his plan. But fortunately, this primordial star soul can only reduce the number of ordinary people. So it's not enough to give an example. Seeing this, my Biao quickly asked if there was a way to capture him alive. McKinsey also answered truthfully. He came this time to capture the new soul general A.O. Bing alive. 
but it must be Ma Biao's personal involvement. Using Nazan, after learning about the new organism, Mai Biao said there's no problem, I also need McKinsey to be with him, just a new organism must have a good cage. Surprisingly, it is the cancer of the will of the sand sculpture city, that's what we call the ultimate sand sculptor king, then they activated the body. I plan to capture the supreme envoy of the shark clan, Yuan Xinghuan, alive. At the same time, located on Song Yunxiang's side, unknowingly, the Qing guard thought the thief had gone to the inner city, so I felt that chasing after each other like this was not a solution, why don't we call for some reinforcements to surround us together? All available troops are now deployed in the Xiching district, and there are also ambush circles outside the west and north gates, they are simply unable to request reinforcements, damn it! How dare you fool us, a powerful figure at the pinnacle of the grand terraces, wait until we catch up, you must look good, the leader of the Qingwei team angrily said, and at this time, in the inner city area, Lan Kuan, who has solved the enemy, is waiting bored. But soon he received news that the Qingwei team had arrived, no wonder they are so fast, turns out my position is a bit close to Zuanshang, I am currently rushing to marker point 2 near the east gate. Speaking, Lan Kuan's savior's deconstruction pile jumped down in one fell swoop, immediately activate the hidden formation server and rush to the marked location. When the Qing guard arrived, I made another empty attempt. This can explode the anger of the leader of the Qing guard on the spot. I don't understand why the thief's speed is so fast. Little did they know that they were being treated like monkeys by others. Meanwhile, San Yunxiang is also rushing to the planned position too. After arriving at the location, he habitually gives instructions to stop the horse, but Timo doesn't know what it means. Song Yunxiang just realized now. Originally, the horse demon clan did not know the instructions for the human race to ride horses. There seems to be no custom of riding horses in the eastern continent either. He just blurted it out because he had a great time riding a horse. So, so, he can only awkwardly say that he has reached the planned position. Actually, Timo is also a bit confused about Song Yunxiang. Why are the two of them doing this? take two hits and switch to a different location. It's better for him to say that he's better off killing directly. But Song Yunxiang explained to Timo, this is his plan. He and Lan Kuan used similar soul images to cross over and lure the enemy. Take those high-end standing enemies, hanging back and forth like a kite. Then wait for an opportunity to observe the enemies standing at the top, while on guard, also hanging the enemy's attention. After finding an opportunity to break through the defense of the east and north gates, Go straight away. If you rashly kill someone like this, maybe there will be unexpected strong players appearing in the air, and often this kind of battle. It's definitely not possible to win by relying on strength. I can only hope to gamble on my own luck, and there is a high probability of sacrificing some teammates. For example, Timo Lanli, or those three little horse demons. This law is called plot killing by Song Yunxiang. And people like Lan Kuan are also easy to encounter on their growth journey. After listening, Timo was still confused. Song Yunxiang might as well explain the current situation as a plain person like Zhu Ci. His star soul will be able to incarnate into other star soul generals. It's just a slight color difference. Transforming star soul generals Ao Bing and Lan Kuan join hands. The purpose is to play with the enemy in the palm of one's hand. Little did they know that their appearance seemed to be color blind. He sees that the star souls of the human race will all look the same. This can leave Song Yunxiang speechless. At this point, Lan Kuan notified Song Yunxiang that he was already in position. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang immediately had enough time to pretend to be the new Seoul General Ao Bing, swung out a halberd, record falling moon slash. In an instant, the city wall began to explode. The ground level team that received some reinforcements at this time, immediately rushed to the outer city area near the north gate. When they arrived at the urban area outside the north gate, but there was no trace of the thief. At this moment, there is another explosion in the direction of the east gate, turns out it's Lan Kuan. After learning that Song Yunxiang caused a disturbance in his position too, he also immediately took action. Start a business at the designated location on the east gate. Seeing the situation, the SS reported this matter to McKinsey in the cockpit. Indicate at the north and east gates. Within a short period of time, there will be the Shakerman clan's star soul generals. They have never been able to catch up with that guy. After learning about it, McKinsey ordered, make both the north and east gates a key warning area. The personal guards are divided into two teams to ambush and intercept. Finally, McKinsey asked if he had contacted the wheat fields yet, but my subordinates have never been able to contact me. 
Little did they know that Mai Tai was left on the first floor of the treasure trove by Song Yunshan. At this point, the ultimate sand sculpture king has already been fully charged. Mai Biao immediately shouted for an attack. Immediately, the ultimate sand sculpture king will slowly take off. Meanwhile, at the east gate, the star guard once again pounced into the air. At this point, they were already exhausted and exhausted from the turmoil. And Lan Suan is still planning the next steps of action. Afterwards, you can fully recover. He couldn't help but marvel at Song Yunxiang's clever strategy. Play with these earth-level powerhouses in your hands. It can be said to be a fairy's method. Unfathomable. At this moment, Song Yunxiang arrived outside the northern city in a concealed form. The police think that Timo suddenly felt a murderous aura nearby. But Song Yunxiang was not worried at all. I just feel like the commander of the sand sculpture city has something else to offer. Song Yunxiang doesn't mind playing with them. Subsequently, Song Yunxiang constructed a new soul general, Ao Bing Han Sha. The dragon instantly attacked the enemy's hiding place. After the ambush failed, all members of the Qing Guard are on strike, intending to defeat Song Yunxiang with a numerical advantage. Little did they know the meaning of Zheng He and Song Yunxiang. Wait for the Qing Guard to gather here. He's good at taking action. Just give it a try. He has been thinking about ideas for decades. With a shout of righteousness from Song Yunxiang, Iron Mao was instantly enveloped by the formation. Immediately, Iron Mao began to float up. At this moment, Song Yunxiang quickly signaled to Timo not to be nervous. He's just trying to verify a hypothesis. Then command the system to call up the Red Flame Fire Dragon Horse. Seal formation. Create an isolated space with bidirectional protection function. The star vein of Jiang Mao. Connect with the control of the Red Flame Dragon Horse. The connection of soul power is provided by him in charge. It's not much that he successfully fused the two. The powerful force left Timo feeling a bit at a loss. He doesn't understand either. A self without a soul vein. Surprisingly, they can also manipulate the constructions created by the human race. This is Son Yunxiang. Three pills have been taken out to replenish soul power. Then he jumped onto the fire dragon horse. This scared the python. I don't understand. Why does Song Yunxiang still appear on his back? Little did they know that Song Yunxiang was using him as a power bank. And at this moment, the sleeping god is still sleeping soundly. He is completely unaware of external affairs. As for the Qingwei team, they are not interested in the sudden appearance of the fire dragon horse. At present, we need to surround the thieves in groups. Implement General McKinsey's turtle catching plan well. Coincidentally, Song Yunxiang is also waiting for the Qingwei team to surround him after everyone arrives, so that he can kill everyone in all directions. The ordinary person who descended from the star soul Neza finally appeared, even mistaking Song Yunxiang for Ao Bing's successor. So he immediately warned Song Yunxiang, entrusted by the previous Ao Bing Su person. I hope Song Yunxiang can be careful, doctor. Just recently, located at the north gate of Sand Sculpture City, Song Yunxiang is currently, kill all directions, facing enemies from all directions. He has no fear at all. Swinging a halberd can kill enemies for several lives. Even fur is not willing to fall behind. Kick with the back foot and kill two of them. Slaying enemies is like chopping melons and vegetables. The perfect coordination between the two is perfect. Fury's combat talent is quite outstanding. It's like a killing genius born for war. Compared to it, the ability of a star soul beast without human control is very poor. Not only does it require issuing instructions, I don't know how to implement it flexibly. At this point, Song Yunxian, who broke out of the encirclement, immediately instructed Han Shaolong to shoot the enemy chasing behind with a beam of light. After receiving instructions, Han Sharon is about to start charging up, realizing that the ominous enemy was about to disperse. But Han Sharon's wide area attack has arrived. In an instant, the enemy was covered in death and injury. The captain immediately ordered the injured team members to retreat back to the city. All right, team members quickly reorganize their formation. Continue to surround and kill the thieves. Little did he know that his command had just sounded. But Song Yunxiang has already arrived by surprise. Two armed weapons wielded a single blow, sweeping across thousands of troops. The captain and others were intercepted and cut off on the spot. Seeing the captain being killed by thieves, the team members immediately rushed forward. I want to avenge the captain. Little did they know that they were just giving away heads. Under the rampage of Timo, I saw off a few on the spot. Seeing the situation, Song Yunxiang immediately discussed with Timo, one person on one side. See who kills more enemies. Timo agreed without hesitation. 
just because the star soul is so satisfying to use. At this point, both of them have already charged towards the enemy separately. In an instant, two battle groups formed. Meanwhile, in the military zone of Xiching district, subordinates are asking the head of the family where Mai Biao is going, but Mai Biao wants to hear McKinsey's opinion. So McKinsey immediately exposed the intelligence he had already learned. At present, the thieves have been constantly appearing and disappearing. I suspect, they may have the ability to create illusions. Among the thieves, there should be those who are proficient in formations. Such guys exist. So I rearranged the deployment of troops. My Tong, who was originally going to the west gate, is rushing towards the north gate. And on the other side of the east gate, it was handed over to Maxi's Chinese classical Chinese. My Biao couldn't help but be curious. When asked if the thief had already appeared at the north gate, why not dispatch everyone to the north gate? I don't want Mackenzie, but he thinks the thieves may have split into two camps, striving for the east and the west, and according to the location where the thieves appear, I'm afraid we have already mastered their military deployment. Judging from this, the bandits fighting at the north gate, perhaps the strongest among the thieves, so first send my own squadron to the north gate to delay the time. Then, Ma Biao drives the Sand Sculpture King. Go and capture the strongest thief alive. There shouldn't be any problem with the South Gate either. After all, as a half-step heavenly step Maisie, except for McDull and the Elder, he is the strongest. So in summary, this strategy is considered the best. This makes McDull have to admire McKinsey for his shrewdness. Fortunately, he handed over the command of the Sand Sculpture King to McDull. After learning about McDull's thoughts, McKinsey felt deeply fearful. But McDull told him not to be a motherly woman. Just give instructions. Upon seeing this, McKinsey no longer declined. Immediately order full speed departure. Go to the north gate to catch turtles. The final action encircles the battlefield. But the sand carving king just kept roaring in his ears. Staying in mid-air without moving at all. McKinsey immediately asked Mai Biao why he was like this. Ma Biao, who doesn't know why, will contact Eggskin immediately. And ask Eggskin to explain it to him. Why is the sand sculpture king moving so slowly? Upon seeing the situation, the egg skin is immediately truthful in Hong Kong. It's because of Ma Biao's previous request. The body needs to have the combat power to counter and lower the soul of the source star. At the same time, it also needs to have the ability to fly in the air. But ultimately, things have a critical point in their equilibrium. To enhance attack and defense performance. So we can only sacrifice speed. After learning about it, Ma Biao became furious. He doesn't care about it. He needs both attack defense and speed. Actually, Eggskin also considered the issue of speed in the beginning. Designed the ability for short distance transmission for this aircraft body. But starting requires consuming a valuable space crystal. Originally intended as the ultimate means of escape. At the moment, we can only use this once only opportunity. There is a treasure trove of space crystallization selling targets. Now capture the new sole general of the shark tribe. That's the top priority. And at this time, on Song Yunxiang's side of the North Gate battlefield, the enemy has been completely killed by Song Yunxiang and his two companions. Kotimao still feels unsatisfied. At this moment, Song Yunxiang suddenly jumped onto Timao's back and make fun of whether Timao is addicted to playing. Timao did not directly answer Song Yunxiang. Can he continue to use it in the future? I don't want Song Yunxiang, but he says he looks average. I think it's quite beautiful. The fire dragon horse only gave him control. Just now, I was just doing a little test. After Song Yunxiang finds the obedient mount, only then will we bind this power to him. The little fly among the three little ones looks pretty good. Growing up from a young age will definitely be very obedient. Seeing Song Yunxiang giving this power to Xiaofei, Timao immediately complained and worshipped Song Yunxiang as the main leader. To express gratitude to Song Yunxiang for his previous gift of Dan. In the future, as a mount, I will accompany Song Yunxiang around. Just hoping that Song Yunxiang can give him a chance. Upon seeing this, Song Yunxiang no longer declined. Then he was given a chance to apply it. Whether he can become a full-time employee depends on his performance. After obtaining the approval of Song Yunxiang, Timao Thanksgiving. He swore to work hard for Song Yunxiang. Such a powerful force. Once possessed. Who can accept losing him again? At this moment, Song Yunxian was thinking, if we could find someone else to control the salon, that would be even better. When the time comes, with the infinite soul renewal pill, he can summon an army of star soul beasts. At that time, 
he will become one of the Star Soul Masters, the founder of Summoning Flow. At this moment, the enemy squadron suddenly descended from the sky, but Song Yunxiang didn't pay any attention to it at all, just casually instructing the python to solve it. Seeing the thief treating him so disrespectfully, my tongue is furious, and report the name of your own embroidery. It's better for Song Yunxiang to be obediently restrained and captured. I don't want a flame beam to fall from the sky at this moment. A star soul general with three heads and six arms emerged from the flames. You are the star soul general. Ao Bing's amateur is really boring. Taste is actually the worst among many Ao Bing Su people. And when facing the heavenly level six strong ones who criticize themselves. Although Song Yunxiang is a bit confused. But fortunately, the other party doesn't seem to have any hostility. So he spoke up and asked the other person who it was. But Hu Yan Wei did not say who he was. I was forced by the previous Ao Bing Su person. Special message to Song Yunxiang. At this point, Song Yunxiang also guessed that. This star soul general should be the Neza of the Hu Yan family. And he also mistook him for Ao Bing Su. So he asked Hu Yan Wei what message he came to convey. So Hian Wei immediately warned him to be careful, doctor.